Since I was born, but now I am getting youth. I'm gonna move down, I'm gonna go to the book. And there it is right there. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> there it is right there. Here I am right here, and there you are. So so here we go again. Uh Another day, another session. Uh, it never stops. Uh, of course, it, uh, and it will never stop. So you might as well get used to it. Just bake it into the backdrop of your daily routine. Uh, so come whatever hour that I come uh, online, wherever you are, then that is what man went to more time. So surrender that slot. Uh, make it the backdrop to, to your events. And, and please, I'll be sharing the links in your... Um, in your social media spaces, your WhatsApp groups, you know those school groups that you hate everybody there and all that. So come there, uh, bring them in, let them come hate me as well, like everybody else does. So share the links as widely as you can, especially the people on Facebook. Uh, they say share, share, share on Facebook. So so we repeat that here as well. Share, share, share on Facebook. And share, share, share uh, everywhere you are. So, so we want to expand uh, uh, we, we have big ambitions, but uh, those ambitions, we cannot mention them now because we are, uh, we're not anywhere near close. But as we start to, because uh, I, I have the anticipation that it's a breakthrough phase. Uh, that's the, uh, 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 yes, uh, I have the anticipation that it's a breakthrough phase that the uh, platform is on. Uh, and, and because of the things coming. So so let's just leave that uh, uh, for the moment. Uh so yes, good day to you uh, is uh, what I should have started off with. So good day to you. Uh, good to be in your company. And how are you? So uh, how are you? Uh, the usual protocol, click on the like button just as soon as you're coming in. So we need to get those likes as part of the master strategy for our journey to where we're going to. The like button is a very important, paramount part of the uh, journey we're embarked upon. So click on that uh, like button, if you will, please. So do that immediately and right now. Um, there was a time we used to get the likes and the hundreds, but now uh, we barely get our two people clicking on that like button. So click on that like button, uh, especially if you spend that much time here. Do that immediately and right now. So click on like. Click on subscribe as well if you are not already subscribed. If the subscription... Um, 
if the subscription button is showing uh, uh, red on your screen, then you have not fulfilled uh, all righteousness yet. You've not fulfilled yet the fullness of the righteousness, righteousness of it. So fulfill all righteousness by clicking on that subscription button as well. And that goes right across all the platforms that we're streaming to. We're streaming to a slew, uh, just an abundance of, uh, of platforms, different figures coming through from uh, all of those spaces. Uh, but uh, whatever, so follow is the best thing to say because uh, subscribe might not be applicable to some of the platforms that we are streaming to. So follow. Uh, because I uh, follow only really because there are big events, big conversations coming on. Uh, it takes place every day anyway, and the conversations get bigger and more expansive in the course of. So in the course of, it gets bigger and more expansive and be part of that in crowd now that gets the slew uh, on, on what is going on within the Nigerian space. So, so, so click on like, click on subscribe. Is that rather long-winded plea that I just said? So we need the figures to go up. So if you're not already subscribed, do that. If you have not clicked on like, do that. I'll be nice to you today if I see the numbers going up. Uh, but that's only a one of though. You know, I instinctually, I'm not. Uh, I don't do nice uh, instinctually. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not my natural. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, but um, yes. Um, so click on like. Click on subscribe. Uh, the hyperlink that says StreamYard, that's your invitation to come and join us on the studio. So uh, we are always looking to uh, to harvest our great minds. We are, we are on a harvest. We want to, we want, <laughs> that sounds quite, uh, that sounds like something like uh, from Frankenstein, doesn't it? That we want to harvest our uh, minds. We're not harvesting your mind in terms, in terms of uh, holding a scalpel to your head and pricing into it. You know when they do brain surgery, they actually chisel through. So we're not chiseling through your mind to to, but we just want your voice to expand on your thoughts uh, in conversations that we're having. You know, add your elegance to what is already an elegant gathering. That is essentially what it is. Uh, so come add your elegance to what is already an elegance gathering, and to add that elegance, the hyperlink that says uh, StreamYard. That's your ticket to ride. So if you want to ride, uh, click on that hyperlink that says Stream Yard. So do that. So like, subscribe, click on the hyperlink that says Stream Yard. And then we are pushing quite for the uh, super charts and uh, super donations and whatnot. Because uh, only really because we see that in every other space. So why not this space? So light up the comment section in the multicolors of super charts and super whatever it is. So... Uh, that dollar sign at the bottom of the screen is there for a purpose. It's inviting you to empty the content of your wallet into mine. So that's what that are. Uh, you see that dollar sign at the bottom of the screen? It is an invitation for you to uh, empty the content of your wallet into mine. So do as directed. But all that is just. So we have a, a whole wraparound of different. It's a potpourri. You know what? I, I don't just use these words just to sound uh, cute or whatever, but that best describes how this session is. It's Ilala Sepo. Let me use that one. I think we're all familiar with that. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. This is what, what we're having in this session. So it's a, it's a potpourri. It's a licorice all sorts. You know, you dip your hand into the bag and whatever delight comes out, comes out. So the delight to come out in the first instance is this, but is it a delight? Is that the right adjective? Uh, UK bans care workers from, uh, from entering with dependents. So this is the... Um, this is the tightening of the regulations around the uh, immigration space within the United Kingdom. There's been a whole raft of, you know, they did it first uh, with our uh, students coming uh, because uh, previously when people are coming to do like a course of study, they, they are allowed to bring their dependents with them. And if it's a juvenile, the parent is al allowed to come with them. So this, they, 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 they canceled that out. So they're now canceling out now as senior professionals coming to work in the U United Kingdom and bringing their loved ones with them. Uh, United Kingdom bans uh, care workers from entering with dependents. So somebody was saying it's just care workers. It is everybody. It's just everybody. Um, everybody within the medical field. Uh, care workers entering the United Kingdom on health and care worker visas can no longer bring dependents the United Kingdom home office 
announced Monday on Twitter. It said the move is part of a broad plan to drive huge cuts in migration. Overseas care workers brought a uh, let, let me let me see if I can get this from an, from from somewhere else. I, I, I look it, I look for it from somewhere else, but certainly it captures medical doctors, nurses, and care workers. Uh, that's that's that, that's the policy. Um, a care worker entry in the United Kingdom on health and care worker visas can no longer bring dependents. The United uh, Kingdom Home Office announced Monday on Twitter. It said the move is part of a broad plan to drive huge courts, uh, courts, CUTs, uh, in migration. Overseas care workers brought an estimated 120,000 dependents to the United Kingdom in the year ending September. So that's, uh, so the calendar is not a calendar year, but I think for the purposes of whatever this is, uh, this migration, whatever, <clears throat> They count the year cycle September to September. Overseas care workers brought an estimated 120,000 dependents to the United Kingdom in the year ending September 23rd. James Cleverly, United Kingdom Home Secretary, uh, wrote in a post on Twitter, Today we put a stop to this. Banned most uh, overseas students from bringing their families to the United Kingdom banned overseas care workers from bringing their dependents he said so so now we're at the we're entering the phase of um elections in the united kingdom so uh when you when we enter that phase the language gets more stringent it gets more right wing and their usual whipping uh, spaces are the migrants and the ethnics so you get a lot more of this sort of uh posturing, right-wing posturing. You'll get a lot of this in the course of the uh, succeeding weeks and months. Um, let's take it from the top again. Um, uh, care worker entry in the United Kingdom on health and care worker visas can no longer bring dependents. The United Kingdom Home Office announced uh, Monday on X. It said the move is part of a broad plan to drive huge cuts in migrations. Overseas care workers brought an estimated 120,000 dependents to the United Kingdom in the year ending September. James Cleverly, Cleverly, United Kingdom Home Secretary, wrote in a post on Twitter, Today we put a stop to this. Banned most overseas students from bringing their families to the United Kingdom. Banned overseas care workers from bringing their dependents. He said so. That it will have quite why, uh, quite how that is something to to be to be peacocking and bragging about is beyond me. But that's the language he used. Uh, in April, it plans to increase the minimum income threshold for skilled workers to thirty-eight thousand seven hundred. Scrap 20% are going rate salary discount offered for short uh, occupations and raise the minimum income requirement for family visas. So, so, so there it is right there. So there it is right there. The, the, uh, button, button down the hatchet. That's, that's what they usually say in the, uh, is it button or button down the hatchet or so whatever it is, you do something to the hatchet. That's what they usually say in the United Kingdom. And, and that, that's the, that's the direction of travel now. Uh, so, uh, that is, uh, 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 all right, so so yeah, somebody is telling me. Uh, 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 says uh, I says hi, my one man. I sent you a topic on Instagram about heads uh, about headsmen demanding ransom of one trillion naira. So yes, that news is in that space. Uh, if anybody wants to, uh, if anybody wants to have a conversation around that, uh, uh, you're perfectly welcome to. So if anybody wants to have a conversation around that, uh, you're perfectly welcome to. Uh, I'll be playing you a, a, a series of video clips uh, towards the end of the readouts, but let me get the readouts uh, out of the way first, and then I'll play you a series of clips. Uh, let's go to this one. Southern Northern governors should give herdsmen land for cattle grazing. So, so that is not quite the totality 
that that is not quite uh that you see it's just this mischief making uh journalism that we have that we get in nigeria really that is not quite what was being said uh that's not quite what was being said if i see it under a different headline uh bring it uh, and then you see um right uh, so 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 uh, hold that hold that as a thought hold this headline this is from people's gazette uh the the one that confessed that the leader the owner of the platform confessed that they just make up stories so uh hold this uh, headline as a thought southern northern governors should give headsmen land for cattle grazing tinobu so that's the headline that describes a story but that same story comes with a different headline here. I can end farmers' herders' crisis in two, in two to three weeks, Tenobo. So how, what is the correlation? How does that cohere? So this one says uh, Southern Northern Governor should give headsmen land for grazing. Uh, uh, but this one, uh, this one tells you uh, I can end farmers' herders' crisis in two to three weeks same story but the uh different headline sends sends are uh, different messages i'll actually read you both just so you see it's exactly the same um <clears throat> president bolatinobu on monday uh, president bolatinobu on monday expressed readiness to uh, uh let's do that again <clears throat> President Balatinobu on Monday expressed readiness to end the perennial farmer herders crisis uh, in the country. Tinubu vowed to draw up our programs that will end the crisis within two to three weeks. He spoke during the inauguration of the mechanized agricultural project in Mina, uh, in Mina, Niger State. The president, however, noted that state governors should provide land that will help in facilitating his programs according to tinobu we must reorient our farming population including livestock program i don't see why nigeria can't feed our, our pupils with one pint of milk a day if the dairy system is well harnessed uh, i know what it means as an economic sabotage for cows to eat up the crops and vegetations of our land. When we reorient the herders and make provisions for cattle rearing, governors must provide the land. And I, as president, is committed to giving you, in two to three weeks, a comprehensive program that will solve this problem. So uh, to, <laughs> that, is quite a, that is quite a claim to make, actually, that uh, something that has uh, lasted, uh, uh, because this, um, as, uh, 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 setting it outside the politics of it, this farmer herder crisis is something that even probably predates Nigeria as an entity. The, the, um, the, the cattle rearers, they are nomadic by nature. They rear uh, cattle in, uh, in a nomadic way, and the farmers, by, by virtue, they are sedentary uh, uh, people. So the two have always collided. And this, uh, this our joker here from Lagos State is telling us that that is something you can uh, resolve in, uh, in uh, two to three weeks. So it will be interesting to see how we approach it now. But that's the same story, but from this headline. Southern Northern, Gov Southern Northern Governors should give herdsmen land for cattle grazing, Tinumbu. Uh, President Bala Tunubu says his government is committed to ending farmer header recurring clashes, urging governors to provide land for herders to graze their cattle. Tinubu made this call whilst commissioning Niger State Agro Project in Mina. Uh, I know what it means for uh, roaming cattle to eat crops and the vegetations are of our land. I know it is painful, but when we reorient the herders, and make provisions for cattle rearing, we can address that, Mr. Tenobo said. He added, you are, you are the governors who will provide us with the land. I, as president, I am committed to providing a comprehensive program that will solve this problem. So the same uh, exact same story, but see the spin, it's just the politics of uh, whichever platform uh, is presenting the news. So let's go on from there to, to this. Uh, 
So let's go on from there today as we as we as we check to see uh so keep the super chats coming uh don't keep them coming even start them is the thing uh it says uh just in just in revoke licenses for non-performing discourse federal government urge n-e-r-c uh the federal government um uh, the federal government on monday issued matching orders to its agencies regulating the power sector directing the nigerian Electric electricity regulatory commission n-e-r-c to withdraw licenses from non-performing electric electricity distribution uh companies at uh, this cause the government accused the discourse of not doing enough to improve our supply despite availability of power on the national grid the minister of power chief adebayo adelabu who stated this during a meeting with the head of agencies in abuja said the distribution segment remains the weakest link uh in the electricity supply value chain so first we want to know how much wattage they are actually generating before they can take this uh, hard line hard stance so how much are you generating first before we can then see where the next focus is uh uh chief chief ade labu stressed that nerc must look for creative ways of getting the discourse to improve supply including the imposition of stiff sanctions on utilities which fail to pick their allocations and outright cancellation of licenses he insisted that the franchise areas are, are, are covered by the discourse um i, I think they want to unbundle it uh it is it, a it's a real mess the way they've done that thing anyway it says uh uh, uh all right let me take it from top again uh the federal government on Monday issued, a, issued matching orders to its agencies uh, regulating the power sector, directing the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, to withdraw licenses from non-performing electricity distribu distribu distribution companies, DISCO. The government accused the DISCOs of not doing enough to improve supply, despite the availability of power on the national grid. The Minister of Power, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, uh, who stated this during a meeting with heads of agencies in Abuja, said the distribution segment remains the weakest link in the electricity uh, supply value chain. Chief Adedibu uh, stressed that NERC must look for creative ways of getting the discourse to improve supply, including the imposition of stiff sanctions on utilities which failed to pick their allocations and outright cancellation of licenses. He insisted that the franchise areas covered by the discos were too large, adding that government would pursue a restructuring that would create smaller discos with companies restricted to uh, one state each. So, um... <clears throat> I, I'm not quite sure that I agree with that actually, because uh, it, it, it works better if they if they if they command a geo space rather than a state. And so then you have 36 uh, uh, different companies managing electricity state by state. That just the convolution of it. He insisted that the franchise areas covered by the discos were too large, adding that the government will pursue a restructuring that will create smaller discos with companies are restricted to one state each. Distribution is our weakest point, and it is the closest to the consumer. If we don't get distribution right to Nigerians, we're not doing anything. So, of course, if you don't get distribution right, you're not doing anything, because no matter how much water you are generating, if I can't go to my house and switch on the lights, then what is the purpose of it all? So efforts are so efforts need to be put on this. In fact, we must inter intensify our efforts. Um, and by the way, a lot of people they are accusing this guy uh, Adelabu of being the the worst underperforming uh, uh, minister yet within this administration. He insisted that the franchise areas are uh, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, 
Distribution is our weakest link and it is the closest to the consumers. If we don't get distribution rights to Nigerians, we're not doing anything. So efforts need to be put on these. In fact, we must intensify our efforts in ensuring we address all issues related to distribution. It is true that the distribution companies are in the hands of the private sector. We don't have direct control, but we need to compel them to perform. Well, you must have regulatory control, which is somewhat of a direct control. They must perform. If they do not perform, all our efforts in generation, in transmission, is zero. I have also had a meeting with the chairman of NERC on how we are going to address these performance issues of the electricity distribution companies ac across the nation. Uh, so how much are they actually generating? Is Does it actually tell us? Um, okay, let me go to this paragraph here. It shows some wattage there. It described the ongoing electricity uh, rationing across the country as unacceptable, disclosing that the government plans to improve power generation from its uh, present 4,000 megawatts. So 4,000 megawatts, I'm not quite sure if that is a record yet or if we've ever generated that much to 6,000 megawatts in the next six six months. So I like that they actually put, uh, uh, you, you know, um, uh, they put, um, uh, uh, what, what, what's the phrase I want to use? They, they put benchmarks in place that uh, that uh, that is within a, a short reach for people to hold them to account to. So if it's telling us then that uh, they are able to increase the wattage uh, from 4,000 megawatts to 6,000 megawatts within six months, so that's a 50% a increment within six months then. So, so, so then we can then put our focus on the generation space. So I think that's sufficient enough of that to be going on with. Sufficient enough of that to be going on with. Uh, Buhari rates President Tinobu's one year in office. I don't show, I'm not sure that Tinobu has completed, completed a year yet. The immediate past president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, has rated the performance of his successor, President Bola Tinobu, barely a year in office. According to Buhari, the former governor of Lagos State has done wonderfully well since the assumption of office nine months ago. Correspondents report that the former president made this remark when he received the Comptroller General Customs Bashir Adewale Adeniyi and members of the management team of the Nigerian Custom in Daura Kasina State at the weekend. It is no longer news that President Tinobu has faced wide criticism over some of his economic policies, including the removal of fuel subsidy and the unification of the exchange rate windows. This policy, amongst others, have brought about untold hardship on Nigerians following the economic hardship and the Naira depreciation, which in recent times have led to protest. Buhari, however, said Tinubu has performed well given the prevailing circumstances, but affirmed that Nigeria is a complex country to govern. According to him, uh, there is not much anybody can do about Nigeria. Uh, Buhari, uh, so it says, uh, yes, let's get to his words. Uh, according to him, there's not much uh, anybody can do about Nigeria. Buhari addressed Adeniyi and his team, emphasizing that Nigeria poses significant challenges, urging citizens, to persevere through economic difficulties and back the initiative of the present government. So these are his words now. I thank you very much for coming. I am very, uh, I am very much, uh, I very much appreciate it. I thought Tinubu has done very well. Nigeria is so complex. Really, there isn't much anybody can do. Our correspondents re uh, reported them as saying. So, so there is uh, that's a. Uh, uh, Buhari's scorecard on Tinobu then, excellently well. Uh, I, I think some people will probably want to stone him on that. Uh, uh, you've done well, so that's that's at uh, Buhari comments, Tinobu. Uh, so that's another headline there. Uh, let me see. Uh, one last one. Oh, okay, let me take you to the clips that I want to play you, uh, and, then, and then we kick off the session. So I'll take you to, let's see, which one do I want to start with? I'll take you to the clips I want to play you uh, in a moment. Uh, in a moment, oh. 
All right. Oh, okay. Let's kick it off with this one. Um, Actually, yes, let's kick it off with this one. This one now tells us how our gospel Apabio fed up with the mess, promises to probe Buhari. So, so let's kick it off with this one. So what this? In the nine cents, a total sum of about 23.5 trillion was brought before the Senate for the Senate to concur. Approve or approve, and the same thing was also presented to the House of Representatives. But the nine select some of the members I see here did so with a caveat, and the caveat was that the details of the ways and means should be provided. By the time the 10th Senate came, we are now saddled with the responsibility of uh, looking at about seven trillion. So when you look at the totality, we are talking about, uh, about a total of about 30 trillion. So having waited for the details for a long time, and the accountant general and the CBN governor have failed to provide the details. The Senate took a, a major motion and then decided to set up an ad hoc committee to look into these ways and means. So, so, so there it is, right there. So, um, they they've taken uh, um, the better part of a uh, uh, thirty trillion naira out of the Nigerian economy, and there is no invoice to account for what the money was taken for uh, or what it was used for. So, no receipts. So having now uh, asked for that receipt, uh, endless times, uh, uh, Pablo now sets up a committee to, so essentially what he's telling you is that he's, he's, he's going to probe Buhari, who, who necessarily must be probed. Uh, so, so yes, uh, so, so, yeah. I failed to provide the details. The Senate took a, a major motion and then decided to set up an ad hoc committee to look into these ways and means, and particularly look at how the expenses were done. It is our belief that the totality of the ways and means somehow have con contributed to the cur current economic hardship that we are facing today. And that it is incumbent upon us as representatives of the people to look into these issues, know what items. Uh, in fact, let us say we should want to unbundle the expenditures involved in the ways and means and see whether they were judiciously utilized. Thanks for checking out Simple on YouTube. So, 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 there it is. So, uh, let me just, uh, so enough of that. So, so that's uh, essentially Goswila Pabio are telling us that it's going to probe Tinubu, and th there is no getting around it. T uh, not not Tinubu, it, that was that even a Freudian sleep. So that's Gospel Apabio telling us that he's going to uh, probe Buhari, and there is no getting around it. The Buhari administration, they stole so much that we have to attempt at some form of our recovery. They just, uh, that all they did, uh, a little bit of infrastructure here and there, but the entirety of the totality of the Buhari ATS was just gluttonous looting. They they were they were just uh, anyway. Um, so now this is a story we were discussing yesterday, but it follows through. Uh, I insist, three point seven a trillion naira are not linked to any project. So this is uh this is Senator Ningi who came out with that expose yesterday and is doubling down, even though he's been abandoned by everybody uh, that surrounds him. So we'll pick this up uh, from this spot uh, where he speaks on that. So uh, listen to him. There's been a lot of pushback against him and the Northern Space are abandoning him as well. But uh, let's pick it up uh, uh, with him doubling down on his assertion that uh, 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 close to 4 trillion Naira are uh, uh, padded into the budget. With our pine beans, 
and subsequently meet President Bola Ahmed Tinubu with our findings. So if one is questioning our desire to relate with Bola Tinubu, how will I say that the findings of the Northern Senator Forum will go to the Federal President and then to Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the President and Commander-in-Chief? And you could see I switch off all my hands this morning. I don't want any northern senator to come here. If it is a cross, I have to carry out. I will carry it. I'm not afraid of anything. Anything. I believe in one God, and I believe power is transient. I'm not scared of any issue like suspension. I've been out of the Senate for eight years. And people had to force me back. It's not an issue. Some of our friends were removed by tribunals. They're living their lives. If because I said what I would say, if because I said what I was, what I said, then I'll be suspended. So please do it. It will be an honor. And for me to be suspended by whatever body. The interview I had with BBC was never an interview for Northern Senators Forum. It was an interview for myself. I don't want people to castigate them. I want people to castigate me as a leader. I want to make sure that I shield. I want to make sure whatever happens, let it happen to me. And that's why I said, please, shut my phones. I will address the press on this matter. So, 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 so there it is. Uh, 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 um, one of the many gifts that uh, Buhari gave the Nigerian state was the phrase, uh, if, when, you have, when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. Uh, 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 let, let me play you, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, because we, we missed the opening phase of that, but there's something he said at the beginning that I want you to listen to. And I also said, in the course of our perusing the budget, the budget which Onanuga seems to have dwelt on, I say we have established very reasonable doubt about 25 trillion so far has nexus in the budget. That means there is money, and then there is project, and then there is location. Money, project, location. But we are yet to ascertain three trillion, three trillion of that budget. Where we establish the three trillion in the budget, we have not established its location and the place. The intention of the Northern Senators as regards to the budgetary allocation was to meet the Senate President with our findings. Oh, 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 all right, so so that, that was the uh, part of the, his presentation that we missed. So that that's quite important because he said this uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, that they have done, he said there is a nexus uh, uh, between, uh, there's a nexus in 25 uh, a trillion naira in that budget. So what he means by that nexus is that there is a chain linking the budgetary allocation to a project and a location. So there's an audit trail that accounts for that mo money. But um, uh, nearly 4 trillion, has no nexus so there's no connect either to location project or anything but it sits within that budget as as something that has been budgeted for but what is that thing so that is what he said and it's doubling down now on that space that essentially four trillion naira padded into that budget so he doubles down on that so he doubles down on that but uh as ever uh like we said uh uh, who, who said it that uh, when you fight corruption, uh, corruption tends to fight back? 
So when oh, I hope I've not closed uh, what I was about to play. Uh, uh there was a northern go. Um, uh, uh, all right, I think I may have closed it. Uh, yes. Uh, uh there, there was there's just a clip of uh, of, of a northern governor, uh, Regin and Rylan. Let let me see if it's in the history. Uh, uh because it's quite pertinent to this uh conversation. Um. Yes. Uh, so, so here it is. So, so, yes. Uh, so, uh, when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. So that was a uh, that was a uh, Senator Ningi doubling down that uh, the budget had been padded with uh, up to about a uh, uh, four trillion naira. So you heard him. So here is now corruption fighting back. Is that one? It is not true that we have to have professions. Two. Senator Nigi must be charged to court for conduct likely going to cause breach of peace and criminal misinformation. These two are very important. The charges will be preferred by the criminal justice department of the government and, of course, after thorough investigation. Because I'm a member of our pressure committee and I'm chairman of Interparliamentary Worldwide. When I go here and travel to the next United Nations Convention, the first question I will be asked is how did you do two budgets? And you know, it will be difficult for me to, to begin to answer this question. I'm preparing for the World Bank in April for the spring meeting. I'm going to be asked this set of questions. So it's very important as a matter of urgency for the federal government to charge an attorney to court for criminal misinformation as well as conduct likely to cause breach of peace. Thanks for checking. Oh, 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 all right. So when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. It, it's quite similar to the storyline in the Labour Party, actually, when the treasurer of the party came out to uh, to expose financial impropriety, and the response of the uh, of the party was to say suspend her. So here is now a senator, Bauchi somewhere, uh, Senator Ningi, exposing a uh, budget padding he's, he's giving us figures it's not it's not just ab abstractly stating something in the ethos it's not just throwing words around it's not it's not just banding words it's giving us breakdowns a structured logical follow-through in terms of the uh the the flow of that budget and it's telling us that there's about four trillion that has no accountability so rather than address that what at uh, this senator Jimo uh, Ibrahim Jimo, what he is asking for is the locking up of uh, the senator. So there it is. When you fight corruption, uh, corruption fights back. So when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. And uh, still on the theme of how not to do it, this is a man that I greatly admire. Anybody that followed this platform for more than a microsecond knows how much I, I admire this man. I'm talking about our governor Charles Soludo, but as he dropped the ball uh, in this uh, little uh, in this little contraton, let me use that uh, in this little contraton. Uh, watch this. You started. You come and put us it down. If I come here again, I see any of these rubbish that will smack you publicly. I'm confident. They began it, and you are watching it going on, and you didn't bring it down. Where is the walkway? Come and show me the walkway. Come and show me. 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 Who changed it? Who changed it? This is not here. This is supposed to be there. Don't say, okay, you tell me the person, tell me the officer, and I'll kick him out. Let me tell you, we must regenerate. generator. This chaos must end. See all the shops. <laughs> all the shanty shops along this road that is attached to the wall. This fence, the fence must go back, and you have at least one meter where people can walk. 
No, no, that's you stop, but then come on and you done nothing as I stopped. I and I'm just telling you, pull this thing down tomorrow. Friday, today, tomorrow is a Friday, Thursday. By tomorrow, this one must be off. And they must go at least one meter up there. And they get me the paper who approved it. And I've sacked that person tomorrow. Get me whoever, if anybody approved this, that person is leaving my government tomorrow. Okay? Let them get me who, who, who approved this thing to be done this way. And I will dismiss that person tomorrow. Get me the paper. And it's being built here. You start it, you come and pull it down. If I come here again and I see any of these rubbish, I'll smack you publicly. I'm incompetent. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 all right. Enough of that. So, so, so that is, um, so, so that is, uh, Governor Soludo, uh, who is on an inspection tour of a construction space. Uh, 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 cameras in tow, of course, be, because this now seems to be the fashion of governance. Cameras in tow. And that person, by the way, is his uh, commissioner of works, the equivalent of. So there he is, reading and riding against the guy, calling him incompetent and all of these invectives. So um, uh, um, the optics, the optics of it, of course, will have a lot of people saying now he's an action governor, he's tolerating no nonsense. And we've seen um Dave Umahi do this as well, but this Dave Dave um Dave Uma, Dave Umahi does it from an integrious place. It does it from an integrious place. There's integrity uh, to, but 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 you you could see with his little cane or his um uh elephant tusk or whatever it is that he carries around with him all of the time you could see that he was printing and peacocking for the cameras uh uh, uh governor charles soludo and a lot of people actually go deeper to say that it is it, essentially destroying the morale of that guy and he's sending some sort of negative signals to to his workspace to carry cameras around and be calling your commissioner of works in, in incompetent are for reasons that are uh, you see an anomaly in a piece of work so and uh, not the best uh presentation by our uh, charles soludo uh could do better if a school report on that uh let's see is there anything else that i intended to bring uh that i have not yet brought uh is there anything else that i intended to bring that i've not yet brought uh yes the discourse we've done that um Uh, uh, there's one piece that I, I'll probably bring you bring you it later, but there's one piece that uh, 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 uh about um empty and somewhat uh um overt uh, covertly I should say uh, signaling confidence in um in how the country has been administered. Uh, but we will get to that in the course of the session. Uh, so we get to that in the course of the session. So enough of the readouts and whatnot. Still plenty of spaces in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, still plenty of spaces on the studio. Anybody that wants to jump on, jump on. You can jump on uh, whilst we play you the K-Guide music. And we're not seeing the super chats yet. So let's see some of that as well. So uh, first, the K-Guides. Eruku lele, Eruku lele, Ghana 
so so do ke ye re ko ti lo o mo ele ye ye e le ko ni o And there it is right there. Iku koni riwa gbeche may death have nothing to do do with us. Ame akpo, ame akpo. So amen to that on behalf of myself and you, my friends. Ah, uh, so Iku koni riwa gbeche joining us. Uh, uh, joining us. Uh, Solly from Abia State. Good to have you, Solly. Our uh, father of the bride, Ajan Leko, Ajan Leko. So uh, there's Ajan Leko right there, your favorite voice and mine. Uh, Ekene joins us. Uh, he's still not in bed. I wonder when the man sleeps. Uh, Dewale joins us. Uh, always a delight uh, when Dewale is here. Uh, rational mind, uh, it's been a moment. He joins us now. Uh, Charles and next to make up the crew. Uh, still plenty of spaces. Uh, uh, plenty of spaces still. Anybody that wants to hop on, uh, hop on. So anybody that wants to hop on, hop on, uh, because we have uh, a, a, a decent compliment of our, of um, of panelists. We'll do a quick eight minute whip round, uh, just so we get to voices fairly quickly. Uh, we kick it off in the order, uh, but we have to try and abide by the eight minutes somewhat. Uh, but we kick it off with uh, with Solly, uh, who, who's first in line. Uh, Solly, Alpha. Hello everyone. I know you guys have missed me, especially rational mind. Well, um, I've missed you. I have missed you. I don't think you have missed me. Anytime I come in first, one man will quickly start saying that yeah, there's space, there's space. No, I, man, I, you know, how uh, many uh, 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 eh? Look, look at that, eh? If, they, if you don't say I am, nobody will say that word. Eh, 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 look at it. Uh, look at it. Uh, yeah, so, 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 yeah, no, good to see you. Yeah, we have missed you, Solly. So, so, uh, what, what, what have you been up to? Did you travel? No, I was here. I was here in Orlando. I've been, uh, there know. was a time you were going around Europe uh, fairly quick, uh, f fairly frequently. Uh, yeah, uh, the, I just, the, I just, the, 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 the budget is not there. Bitcoin is not paying out anymore. Bitcoin, crypto. No, it, it was during COVID. I was very, very bored. So I started traveling and traveling. So I got used to traveling. So it was just the final calm down. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, if there's one thing I always recommend to young, single, especially men, is to travel as much as you can before you settle down. Yeah, I, I'm. I still want to travel, Sha, but this time I have to plan for it. It's not like before. Things seem different. The airports are not as free as before. The last time I traveled, it was so full. That's when I knew that okay, things are getting back to normal. Before, when I used to travel, everywhere was free, straight to the point, no delay, no nothing. I, I won't lie, I miss COVID. <laughs> Yeah, I, no. You, you, your next trip should be to Asia. Go to Thailand and go and do the little lady boy trail and what? No, God forbid, though. Uh, uh, lady boy. I, I want to go to Asia, but uh, I don't know. I've not. I wanted to go. If it was during COVID, I would have gone. But now I'm just too. I'm just too lazy to travel anywhere. Mm. Where I really want to go to is Nigeria. <laughs> when, when was the last time you were there? Ah, I think 2013 or something. 20 what? 13. I ask me when I, when I, I was last there. When were you last there? M maybe maybe 2009 or something. I don't know. Nigeria has changed a bit, Sharp. Yes. Things are looking a little bit better. You just need to find out touches and everything will be perfect. But they don't want to hear what. They used to say Nigerians are smart, but sometimes when I look at ourselves, we, I, they, some of them used to look dumb to me. But compared to the world, we are, we are much more cunning <laughs> than the majority of the people outside Nigeria. So that's a plus. But anyways, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bells. And when you click the notification bells, click all notifications. And like, uh, the, I already said like the video. So. I want to talk about some topics. Let me not try to take too much time. The 
the what do they call it the headers that no no headers bandits that are demanding uh, nigeria's budget <laughs> uh, 40, 40 trillion naira those ones are not hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my goodness me you know yeah. nigeria Don't should not forget yeah. about any projects this year you know like tinubu said we, we should all sacrifice so people like akpabio i know he has been waiting for that special pardon that they put in the budget but it seems like we have to give it to bandits to let all those people go but see this thing is not funny Nigerians play too much. Because all this that, that's too more than the pardon now. Uh, the pardon is four four trillion. They want forty trillion. Yes, now that's why I said everybody has to forget about budget. Everybody has to sacrifice, you know. But we laugh and we joke about all these things. We go to Instagram. They've quickly turned it to joke. You look at the comment section. Very unserious set of people, and these are people with high IQ. But it seems that it's it's, being, it's not being utilized, you know. This, I've always been saying it. We should use the way Obasanjo went. Clear the whole area. Use weapons and finish the whole area. Tell them, if you are not a bandit, don't stay in this area. That's Sambisa forest. We should cleanse it. Cleanse it. Any, 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 any life in there, any living thing, wipe the place out. If you are not a bandit, leave that area. Why are you there? You tell them you want to, you cleanse them like you have a, 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 a pests in your farm. But no, people don't want to take this thing serious. I think U.S. has even offered to help. But you know those people, me, I don't always trust them. They always have ulterior motive. But at this point, you know, just do something about it. It's getting out of hand. Nigerians are very, mm, especially Nigerian males, they are very, well, go. I don't know the English word of one go. You know, they are very... Uh, ah, one man, please. What is the English word for that one go? It, it, would it be docile? Dance. Dance or docile. Not docile. Uh, what gone now? Dance. Don't uh, like they were uh, uh, one go anyway. Yes. No, no. They, they, are, they are very go. Go. They are very go. Very uh, not dominant, you know. When somebody tries something, Sub subservient, gullible, gullible, not gullible. Oh, 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 that they are demanding a uh, 40 trillion 40 trillion and if you speak to these people i can bet with you that they are not joking about that amount these are the kind of people you need to wipe out unfortunately when they catch this kind of people they bring them back into police force they say that they are rehabilitating them people that have already by human being how are you going to rehabilitate those kind of people that's a joke and these people they have they, they can literally within one day enter lagos just like that, you know? And another thing, these people seem like they are not even from Nigeria. They may not even be from Nigeria. Another thing, they've been making so much money, so, so much money. Where is this money going to? Because they can't be keeping it in cash. It's surely entering one bank, you know? So all these bankers that you are seeing that are wearing suits, they are one of the elites that are terrorizing the, the people of Nigeria. But they don't want to carry them. I don't know what politicians... Uh, well, actually, I do know what politicians have with these bankers. They are the ones keeping their money. So, you know, it's just... it's just They are just... It's just a feeding frenzy of the poor Nigerians. The people that have little, you still want to collect more from them. They, are, they have to do something about it, man. If, if they want people to come to the country, because I know that's their, that's, what, that's their major aim. They want people to start moving to Nigeria. Yeah, and expatriates they are not they are not really focused on uh, <clears throat> uh foreign Niger nigerians outside so, sorry i was going to ask a question like if um you know we've been giving these bandits money and things like that what do you think will happen if we actually stop like what do we have to lose like if we just say kill kidnap and do whatever you like we're not giving you any money do you think it's a better solution than just because this is i think the whole four trillion thing they've taken it a bit too far it's like it's more or less like these guys are not even serious. Like we can actually this not four trillion, 40, uh, 40 trillion. trillion. Like what will actually happen if yeah, we the, 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 the only issue is we, we can't say uh we, we can't say kill them now. That's the thing now. 
No, it's not. In regards to kill the victim. Yeah, but but if we just ignore them, like they they kidnap two hundred, we just maybe we tell the uh, uh, mass media or news outlets not to publish anything terrorism. Just throw it under the bus. Mm-hmm. No, no yeah, yeah, you, really you know how you you know the no, the, the, people, the news they always pay. post out to the government now. They they will find a way to pay. So, they will so, find so, a way so the parent of those children, you think they will keep quiet? Yeah, they can what? shout. The, the ones of Chiba girls, what happened to them now? They've been shouting since. Did they find anything? So the government uh, responsibility to secure life should not matter again. That's what. That's they, it. For, that's the thing. You're saying the government's responsibility. They don't care about responsibility. So yeah, the one giving them responsibility that they don't want to take. Hold on, hold on. So we should not let those children go like that. But that's what we've been doing for years. Isn't that what we've been doing for years? That's not true. That's Chikwa girls. I mean, how many of them have they rescued? Hold on, it's not only Chikwa girl that has been the only uh, situation or or kidnap of uh, school children that we have had. Several other um, uh, uh, um, uh, incidents has happened where they carted away with uh, children from their school, and they were later released. So don't just say, oh, just leave them. And then another day they will come and go, and we just, just, I mean, what are you talking about? No, if we do that, the, the bandits will not stop. They will, the, the family, they, they will just, in fact, the victims will start spying more because the bandits will get very frustrated and just start spying the victim because they may not be expecting any money and they just want to end it. You know, so it will be worse for the victim. But me, I've, I've, it may not sound good, but I'll say that, man, if they've caught you, they've caught you. Let's just, we, we finally have a way to catch them. We finally have their position, you know, or you just trick these bandits, you know. You, you, you know, you know, um, uh, Solly, what, what you said earlier is probably, probably really the key point. How are they able, because these people, they are collecting 50, 70, 100 million. How are they able to move that money? That's the thing. Woman. You know, how are they able to move that money? It took to in, catch them in, in, in hard currency. In hard I currency. told you now, one man, see, there are some local government chairman. Let's not even get to senators and governors. There are local government chairman, chairmen that have up to 300 houses. And I'm just being, I'm, I'm going on the low side. Some of them have 500 houses in that country. There are plenty ways to, to save that money. But yes, some of them still put it in the bank. And that's the bank's bank's fault also. They don't know how to track and trace money. And that's because we are still using a cash economy. We need to be using a cashless economy. That will stop the banditry. You know, they will just go into fraud and it will be easier to catch them. Or you can trick the bandits. I mean, actually, they always say, oh, Nigerians are smart. But you cannot have smart bandits. Okay, look at this strategy, for, for example. You can, for example, yes, give the bandits the money. Let them escape, and you put a tracker in the money. You announce to the public that the bandits escaped, but you'll be wiping them out in silence. That way, they will not stop what they are doing, and you can keep on catching them. The ones that think they are escaping, because government is publishing that they are escaping, will continue. And as long as they continue, you keep on wiping them out one by one, one by one. Why would the government? Why would the government put a tracker to catch themselves? Oh, 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 all right, you have four more minutes, uh, Sully. So, yes, let's move on to the next topic. I can end farmers' headers crisis in two or three, three weeks. They are not uh, serious. Miss, I heard that some of the, sometimes these farmers are always the ones to start it. Then the headers are the ones that retaliate. You can't go and be giving uh, people land, this thing, all the money that these people are making. How much is a cow? Can they start a proper, uh, a proper uh, ranch? Isn't, isn't that if you say you want the country to move forward, isn't that the sensible thing to do? Is, is any country giving anybody ra- land to roam around? No. They have enough money to build it. They've been selling cows for years. Cow is not cheap. You have enough profits. It's just greed. It's just pure greed. You have enough profits to build a ranch and end these things. But they don't care. They, they don't care. They give these headsmen guns. They don't care about who the headmen wipe away. All they do, all they care about is their cow. They don't care about the human lives that is lost in the process. Same thing with Dangote uh, tra- trailers. Those people should not be using trailers. They should not be using trailers to transport all this, all these their goods. You have tracks, you have trains. Put a space, buy a space on the track and ship your goods. People are dying. Thousands of people are dying every year. 
for no reason. They should, they should even be paying a fine to drive their lorry on the on the on the major roads. They should be paying a fine. You know, people are just dying unnecessarily for simple policies, very, very simple policies. Thousands of people are dying. But the human activists, they are focused on politics because that's where they want to eat. They don't know how to be activists. They just want to go and fight for office, fight for office, fight for office. They will look for somebody like Namdi Kanu just so that they can raise their profile to go and defend him. If you say you want to fight for human life, you say you want to fight for the people, you look at this kind of little, little, tiny policies, you will solve the problems that you can solve now. These are the kind of things that they should be protesting for. These Dangote people, they have enough money. All these people, they have enough money. But they don't care. As long as they, people are dying. <clears throat> but they don't care. And you, the people, you are just sitting down watching. You'll be shouting, Peter, I'll be this one and that one. Simple policies that you can do from the ground that will save millions. That can save millions in a year. They don't want to face it. They own, all they care about is clout. Both the people suffering <laughs> and the people oppressing the, suff the people suffering. So, yes, <clears throat> very unserious set of people, all of them. All they know how to do is joke. Uh, what's oh, oh. the next topic, please? Oh, all right, take us to this one. UK banned care workers from entering with dependents. So, uh, the immigration laws are uh, it's usually in a build up to, to an election. You, you, you usually get this uh, sort of uh, right wing posturing. So, what are you making then of this uh, hard line, uh, hard line stance by the United Kingdom? Me, I've always seen the United Kingdom as a as a as a as a bunch of a government of scammers. <laughs> That's how I've always seen them. You know, if they can find a way to scam you legally, they will do it. They won't they will they will take the chance always. I can always I can always put my money on them taking the chance on scamming you 100 percent UK government. But you can still let me enter all, but you know, I don't even care if you don't let me enter. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I, I, have you ever been here? Oh man, I applied for this very foolish UK people visa. They denied me two times for very flimsy reasons. Do you not have an? Do you not have an European passport? I haven't gotten one yet. Why I'm not? <laughs> do you for, want me to apply for, for, for the for the length of time that you've been living in? Um... I've not really seen the need to. I'm not a traveler. It's only during COVID I traveled. Ah, uh, you were traveling on a Nigerian passport. Yes. God. <laughs> they don't check it. If you are in Europe, they don't check now. You just move around. So it's only when I went to Dubai that, you know. But anyway, sir. Uh, where was I? Uh, UK workers. Yeah. So the problem with it is that no matter what type of visa you take, if you are taking a visa that you cannot handle and you are having problems like feeding, they will not want to continue to push this kind of visa because then the wrong type of people are taking the visa. Anybody can take any type of visa. You go there, you come with your dependents, you are now having spousal issue. The women, they come there, UK men lie to them, and before you know it, the women just want to throw everything they have away. UK men are not going to... I'm not talking about like one man, no. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the road UK men. They will lie to you, but they are not going to take care of you like a Nigerian man. They are not going to pay your bills. They are not going to take care. In fact, they are not going to take care of your child. The majority of them. So Nigerian women don't think about that when they start misbehaving. They just see fine boy, they hear sweet words, and they start misbehaving and scattering the whole relationship. Some Nigerian men come there. They forget that they are not in Nigeria. Just because the whole... Um, Society seems like it's a Nigerian society. They come there and they start chasing, doing things like chasing little little children. The rubbish that they were doing in Nigeria, they think they can come outside Nigeria and, and be doing it. All the rubbish that they used to take, all the nonsense they used to take in Nigeria, they leave Nigeria and start doing it. All this kind of rubbish is what they don't like. You come here and you misbehave. You don't use the visa for what you're supposed to use it for. Different types of things you say. No, I, I think it's really about immigration control because... um. There's been yeah. a lot of um, uh, there's been a lot of outcry about uh, the country being overwhelmed by uh, yes, foreigners. but one man they can they they only really implement it when they can find a reason to. If you do not give them a reason to implement it, it is not good for the 
for the outlook it is not good for the image you know you know how all these Euro uh, european countries care about their image so it's not good for the image of what they want to do so the first of all they have to find the reason they have to display the reason and then no they no, no, no the, the reasons are pretty obvious um the, you you know you know you know you know the united kingdom runs a welfare rate sort of a system so so um, the the hospitals are clogged up the social housing system is bogged up you know everything is just uh, is just clogged all because of migration uh, well, well they are using it to migration but, but they didn't really build enough social housing in the first way uh, but uh th that's really the main reason uh, and the and the and the natives are complaining so when the immigrants come before they become citizens they can already start getting benefits well, they get, it depends on the circumstances of their entry into the country now. They are not going to let you to be destitute in the United Kingdom. So if you are sleeping rough, they won't allow you to sleep rough. So they will have to provide accommodation. And they, pardon me. And they won't allow you to starve to death. So they have to provide some sort of a stipend. And, and uh, obviously, if you fall sick, they can't ask you to, 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 to wither away. So they have so so these are the things. It's a it's a it's a welfare based uh, system. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. They found a reason. If you came there and you planned properly, you will not need all these incentives from the government. I don't think I've ever asked government for any incentive. I don't even know what benefits I have. You know, because I planned my life properly. I know where I came to. I know my finance. I know if I could handle the situation. And if you can't, you go to a poorer country is all the same you still get the same i think you still get the same amount of um, opportunities everywhere in europe it's, it's the same it's not any different anywhere so if you can't handle it then you're putting stress on the government you've given them a reason when i went to germany i saw a woman she had four children this was a nigerian woman four it, children. yes yes you, you get that a lot especially with the edo people and the people from the east in germany uh, you, the, you, know, you know the welfare is the welfare system uh in germany is the most generous uh but so, but they're good, they're changing it now of course uh all because of nigerians you know i i ran away from that germany i didn't even like it you know they 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 uh, when you say abuse eh you they they abuse the system in, i've never seen anything like that in my life they abuse it they squeeze, they squeeze it to the thin. They, they just suck it dry. They suck it. How can you give birth just to collect benefits? I, I, I don't even, I don't even understand. 18, 18 years, you brought. They, they years. used to do that in this country as well. You give birth for not really for family, just for social housing. It was terrible, and I'm a black man. For and and then and, and Nigerians being the way they are. They will, they will take the social housing in London, then they will travel to, to Manchester, make themselves destitute, take another social housing there, then hop around the country and collect, you know, social housing all over the place. So now I'm a black Nigerian man and the thing is disgusting me and I cannot stand it. I can imagine how these people that live here pay the taxes for what you are abusing feel. I, I can just imagine how they feel. So, so many things was just running through my, I would not want to stay there. And these people were staying there comfortably without shame, abusing the system. And they will even look, they will look at you in an insulting manner. You, you know, you know, you know, a lot of people, they've actually built, um, they've built houses for, for themselves in a door and place that off the back of uh, the welfare system in Germany. You know, see somebody saying, oh, somebody cannot plan on getting sick. I promise you, getting sick is 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 a very tiny percentage of of how these people are abusing the system. You you need to see it with your eyes. It was just terrible. For for they were following down the road like rats, and I just I was just seeing more and more and more everywhere everywhere just abusing the system, abusing the system, abusing the system. Ab ah, I, I just couldn't believe it. So you are giving them reasons. If if even if they have these issues. And they cannot see. Oh, oh, although, to be fair, like somebody is pointing out, it's not only Nigerians that are doing it. Uh, yes. uh, um, a lot of uh, East Europeans do it. The Armenians, the Albanians, especially, uh, the, especially the Ethiopians, no, not the Ethiopians, the Somalis, 
even you know, the Arabs, even yeah, the Arabs. Yes, they have a lot Arabs. of children, so they can get as big because um the system here, Janle Koko, is that uh, after a while you're allowed to buy your social house, your so your you, you know at a discounted rate. So they'll give you a uh, thirty percent, and then you go and look for uh seventy percent. And usually, if you want to get a mortgage, thirty percent is the deposit uh, thereabouts. Uh, so. Uh, they, they just have all of these children and get as big a house as possible in posh areas sometimes, and it really rankles. It, it, it will rankle the natives now. Uh, we, we keep saying racism, racism. If I was a, if, if I was an Oyo man, I paid my tax in my history in Oyo, and you've come from Rwanda, and, and you are getting preferences over me, I, 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 it will jam me now. I, will, I mean, I will, I will I want to, you know. It, it's hey, not cool. Um, Hello, so, one man. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not just that, just one minute. It's the way that is brazen and they do it with it's nonchalance. They, they glamorize it, they glorify it, you mm. know, in the face of the people that are paying the tax for it. So, yes, everyone does it, but okay. who, who glorifies it? You know, hey, hey, Sally, a quick, quick question if you don't mind. Um, so in Germany, you're talking about um, how come they're trying to change the system if if it doesn't uh, if it's not a problem if the welfare system is not a, a problem on the German um, economy or, or, or welfare. It is it, is not it's not um, it's not about the economy. It's just the outlook, how it looks. This is, I don't know about Americans. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I, I never really care about Britain. They always annoy me. I've always been annoyed by British people ever since I met. Not all of them, but majority of them. But the Europeans themselves, they care about image. They care about how things look, you know. And if things look bad, they don't want it around. They 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 care about every single cent in their pocket. So they may not talk, but in their mind, they're always calculating how much they are losing based on you. They always have that financial amount in their mind. They always have it. So, you know, it's just their culture and how they are. It's, it's all about well, image. Uh, um, so because this kind of comes to, it comes to immigration. Hold on, it comes to immigration issue. Uh, oh, hold on, sorry. Let uh, Prince uh, come in a bit. Yeah. I was going to say, so it, to me, it comes down to immigration issue, right? So if... um. If uh, if they can afford it, I come. Oh yeah, I come. The other immigrants, uh, all those people on welfare from all these other parts of the uh, the world, I come is not a, a net positive for for the economy, for that for their system, for not for them not to worry about it. What, what do they care if they're getting all the benefit? Like Angelica Co and, uh, and and Mike always say that immigrants always bring positive um uh net positive to the to wherever they go. So why are the Germans or the European nations so concerned about the welfare system? It should be positive to them, right? It's no, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Prince, there are there are there are several types of there's several categories of uh, migrants. Uh, if we are looking still in the German example, there are several uh, uh, categories of migrants. There there are migrants that are notoriously dependent. So we're talking about people from. Places like Albania, that East European coast, where you have the gypsies coming in, they, they are notorious for milking the system and they are notorious for pickpocketing. So they already have that strap line. And the Nigerians, they, 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 they are notorious also for milking any welfare system that there are. But uh, there was a time that um, the Germans opened up their borders to uh, people from Syria, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, because they have a population deficit, and they identify that those sort of people, they will fit into their society more, and they have a history of working hard, you know, and, and, and being educated and all that. So, so they categorize them somewhat uh, in terms of uh, maybe not stereotyping, but how they understand the demography. Well, yeah, of, that, that, well, and that's the point there, because you know, not, not all immigration is the same. I mean, there, there are categories of immigration, there's no doubt. So, but there are some some immigrants that are a burden on the system, but some people don't don't want to acknowledge that. They they think it's it's all positive because they come to the country. I, I'm not sure how a mother of four with four little children comes into a country and be right away a net positive for that country when the children have to be on welfare for such a long time before even the the country gets any benefit from them. 
it costs a lot of money. People don't know the actual cost of of, of no no. I, I I think you are misreading that, uh, uh, Prince. Uh, you you see it, that mother bringing in four children, they don't uh, like Germany, for instance. They have an uh, and really the whole of Europe. They have an aging population and they have a very low birth rate. So they're through migration trying to repopulate their country. So that that mother bringing uh, four children in, let's say they're under the age of uh, six, they're about, they don't see them so much as a burden on our society. They are seeing them as four heads that can be trained to become engineers, doctors. Like, so they, they will fit into the labor force over the course of uh, a shorter period. Uh, so that, especially the Germans, that's, that's how they see it. Well, uh, well, okay. I guess if if you talk about a nation like like Germany with a uh, population um, growth problem, maybe that'd be a, a positive. But nonetheless, I mean, uh, the uh, uh, children under three, four years old, you're still going to spend at least the next twenty years or so raising those raising those children before they go into the workforce. So for that for that many uh, years, uh, do you know how much uh, money is going to cost? And then they'll spend the next fifty years paying tax yes well so, depend, well, yes, so, well that, it is you're making an assumption that everyone is going to turn out to be doctors and engineer that that's that's uh, one, that's a one stretch way or, one way or the other they're going to pay tax as long as they're working in europe they'll pay tax well that so, could it could work out i guess man is right. <laughs> oh, 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 all right bring it home uh, solid then we go on to our daily coco we did say eight, eight minutes so so bring it home so you know you guys should be very careful of uk no no matter what type of visa they are giving they always they always have something to benefit and once they've they've benefited enough they will close all the doors they're always doing that thing they denied me visa because they said i had two accounts i had money in british pounds and i had money i, I didn't have money in my local currency now they said oh they denied me the visa because why didn't i have money in my local currency that it, it makes sense, you know, but you know that I have money in British pounds and you still denied me because you wanted me to pay for another visa uh, again. So if you give them a reason to scam you, they will scam you. That's what I know about British governments. They will scam you. If, it's, if, you, are, if you are dealing with European governments, they are very lenient. They are very understanding. They may tell you to change some things. But UK, ah, they like money. They are greedy, very greedy. So yeah, that's oh, 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 all right, Brilliant. Uh, uh, stay there, Solly. We'll loop around very quickly. Uh, up next, Adanle Koko. Uh, Adanle Koko, uh, where do you want to come in? Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, woman. Uh, greetings to our listeners around the world. Click on the like button, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Let me start with that uh, Senator Ningi. Uh, what is his name? Hello? Can someone hear me? We can yeah, hear yeah, you. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ca ca carry on. Yes, uh, he doubles down on that uh, four trillion uh, per, day, per day of the budget. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, the man came out today uh, to clarify his position against the uh, the lies and the barbaric attack on him by uh, that ugly man called. Uh, by your nonuga you see if we cannot start to tell ourselves the truth in that country and people in the position uh like the senators who are representing us if can if they can't you know speak up when something is wrong um, particularly when the administration is doing wrong, wrong thing, and uh, maybe um, within the government circle, some things uh, that are going on there that are wrong, they cannot speak up. Then we cannot have a country that will work. So what that man is just telling us was his observation alongside with others that you know they saw in the budget um, uh, a money 
being allocated to some specific specific project and the location of it that amount to 25 trillion and the balance of 3 trillion they cannot see they saw the money project is not seen location is not seen what is responsible for that that's a bad party right there if if you were to be party that's a bad party so some people or people in charge of the budget appropriation within that senate and the budget office should be able to come out and clarify things against what he claimed that he saw. It's not by attacking him. It's not by abusing him. It's not by saying he's mischievous because he's a northerner and he's not happy with uh, his southerner ruling us. This man has came out specifically. Is, is that is that not exactly what is going on at Janle Koko, that the Malam is trying to ad, attack at the Nobos administration? That is not what is going on. If he's not speaking to the budget party or what he saw in the budget that is not right, then we can say if it's not specific about what he's talking about, then we can say, oh, he's talking about this. It's, it's um, you know, uh, uh, people can call him uh, maybe, um, um, how do I describe it? Ethnic jingoist. But he, he, he's speaking particularly on issue that borders on our well-being. As Nigerians, and the nation as a whole. And then the government, like I said, the budget office and the appropriation committee and the Senate should be able to make clarification for us. So the guy is doing his job as a senator, representing Nigerians. It's a Nigerian senator. Though he has a specific area he's represent, but he's a Nigerian senator. Every Nigerian can walk into his office and ask for anything from any part of Nigeria. You can go and push for any issue. You can hold any senator uh, 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 accountable because he's a Nigerian senator. So the guy is doing his job. I'm happy. I was with him yesterday. A lot of people some people, some of you here, were taking the position of uh, that Ononuga because you guys have assumed, oh, he, he, he's attacking a Yoruba a man that is the president and uh, they are petting him ethnic jingoes. But now he doubled down. He came out and he's so specific about what he said. And what he said, he said, and he, he made mention that he did not represent the voice of anybody but he was speaking on his own volition as a senator of Nigeria. So this ethnic nonsense that some of you are, are, are jumping up in uh, claiming yesterday Baba Jale, is, is can I interject totally you? not right. Baba Jale, okay, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't uh, on the show when the topic was discussed yesterday, but I wanted a clarification. Um, on the fact that uh, when he came out, did this particular Senator Ningi actually specifically mention the agency or the department where the alleged party pardon actually took place? Did he mention the intricacies or the breakdown of how the money was discovered? Did he mention in his um, in his uh, public declaration? Did he mention? I want to know. Hold on. What he said, I want you to list it. Okay. He found the money. Okay. Particular project title is not there. 
okay, which particular and, agency of government was supposed to no, carry no, out that, that? That is that that is not a question for me to answer. That okay, is if he did not specify in it, in his it, in his public about that, like, okay, hold on, yeah. let's be logical here. That's if a key. Not, that, that's a key point that Dewali is making, though. Yeah, because look, we I, I we are so used to this um you know sound bite sort of you know yes go out there go to the press and I'm not I'm not saying that you know if it actually happened that it should be um encouraged or no if it actually happened I I I'm truly I throw my weight you know uh, around that I mean behind that however I want this particular senator. Who chose to ignore this the, the the rules of the of the of the parliament, in which there's a way they can channel, but decided to embrace the press, so because that he could you know expose this alleged pardon, did he actually if he did not mention the particular agency or the project it uh, in particular and how much was budgeted and where it was actually located in that budget, then it's not it's just it's just making noise. Because if you are not specific, then Jenna will not be able to know or look where, I mean, where they need to search in that budget that was presented to them. But you going to the public saying that you switched up and you know trying to, to speak to the political aspect of it and neglecting those essential information that will actually help Nigeria to pinpoint, just like we have better I do, I mean, is it better or better I do, you know, that mismanage the money. So Nigeria will be able to know who to hold responsible, which agency, you know, pre uh, uh, presented such budget to the budget office or to the, you know, before it was actually passed to the parliament, so that we won't just be making all this, you know, or supporting this man blindly. I'm not saying that, you know, it happens or it doesn't happen, but I want the details, because without the details, we're just going to join his chorus and be singing, oh, paneling or no paneling and what, I mean, yeah, yeah, but, on, but, uh, it, they, 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 they were to be fair, uh, um, this is exactly what the, um, the, the the senator is highlighting uh, because when the first when the first uh, uh, came, came into the public with that um, uh, is it an accusation or accusation or assertion when it first came into the public with that statement uh, by your honor uh, the, the, you know the budget that was submitted it was twenty seven point five trillion but the budget that was approved was a uh, 28 uh, uh they added an additional 1.2 trillion uh, at the senate which tinubu just assented to because he didn't want to rock the boat but there is no uh, uh, itemization in the, 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 there's just too many gray areas in that budget is, is essentially what is highlighting I just, uh, sometimes when you have a budget presented, we've never balanced budget for, for years. But when you make a presentation, I mean, when you, when you, uh, when you present a budget, sometimes during the reconciliatory, you'll be able to find some you know, discrepancies or in some area, in some cases where you have to have some amendment and all that. It happens. But, I mean, we have to have the full details, the breakdown of what actually, you know, amounts to that. Uh, three trillions uh, naira, so that we'll be able to know where actually the budget was padded. Other than that, it just amounts to noise. That's the way I see it, Woma. Go ahead, Abandale. You see, if we are all, if we don't try to search for the truth and the fact sometimes, that we will not really know what is really going on within the um at the top there people representing us uh, uh in, in position of power this man is raising a legitimate question and it should be answered by the appropriate authority or the people that are in a position to answer not to go, you guys are showing as if you are all, all of you that are supporting against this guy are all Yoruba people. You are painting a picture that anybody that go against the Numbu government is anti-good for Nigerian country. 
you guys are wrong. Well, you have to prove it. When people speak against misgovernance or some what is not good that is happening. Papa, if I say that this, you embezzled money, if I allege that you embezzled money now, and I'm not specific, won't you take offense to that? Would you want me to? The guy did not say so. What are you guys talking about? That is he not said what that he was... said. He's just asking a question on what he saw that is inappropriate in the budget. So he and was the one that alleged, and he needed to do what you, you see. He is the one that alleged mis, uh, uh, paddling or misappropriation of um, uh, budget or whatever it is you want to call it. You should show Nigeria where he discovered these discrepancies. You don't just make allegations and expect Nigerians to go and figure it out themselves. He's the one that made the allegation. Show us. Where was it? Where where did you find the discrepancy? Show us the receipt. Don't just make a blanket accusation. It is not blanket. This man, he, he said it. And he came out to the press again. Standing on what he said. That's to tell you that He's not playing. He, he, he is really serious about what he's saying. And the appropriate authority should answer his question. It's, it's going to be like 48 hours. Nobody ever come out to really come out and explain. In a democracy where things are done properly, where the facts and figures are there, and where you have transparency, people, some people should have, you know, been out to debunk what these guys say, laying before us the fact. Well, well, Jack, can I say you know, something? Look, look, we we have to be, we have to be. Look, I don't know what is wrong with you guys, thinking that people that are speaking against Tinubu or anything that has to do with the way he's governing the state, you think that 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 people are not patriotic or they hate that country. You guys are wrong. We can should I, be able to I, ask questions. A lot of things have happened. Look at the look at look at the um what do you call this thing? Um um the ways and means being investigated. How on earth that the government draw I mean a, a new uh, what do you call it? Um um, um uh, ways and means in the amount of 23 trillion within eight years and the interest and everything that attached to it amounts to seven trillion totaling 30 trillion that is ridiculous so people that are asking questions if some people are asking questions on that now they want to attack oh they, they they don't know what they are doing they are just they they are, they are this they are that but we are seeing it it's been investigated now According to the senior president, he said they are waited for the accountant general to submit to get them information concerning this um, additional fee that it, it, it totals seven trillion. We are talking of trillion, for God's sake. It's not billion, seven trillion. They are not hearing anything from what do you call the accountant general? The same from the central bank. Your Cardoso could not provide information. That is what. Uh, 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 Adele Coco, be before you go too far, it looks as though the guy has retracted. He says, uh, Senator Ningi uh, backtracks, claims he never criticized uh, President Tinobu uh, over 2024 budget. So let's see what the retraction is. Uh, 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 Senate, uh, a, a senator, Ningi, uh, PDP Bauti Central on Monday in Abuja, denied saying uh, President Paula Tinobu was operating two different budgets for 2024. Um, I'm not quite sure what the retraction is. Uh, the BBC Outer Service had reported that Mr. Ningi made the submission in an interview he granted to the British media, media giant. Uh, it said Mr. Ningi spoke under the banner of the Northern Senators Forum and claimed that the National Assembly passed 20, 25 trillion as, as the 2024 budget and not 28.7 trillion that was being implemented by the federal government. Speaking with journalists on Monday, Mr. Ningi said he was thoroughly misrepresented 
and was taken aback by the twist of events. Mr. Ningi also said he was not representing the Northern uh, Senators Forum, as reported Ed, but spoke on his uh, in his personal capacity. With the press release I saw in the media yesterday, I was taken aback. Uh, at no time did I say Bola Tenobu is impl implementing two budgets. Uh, there was no time. At no time did I say Bola Tenobu was biased against the North. Uh, at no time did I say Bola Tenobu is implementing... Now, at no time did I say Bola Tinobu is implementing 25 uh, trillion Naira budget. There is no way I will talk about 25 trillion and 28 trillion. Reacting to Mr. Ningi's uh, interview, the president, so I, I'm not quite sure. This is a qualified retraction. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure that he's fully retracted uh, the thrust of it. He, he uh, didn't retract. He, 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 no. Yeah, because what he's querying is a 4 trillion. Uh, overspill that is unaccounted for. He didn't retract nothing. He was just telling us there that he was misrepresented. In that report, as against what he said, with uh, as against his interview on BBC uh, Hausa. So he is not retracted nothing, and he, he was saying he did not attack the Numbu. In his interview in Nawusa, BBC Nawusa, and he said that some people that are saying that federal government had two budget, one twenty-five trillion, another one twenty-six. He didn't say so. That it was misrepresented. It's a lie against him. So, look, we must start to listen to people that are raising issue with the way the government business is being conducted and not see them as enemy of your tribal leader who is the president. So this man, is doing a good job, asking questions, and it should be answered by the appropriate cutters. That is yeah. why I'm in this situation, I'm a, I'm a woman. Um, this senator, um, how long has it been uh, a senator um, in Nigeria? And also, um, is this his first time ever raising such concerns? Um, I know it's been there. But I don't know whether this is the first time he's going to raise this kind of and Was it part of the senators that, that voted for the, what do you call it, the Buhari's, um, the largest, what, what do you call it? That? No, no, that, that's what I was hinting at earlier on, you know. This is some uh, sort of a, 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 a bookie strikes back uh, sort of move, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to see his antecedents and, and see his, his, um, his background, really. If it's, if it's a uh, can I, if I, can, I can I answer your question about um how how long yeah. he has been? Yeah, sure. Well, he has been a senator. Um he has been in the National Assembly um I think since 1999. I think um he he lost some I think he lost election uh or somehow um he was um outside the Nigerian Senate for some time, inactive, not in I mean not active in in any um political about eight years. Eight years. yeah so and then after that he came this last election i think he won and then he came back yeah so it, it, what, yes what's, that, what's the point of your what's the point of your question the fight say is a uh, i didn't um uh, uh, that was prince that he says uh he was not part of the ninth assembly so it, it might not not well be a uh, part of the uh looting the endorsement of the looting spree of emifili and uh, Buari. You know, the funnest and warmer, the Senate have their own uh, rules, the, 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 the uh, parliament rule, the way, I mean, what you need to follow to channel some of these grievances. So when you embrace the media, that's why you don't see Senator just blabbing or speaking anyhow in the public. They will sanction you. Whether the cause you are championing is correct, is right or it's not, they will sanction you. So for him to have embraced the media instead of going to the hand to the floor and table this grievance 
they will sanction him. That's why a lot of people are. Yeah, but it, it comes under. It, it should come under whistleblower protection, though, should, shouldn't it? Yeah, but there's a procedure for whistleblower. You don't just go to the media and say, "Oh, this is what." No, where is the media? Yeah, is, is that not? Is that not your purpose to make? He will, a... he will be singing canaries in the in the, the DSS again. What are you talking about? There's a process for everything. Even though if you have discovered anything, there's a way you go about it. As soon as you, you are part of the government, you are not an outsider. So oh, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's a process. Adewale, Adewale, yesterday we were talking about uh, some uh, girl that came out to make some statements. You didn't talk about process that yesterday. You talk about free speech and all those we, stuff. That's we, we, oh, you, about your yeah. cousin Erisco? Yeah, but today, today you are talking about process. No, that, 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 yeah. this, that is that's private. Yeah. This is a public. That's is private. That no, this is yeah, a public. We're, no. we're not supposed to have more freedom This is of a public sector. Than, this uh, is not private. Uh, this is private. Public, this is sector, public sector. Well, public sector has to be more of freedom of speech than even the one you talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are talking about account. We are talking about account. Hold on, hold on, hold. Hold on, hold on. Public administration is different. When it comes to uh, 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 your right to free speech, when it comes to public administration, as long as you are holding a public office, there are some things you just can't say in the public. But as a private citizen, you have that right. And some of these actors that we are talking about, they don't have. They are guided by the particular. Um, uh, organs of the government they belong to so they have to go by that rule of that organ that they are you know they, they, are, they, they belong uh, uh, to uh, uh, they were, uh, jafar makes an important point in the comment section he says that uh, and uh, yes we should we all do know this uh maybe we forgot uh it says the senators have the privilege to speak on any issues related to the state uh uh uh, the senators have the privilege to speak on any issues related to the state uh, of the nation in the chambers. Uh, I, I'm not sure, quite sure outside the chamber, so because parliamentary privilege, uh, I think is only within the confines of the of the chambers, but not outside of the chambers. But uh, yes, uh, I, I, I bring bring that space home, then I'll take you on to the discourse and electricity. Yeah, so I think we should begin to listen to people raising on the way the government business is being conducted and not go after those people. Listening to them, let ask the appropriate quarters, uh, appropriate uh, quarters within the government to answer the question and then we can move on from there, but not to uh, all the time support and support the government, particularly because it's a Yoruba man that is leading now. Support him. You, you just really want to label that Yoruba lad. I mean, yeah, you are, you are, you are trying to call people you, out for a fight. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and this guy has saying that he's talking rubbish. All of you are Yoruba now. What, 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 how long will we continue to do this nonsense? Supporting government. I mean, when somebody is raising questions, you say, oh, it should be shut down. It's talking nonsense. That is not the way that the country is run. When somebody raised question, let that question be answered. And it's raising legitimate issue that borders, that concerns the life of every Nigerian. It's our own commonwealth. The budget is for us. And if one of the lawmakers is raising question, they should listen and ask can, 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 can I say something real quick? Yes. You see, uh, I, I think it's time we need to start uh, differentiating uh, uh, who the Yorubas are and who the Yorubas are not. Uh, should we say those who say who call themselves Yorubas? Um, you see, <clears throat> you see this this whole narrative of uh, people are fighting for Yoruba people. I, I don't even know where that narrative is coming from. Tinubu is not fighting for the Yoruba people. He's fighting for his own interest or whatever interest and his and his criminals around him. I don't know why people always come here and they champion this course of Tinubu as being the Yoruba course. Because I've never seen in the history of that country the 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 how do I call it? I mean this 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 level of sycophancy that I've seen with uh, some some Yorubas who claims to be Yorubas and how they worship this man. This man is above is above board. You can't even you can't even criticize him. You can't even say anything against him. 
You can't even say anything like criticism against him. They will just okay. Um, uh, let me oh, try. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not done. Let me. Can I, please, can I talk, please? I know you're you're you're, you're itching to talk, but let me just land my point. You see, I I, I don't get it, and uh, but I've said it here many times. I said these people are creating a monster. Already, there's a monster in there in in Asura up there. Because when you come here, anything little thing that is said against this guy, or that seems like he's saying is 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 being said against this guy, people will just jump on you. I don't get it. Is this is this if you remember if, if I mean some of us who knew who grew up when Awolowo was there. Awolowo was not revered where this this idiot that sits down in Asura is 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 revered. It's it's it's, it's ex, I mean they carry they carry him like a godlike person. Not even uh, not not, not even. Uh, the uh, presumptive winner of the June, uh, June 12th um, election. Not even Mashudo Abiola was even revered the way this guy, this, this guy is revered. I mean, I don't get it. What is wrong with people? Is it because of what they are going to eat? Would you say he's revered? Is lampooned and pilloried almost no, on a daily, no, no. almost it's, to the it's, point that you feel sorry for no, Just listen to Jim Bryan. It's, 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 it's not revered. Not revered. Not my just he's, 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 uh, hold on, Dewale, for him. He's uh, the uh, DLC uh, of Jim Bryan. I, I even regret that I even shared, I even shared the same time with that guy. I mean, I understand his politics. I understand the game he's playing. Look at how he went and then uh, he was uh, talking about this guy to be arrested. For what? So nobody can criticize this guy. Nobody can criticize anything anymore. anymore. You have to just, you see, what well, man? Uh, well, uh, all of us will be here, we won't die. We will see. I know more about on my lane, my lane, the We will see the end of it. I mean, right. I don't I don't get it when people just can't allow other people to criticize other people. You always want to label it as one thing. I rest my case there, one man. Okay, one man. Give me a few seconds if you don't mind. Yeah, carry on. Uh, I was gonna say, um uh, uh, rational mind submission right now uh, may be uh, what is wrong with uh, people trying to support or criticize uh, Tinbu, for example. Uh, when Joel of Nashville came on yesterday, I did agree with him that um, it's fair. I mean, we, I think we've passed the stage now that that uh, Tinbu's government is in the, in the, in the operation to be um, playing politics. We all should be on the same, I told Joel, we all should be on the same side right now. You know, talking about anything we find wrong or, or to criticize the government for in a more constructive way than coming out like what Rational Mind just did right now, calling him a, an idiot or something like that that sits in the office. See, it, it doesn't promote, you know, the, the solution what, what, that we're what, looking for. What's your understanding of idiots? When I say somebody's an idiot, what, what, what's your understanding well, of idiots? Tell us. Somebody who's a nonchalant. Who, who, who has this nonchalant attitude? And, 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 and to you, that, that, the, the, the so, perception so you, of, you, of an you, idiot to you is, is, is how the, the, the rest of the world sees it. Say, if you see that as an abuse, that's up to you. I'm just describing well, his, his, okay. his disposition to the people of Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. Uh, well, most people would think it's an insult anyway if you just call call a president an idiot. Okay, but but anyway, my point is that the, the point my point is that uh, you uh, are you, the you, problem. So, so, sorry, you heard me when I spoke on the etymology of the word uh, be irrational mind, and you held on to that. <laughs> but but, but uh, the, word, the word idiot is actually non-conformist, so, uh, not not uh, not a fool. Yes. Uh, sorry, one man and uh, 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 Prince Daddy. Sorry for one second. You know. Fashola said in his book that some of the um, things that formed a political discussion, I uh, mean, public discussion, not necessarily po uh, politics, are, are formed based on non factual issues or non factual um, uh, topics. That some of these things are just rumors and because the public are not actually privy to some of these things that goes on in the in the corridor of, of, of government, that most of the time when we are having a public discourse, some of the things we discuss are not something that are actually taking place, but based on the rumors or the things we read in some of these things, I mean, no thanks to the bloggers and all that now they're creating their own alternative stories. So where we are speaking to issue, because I want to see everybody in this show as intellectual, you don't necessarily have to have in-depth knowledge of what we are discussing. Let us do our own due diligence. Does it work this way? Some of the experience that we carry into our discussion on this show are most primarily private. And public administration is a different ball game. That's a process. And when we are talking about things being done or certain things done this way, 
it usually comes from the political side of us and that is what i want us to you know just block it away when we are making a genuine analysis of what is we are discussing not just about somebody hates somebody or somebody doesn't like or, or everything you know Buddha does is has to is has to be is negative no we should be hopeful-minded in the way we tackle issue okay corruption is should be condemned in totality fine but when we're alleging something let us attack it let let us analyze it from the fact the fact whatever fact being presented to us not just going overboard and saying things that would no knowledge of that's what i would say okay well, you, were argue, you were arguing a while ago when the, 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 the okay let, let me wrap up my point um so uh one man you're an english man so the etymology of the word idiot okay you, you can you can tell explain to us but just simply look at my no, dictionary it, 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 no it, it actually oh, okay well, you go with what the dictionary says but um it, 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 um it actually comes from the um from the from it comes from Greece from the word idios. No, no, no dispute, no dispute yeah. on that, not at all. And, but, and, see, and, and 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 that idios is somebody that abstains from um social norms, especially politics, and, <laughs> and that, that that's essentially made the world. It comes from the Greek word idios. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no argument or, or opposition to that, but but. That's why we have technical definition of things and dictionary definition of things. Now, you don't call somebody an idiot and you think they want to go to the etymology of that word idiot. It simply says in a dictionary informally, an utterly foolish or senseless person. Full stop. And I can guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the people, if you ask them what an idiot is, we, we, we take this, this description right here or this uh, um, definition right here. So again, rational mind seems to be the problem of, of what we're talking about here when we want to constructively criticize the government. Uh, and I, I believe at this point in time, I'm not a psycho fan, at this point in time, we, we should be all on this, almost on the same page, trying to look closely at Tinubu's government, this governance, and, and, and call out what is wrong and criticize wh where when need be not just jumping up and down just like Adele is saying that oh it's Tinubu so we should we should criticize him or say something bad about him that's not the way it goes I you know I don't we don't we don't want to be like the obedience or, or people just in opposition for the for the sake of opposition it doesn't solve any problem we we are as bad or even worse than the people that we criticize I'm all about calling things down and and, and you know, holding them accountable for, for what they're doing wrong. Of course, we, we, we can't blame um, Warren for corruption and, and let Tinubu go scot free. No, it doesn't work that way. But but we need to know so we can actually cut it out. If, if somebody needs to be fired or, or, or they need to reject something, then, then that's what we should be working towards. N not this flippant way of, of just talking because we want to multiply words. It doesn't solve any problem. And calling people name. You know, it's 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 really backward for the most part because we it, it doesn't allow us to address the issue to resolve the problem. Don't call somebody an idiot. Let's call Tinubu for for his you know appointment of people not doing their job. And when there's corruption, let's call it out because at the end of the day, it's Nigerian people, the citizens that suffer. Okay. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Uh, wrap up that space, uh, Daniel Coco. Then I move you on. Then after this next one, we go to Charles. Uh, rational mind, uh, Dewale Ekene, uh, uh, Bishop Prince Daddy. Uh, uh, back to your Daniel Coco. Yeah, so all I'm just calling for is that uh, appropriate uh, agency of government that uh, um, has to do that, you know, can ask that question on budget, should come out to clarify things, and we can move on from there. We can know whether uh, the senator is um, you know uh, saying the truth or is lying uh, if before the end of this week if we don't hear from budget and planning ministry or the appropriation um, uh, um, committee from the city then I want you guys to know something 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 is wrong so let me leave it there all right brilliant uh, 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 uh so to this next one then uh revoke licenses of non-performing discos federal government orders ne i'll say 
So this is uh, the narrative of uh, this epileptic uh, electricity, something that, uh, that is like a, it's something that a news around the neck of the Nigerian nation. Um, so this now, Adel, Adel Abu, that a lot of people have been critical of, he has now come out into the uh, in, into the public space, uh, threatening fire and brimstone. Um, so uh, he's identified then that they are generating not sufficient enough to meet the needs of the nation, but sufficient enough to have an improved electricity experience for the country. And he has identified then that within the value chain of that electricity space, the final end space that takes it to the cost, uh, to the consumer is where the problem is. Of course, the discos. And he's saying that a lot of these discos are either incompetent or not capacitated. He feels that broadly, he insisted that the franchise areas covered by the discos were too large, adding the government should pursue a restructuring that will create a smaller discos with companies restricted to one state each. So essentially, the narrative of the electricity, they are narrowing it down to the discos. He's even now told us that they are now generating 4,000 megawatts to generate 6,000 megawatts within uh, six months. The woman, the whole um, electricity uh, uh, generation, uh, transmission and distribution, I think we are not getting anything right from the source. The source, which is when was it that the transition line uh, break down? Maybe two weeks ago, nationwide. So they they they, they you know they can threaten the disco as long as they they, they like. The disco is the last end of the the. the uh, that uh, a chain of, you know, um, um, electricity um, uh, uh, supply. If, if it's what the disc will get that they will distribute, if they don't get anything from the uh, uh, transmission line, what are they going to distribute? So what the generation, even the 4,000 they're talking about, they should be even be very, very ashamed. And for, 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 what is 4,000 to the whole country? I mean, the, 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 the entire electricity um, uh, uh, space should be restructured. They have to break it down. Break it down into smaller unit-led state local government that can generate them and let them do it. This idea of, you know, it, it, they, they are not getting that that electricity um, uh, uh, supply line. It, they are not getting it right at all. So the government should not be threatening, but rather restructure it in such a way, back by law and let competent electricity company from within and outside of the country, let them come into that space and get things done right. The way we have it today, those that are in charge of even the discos and <laughs> they, 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 they are political favored company. Most of them are not even competent the way the Jonathan administration handled it. Then APC been there for eight years, more than eight years. What have they done to the structure, the system for eight years? And they make a loud, loud of the loudest noise when they came in. Oh, Abbasan just stole 16 billion. Where is the electricity? That was what Duari was saying. Oh, is they, they spent 16 billion. Where is the electricity? But he couldn't get anything done for the whole eight years that he was there. Have we have improved electricity in the country? Uh, Fashola promised us electricity within uh, six months. Uh, so as they take <laughs> over. Did we, they, they... did we get anything? Look, these people should start to do the writing and doing the writing is to let people 
competent hand, competent company, electricity company to take over, not by favoring anybody, open, let it, let it be a, a, a level playing field for investors to come in and, you know, have, what do you call it, this um, uh, um, uh, 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 how do I say this? Uh, uh, I can't remember this now. But let, let the 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 the, uh, the, the I, company, I, the company. I, I mean, I can't a quick interjection allowed, just to point something out. Okay. I just want to point out that your reference should be now. Uh, there is more to it. What happened in eight years? After the privatization of the uh, power sector, that APC would not do anything. Why could not do anything? Because there was a clause that was inserted that to revoke that license or that contract, actual agreement, there was a penalty of $8 billion that had been slapped at arbitration. $8 billion. And that uh, practically made it impossible to tinker with the agreement that was entered into uh, by uh, at the previous administration in 2013 in the privatization and the unburdening of the uh, PHC and whatever, whatever. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, the regulatory body should be able to create an enabling environment for investors to come in. They must break it down. Let community, the way we have it in the United States is every city that generates and distributes their electricity, their electricity, their, their, their electricity supply. So we have to break it down. This idea of uh, centralized or all these things, it should stop. So it, 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 they can continue to threaten. If they threaten and sack the present discourse, what do they have to replace it that will make it function? You see, this grandstanding going to the press by the government and shouting and saying, machine order, sack, and this and that, they should stop. They should just get down to the work, do the job work, the, the work well, back it with the law, and make things work right. That is what is important, not by saying, oh, sack, uh, uh, this code that is there that is not performing. What, 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 I mean, what do they have? What, why why wouldn't they give out the 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 electricity if they have you know um, uh, uh, if, if 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 they have uh, um, a regular uh, uh, supply they, they 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 don't have any reason to keep it they will surely you know distribute it out but when from the source the generating point you don't even get enough so what are we talking about so it's just uh, a grandstanding by, you know, by the administration again. Let me leave it there. All right, brilliant, excellent. Thank, thank you, Charlie Coco. So uh, we move the conversation and we move it quickly in the direction of our uh, Charles and next uh, who joins us. Uh, uh, Charlie boy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, uh, Alpha, you've been very you, quiet. Uh, are you in Canada? You're in yes, Canada, are you? Uh, you are yeah. going through. You are going through a tax period, aren't you? Is this not? Yes. A, yeah. Yeah. This when tax you, when you file your, yeah, yeah, yeah. taxes. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, yes. Uh, so so that that, that because I, I've noticed that the Canadians are not turning up on the platform. So yeah, everybody uh, they, 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 <laughs> yeah, mad, eh? <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, 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 all right. What, where do you want to come into the conversation? Do you want to come into the conversation? Uh, with the commendation that uh, Buhari has given to uh, Tenobo, uh, you've done, uh, uh, you have done well. Uh, uh, Buhari comments, Tenobo says Nigeria is complex. So if there's anybody that is perfectly positioned to give a verdict, to give a scorecard to the journey so far, is somebody that has uh, walked that path. And uh, by Buhari's reckoning, Tenobo is doing excellently well. Yeah, he's done well by not um, investigating all the money laundering and um, all the dirty deals and stuff like that that took place under Buhari's um, um, administration. So obviously that's what he means. These politicians, we all know the game. They really don't, 
they have done well does not really translate to you have done well in terms of improving the welfare of the citizens of Nigeria, of making life better, of making things easier. It's more or less like you've done well for the political ruling class. It's as simple as that. We all know this, but we keep denying it. So in all honesty, he has actually done well for, for Buari and his cohorts. Uh, and that's just it. But as well as as far as um, well for the state of the nation or for the average Nigerian citizen, uh, definitely Tinubu has not done well. You can say that it's still a long way, but going by the current scorecard, definitely he, has, he hasn't done well. We're just hoping for the best, that maybe things will change after four years or whatever. But in all honesty, we all know how this game is played. After one year, we'll be hoping and ho it's just like the way these uh, pastors manipulate us. We'll be hoping and praying. Second year, we'll be saying things will get better. Before you know anything, four years is down the line and they'll be saying, okay, elect us for the next four years and we'll complete what we started. It's as simple as that, but we don't know how the game is played. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Uh, what, what do, do you want to free flow or do you want me to... No, give me uh, a topic to talk about. Do, yeah. do, do you want to speak to uh, speak on our senator, uh, Ningi, uh, who doubles down? Uh, you, you, know, um, you know, the one thing about somebody that has satisfied himself in life in terms of achievement is that they position themselves in a way that enables them to speak and let, uh, let uh, whoever ox gets God gets yeah. God. So he speaks now and doubles down. Uh, Four trillion naira padded into the budget. Uh, uh, it, everything changes but remains the same. This was the narrative all the way through the eight years of uh, Buhari. Yeah, but I, I'll blame the senator. I don't know what he's trying to achieve here, really. Well, they are trying to, like, if you are in the political ruling class, you, you only owe allegiance to your political group or your, your, your mem the members of the Senate and things. So I really don't know. And that's what um, so Sore has found out the hard way. You go there fighting for Nigerians, thinking you're doing the right thing and thinking they will recognize your, your efforts and stuff towards better governance. But Nigerians don't give a damn. And that's why I don't understand why, like if I was, if, in all honesty, as much as I would like to change Nigeria, if I was ever to get into the political, Nigerian political landscape, I would not be a good person. I would just tag the line of go there, embezzle money, enrich my family and leave. There's really no point being a good guy when it comes to Nigerian politics. Like you're just wasting your time. Because if in any right thinking country, citizens are meant to lord this man that okay you've called uh, you've called our attention to some some gaps in the way we actually uh, run our accountability in terms of passing budgets and stuff whether he's right or wrong does not matter what should happen is okay this guy has called some he has seen some lapses let us investigate that's the normal thing to do let us investigate if we find something fine if we don't find anything really you don't even have anything to lose it's more or less like okay guy thank you for uh, calling us out but next time before you bring this to our attention do your homework that's how every functional society should be but in nigeria you see somebody trying to do the right thing and before any investigation has even started they are making the guy look like a fool like are you okay why are you doing this that's why i blame him i blame him for not tagging the line next time and you see the problem now so how do you expect if someone like me i'm in that senate and i'm thinking of ah, i've seen some lapses and stuff some inefficiencies in the way we do things in the senate chamber why don't i call it out so that we can fix things? how am i meant to speak now like seeing how they've treated this guy now how on earth am i meant to think for the betterment of the nigerian people nobody in see Nobody in Nigerian politics in the Senate will ever do this kind of thing, like call out any fraudulent activity in the Senate. After what has happened now, just kiss it goodbye. They can forever... What has happened is that they've given the Nigerian Senate and the Nigerian government the free way to pad as much as possible without anybody ever speaking up again. So like I said, Nigerians are our problem. In Nigerian politics, there's no... And that's why we are where we are. We, we don't, there's no service. It's not about service. It's more or less like self-enrichment. When you get in there, you, 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 you enter the matrix and behave like your fellow political counterparts. You do, there's no good. There's nothing about good here. It's just about your self-interest. And I blame the senator for being stupid enough to think 
that Nigeria is a functional society where doing good would be lauded by Nigerians, not only by the politicians, we know politicians don't give it down, but Nigerians themselves will not even lodge it. They'll tell you that, ah, why are you attacking a man? Is it your business? So next time, he will follow his fellow uh, politicians to chop and close his mouth. Simple and short. Oh, oh, all right. The United, whenever the United uh, Kingdom uh, leads, others uh, tend to follow. Uh, uh, so, uh, United Kingdom bans care workers from entering with dependents. So, this is tightening the news around that uh, immigration, migration sort of a narrative. And you can tell, of course, that elections are coming up. So, coming to a uh, Toronto county near you, because often instances, when we get this in the United Kingdom, we get it then in places like Australia, uh, Canada, etc. So, what are you then um, making of this hardline stance? Because uh, there, uh, there was a policy that if somebody is coming to study, if they have dependents, they can bring them along. They shut that mm -hmm. down. So, they are now talking about uh, um, uh, crucial workers, uh, care workers, healthcare workers, which sweeps across all of the healthcare sectors and telling us essentially that they cannot be bring their dependents uh, 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 along with them as they come in to, 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 to work. So what are you then making of the hardline stance by the United Kingdom? Well, I'll look at it in two sections. One, uh, it's a political, it's a political, uh, political stance and stuff. A lot of um, Brits have been complaining about the issue of migration and jobs being taken and um, immigrants taking advantage of the system and people being uh, changed for government benefits. But the, on the funny side of it is that the slave ship is full and they cannot take any more. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Like, I don't even know, we, we don't even have any, like, see, and this new colonialist. Do, do you know, find, my, my do question you, is not. So, sorry, Charles, do you find it rich though? That a guy called uh, 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 whatever, uh, Rishi Sunak, you know, which is not John Smith by any stretch of the imagination, from, uh, from Chennai in uh, India, is now telling us that uh, nobody else can come into the United Kingdom uh, after they, yeah, yeah. they let him in. No, it, it, it's right. Right for him, he's ascended that level, he's a billionaire. So he has he's left that, um, he has left that, um, he's not on that level again. It's the same way they will never say the, 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 the average Nigerian billionaire or politician, they will never stop them from doing their citizenship by investment or bringing their kids or buying houses. They know what they're doing. This, you see, this whole migration thing is just complete. And until African leaders decide to say, you know what? No African should just leave us as where we are. Because until we sort our things out, we are just like, this thing is like that they are making us. The whole the people that are meant to fix the country are the ones leaving. So what we are left with is the shafts, people that are that have nothing to offer or, or, or don't even have anything to make the country grow. And that's why we are continually going on in this spiral. Like this whole thing is um is 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 this new colonialist movement. See, me self, I migrated though. You understand? But I migrated because really the system was not working. Do you understand this? I, I did it for my own benefit. I'm not saying that they should stop migration, but in the long run of things, the truth about it is that they cannot take every Nigerian or every African out of their country. So the question is, if you are going to take only like 1% of Nigerians... So, so, so you support splitting families up? And then don't... Yes, no, I support it now. It's not that country. Why shouldn't they split it up? It's, that, it's a damn country. When we are doing Ghana... So somebody Moscow, should abandon their children just yes. because they want, they want to go, come and well, work. Well, you have to... No. So you have to... So in this ground, you have to now show your ethical side. Is migrating out of the country bene more beneficial than the lives... Or being in the lives of your children? You understand? If it's, if it's more beneficial, then you leave. Like, nobody's forcing anybody to leave. When we are doing Ghana must go, I think... I don't think anybody was complaining about it. We did it for our own reasons. So if UK is telling you that you cannot, we are doing you a favor by helping you, but look, we, we, we are running out of favors and stuff, then what it means is that migration is a short-term solution to our problems. We have to start looking at the long-term solutions. And the long-term solution is fix your damn country. They cannot accommodate everyone. So that's just the, the uh, bottom line of everything. 
Oh, oh, all right. right. Let, let, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let, let me take you to the space. So, the curious thing about governance is that, um, and this is um, uh, uh, the, probably a, a, um, a universal phenomenon almost. The curious thing about our governance is that uh, a lot of the solutions they are always uh, essentially the same. Maybe the approach might be different. But a lot of the solution, often instances, always the same. So we're back to that farmer herder or herder crisis uh, that has that's hung around the neck of that country for goodness knows how long. And Tinubu now tells us that he has a three-week solution to this uh, 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 thirty-decade-long uh, uh, situation crisis. Uh, so. Um, is telling us then that uh, you have to. Uh, it's telling us essentially that the governors have to seed land for grazing, uh, and and then and then he will wrap a strategy around that. So what are you then making then of this uh, somewhat familiar uh, seen by uh, Buhari under his administration new policy of Atinobo Femahada crisis three week solution? I don't know. I think. I don't know. I, I don't know why Niger I don't know why Nigeria is just different from the rest of the world. Like, what's the what's the idea behind the North giving the leeway to carry cows? I don't know how does it work in the in the West? because me itself, I'm even confused. How does it work in the West? Like people. So um, in the North, so those cows when they walk on the road, is it that they if someone wants to buy them, they stop them over and give them money and take the cow. I, I really don't understand the, 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 how that works. Because I, I, Nigeria has a functional societal problem. Like, it's, it's, it's too deep. I don't know. So you give them... So if the government gives them land, okay, um, how many cows are meant to be there? How is the system meant to work? Are they going to provide accommodation for them? Is the government going to be giving them feed? Or are the... Are the farmers going to be sourcing feed from the government? There are so many questions. I really, I don't know how this thing works. So, are they going to be giving them like permits that they'll be renewing or what? Like, because all these things that are saying about seeding land, okay, you see the land, then you have the cattle rarers just staying within that land, or is that how it works? Would you just <laughs> stay there and stay there permanently? Or what? I, I'm not sure how we how 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 we will work because it says he has a program that uh, he that he can wrap around it that will solve. The they problem. can wrap more man. They cannot wrap that 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 program around their own finger. Talk less of around the the country. These people are idiots. Okay, so okay, the government gives you land now. Then all cattle rarers in maybe in Niger states will go to that land and stay there. And then what? Like, what's I don't understand. Is it that they're not meant to be mobile? They're just meant to sit down there. Are they creating like a cat, like a ranch where people will go there and place beads and buy cows? I, mean, I know that in um, there's a place in Bagada. You understand? There's one place in Bagada along the expressway where there are goats and like I think they sell ram or something like that. You understand? And it's just one one area, like one area where they just keep rams there. If that's what they plan on doing, like a commercial ranch where citizens go there and um price and uh, buy and sell cows that one is understandable but just giving them a large uh, parcel of land and cattle rarer should just go there that, stay there that one in Bagada you talk about it's just a place where you can go and buy talking about okay. rearing those cows they but don't they don't move, they don't they, don't they don't move those um those rams from there those rams stay there 24 7. they don't yeah, move them because that's like a market that's where they're they stationary that's where they're selling them they are not okay. rearing them there's no like a grass or they bring some of those uh or their their food down there they don't have grass there it's just like a market where you have a regular market for mm -hmm. you know boat market fish market you know that's that's just what that place is meant for not for rearing those cow or the mm -hmm. goats yeah but the land itself that the federal government will give, at one point in time, they will run out of grass. So what happens I, I, then? I, I, I thought they already did that under Buari is more of a thing. When, uh, was it Kano State that said they had sufficient enough land to take all of the... Uh, and then they threw a whole bunch of money at that space. Yeah. And, it, it, that, and, and nothing happened. Yeah, that's because it doesn't work. The policy is just... A, it's just they just say things, but they really don't have any concrete plans in terms of future plans looking at the logistics looking at 
the feed, looking at is it a Binance, is it a transactional kind of environment where people come in? They just Nigeria is it is not a functional, it's not a reasonable co country. That country just has to split though, because I think it's too. You know the problem with Nigeria. Nigeria is too is just too big to govern. Like we're so diversified. Like look at this situation for instance. This problem is a northern problem, and it's and it's going into every part of the country like the country is just too big for one man or one president to handle we just need to actually divide ourselves into region it's, if we do that i'm sure we, that country will be more functional but as it is these things don't work oh, 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 all right Brendan. Let, 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 let me take you to uh something that uh, uh what one of the listeners sent in this may or may not interest you the uh, richest woman in nigeria follow on show alakija and husband uh, Modupe uh, separate after uh, over 30 years of marital bliss. Uh, clearly, it's not marital bliss, is it? If they separate, and and just at the twilight of her marriage, a uh, former society matriarch, uh, turned minister of gospel, Folonosho Alakija, has suffered a devastating marital crisis. According to a very reliable source, uh, uh, the mother of four who is also Nigeria's wealthiest woman, has allegedly separated from her husband, Modupe. The businessman allegedly no longer spends uh, cold nights in the... Uh, uh, well, I think uh, that tells off, but I, I, I think we all know where he's not spending cold nights. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, do, do you have any thoughts on that, or is that uh, beneath your, uh, you know, your high no, highbrow? No, it's, it's a normal... It's a normal thing, especially when um, when you have the woman as the breadwinner. It's it's just normal. Uh, at some point in time, the woman at some point in time, the woman will see you as what do I even need you for? Like what good do you? What are you even bringing? Again, the man self is old, so the guy no fit perform again. So like really, I would rather like I have all the money, I spend everything. So I might as well get myself one young guy that will kukuma do. Even if he doesn't have money, at least you'll be you'll be servicing me in the bedroom better than you are. So basically, it's a matter of um, it's just the mentality women have. Like um, once you are not a provider, once they feel you are not a provider, then you are irrelevant. And that's why men should always try as much as possible to be financially sound. And in all honesty, if you are not financially sound, you don't have no business getting married. Because at one point in time. A woman will always um, would pick um, money over you any day, any time. So, do do you think uh, just to get down into that sort of uh, 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 do, do you think money affects uh, is it libido or libido? How, how, uh, yes, whatever it is, that was it. Do you think it affects it? No, I've, I've, that's, there are people that have it's not even libido. I think sometimes women do get bored. I've seen women that the man is rich and everything, but they still go outside of their marriages. Do you understand? You, you see the problem with women. Women are very complex people because you have money. Um, they can still get bored of you and just look for some excitement outside. You don't have money. only makes it faster for them to get bored Do, do you, you think a man not having money affects his sexual drive? No, it, it affects his self-esteem. Which mentally uh, woman, affect woman, woman, hold on, uh, Charles. How does uh, mm. uh, Alaki Jawa husband? How does how, do, how does the what what libido does? It no, is is it, it, is what is what uh, um, Charles was saying that uh, maybe he was emasculated by uh, by uh, her uh, wealth. Uh, 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 libido. So let me no, let me let me explain to you. So what happens? Okay. Libido so, sometimes libido is it's, it's there's also a mental side of it. There's a mental side of it in terms that if if a woman emasculates you, makes you feel less than a man, mentally, it's when you're faced with such mental challenges, it can emasculate you to the point that it physically drains you and affects you. Um, uh, 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 sorry, guy. What age are we talking about here? That we're talking about libido. What age are we talking uh, about? Uh, 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 any age. Um, any age. Uh, any uh, age. Uh, let's let's, 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 let's even look at it for me. If, younger if you don't age, have uh, money in your pocket, how can you have a? Uh, but yeah, to... but but specifically to this couple, I, I don't. There's something more beyond, you know. Nah, I don't think, and it has to do with some. You no, know, it, 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 it don't be libido, but it might be. Uh -huh. It might not be libido. It might be maybe the man said, "I told you that like, women get bored." It might be that the woman also wants him out of the way so she can 
fulfill her fantasies. She has all the money in the world. After 30 years of marriage and almost so, 70 years old couple, no, so, it's, it's beyond that. What, I think the, is, no, the woman is probably just realizing that life is too short. She's getting old. She needs to live life a little before she comes. Yeah. After seeing what has wait, after seeing what has happened to we, we, I'm sure the woman is like, Omo, I'm a billionaire. <laughs> Let me live my life before I end up. Young blood, so, I, 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 at seventy years old. old. At, <laughs> at seventy years old, she, she's <laughs> realizing <laughs> that. Huh? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> seventy year old okay. women are freaky. Seventy year old women are freaky. Don't go and you, 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 you know, you know, seventy year old at the new fifty five. In this age of uh, eternal youth, is that right? Well, is, is that yeah, right? That, that's what they say now. <laughs> if, yeah, I were, if, if, if I were any of you, that, if I were any that, of you, you better you either. better enter a DM, DMs. You'll be surprised that she will say, "Come and meet me at the Eco Hotel." You might surprise her. Hotel, okay, somebody like that. It's, it will just fly I'll you to Dubai. The, <laughs> they fly you to is it the Seychelles? <laughs> I think I think you in know all, in, in all honesty, eh? I think um, this thing is more or less. The I think Maldives, yes. That's she wants to, going to, she wants to, she just wants that freedom. I think she wants that. I think she has gone to a point of, you know what, I want to live life. I want to live a little. There are 70 year old women that have them. But, but none of them are born this way, though. Why? One man. Say, why? None of these uh, that, that, people that are. The woman who wants to change, uh, change through. The women, the wait, women used to wait, just... wait a minute before we all go down that expressway. This woman and her husband, they have not come to address the press and debunk this story that is circulating in the media. I mean, none of this premium uh, media have taken up this story. It's only the bloggers and the uh, gossiping uh, newspaper that is carrying this news. So if yeah, they're not debunked, the let's wait until then. It, yeah, but that's but 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 that's the section of news that it falls under now. No, it's not serious. It's not. It's not serious it's news not, now. It's not. It's not going to be on the eight ten o'clock news. Yeah, that's why we should not go far in condemning or you know speaking into it without having them confirming or people actually you know people with good authority confirming their story that is actually you know they're going their separate way i mean they have business together they both own farm farm oil so what is going to happen they just opened a new world quarter in Vienna not quite long ago but really let, let's be factual um being separated is not a bad thing now there's nothing wrong with being separated in the western world this is normal this is normal fanfare here now i think it's because we're carrying this african mentality of carrying marriage on our head come to the western world and say you're separated we won't throw party for you sir charles, charles hold on did big guilt not divorce um, his wife did uh Abiu. not divorce his wife I mean, what are we talking about? We are just carrying it on our head. This is nothing now. You see, uh, our friend, uh, my friend from Wisconsin, I mean, uh, Adi, I don't know what I like, like my, oh, from our creative. <laughs> you like to know, it's like, oh, let us find out. I mean, wait, this is just for the for the whole thing. We just want to make fun of this. I mean, just make fun of this. I mean, either it's it's proven or not, but I know in every in, in, any, in every one of these um, news, there's, there's an iota of truth in there. So maybe there's there's been rift between both of them, or they've been they've been hearing rumors of both of them drifting apart. They only said they've separated, not as if they've really divorced. And, really and we're even blaming yeah. Alakija. How are we sure maybe the woman didn't even catch the man with one young 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 girl? Well, so, well, for me, for me, it's for me. You, you, you know, know that's what I was thinking, Charles. I was thinking exactly that. Yeah, I, I, you know, you see, it's, let, me, let me say something to you. I believe what I believe is this, and without having to, I, I don't have any fact to this, but I'm just saying that. What I see in this matter is that this man is not the one who wants to, because you see, man does not, man does not usually like, usually like to divorce. No matter how terrible the marriage is, the men will remain in it. They might be cheating, they might be, they want to remain in it. But it's the woman that usually wants to call for the divorce. I mean, like here in America, 70% or 80% of the divorce, I and mean, even in other parts of the world, I mean, most of the divorce is all usually initiated by the women. So for me, I believe that what I think is going on here is that. You see that there's something between both of them going on. Maybe, maybe, maybe extramarital infidelity, as the case may be. Oh, tell us I'm sure. Maybe, maybe it could be that too. So, but then, I, I believe, I suspect that this woman, a young girl, I mean, it's like she wants to, she wants to, you know, that's what that's what I think. But I might be wrong though. Let me just like, leave it at that one, man. Oh, 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 all right. Bring it on, my Charles. Um, so basically, like this is just a this is just a banter affair. These things happen, especially in the Western world. I don't think, even if they split or they separate, I think it's 
they are, at least they are separating and they are, both of them are wealthy. So I think they are even better off than all these uh, people that will separate and have 10, 20 children and not be able to account for any of them or, or, or raise them. So this is the kind of separation that, we, that should even be happening. We should even be giving them, we should be clapping for themselves. Say at least they even try, they build something together. Not this young, um, this day and age that you have um, 20, 30 year olds separating and they have nothing to offer their children. They're just having broken homes and uh, dysfunctional families up and down. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, just a, a, a snapshot submission on this, and then we go on to rational mind. Uh, your favorite governor and mine, Charles Soludo, are not acting in a way that we favor. Uh, calling his minister of works incompetent as he rolls cameras around inspecting our projects. What are you making of our Soludo printing and peacocking? It's just the, he's not a leader. Obviously, just, and that's the typical behavior. We worship our Nigerian, you see, we've worshipped our political leaders so much that they feel like gods. Because for you to do this to a grown up man who has children and at home and emasculating him in front of the media in public like this, so what will you do to people like us or, or people on the streets selling pure water? You would you probably slap them or something. These guys are not leaders, these guys are. They are power drunk. They are power hungry. They don't see themselves as these guys. These guys, he really. Um, I'm not surprised. He didn't actually disappoint me because all Nigerian leaders are like this. You understand? But um, for him to do this just shows how poorly um, he is as a leader, and he's not somebody that any any anybody should look up to because he would um, he would he's, he 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 would throw you down or emasculate you at the slightest opportunity. I think he's power drunk. That's all. All right, brilliant. So, so that's the majestic uh, 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 Charles. So, next. so Charles, you are saying that uh, he, he should not hold this um, commissioner accountable. In no, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he should do so politely. You can talk uh, to him and say this is. Yeah, yeah. You can do that politely. You can. You can be assertive. Uh, how, you can be assertive without being insultive or demeaning in your in in, 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 in the way you say things. It was not insulting. It was just. No, no. Um, Adele Koko. If someone should talk to you like this, no. Okay, go on. He was just disappointed in him, and he was showing he was he was showing his dissatisfaction. You 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 don't feel he undermined him with that comment. It didn't undermine him. You know, so you know, to whom much is expected, I mean, to whom much is given, much is expected. How can where the project is where the charge? Where the project there? I mean, how can you, a commissioner, you, 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 how can you allow that to happen? Look at the fence to the road, for God's sake. And you say you are building. Where, where do you want passerby to pass? To, 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 uh, 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 there is no walk, um, uh, uh, walk sidewalk. Mm. You want people to be walking on the street? I mean, for God's sake. He was just disappointed and he could not just, you know, he, he, he gave him so much, and he should have done better. And look at it. You show the video and let, let's see. So when so, sometimes some of these people that are in position of power in Nigeria expect that, that are expected to do the best work for their community, they just do some shady work and just walk away and nobody will hold them accountable. But what he was doing there, he was holding them accountable in the public that you cannot do this. Pull that fence down. You should have like, who, who signed that, who, who approved this project. He wants to start that person, want to see that person immediately. What would have been more Jack. what would have been more honorable was for him to sack him on the spot right there. I would love that one. Baba, to Baba, Jack. Baba Jack, this man, Baba, let me say this. This man is not serious. There was even the one I, that... I, I agree with that comment, uh, Charles. Um, oh, pillar, uh, uh, pole, electric pole is standing on the center of the road. I saw, I, in fact, this man is not serious. <laughs> I don't know the kind of workers he's using to do his work in Anambra State. But let him just uh, finish all this uh, mago mago he's doing and uh, call it government. That, that's what would be more laudable was for him to like suck him there on the spot and find him. Now, now, now you are but, contradicting yourself. Oh, now no. he's holding him accountable in the public. No, yeah, 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 emasculating, yeah, emasculating him. What, what are, if he no, no, uh, no. Uh, yeah, he's saying, saying that better. Oh, he's no, he's saying that's better than yeah. humiliating him. Now that's better than humiliating him. That's better than humiliating him. He, he deserves to be humiliated. He deserves to be humiliated. 
Look you remember at the that he did. Obadale Koko. Huh? You remember when Umai was in the southeast and he was complaining about certain project that was not done properly? You remember that scenario when he was saying that he won't pay them? He was chastising those contractors right there on the spot. You remember? Yes, I remember. And the people were hailing him for doing that, that, you know, he actually, um, you know, doing a good job by, you know, ensuring that, you know, complaining about the job that they were doing. What is the difference between that Okay. What Umai did and what Sodudo did to his uh, subordinate. Okay. What is the difference? Sorry, Ajale Koko. I, I, okay, I, I let, don't know. Thank you. Let I me ask you I... a question. Let me before I hang up. Let me ask you a question. So, Ajale Koko, let's just imagine something. I know maybe by now you've you've you are, you've retired, living on your millions, but let's imagine you are in a workplace, okay, and your 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 boss gave you a task, maybe to complete some spreadsheets, some Excel Excel spreadsheets, and you got some figures wrong, and it works just to your desk and tells you what rubbish you do are you a child what, what, what do you do can't you can't you can't you don't you know your numbers don't you know your formulas in front of all your friends and all your work colleagues is that a good way of won't you rather tell him that uh i'm um, okay can't you just the appropriate thing is to call me into your office and have this private discussion with me than to make me look stupid would that reduce your confidence the, the, level? The you are using is different it's this not different now how is it different this is a public I, job. No, hold that's on. not this true. Is how is, how is this man meant hold to on. raise his head hold up on. and call himself an engineer in, in the office? Oh, Will anyone oh, listen to him? Oh, hold on. This is a public job. This is public money being expended on construction of road. And you that is given the job, you know, to do the job well, you fail to do it right. And you want the, the governor to pound that guy and just panda and just take him to the office. and No. Say it to him in the public so that he will never repeat such a nonsensical um, uh, 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 job again. He, 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 he's giving so much and he should be able to deliver in the best interest of the state. But what did he do? He didn't deliver well. And the governor was angry with that. that how, how on earth can you allow this to happen? You as the commissioner inspecting this job. How on earth? He, 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 no, look. Sometimes, sometimes you have to be, you have to be radical in carrying out your, 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 your I mean, this public service. Sometimes you have to go radical. So I believe with what it did to that commissioner, I'm telling you, the commissioner will never uh, 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 let this kind of, uh, uh, allow this kind of mistake to, to happen next time. So, and, and um, that's the best. I, I think I commend the, I, I really commend you for what you're doing. Maybe you are speaking from, uh, Obedient, um, uh, um, 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 I have no, I have no grass against them. Um, no, 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 I have no grass Never. against Oludo. But okay. as a leader, I'm not speaking for Obi. As a leader, I, I, well, in terms of leadership, I, I think there are certain ways of commanding. Like, you don't need all the time to be to be belittling no. people no, or no, showing yourself. No. There are ways you no, command no. that respect if you, you 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 take a different or democratic approach in your leadership. This is autocratic. Now we kind of. Yeah, yeah, leader is this one. I beg. Let's can I, get can I, can I say something, Charles? Charles, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Charles, you're saying autocratic. Are, are mm. you an obedient? Are you an obedient? Is ah, an no. obedient? Now, what I, are you I, I'm about? an APC supporter. I am me. Is me, I'm me. I'm Baba yeah, Blue. Anything good in uh, any good, <laughs> so, any good thing uh, that this guy have done so far? All those stuff of you were doing when it was governor, no due process, no nothing. What was that for? Me, I wasn't born there, no. Me, I, I was too. I'm, I'm a young guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hold me accountable for that word. I wasn't there. <laughs> no, no, let, me, let, me, let me say, let me, let me say something. Let me say something, Kulata. Soludo doesn't know what he's doing. He's just ashamed of himself. You understand? He's just trying to replicate what Ale Soti is doing in Abia State. Is that so, what he's doing? Yeah, that is what he's doing. He saw, he said Ale Soti every day. Let me finish. Now. Let me finish. Let me finish. Shame down the Kasham. Shame down the Kasham. It's in the CLS every day. Go to inspect work almost okay, every okay. week. Okay, okay. In, let me finish. In, let me finish. Okay. Kulata. Let me finish. Kulata. Let Let's me go. finish. Kulata now. Let's leave all this Let's high service now. 2025 yeah. is around the corner. This one, Let's high service. Go. Go. Okay, let me talk. Wait. What has Alex Oti done besides digging one or two gutters and building a five kilometer road? Hype, 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 hype. Hey, hey, Guleta, Guleta, leave matter for Matthias. 
Shame done the cash. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish my talk. 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 So he can no longer sit down. Before he was speaking English. Now he don't want to sit down again and be speaking English. He wants to come out and act like Alessotti. He sees Alessotti every day, inspecting his work, doing all sort of inspection and everything in a good manner. And whenever he comes out of the out in the main road, the people of Ab Abba will be sharing his name. The street will be filled up. But see him, nobody is following him around. It's only his uh, DSS. Shame done the cash. Sorry, there's one question so, I was going to add. As a leader, if you're if you make appointments and those the people you are appointed to work for you on your behalf feel can you um say the leader himself has filled by making a poor choice or selection let, let, let me tell you charles. I, I was i was thinking that as well charles charles let me tell you as the governor he hire and those commissioner are there in their different position by his grace he hired them and he can fire them and he can do whatever he like to them. If but he hired them based on competency, oh, 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 and no. he's the one that that, that made that yes. selection. Well, he, yes, but, but, you know but, the but, funny thing about Jale Koko? Some yes. of those commissioners are political uh, stooge or you know being forwarded by their godfathers. So what if it happens that this particular commissioner happens to be his own person gang, 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 that is now messing up? Right, so it will pain him so much that you of all people that you are supposed to be there, can, example, I can, example, I be and now I'm talking up like this. Yeah, so not even checking on what you're doing. will make him lash out in the public like that. Um, in, in, invariably, that means he failed. Not even the commissioner, because the commissioner he was just doing the commissioner a favor. He was using because if let's say this structure collapses now and kills people, so will you blame it on the commissioner or blame it on the governor now because he's trying to do somebody a political favor? I think, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I think Soludo is the one that has failed, not this commissioner. If it's based on political hold appointment, on, hold, on, hold on, he did not want to fail. That is why he was challenging that commissioner publicly like that. that how can you do this kind of dirty, dirty work? You already failed. Oh. He already failed already by already picking failed. an incompetent because, commissioner. Because now. All this obedience that are shouted um, all over everywhere yeah. against him, he doesn't want them to come after him for that job. The contractor the was best, from Abba, that that's guy right. is the best is the best performing governor in the whole entire south east now so don't worry about the propaganda that they are carrying all over the internet he has built more roads he has a, a higher more teachers for the school he has invested in the 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 here now, eh? he, he has done better than any other governors so let the obedient continue. Yeah, he has transferred another branch to Japan of um, <laughs> There's a lot of things he has done to transfer. I want to buy. I want to buy. I want to buy a new campaign. I want to buy. We never see it. Just because he didn't support to be, then they 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 call him for his head. He he has not done anything. You know, then honestly, nobody has any grass. I think election has passed. Nobody even has any grass against. Even Obi himself has moved on. Oh, These oh, people oh, are. Oh, isn't it isn't it that is paying homage to Tinimbu? All right, wrap, wrap up that space, uh, Charles, and then we'll move on to rational mind. Uh, like, like I've said, I think for me, I think um, I think Soludo has failed as a leader and as an appoint and as an appointer because he um, obviously. If for, this is a minor project, this is just a building project now. So if it was some super highway or one complicated this thing, we, we know what will have been. Only God knows what will have happened. I think Obi, uh, I think um, Soludo um, should take the blame on this by selecting incompetent people based on um, political who you know uh, and not on one technical. Man, one, man, one man, do fast. I come to me. I want to lambast my government. Sorry, I want Charles, to lambast are you saying that I didn't really know that I would have given him a dirty slap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 all right thank you charles so so uh thank you charles so so let's go from charles uh uh go to rational mind uh you, you, rational mind you're up next do you want to go to the talking points do you want to free flow or do you want to speak to what you sent in uh uh lagos to design new building codes and all that rational mind yeah well, one let me start with that because that's one of those things that brought me here um you see um i'll i'll i'll, I'll praise them for this 
but at the same time, I would um, also hit them with a stick in the head. Um, and that, you know, um, like we always said here, um, it's just for the optics most times they do all these things. They don't uh, really have, um, they, don't, they don't intend, they don't have the intent, uh, how do I say, to really follow through. You just want to like, oh, we're doing this, give that facade of an appearance that, uh, yeah, this is what we want to do, but they don't really follow through. Yeah, as it's done here, um, when <clears throat> um, some state does have their own building code, um, there's one that by the ICC, uh, that's International Code Council. Uh, many other countries are subscribed to, even, even uh, uh, United, Emir United Arab Emirates also subscribe to that. Some other countries around the world, they also subscribe to that, <clears throat> to that uh, International Code Council, and they have different kinds of codes. But then some states, they borrowed from ICC. I don't know if I, you see, <clears throat> why I bring this topic is because I, I have a keen interest in in housing and um, and urban planning. In Rational mind. Industry. Can you explain what the code? What's the implication of the code? Because I don't think I get the. I mean, it's just. Uh, one, one more, can you just paste that too, so that you can read more on that? It's just uh, um, uh, channels news. Just talk about it in passing. Not really. There wasn't much to it. I think. The, the, yeah, but there's nothing in the channel side because I'm trying to read it. That's why I'm interrupting no, you. I'm saying there's it. not much to it. What he just said was that he went. He went to somewhere in Jack on the Estate. And this uh, the way they were building things in Jack on the estate was not just they, they did not longer follow the plan, the planning of that estate. People were just building illegal structures here and there. And they said he was going to demolish everything down. And he said, well, very soon we'll have to we'll, we'll have our own building code. We we'll would expect you guys to also bring your inputs, bring your, your suggestions. And that's how it's done here. And um, that's why I said I would praise them for that. Uh, besides, some states here, when they have to follow through, they have to follow, use the ICC version of whatever in that they call it residential code or uh, building commercial codes but also they have, have to lo localize it to their own locality because every um, every every states uh every every uh, states or should i say topography is unique in their own way um the way they set it up but the thing is this <clears throat> the issue is not what just give me a minute <clears throat> the the issue is not more of um of uh although there's code there's code to it too uh, there's building code to it too but also it's about urban planning the issue is more of urban planning than building code so are they going to be zoning areas and say okay this place residential this place uh industrial and then building code in terms of standard of the house, demolish shanties and all those things yeah they should yeah yeah they should demolish shanties i mean what i'm saying is this you see i don't know if this guy that's why i don't see when our, our media reports things like that's why some of us come here with bot head is a lie it's not a lie that was why uh Miki could be saying they cut him, cut him out of contest we don't really get you see that's why i i, I mean besides what i told one man one man i know i told you something besides that i had just deliberately just have to take a break from this nonsense because i like one of my one of my submissions here the, the last time i was here was that i'm just so confused sometimes i will hear one thing here and we hear that another thing that's that's the terrible error for you they make it so so nonsensical that whatever we are seeing, they tell us it's not. We are seeing blue. No, they say that's not blue. You are seeing. You are looking at green. You start questioning yourself. Am I right in the head? So the point I'm trying to say is this: the, the, the reportage in in the Nigerian. Uh, so so you ask that question to uh, be rational mind. So it's not just uh, us asking. That what? Are you right in the head? What I'm saying, right? I'm right in the head. No, no, that was just an aside. Oh, Carry on. I was, I was right. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I'm right in the head. Just for our, our listeners, it's just that they want us to like get confused. So what I'm trying to say is this: this guy went and it was like it's more of a urban planning. You need to plan the areas, like what uh, 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 like I was saying. You dedicate areas, zoning. That's what we call zoning. So I don't. That's the issue here. Is not really well. Building code also is also important because after the viability, where you have to build. You have to follow the uh, the codes in how you build your, the structures, the, the egress and the setbacks and all of that, and um, you make sure that uh, people don't build you know, fire, fire 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 issues so that uh, when people are building house, the fire will not jump from one house to another house. There's what they call openings and all of that, and uh, uh, you also talk about fire resistance and all of that. Fire building, I mean, you have to build fire resistant material. And these are suggestions I can bring to them, but the thing is this, is that 
it, it makes no sense you bringing that to them or suggesting that to them if what they are supposed to do in the first place they're not doing it that's that's what we're talking about here when we talk about politics that tinubu and his people are not doing what they're supposed to do they say they want to do these things but invariably when you look at it very well if you probe very well there's something underlying things that he has to have done that he's not doing and anything you build on that is just nonsense you're not going to get anything. You're, we're, going to, we're going to revert, go back 360 degree, come back to the same place we were before. So that's what I'm saying here. So I would I would advise Babajide to go and look at what is saying. Lagos need because I recently I know I saw a, a, a video of uh, this guy. He went to some city in uh, what's it called in uh, in China recently. Babajide shop someone look, and he he went to uh, to study on the study the way the uh, the city was designed. I mean. If he can replicate that, fine. But I know it's going to it's going to involve a lot of building down a lot of structures, demolishing a lot of structures, and putting up new. So my point is, is that these people they just pay lip service to all of these things, create an illusion or a facade of oh we are trying to do something. But you know what you are saying is not what is going on in the, at the end of the day. So for me, I mean, why I'm bringing up this is this. There are just two reasons: is that <clears throat> I want to critique that thing that the issue the issue now the issue is not more of building code. The issue is urban planning and zoning. You need to zone. It's when you zone and you, you 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 make people understand that yes, you cannot build certain things, whatever you are submitting, your plans that you're submitting to the and you see that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Okay, let me let me let me take this with one man because there's a lot of things to say about this. What I want to say is this is that states here regulate their own building codes. That is they have it, they don't go by they don't go with the ICC one, they'll design their own local codes. So the state regulated the in fact the state has their own local code that they use that is tailored to their own states but then what they do is that the enforcing of building codes it's not by states it is by local government that's what i'm saying that you need to build something on ground when if local government is an appendage of the apc all they do there is their uh, counselors they all go there and do their meeting and whatever end of the day they share money and they start planning for the next election to rig election you know, local governments uh, wise for the next uh, for the for the governor the main thing the main word that they should be doing they're not doing it they're only just an appendage of whatever political party is ruling that state there's nothing you can do you cannot enforce things centrally by centralizing anything by state so my point is, is that when it comes to urban planning yes the state does that but when it comes to building code it is the local government that will enforce it you can create more jobs woman here in america if you want to build a house, there are different artisans that will participate. Your, like your roof. There are some companies, they design roof. Strictly roof. There are some companies, they only they just the walls. Fire-rated walls. They will, they will, so these are the things. So you can create, in fact, some states, they even create a, a kind of an economy around that. An industry of, around, around that. They even create some kind of whereby, whereby schools where they train people. That would, uh, I mean, you see, well, man, we can come here and start giving them these uh, this, uh, this ideas of how to create an economy, boost the state. I mean, but the point is this, that when the fundamentals are not done, it's, it's, very, it's very, very hard for you to implement them or to even see any success with that. Now you're talking about building code, which is fine, which is good. You regulate it. But the enforcing of that, that, that code, that would be local government, not states. It is local government because every local government has to also design, have to tailor the whole code to their own locality. But you see, when we talk here, they will say we don't know what they're talking about. Uh, that's why we're not moving forward in that state, in that Lagos state, and maybe every other state in Nigeria. But for me, I'll just say focus more on urban planning first. Zone the state. If you want to decongest, if you want to decongest, you see, oh man, uh, there's a lot of things to say about this, but. I just want to say is that it's going to be very, very difficult for them to plan because of the congested, the congestion in Lagos State, trying to decongest it. But the point is this is that if you end sport, if you want to, if you want to start decongesting Lagos, there's a way you can do it. Here in America, here in uh, some state here, they will have existing code for I mean buildings that are existing already. Before some code are adopted, before some certain codes are adopted. So such such as uh, existing building, you don't tamper with them, you don't force them to. To observe or to follow the new, uh, the new code, uh, building code. So what we now do is this: is that you would say any plans that have been submitted, starting from so 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 uh, uh, months going forward, you must show that when you when you buy a plot of land, this is a, this is the amount of size of house you can build within that plot of land. You cannot exceed that. 
so as to have surroundings like around it. So my point is this, when you start doing that, people will start building house. And you see, people, when people don't have enough places, they'll start moving out of Lagos. When you can't, you can't find a house in Lagos, because that house is only built for X amount of people that are living in that house. If you build a house, this house, this, no, this, this size of this house, only three or five people can live in it. This face me and face you will, will, will totally wipe out. And you see, those old face me and face you, face you, that face me and face you, you see that people will start acquiring them and start building them to the standard of the, of the, the new standard the Lagos State wants. Thereby, those gradually they start if, uh, facing out those old existing homes. I'm just giving, I'm just giving them, I'm just giving them idea. But I don't yeah, but, 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 but rational mind. Hmm. These are these are two sides of the same coin. Urban oh. planning is kind of like a big picture, but the building code enforcement are kind of like the uh, they're, they're more of the actionable. They're more of the lower level stuff like to make sure the building is standard that structural integrity doesn't take away the values of the property exactly. yep. Yep. As, as in fire as it doesn't constitute fire as a good construction so it's part of it's kind of like part of overall urban planning well you can look at urban planning in terms of uh zoning infrastructure community parks and all that stuff but the uh, at the at the what's it called? My English feels me. I've not talked in a while. At the tactical area, the lower level, you must have structural. You must have some structure, good buildings. You don't want Lagos having all these buildings. This one collapsed today. That one collapsed tomorrow. Or you need see people living in shanties. Uh, you see people kind of defecating in areas because there's no. I mean, the the building code has shalanga instead of like decent WC. Stuff like that. You can't criticize just because you may have some sort of. Uh, uh, Apparently, you don't understand. You don't, you don't. You don't know the distinction between urban planning and. Yeah, there are two parts of the same coin. Urban planning yeah, 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 is just yeah, a big picture yeah, strategy. Yeah, yeah, you can say you can say they are still part of the two sides of the same coin, but there is there's a limit to what building code regulates. <clears throat> there's all called code enforce enforcement um, in different um, counties here, or should we say local government here? In America, then they will they will enforce zoning. They will come there. They will look at what kind of house you are building here. What's the height? Yo, you cannot be yes. so hundred. So, so, so. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're asking this, that that does not fall under uh, the purview of, of of building code proper. Even though the building code also addresses that, but the building code will only address that based on the zoning of that of that of that uh, of that structure you're building. So yeah, which is the big picture? Yeah. 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 What, my point is, is see, what, 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 let me just so that I can move on. The point is this is that focus more on urban maybe so someone who went to somewhere in, in, in uh, China recently focus more on urban planning map out that Lagos or areas of Lagos whereby they are yet to be developed map them out just just map them out any house that has to be built there if you're buying one plot of land tell them you cannot build X amount of how I mean uh size more than this size on this plot of land when they start doing that you see that other homes when, when people cannot even move there the houses that are there that are all standard. People will start buying those homes that are existing and they will start converting it. And that is how you see. You uh, can do both at the same time, enforce the building code and also do urban planning. You don't have to leave one for the other. They're not mutually. I'm, I'm not saying they should I'm not saying they should leave one for one, but I'm saying start with the, the basic first. The basic is, I mean, put a structure, urban, urbanize the whole place very well. Structure the whole place very well. If you do are that, you worried about gentrification? Then what? Gentrification in Lagos? Are you worried? It's going to happen anyway. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean by gentrification? Like, are you talking about like they chase poor people away from area and then they build mansions? So be it. So be it. If it happens, it happens. That's how you, you you need to start opening standard at some point. You have to start opening standard. I get it. I know it's going to. Yeah, well, what will now happen to the poor if you are not worried about it? What will now happen to them? I love me, Okay, then, then let's. <laughs> You see, this is you see that about 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 that bar. They, they can they can they can send them to Bozi. You know that in Monaco they don't let poor people live there. They put them outside of the city. They come to work and then and then they they send them back again. You, you see, you see, well, when we say Tinubu does not have um, this guy is just a charlatan. It's just um, it's just an opportunities I'm a, a opportunist. Right? Well, why does that Tinubu with Lagos? Not sorrow. Now, if I if I if I go on, let me mad at sorrow. Because you people come here, you say you build Lagos. I don't know the crap Lagos you people are saying. That is that slum you say you build that you're calling Lagos. 
and then you are calling telling me, man, this guy, you people look at him as a, a leader of Yorubas. I wonder what when I wonder what was there. He did not develop only a badon. He extended, you see, yeah, if you there's a place in Ondo State today, if you look at the design that I, I will had for that place, the way they structured that place, um uh, uh what do you call that? Uh, Okutupa area there. Okutupa area. There was a way that guy is they really mapped that place because they wanted, they wanted to turn that place to industrial areas. If only that was you know, things did not fall through, like you know what happened after the whole the coup and everything that happened after that. But my point is this is that he did not just focus on Ibadan being the capital city of the western region then. He was spreading the whole development around. Tinubu know you knew that, okay, you are the leader of the APC, or I mean, AD then. You knew that you had this, this, this thing. Within, and you knew that Lagos is, is a time bomb, it's a ticking time bomb. Why don't you just ask those governors around there with you? Tell them, that, can you open your space? Can we move people out of Lagos? Can we, how can we help you? Can we, can we bring in people that will come and, I mean, urbanize certain areas there and who can start moving out people? So Lagos can become a world class. But maybe that... you get yourself familiar with the constitution that says Nigerians can reside anywhere, any part of that country. This is not Nigerian constitution. What this is not? You see, this is. But I'm just telling you how radical. Where else people cannot stay? You're not. If you have the money, come and stay. Awolo was the premier of Western Region. That was his duty. He was the governor of Lagos State. So, you people call him a Yoruba leader. Yeah, is that what you people are calling him? Who called him Yoruba? Who, 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 did you go to lecture and vote him leader of Yoruba? I will remember you. I will remind, remind you guys. When did you vote for him? Oh, yeah, 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 no. No. Nobody ever called him Yoruba My leader. point is this. My point is this. You see. And you, and you allow, which, let me just let me just you see this is all you people just call me want to, let me just go to what i'm saying my point is this is that lagos needs to be up to that you need to bring it to that standard that it should be among cities that we call i, I mean i mean that I refer to as world-class cities that you can live and that's the only way they can go about it urbanize the place new plans that are coming in that have been submitted give them a standard if this is the standard no face me and face you anymore we're not allowing face me and face you if you are building a three-story building, you must make it that it's a, it's a flat. You know, and this is an X amount of people that can live in that house. And enforce it. But how can they enforce it when everything is centralized into Lagos, I mean to Lagos State government? That is why you have to allow the local government to work, employ people. Because through the permit that you are issuing, people doing inspection, they will be getting employed that way. You see, we can give them all these all this, all this, all this ideas, but we didn't follow it through. Because they want everything to be in Lagos, they want Songo or whoever Tinubu puts there to control the whole the whole treasure of that all that money that is got. That's all they that's all they care about. And when we talk about this, you say maybe we don't we don't like it. So my point is this that it's just um, it's just I think it's just noise making at this point. Because the main thing they need to do is urbanize that state. That's my suggestion to them or through you, one man, through your platform. Urbanize the state first. Like uh, so, what I said, you can still continue doing the building code enforcement, but you cannot do it when you centralize it into the Lagos, into the Lagos state government. Let the local government function. Let them employ code enforcers, building inspectors, do all of these things. Local government wise, not by states. Local government, and let us see how it how it starts. I'll leave it at that one. Oh, 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 all right, Brenda, Rasna mind. So the next headline on the screen, you you sent this in as well. So. Do you want to talk us through uh, what's going on uh, with this piece? Yeah, my point is this from what I said that to, to you is that, you see, uh, people are going through tough time. Um, recently, I was just, um, these past few days, I was um, with a, a family member of mine who has a very difficult situation. And <clears throat> we are just bringing something together uh, uh, because um, she lost her job and her husband is not doing well and all of that. I was just bringing something together and was like, but now, why I'm saying this is just because the policy, because the scene says it says that the reforms uh, that Tinubu brought as deep in the crisis, the living crisis of Nigerian people. Yes, and you look at that. If you look at that, uh, that uh, that reportage very well, you see a lady was said that uh, she used to earn X amount of money before, and she was able to take care of her kids. But then these kids, you now she, she doesn't even make up to thirty thousand naira that she used to make by, is it by day, like they said. She only makes like five thousand naira. naira. Okay, so that's the dollars. I think naira. I mean to say. If you make 30,000 naira, and now it makes uh, 5,000 uh, 5, naira. So what happened to those 25,000 25, 25, naira that is, that is shaved off from, this, from our income, daily income or whatever, you know, income, how it makes it? What else? Because people no longer have the money to buy or to ask for a service anymore. And myself and this is my uh, family member, we're now brainstorming about this thing. What can you do? 
How can I support you? And then we realized that virtually anything that she has to do, she will need to use electricity. And now we look at it. Okay, now if you want to use electricity, now to power those, those, those engines that we're going to put in that warehouse for you to be doing that business. You know, look, this is the business she wants you to, wants to do. She wants to, be, uh, she wants to be collecting, she wants to be a distributor for one of those ice cream making company. And they will be supply, supplying her um, fan milk and all of those kinds of milks. And she'll be getting uh, all these, uh, uh, some of those uh, uh, milks that all these kids, they, they take to school. They call it, is it Bobo or something like that. And she'll be doing other side business. So it's called that, honorary buying diesel alone. Diesel alone, just to buy diesel to power those things. I mean, and then how much are you going to make at the end of the day? So my point is this, is that this policy of this, I mean, I'm not saying Tinubu is the wahoo, but it's part of the, it's part of the problem, part of the rot in that state, in that country. Now, all this, all, all the, this, this knee jerk um, approach that they are always applying to the solution in Nigeria today, it is, uh, it's, it's not, if it's not Binance or Binance, it will be Aboki FX tomorrow. If it's not that, it will be this. I mean, now you're talking about, uh, you people, uh, you want my you when you were reading some, reading some days ago. Oh, the Tinubu is, uh, is uh, Cardoso is doing well now. Uh, the the uh, uh, JP Morgan is saying that Nigeria is, Nigeria is going to. Oh, I don't, I don't even look. Do you know what the rate is of Naira is today? Hey, even bigger than that, Goldman Sachs. Yeah, Goldman Sachs, maybe you said. So, but what, what, what's, the, what's the Naira rate now to dollar today? It's about a thousand six hundred something Naira. So what does that? Um, what does what, the Binance thing? What are, how, how, is that, how does that even help the situation? It is still it is still where it is. I mean, kind of. It is still where it is. I mean, we know that it shaved off after the whole Binance something. It, it, it dropped from nine hundred, I mean, a thousand nine hundred naira to a dollar to like a thousand almost seven hundred naira now. It, yes, uh, but um, rational mind. The thing is, um, <clears throat> we are we are witnessing uh, oh, it, the green shoots of stabilization. So so it has to stabilize first before it starts to strengthen. And, and we're seeing uh, there's two things that we're seeing now over the course of the last few days uh, going on weeks um we're seeing stabilization and then we're seeing convergence uh, we, 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 we are tracking it here Koko will tell you uh we, we are seeing convergence between the parallel markets and the cbn uh rates so we're seeing those two things so so it, there's a predictability to the price point now somewhat at least we're seeing the green shoots of that so after that, then, then you then start to strengthen it because it's established a value and it's not skittish in its movement where uh, within one day it's gained and lost a hundred naira thereabouts. So we're seeing that stability first and then uh, consequent to that, we start to see strengthening. Okay. I, I wish I could bring, I could send you another, uh, another um, article that you saw recently uh, that there was another... Oh, was that's Rational mind. The yeah. major problem to all these things is, uh, is uh, purchasing power of the people. So not necessarily uh, all these uh, figures that are given. Things are very costly. Yes, quite all right. Even if the dollar remains at 1,600, they must work on increasing the minimum wage. So so that people can afford the price of food item in the market. That's the only, only problem we have in Nigeria. So if you keep on denying them that uh, that uh, salary increase and the minimum wage increase, then you are doing nothing. I'm even surprised that things are even still going higher, even as of today. As of today, there are things I bought like 1,500 naira last week. Today they are telling me one speed. I was telling them, but they said that's the company price. So I'm even surprised. Me uh, uh, so, so sorry, Rash. So, sorry, rational mind. That space that I can I just open the door, uh, and I've had that argument so many times. Um, it's not really increasing. Um, it's not really increasing people's wages. It's increasing the value of that naira, what is able to purchase. So, uh, if, if you know, if they make the naira, if they make it so that a hundred naira can feed somebody comfortably, then it then there there will be no need to to um to uh to to increase wages so so that's really where it is and to that end uh this this piece now sent in by uh by one of the subscribers this is by your honor Nuga, just uh letting you know policies been uh be, be, been implemented it says Tinubu government... 
I don't know why they're leading these guys. Like this by on all stuff. It's it's a government spokesperson. Not be unless this hypocrites. I bet. How is it hypocrites? Hey, it's people, 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 people that make sense. Not people like this. Psycho. I don't. I don't listen to psycho. Psycho cans. Uh, I don't listen to. I don't. I. I don't even follow him on Twitter. This guy doesn't make sense to me. You, if you want to talk about the Nigerian issue, you talk about people that makes more sense. People that are serious with the life of the people, not people that are looking for where the we are something we fall under the table so that they will pick it and eat. I don't uh, like this guy. It, it's already it was already a wealthy man even before Tinubu came okay, in. But is is a government is a government spokesperson, and, and I think uh, this this speaks to just it says that Tinubu's government orders ten thousand tractors. As Germany's Deutsche Bank uh, pours 995 uh, million euros into, ag into agric hubs in 774 local government areas. So uh, I can read the rest of it, but that one paragraph just tells you then that uh, with that, with that, 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 that ultimately crashes the price of food. And you don't then necessarily need to, if you crash, crash the price of food, you don't need to increase uh, people's wages uh, for affordability. Yeah, one well, man, you see, uh, it's easy for us. I mean, it's, it, you can go on and just say this. And, I mean, we just have to see, like, one of the things I said is that I just have to see, wait and see how Tinubu navigate this whole thing. But the thing I'm just trying to say is that the cost of doing business in Nigeria is just it's, it's insane. It's, I mean, how do you expect foreign investors to come? Okay, like me, I want to, I want to come in now and invest. I want to help somebody now to invest. You have to, you have to go and look for the shop or like a warehouse kind of place. And by the time you get it, they'll tell you some, some amount of money for you to get the shop. And then you have to figure out how to, you have to deal with the electricity part of it. I mean, the cost of doing business in Nigeria is just so insane. So my point is this, is that um, this issue of dollar, whatever we're calling it, uh, I, 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 I just don't know. I don't know. I sent you. I sent another one recently. Now, just a few weeks ago, about punch that dollar. I mean, naira will still go up to like two thousand. Well, that's what that's, that's just speculation. You might still get up to two thousand naira to a dollar to, to a dollar. But the point is this: is that what I'm trying to say is that you just have to wait and see how these people manages this. Uh, to, to a pound. Is it to a pound? Is that it? To a yeah. Pound? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I didn't look at it. Like maybe it was that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Well, whatever it is, I mean, my point is this: I just want to see this is a policy. Really. And, and, and by the way, it yeah. fell. It fell to two thousand to a pound yeah. because it was higher than that. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that's yeah. that still speaks to the strengthening of the naira slowly. Okay. All right. Okay. To the pounds. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I agree. I, I admit that. So my point is this: is that um, this policy that they are taking, that they're doing, I just want to see it take effect. But people will say it's, it's going to take a while for it to take effect. But let us see, because. I mean, it's, it's strangulating businesses in Nigeria. That is why a lot of businesses are moving out. And not, I don't even know all the ones that they're talking about that are coming in. Why, why are these people coming in with invest, investment? What kind of, what, how can you even invest? When you are buying something today, the next day the dollar is just skyrocketing and then you can't even plan. So my point is this, is that this is our monetary policy. They need to get their act together and put it right because a lot of Nigerians, a lot of businesses are folding up and no new ones are being created. Like I just give an example of the one we're trying to do now, and then we're just trying to brainstorm how do we go about it. What well, I mean, because how can you run a business and you're running loss at a loss in a business like that? So, and uh, for me, woman, I I just wish them the best in that, but I don't trust Tinubu in anything. Like I said, until he proves me wrong, before I will be able to come here and sing his praise. I love that. Rational minds. You see what? Let, let me let me tell you something, right? What Nigeria is going through now? Guess a country that went through it successfully. South Korea. You remember the Asian, uh, the Asian financial crisis in the nineties. South Korea used to peg their currency to the dollar, one dollar to South Korea on one, and they went through that crisis. They free floated their currency; it lost value against the dollar, very very massive. Immediate outcome was there's hunger, there was suffering, there was this. But then they took advantage of it to implement uh, export policies and also uh, restructure their banks and their corporations. They made them bigger, more buoyant. And now look at what is happening in South. I mean, in South Korea now, boom. No, but no, at no. the time, at the time they did that devaluation, they suffered. There was 
extreme hardship. So while Tinubu is taking us down this route, that's why we need to criticize his implementation because we need those policies. We need the things that will kind of like get us producing. Because I think the other side of it will be better. Now, you see, when we use this false, false equivalency, like what? Uh, uh, it's not a false equivalence. It's a false equivalency you're using here. Yeah. You see? Why is it false? Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'll tell you this is why it's false. Because uh, Korea, South Korea has always been a very industrialized country. They've always been, they, 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 they produce a lot. They are productive. Uh, this narrative you're talking about, about the devaluing, I mean, I'm talking about South Korea of the 1990s. Uh, yeah, 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 they have been, they have, they've always been an industrialized country, they've always been producing. Yeah, they went through some crisis, I understand that, but what my point is, is that you are trying to uh, for, uh, implement the policy when you've not even put the things, I mean, look, this is the same guy who was speaking a few days ago, the Tinubu guy who was speaking, saying, uh, when I was talking about restructuring, was it restructuring? He says, you need to put some structure down before you can put something he has no structure already, and you're just floating, the, floating, uh, uh, floating, uh, floating the naira of trying to float some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, reforms when you've not even put some things on ground. He's the same one who said that. He said you cannot just do this thing without putting structure. I said now you now realize that there's an important. There's, there's, it is very essential that you put in place some kind of structure before you can even say you want to build anything on it. That's the problem. Yeah, well, this is what I just tell you. We're putting tractors. Korea, Korea, Korea. You're talking about is a very productive country. They produce now. It is very, very much, much it's productive. Even much it's more now. Productive. Much more now. But then, then Be because of the devaluation, is now way much more productive. You know, a dollar is like one thousand three hundred one or something like that. Uh, you see, uh, it's very okay. We, well, okay, we see. And now they like, pegged this one dollar. Here. To, they pegged one dollar to one one before, uh, but now it's one thousand. It doesn't matter as long as we focus on the right priorities. If it's farming, let us. I go I don't see I don't see Tinubu's uh, Tinubu's. That, that, that's why I I call me I'm a skeptic when I talk the way I talk. But I'm, I'm trying to. I, I'm trying I, to. I get to you. Right. Doubt. I, I get you. I know other countries have gone through it, but not in the way and manner in which we, we did our ours. My point is this, that if you want to see a, a policy or a reform you want to bring in, really work, you must have to do the and you have to do the grand job first. Because you cannot build on something when you don't have anything on, on that, underneath it. So that's the but point. Was, uh, we're Nigeria, Nigeria right now, hold on. You're talking about we're not productive. Even the crude oil we're selling. Yeah, but if we remain the way we were going, we will never be productive. We need to change our habits. We need to discourage. We okay, need... What are you putting in place to show the productivity? That's the question. What are you putting in place? We're tractor now, 10,000 tractors. Okay, so, uh, so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, mind. can I keep this in? You see, a part of the structure you need to put in place for the productivity to take place is this floating of Naira. You see, eh? Now, with one thousand naira dollar, I can make an investment in Nigeria of one million naira. That's that's the essence of devaluation. Even small businesses can come and invest in Nigeria. Businesses who have maybe fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar floating with hundred million in Nigeria, you can do a lot, and that's the attraction. And the, another attraction is that it's now if it's stable, I can say, Okay, I'm taking hundred thousand to Nigeria. I'm making a hundred dollar, hundred million naira investment. I'm sure that it's going to be stable, so I'm not going to be having some exchange rates, exchange risk, and that will take my money. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, is this one that would drive productivity? It's not productivity that would drive this. Are you no, following this, me? This, 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 this manner and where you just said it now. It's it's very easy for one to just buy into it. That yes, it makes no, sense. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, oh. That's the way it is. That's what I'm saying. That's why the man is now going to the question places is, and say, the question, the question is, finish. sorry, sorry. Okay, That's why on. the man is going from place to place and say, come and investment. The come and invest, rather. The cost of investment in Nigeria is cheap for them now. People who have like maybe 500,000 and they think they can never invest in Nigeria can come into Nigeria and they'll become a very big investor with 500 million dollar naira. They can do a lot of things. No, no, no. It's, 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 that's, that's, that's a no, false. no, no. That's okay, the right um, now. Can I chip in that way, I'll close with this. Sorry, I'll close with this. You are saying we need to be productive before you start doing that. Whereas one of the things that we need to be productive is to do this. 
One of the things we need to do to attract the investment that will drive our economy and make us productive is this. If we are already productive, we don't need it. Our productivity will drive our exchange rates. Do you understand what I'm saying? But because we are not... Okay, you see, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, 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 hold on, Rasna, mind. L let Prince come I'm in, and then... Uh, so, are you hearing me? Here, you fell off. Can no, 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 you're, 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 you're dipping heavily. That's the logic. That's why it works. That's the dynamics. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, rational mind, let our Prince Daddy come in, and then you wrap it up in, in about a minute or so, and then we go to Dewali. I think Kenya wants to come in fairly quickly. Uh, but Prince, yeah. Uh, Prince you want, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Norman. I was going to say, uh, to rational mind, I don't think South Korea has always been a developed nation I, I don't think so this started from somewhere but anyways um but to to rush on uh, to collateral um, analysis uh well taken but but the caveat i would say uh, uh something that's that's um core to the success of south korea is missing in nigeria which is they are nationalistic and they are self self-preserving unlike nigerians okay so um i don't know if you heard about the the korean miracle the south korean miracle 1962 to 1980 uh that which bo which boosted the economy and, and made them what what it became today uh it was export driven industrialization uh, strategy that it implemented and, and that's why today the, the, for example the, the top uh, machineries and, and vehicles in this, in the world today are are um south korean vehicles so um yes even though it appears on the outside nigeria and south korea may be you know having the same problem or nigeria may be having the same problem as this south korea back then but we don't we don't have a lot of uh uh um the structure of our country you know defeats you know the the success that that may come from it okay um again at the core of the South Koreans are the spirit of oneness, which we don't have. And that and that is essential in any nation to succeed. So you, you have a nation of, of uh, rent seekers, uh, not doing any real economic activities in, in our country. And you know, at the end of the day, Tinubu may end up being a very successful uh, president uh, on paper by strategy but the implementation is is always circumvented from from the onset something has to drastically change in that country um uh to 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 um to realize the success as did on uh, south korea thanks uh, point taken uh prince that you're right koreans are nationalistic and there's even a a, a security reason for why they're nationalistic they have a threat just across the border of the same people the the last recipe the last card in who can play but for this to make sense is restructuring but i'm not i don't want to turn this to another restructuring that goes all the time but that that card is still there yeah so uh in conclusion woman uh, and everybody for me i just think um uh we have a long way to go uh if you've said it um how can you i don't know if a lot of people have been talking about restructuring lately uh, a lot of um um, organizations have been having calling conferences here and there within, uh, within Nigeria asking for restructuring. So I don't see, you see, that's what I was saying. If the, the other line, if the main thing is not done, anything you try to build on it, I don't see any, any, wait, you didn't you hear what um, this guy said today? Was it uh, today, Buari, when they said he was uh, praising Tinubu? But the, he, he praised Tinubu, the other part of his comments, people did not even pay attention to it, where he said that. Um, uh nigeria is is, is uh, i think so it's like nigeria is the most uh, nigeria is the most difficult place to to to, to govern or something like that i mean yeah, com com that com complex it's a very complex place so if you know that it's complex so what are you people what are you people campaigning about to want to come and do if you cannot even you, you know you cannot even affect any 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 change long lasting uh, any impactful thing in the lives of the people that you are coming to govern so it's you very you can only do not. You can only do little or nothing. Something like that. Something like that. So, which has already indicted him and indicted even the one that is there right now. And there's nothing you can do. 
when people like the power, the banjo, and the other people are clamoring that, let us restructure this country. There's nothing you can build on that country with the way that country is set up. We can come here and start using this false narrative and false uh, equivalency of uh, North Korea or Korea did this, uh, Bangladesh did this. Forget it. Our own situation is unique. These people don't have the kind of situation we are fighting. Listen, South Korea was not facing bandits. We're not getting their kids kidnapped. We're not getting all these things, all this crap going on in that country. People, their farmers were not, were not, were not, were not stopped from, uh, their farmers were not stopped from not going to farms. But then we'll come here and start using, uh, yes, uh, we did, they did, they did their floating their own naira. They floated them, I mean, they floated their own one or whatever more currency they call it, but not in the kind of situation we have in Nigeria. So Sibu should have done his own work very well, put in place things that he has to have put in place before saying he wants to float the naira or even, even put, a, put, put, I mean, put in abeyance that floating of the naira. Go with that one first, the one you the oil, oil subsidy first, take it off first, and then you leave the other one until when you get your structure in ground. But you just came, you just announced things, and then one man, let's not let me not repeat myself. I know everybody has said this before, but for me, I don't see Tinubu making any success with this. But if he does that, I will be one of those people that will come and say this place. Yeah. Oh, all right, Brendan, that's the masterful uh, uh, rational mind, the elegance of the man. So, uh, a man of equal elegance, Dewale, you are up next. Rational man. Oh, we're for you for Tinubu. <laughs> that is the antidote of Tinubu's idea. Anyway. You can't have a man's son in Europe, but not going to be a bad day. I'm not going to be a bad day. We continue to talk and talk until Jesus comes back. Anyway, good, good job, rational man. Uh, what do you want? Let me even speak to that, uh, Senator Nikki. Of a thing. We flood so many topics on this show tonight, but I don't want to put too much emphasis on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, on, uh, on the topic. You see, uh, that, Dewali, can, I, can I make a request since we want to talk about that topic? One, uh, can you can you pull the last article I sent to you from Reuters News? Please. Oh, oh, just, oh, 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 is it oh, on Insta? On Instagram, yes. The oh, 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 all right, Karen wants to do that. Okay. So, um, you know, I said something earlier that um, it is on the screen. Sorry, Dewali, before you continue, how much did Reuters say the Senate passed? I believe it's... 28.77. Uh, uh, okay, so where, what is missing? There's nothing missing. What, what do you mean what is missing? The guy said they passed, they discussed and um, talked the past 25 billion. But you, you no, 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 hold on. No, no, he didn't say that. People are not listening to this guy. The guy said they passed 28 point something billion, but he said there is a nexus uh, between uh, uh, 25 billion and reality. He says 25 billion, you can identify projects and locations for 25 billion, but anything outside of that is money that has been budgeted but 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 as is not factored in any way no that's not what i read in other news sources i've checked daily trust i've checked other places that's not what he said because it's good because they keep twisting it that's what he said they quoted him out of context that's what he said oh, oh all right hold, hold on hold, hold, hold on give me two minutes Wally, i just want to prepare the stage for you new sorry oh no i mean findings so if in the course of our perusing the budget, the budget, which Onanuga seems to have dwelt on, I say we have established very reasonable doubt about 25 trillion so far has nexus in the budget that means there is money and then there is project and then there is location money project location 
but we are yet to ascertain three trillion, three trillion of that budget. We have established the three trillion in the budget. We have not established its location and the place. So are you clear on what you said now? So he's saying there's three trillion that doesn't have line items attached to it. E e exactly. That's it's just money budgeted but are uh, not uh, associated with anything. It could be contingency. Anyway, that they still that's still an association, but uh, the one is sorry, continue. I get what you say now. Okay. You know, in, in the course of this, I'm not saying that uh, such things cannot happen. Uh, even uh, when it comes to the, the smallest breakdown of the uh, the budget, sometimes discrepancies do happen, but the, 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 the number is significant enough. But what I'm trying to figure out is that if you allege that there is uh, discrepancy, as I said, there must be some sort of, you know, uh, we, as it's still a member of this tent assembly and instead of holding the limelight by going to the press but as well you know uh, he's allowed to uh make such uh, uh allegation on the floor of national assembly or the particular committee that handles budget he can as well pass it across to them but he wanted it to be in the public forum and that is the reason why is coming to the public and making this allegation. Now, what I detect or detect in the tone of this uh, public uh, opera is that he's trying to be more, making it more political. He's trying to separate himself from the northern or northern uh, 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 for, uh, forum leaders and. In as much as he's trying to distance himself from that group, it can be a known wolf. Somebody say, well, more or less like a whistleblower. You see, as a whistleblower, there's going to be uh, a process or an avenue for you to speak up. If we don't know the breakdown, where this particular project, I mean, for every every little penny going to be spent by the government, has to go through the ministries and the other prior starters. So there, they are able to have a breakdown of all these discrepancies. So Nigeria just heard about the, uh, the trillion of naira being allocated, but not sure of where the uh, project is going to be cited and all that. It's just, to me, noise without substance. In as much as Nigerians like Baba Ajali Koko would like to give credence to that allegation, I would take it with a pinch of salt. Because the moment you decided to ignore the appropriate channel and follow uh, a channel like this, which of course will create a soundbite, but not necessarily do much because you've alleged and it is uh, uh, a burden on you to provide the the, the the evidence to the public and now when you allege like this i am not actually providing the the, the 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 breakdown of the entire of the of where you found this discrepancy then it's just going to be noise and the the public will embrace it and run with it the, the media will run with it but i think him also going to the public and like i said earlier uh run foul of the uh the rules of the uh parliament because they also have the, and nobody, not even the president of the Senate, is above the rule when it comes to their rules in the floor. And almost every member must abide with, even the last time the uh, uh, the, the people were talking about the Labour Party uh, parliamentarians that are about the uh, uh, involvement with the uh, SUVs and the uh, they also know that they have to abide by those rules. And that's why their hands are kind of like they're a little bit handicapped because they can't just violate those rules and go against it. All right. So to me, even if what he's saying is genuine and is is he has uh is uh is actually true, I expect him to have gone through the right 
Zara before, you know, he's hugging this limelight. And I can tell you, nothing, con nothing, nothing, nothing positive is going to come out of this uh, public uh, 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 thing because he has gone through the wrong channel. And Abanjale uh, Koko was trying to, you know, champion him as uh, it could, might even be that, you know, the, the so called project that he's talking about probably it didn't work. somebody, you know, <laughs> took the, uh, took the uh the project and take it to their constituency and maybe that's the reason why he's you know, coming out to say all this thing we don't know right so and that's why we must not be too quick to jump into that bad wagon of uh, trying to embezzle money uh three trillion cannot be uh uh praise and is be part of the budget no to me i don't buy those so that's why i won't jump into that story of uh you know the the the, the, the of saying hair coin the same because I, I I didn't I wasn't part of the uh the this uh the discussion yesterday when it was discussed the topic was discussed but um based on what I heard today and I've also come across it in the newspaper it, it, to me it's just uh, it's just uh, much harder about nothing yeah, all right is this and, uh, sorry. I think uh, so, so, no, no, sorry, rational. I did that in there. Carry on. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so uh, you, know, Ali, you see, the thing is this: yeah, are we not the reason why? Are we not our problem ourselves? Because when you, when when I just listen to what you just said now, I remember I remember during Saraki time, when Saraki was trumpeting some of his shenanigans that was going on in uh, with uh, with uh, Buari, we saw some APC senators and some other people. They were against it. But I mean, I was one of those people that were against it. Now, when we see people like this report things like this, and I mean, and during those times, look at how they, they, they persecuted, uh, persecuted. Uh, uh, I would know he has his own, his, uh, maybe his own, his own criminal of his own, of his own self too. But look at how they persecuted him. They use uh, is it EFCC or whatever, is the ICPC to persecute that until when that case just down. So my point is this: is that when people come like this and they blow up the lead like this, and all we can say is that oh, maybe he has some material motive. Oh, maybe it's this, or maybe it's that. He did not go through the right channel. And then in the end of the day, we certainly go down the carpet. After eight years, this guy lives there. Before four years, he lives there. And now we now see him start hearing these rots, like we hear about the 30, 30 trillion naira that they printed. Somebody must have been blowing the lead. And then some of you will say, no, we cannot say that. It's because how do you know? It's not with that. It's not with that means. They must have uh, approved it. I mean, you see, we are, we, we are the, our own problem ourselves. When we come here, we talk. When somebody like this has blocked the lead, it is for us to say, okay, let us investigate now. You said 33 trillion, 3 trillion era, apart of, about, about this money, they have no project attached to it. There's no even location for them. Okay, can we figure them out? Let, let us find out if this guy was even right. But no, we'll come here and just say, I oh, know, he did not go to the right channel because he did not go to, he did not go to Asuro, and go and do ballet, and go and be doing rock and do Tunibu. And telling that, hey, sir, yeah, we, we figure three trillion naira, sir. Yeah, can you tell us, that? is that what you want? Come on, we are, we are our own problem. That is why that country will never move forward. When we hear people like this come and talk the way you just said, spoken, all because of Tinubu is there, he's your, your clansman. So nobody should say anything anymore. We should have to go and bow down to him in the as rock and tell him his fault or tell him whatever crap that he's doing is not doing right, right? Come on, I don't get it. It's just uh, sometimes beyond me when I hear people like you talk like this way you talk. Okay, don't let it aggravate you too much, okay? Like I said earlier, when it comes to public discussion, we should base on what we have in our hand or what is being in the public. Now, Senator Ningin is not like you and I, all right? He's privileged to some information that you and I have no idea of. Now, if someone like you and I are the one that's privileged to this information by chance, and we go to the public, I would take that because we don't have any other uh, channel for us to get across to Nigeria. But Senator Ningi is still a member of this 10th assembly. So that means he's in the position of privilege and he has the opportunity to address his uh, peers in the Senate and the committee on budgeting. Even the, the, the president of the Senate himself, even let's say, 
all channel all uh, uh, opportunities are blocked and he has no other means to get it to the public he can as well stand in that chamber and voice it out why still discharging his duty as a senator of the country and say this and this is what i found okay and you begin nigerians what me they have their own dedicated channel anyway so nigerians will take it but when you decided to go to the press and you boycott the normal channel that was supposed to go through the house i mean he was privileged to this information because he was a member of this assembly all right so if you decided to you get what you have, but you, embracing the limelight. What does that tell you, Russian am I? And that is why I, I'm I'm not trying to say what I mean. The allegation itself is not true, but I expect him. Somebody said it was in the eighth uh, assembly, not in the ninth assembly. Whichever way it is, he's a politician, and he knows how this thing goes. For time immemorial, we'll be having administration and having in the national assembly. They've been paddling pardon pardon budget for only god knows so this is not new but if you know that okay you know what we should continue with this trend and we need to go we need to tackle this thing you don't just go to the what would the public do there, okay there's public I, I, I Wale, let me ask you a question so there's what, a what you are suggesting that you should have done if you have done that and nothing happened what would you have suggested him to to do next yeah, but there's still nothing going to happen even with this no, no, that answer that to. question correct direct now it, what would have have whether he if goes he to the done public what you are asking him to do and nothing happened what, what and what, his, what? His, 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 his colleague at the national assembly will not discipline him and i can assure you they you will not be subjected to question. even if nothing comes out of as you are okay where you work there's some information you'll be privileged with at your place of work. There's some that will be confidential. There's some that you don't have to you know, reveal to the public, right? Now, even if you come across all these things, there is a, a avenue or channel for you at your place of work for you to, you know, how to those grievances or to out those things that you discover, right? The moment you step out of that process, you are breaking the rules or breaking laws. And that is why I said, look, in as much as he is privileged and discover all these discrepancies, you don't go to the media by making uh, uh, some assertion that, you know, you something is missing, question, but he has, you are still repeating what you have been saying. I okay. just have a question. Okay, what is the question he, again? He has done what you, so you suggested that he should have done. If he have mm -hmm. done it, you know, um, uh, um, um, and meet with the leaders of the Senate or um, the appropriation committee, look at what I discovered and, and you know, they didn't do anything about it. What what do you suggest? Sorry, what, what, what evidence has he provided so far? No, 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 you know, no that is it's not just a generalized allegation. So it's just the and then we should take it as gospel. You know, the answer the question. If I were to answer the, it's not about because to know who is the president. Separate the issue, separate the message from the messenger. No, Ajaleko, this is not the issue. Ajaleko, did he provide a leak to the press? Separate the message from the messenger. Zero. He is a senator. Did he provide a leak to the press? No. Did, did he provide, provide any sort? Did he provide any sort of documentation? That no. Your, no. Your, no. The the so, the so, the, the, so, the so, uh, I mean, Senate well, Committee on Appropriation and the Budget Office to come out and counter him. No, no, don't go don't go after this guy. Do you remember? No. Do you Whether you provided or not. He doesn't, who are he has said something, who are let them come out and defend him. One voice, but uh, what, what um, what Kulata said right there, he who alleges must prove. Uh, exactly. so uh, I, I, I think that came from Obasanjo, uh, 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 and the fullness of it. Uh, when Obasanjo said that, it says, uh, it, uh, I think somebody was uh, asking him, he said, uh, allegations are allegations, uh, and anybody can allege, but who he who alleges must prove. So anybody can say anything now. It's, it's essentially what he, 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 he is a member of that assembly. And he is saying that this is what I have seen. But he did not stand right? up. 
in, he, in the, he, at the chamber and it, raised on, the question. Hold on. He didn't. He said it, he did he said it in an interview. So providing this evidence, eh, he, 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 the, the people that he has, I mean the institution that he has accused of padding the budget with so much, three trillion, should now come out and help tell no, us. He is the one no, that will provide the evidence. He is the one that alleged that there was a misappropriation oh, okay, of okay, okay, so he's on, the one that on, would... the, uh, 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 hold on guys hold on hold on it's still my it's still my time okay until i yield the floor it's still my time and i want you guys to hear me okay i'm not debunking his allegation okay no that's not my place but based on what he had provided so far through the media. He has not provided any concrete evidence about where a particular uh, budget he was talking about, which agency of the government is supposed to carry out those projects. None. Zero. And I'm saying that he has a privilege and opportunity. He's a member of the Senate. For I, example... I, I think I will agree with you. I will agree with you. If, instead of embracing the instead of granting interview, yes. he could as we well stand up that in that provide, chamber... Uh, um, you know, well start. Remember yeah. when? Remember when the uh, when they were debating about the uh, the ways and means uh, process about how much was uh, printed, how much was approved, and all that. It wasn't just about something that just came up impromptu. Somebody must have rose up and alleged on in in that chamber, and the the the, the, the principal officer take that topic up, and they started debating among themselves. Even those who are uncomfortable answering some partner question ended up like the former uh, prior, uh senate president he stood up to address some of these even though when he was trying to cover out some things but at the end of the day i probably decided to organize the committee but, to uh, investigate but that. this, so, but this oh, budget was scrutinized in the senate now are they not the people please. that scrutinize that budget oh, in the senate oh, 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 even the same so they know, the same they they know what is the, they, all of them they, they would have appointed oh, hold on, that hold on, the bureaucracy doesn't work that way okay it doesn't work that way. And that's why I said, if you are in a position of privilege, use it to your advantage. Don't go and be hugging cameras and limelight simply because you want to pass a message. That is my take. If you are like that something happened, you have the, you are in a no, position. You know it's in the opposition. You know it's an opposition. It doesn't matter whether you are in opposition. You are in the world. They do it here in America. They do it here in any other democracy. It's democracy. They have a word. They have a word. They have a word for this. It's called unsubstantiated allegation. Whether you are opposition, whether you are an ally, if you accuse someone of something, bring evidence. That's what they do. If you don't want to bring it in front, leak it to the press. All this stuff is BS. Because you know when I'm able to strengthen, there's a chances that they put so core project that was saying that you know there's no um uh, uh money money uh, uh procured but there's no uh execution of it's possible that it might be such change for me. That's why he's coming to the public. Because if he had gone to the floor and raised this allegation, they would have talked about it and perhaps maybe some details would have emerged. But he knew that there's no something you know to bring forward that's why he's going to the media i mean look we're all learning we know how this thing works okay when it comes to politicians trying to go to the media they want to be ahead of the story and let me tell you something there's no way if except if you have something concrete that you really want to push out there you know that you are in the position to do it but in a situation like this it's just plain to the gallery and if he has that evidence he will have pushed it out but he knows some of those information are confidential perhaps he's privileged to it and he knows that it's going to connect to one or two people but what is the point what about that they will say the senate should uh, constitute the committee to go and investigate and you know what will happen in the government right we all know right but that's why I'm saying that instead of use one stone to kill two birds, use your platform, use your opportunity and the privilege that you have to deal with the issue instead of going and hugging camera and the same thing in front of camera just because you want to be trendy or you want to be in limelight. I understand it because it's a soundbite because Nigerians will buy it and sync with it. I, I get it totally. But it goes beyond that. A situation, serious situation like this should not be taken in such a way that, you know, we'll be talking about somebody granting interview. Look, I would not be surprised if even if his own member of the party would not disown him because they will try to distance himself away from him because now he becomes a lone wolf. 
okay i know you guys can't wait for somebody to be made a, a scapegoat but it doesn't work like that it doesn't it, 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 you see the uh what is it uh, you support uh, him, uh, uh, it's uh, not about support uh, about uh, Koko, understand my my point of view it's not about support it's about following you no, process. I'm saying you will support because you have said you know, some people we are solating, so you will support the idea of some of because that is what is going to happen, and I'm that is what is going to happen. That <laughs> Why is what that going... happen. Why must that because, happen? Look, it's not, it's not, it's not because it's the Nigeria case, it's, it's worldwide when it comes to politics. They will isolate you. You see, we, we always try to see us have like oh or only yabo, like it's not only Nigerian cases. No, it happens in other crime. It's just the way that way we go about it. Okay, it's just the way we go about it. Are you saying that the issue of the uh, uh, ways and means approval was not discussed among themselves before he, he get to the to the floor and it started becoming the training issue that people were not comfortable to ask answering questions? Of course, they must have been pushing it among themselves. I mean, none of them come to the media to say, oh, why was this approved during this and now? How come we have this interest, this and this and all that, that? I mean, how come the Senate uh, approved it, even though it was supposed to be approved before before it was even uh, look at the details of it? You know, all those things were perhaps must have been pushed among themselves before. Thank God that there's opposition now in power. That is why you see that coming out. Because if we are to be PDP, none of that would have surfaced. I mean, okay. sorry, if there were uh, Buhari Kakos in power, none of that would have come to limelight, okay? That is how it works. And I'm trying to let you guys know, it's not about I'm supporting that there is uh, a, a, a certain amount of money missing in the budget. No. It, for all we care, the story might be true, but how you went about it is going to die a natural oh. cost. That is what I'm trying to bring out. Oh, all right, and, really? for, and for my, uh, my brother in Anambra, look, uh, so Ludo is in a hurry, and the <laughs> and, uh, uh, commissioner. I don't know. Somebody I read it somewhere that is a local government chairman or commissioner. Whether commissioner or look, I think what Soludo, Soludo, Soludo did in ridiculing that man, you know, being part of his administration, knowing fully where there's a camera there. I think there's a way you can chastise your subordinate without being over the board or over on top of uh, over the board. Let me say, put it that way. But you see, Soludo perhaps may not care about. Anyway, I gotta go, guys. Continue. I gotta go. Oh, so, sorry, Dewale. I think Dewale just got caught in a phone call. Uh, but uh, Dewale, uh, join us just uh, when when the window opens. Uh, but the window opens for a Kenya now. The Jagger Bond. The are on the Kaka and Four, the Bashan Ga of the one man platform. Ah, Ogawa, Alpha. Every one man. Oga on top. I greet you, Sadero. And uh, I want to greet every every defender of corruption in Nigeria that is in this pla in this platform this night. Yeah, is that People like you. national mind? You are greeting national mind. No, I'm is greeting the latter. Mind? I'm greeting Kulata, I'm greeting Adewale, who again, defenders of corruption. Well done. No, no we are due process people now. You just can't be coming to accuse anybody anyhow. <laughs> in Nigeria, we not to work, honestly speaking, with people like Kulata and Adewale. The way they defend corruption in this country. But no, I'll share. But I just, I just wish uh, Obi, were, Obi is the president and this thing happened. I just uh, want to know the reaction of. Uh, Somebody like Kulata. And, uh, oh, and we already, like... already did all those stuff in Anamba now. Go and check his court cases. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go not, down. I don't say if you hear Obinen now. I don't say if you hear Obinen. If you hear Obinen now, your body got a hurt. No worry. Yeah? Ah. Continue you to cover your own. Continue to cover your own sins. You understand? But one thing is sure. They know they cover pregnancy. One day. They go burn them. That pregnant way they cover. One day they go burn them. And we go see the picking weather inside. So there is no need. So one man. Are you there? No, I heard you. With, with the listing economic, you carry go. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh... Papa, I heard you too. <laughs> uh, 
uh, um, uh, well, more, I want to, I don't know what to say, but uh, Moshe, Moshe has been spoken tonight, and I don't really have much to say. People like uh, 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 we, 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 we spoke on uh, uh, Soludo Ekene, who I think are uh, uh, one of your favorite governors and mine, yeah. Uh, Soludo, for me, Soludo has nothing to offer. You understand? People that are different, I know that uh, Ajali Koko love him so much. It's quite understandable. You understand? But you cannot love him more than the people that voted him and the people that he, he's governing. We can assess his work very easily. Because at least, I, 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 I'm in Anambra a few months ago, and I will still be in Anambra in just a few weeks now. I will still be in Anambra State. So you cannot assess him more than me. I know most of his projects, even the one he has not even touched. So, but uh, uh, his problem is that he is bringing back God for that reason in Anambra State, and it's affecting his government so much. I've noticed that people that have not that have not been in government is now giving them room to participate. People like a uh, for at the uh, those guys are the Godfathers. We have in Anambra State, so those are affecting his uh, performance as a governor, and uh, it's quite understandable. Is uh, is is the least performing governor in Anambra State as of now? The least, because uh, like uh, people say that uh, they want to compare him with Obi. He has not even get. He has not started started anything now. What has he? What has he done? He has done nothing. Even as an education is that he is somebody that is educated. He never did anything in terms of education. You said he employed which which workers did he employ? He's riding on the oh, oh, be built for so, so, so the five thousand teachers qualified. Let, teachers. Uh, oh, I, I just let me. I just let me. Oh, Aja, let me finish. Let me finish. We, we have said. He, he, let me. Let nah, me finish. Aja. He, let man. me. I'm not lying. He, uh, uh, Aja, let me finish. After all, it's an evil man like you. But we will be your. But we will be the city thing. We will be. No, no, be in the governor. Yeah, I mean, government. I mean the governor. Now my governor now nah, is, is he your governor? You have a committee that hire teachers. Is he your governor? Teachers qualified. Is, we are the governor. We are, we are the teachers. We are the teachers. Una de to say never do anything. Never do anything. <laughs> to hire te even to hire teacher, I mean, to hire five thousand teachers, I mean, what in that one coming? You I mean, you sack me, Let me well, finish, I mean, Aja. Let when, me finish when now. When the hire it, five thousand teacher, what does that tell you? Is it not to right. to 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 to, to um, uh, 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 um um have qualified teachers to teach the children and 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 develop the educational uh, institution of that state and you are saying that he, he has not done anything why, why are you people doing like this yeah uh, 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 hold on for a minute Coco. but um yeah uh, hold on as well uh, uh, Kenne. Mm. The, this particular story it was one of the number one trending stories uh at yesterday that a lot of people having fun at uh at obi's expense uh peter will be under fire for condemning suvs for lawmakers after x ssg reveals how he bought 400 suvs for traditional rulers uh, as governor so this is a uh, i'm sure you've seen he, it he, he, did not, he bought he bought innocent vehicle for for what, traditional okay. rulers Innocent vehicle uh, with uh, yes. four hundred. Yes, he and, bought and it. That was his and he never denied. Uh, yes, hold he on. never. Can, 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 can I let God hold on, please? Yeah, it, 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 is that uh, Renault Mokri actually came out? It says that uh, just to put things in perspective, Peter B did not build one single school, no nursery, no primary, no secondary school built or university, but he had enough money to buy over four hundred SUVs for. Anambra Igwe's 400 SUVs in a state that was experiencing multi-dimensional poverty at the time. Uh, apart from SUVs and buries, what did Obi achieve with Anambra State? So that's a question we're all asking. I think we do. I, I think uh, there is... Can you hear me? Hold on one second. I, I think Kulata wants to put something to you, Dane. Pick, pick uh, up. Pick uh, up. We, yeah. no. we, have, we have like 140 or something traditional rulers in Anambra. So I, I'm interested in knowing 
what happened to the balance of those SUV? Let me finish. Let me finish. Um, uh, Leno Mokri is not someone that I take serious because he also promoted Obi when Obi was uh, the vice president of Article. He said a lot of good things about him. So, and the discourse he built and the how he saved the Umbra economy and all those stuff. So today I am not surprised what he's doing. So the guy is not a, is, is not to be taken serious. And though people like us know that it will be bought vehicles for traditional rulers in an Umbra state. When those vehicles were about to be purchased, they said they are not going to. If you watch here, there was a post made by Injenje. Injenje that came here last uh, last uh, few months, is it a few months ago. There was a post made by him. He visited one of the way in his uh, community. That still drive one of those innocent vehicles. He posted it on 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 the on the Twitter space. Very still clean, very nice. You understand? We know that he bought it, and nobody complained about it. And the one that he wanted to buy the, those vehicles, they said no, they're not going to use innocent. This and this, this and this. He said those those are the those are the ones he's going to purchase. So he purchased those SUVs from innocent, and distributed distributed it to to uh, our traditional ruler. So if you want to put a contest, you say it the way it is. People are now saying even the the money budgeted for SUVs, SUVs for our, our senators, nobody condemned it. But uh, we uh, said uh, that... Uh, 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 how many schools could that, those SUV? 400. He already... Let me finish. Let me finish. He schools? already... I told you, you can Google it now. Check OB built and renovated more than 4,000 schools. A body and campus was started and completed by him. If you talk about school, he gave he gave 700 vehicle, uh, uh, 700 school buses to 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 our schools, our secondary schools in Anambra State with boreholes, 30,000 computers. In, 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 a state, in a state that is suffering multi But he still provided multi all these things. He still provided for, all these things for the schools. For, 400 ve vehicles. Uh, do, do you know? 400, uh, 400, 400 for, SUVs for, for traditional for, for, rulers. Already rich Igwes. Already rich Igwes. Let me, let me, you said he didn't do anything. He bought it for them to bribe them now so that they can uh, support him for <laughs> Not what he was doing now. Yeah. And so far, yeah. the creditor say this man, you know, be. How, how did we get to? How, how did we get to from from Chinubu now to? How did you get to here? How did you get here? Oh man. Huh? How did we get here? In in, in the same way that uh, hold, hold on, let me answer rational mind's question. In the same way that uh, when we are discussing how to bake bread. You still land on Tinobo. So is that route that we follow? <laughs> that, that's the oh no, yeah, don't like that. Mama. 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 Uh, carry on. Uh, um uh, I can I still has the floor. Uh, good to see you, Niger man. Uh, Niger man, make morning. your make your position, then I'll continue. Uh, Mama, Mama, please uh, I think you have to put it on balance. You should have bring a road of mockery tweet in 2020. Uh, compare what he said there. I, I look this one by, with your own self as if there's any other of truth here. So it's can't just bring the side you like. Every time you want to bring something about to be your collateral, you will just bring the copy and paste the side you like to show us. But you will not bring what the, the rebalance side. You have to bring a real book in 2020 tweets. Bring it out and see who was his mentor, what he said about to be, and look this yeah. word if, that uh, Reno brought out today, that I brought out, that was trending this week, if it's true. He yeah, brought out... Uh, Reno, 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 Reno is in, 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 in London, in America. Run away during uh, Jonathan with uh, corruption. Yeah, he's not in Nigeria. He's there writing different things. People that are down here, in, 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 in the ground here, you are not listening to them. You are listening to somebody that is American living like please you people. I don't know where you come go and carry this. Who is Reno? Is it Reno uh is is, is Reno working in any Nigeria uh, news news or is he an investigation journalist that will come and be bringing controversial statement day by day when he's looking for he's looking for traffic? Looking for 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 to be. And this are lie are lie from the pit of air from a radio mockery. That's more goods. Yeah, That's yeah, well, well, hold on, hold on, Niger man. It, it wasn't actually uh, uh, Reno that brought it out. It was obese SSG when he was governor in Anambra. It's State. Reno. Go and look at Reno tweets. Is that when I saw that? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's yeah. It, uh, no, I can bring you the original tweet. That is why without brought, without you brought what on? he said. Without brought what he said in 2020. Uh, Niger, let me continue. One man, one man, would you give me time as you give orders? Because I don't want you to tell me that my time, has, that my time oh, is oh, off. Oh, of course, now. You know you are the number one voice here. Carry okay, on. let me speak now. Let me speak. So talking about uh, Obi, 
first of all, you people want to, you did everything to tarnish his image, but people like us that know what he did in Anambra State, not that Soludo can, we never, the way he's <laughs> doing, get close to him. You understand? He will never. The government house is living today. Will be built it. The government house is living today. Will be built it from down to 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 roof. The governor's lodge will be built it from down to roof. Do you understand? So what 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 is he trying to compare? Check a uh, check a uh, check uh, this um. This is a five-star hostel we have in, uh, in Anambra State in, uh, in Agolo. I mean in uh, Agolo Lake. Will be build it. So what is he, what is he trying to compare? He's trying to compare Soludo to Obi. Soludo never starts where Obi day. He never starts. Kogu Ebarian campus built first by him. I can take you there. One man, if you come to Nigeria, tell me to take you there. I will take you there. He named it Chukwe Mekod Mojo or the Mekwojuk campus. The Secretariat of Alhambra, who built it? The Secretariat. Alhambra was renting office for Secretariat. They built the Secretariat. Why the Express there? This exchange is thing. This exchange is what are they calling it? That office. Even our judges, they are large. And everything, you understand. Most of uh, all the all the maternities we have today was built by him. Our 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 this thing, our what do we call it, our our teaching hospital was built by him. They are, st they are still using it today. Hope you are not okay. didn't add anyone. Okay. Let me stop it. Wait, Kulata, don't wait. Kulata, wait. I didn't interrupt you wait. now. Give me my speech. Wait. Don't interrupt my speech. Don't interrupt yeah. my speech. Oh, 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 hold on, oh, hold on, oh, hold on. Okay. What, what, what Kulata is telling you is that that's not the topic. We're not saying we're talking about Obi uh, uh, buying these 400 SUVs. We don't want to, uh, you every so, day you tell us about how we, how we did you're, this. Even, you're, you're exaggerating. I'm, I'm, not as, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, uh, Kulata, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not as. Uh, was somebody? Uh, you know the last time uh, this. Uh, the last time. Let me finish, Kulata. No, you don't interject. I don't want you. To, no, don't interject. I don't want you to interject. How much was that? How much was that? You've been doing that year. You know, so no, I said, no, 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 right, Niger man, where, if he gets routed, then nobody will hear anything. So, so let, 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 let I, don't want to, I don't want Kulata to interject. Don't interject. Kulata, don't interject. It's, it's my space now. Don't interject now. Don't interject. Okay, go on, go on, go on, yeah, go on. don't interject. So, I, I speak of him because I know him. I'm not speaking because I don't know him. So, what I mean is that in doing all these things, all the backlog, all the money being owed, both pension, both salaries, about at five at five billion by the former governors. He cleared them up. That's a lie now. It's not a lie. It's not a let lie. Me, okay, let me interject then. I don't interject. Let me speak my lie. You understand? <laughs> then after, if you're not comfortable with the lie, you can go and go bully. You understand? I'm just love it here. Okay, then. Let, let, him yeah. you, let, let him 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 Amaku General Hospital. That was the name before. Am I lying? Gulata. Am I lying? You are lying. I'm not. Gulata is lying when you say. Gulata is lying when you say. Okay, Gulata. Gulata, go 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 go. Ebuarian campus. 
I read about this stuff. That it was an ex. It was. It used to be called a Maku General Hospital. Oh, guys, guys, leave. Nothing was called here. He started that project from the scratch. Let me tell you, he started that project. That is. It's not a lie. You can continue to argue it. I know the place. I can take you there. Don't take me there. I'm from Osho State. I don't have to go there. If you don't want me to take you there, then you stop speaking. Can I? Do you want him to have the interjection or not? If you hold on, everybody. Yeah. Let Kulata just have that interjection first. Do you remember the story of some water corporation people that they did not pay their money? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Was it about? Hold, hold on, rational, um, enigmatic. Uh, Lekulata have that interjection. I think it was that finally cleared the arrears salary that Obi did not pay. It was finally. I sent that news article to this platform. It was finally. Kulata, I don't do. I don't do. You yeah. don't do not interject again. If you reach your space, you can. If if if, if he gets if he gets to your tongue, you can spin whatever you want to spin. Yeah. you can spin whatever you want to spin. But as a as a as a as an Anembrenian, I'm I'm telling you what he did in my state. So if you don't want to believe it, if you want if you don't want to believe it, you can't believe what he's done in Osho State. You understand? So all right, can I allow two minutes just for um enigmatic to insert something and then you carry on? No, enigmatic. no, I will not give him enigmatic time. I will not give him my time unless oh, you want right. me to leave. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, ca carry on. No, no, no. I, yeah. Of course, we don't want you to leave. Carry on. We wait so, for you. you go finish now. Uh -huh. So if he comes, he can talk about it, whatever he wants to say. But for me, the what I want to say is that uh, Soludo never started where it will be there. So all this one he's doing is because he saw Alex Oti few days ago, visiting his uh, site and all those, and the people of Abba are helling him and all those stuff. He just come in now to bring camera to, to make it look that he's serious. He's not, he never, he's never serious. And Ambra said still remain the way it is since uh, Obi not left it. They never add anything to what Obi, Obi did in Anambra State, apart from airport that Obi, Obi not did with Obi, Obi's, Obi's money. Obi, the money Obi saved in the bank. You understand? So, but uh, apart from that, since Obi left office, upon all these projects that I mentioned to you, they never renovated. If you go to CKC, DMGS, it was the renovation and the reconstruction Obi did in that school that that school still carries up to today. Most of those uh, government schools. The renovation, the reconstruction he did in those schools is still what is still the look those schools are still wearing today. The boreholes that he 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 he, did, he dug in those schools, we are still what they are, they are using today. You understand? They never had anything. The school buses he provided for them, about 700 school buses, is still what they are using today. This one is busy fighting with uh, removing uh, traditional rulers and replacing them, fighting with them, sanctioning them. Soludo, go and check the news. That's what he, he knows how to do. So let him continue. I wish, he, I wish him good luck. He was the one that made himself to be, to be timed by the Anambra people. We, are now, we have now set him up. Let him perform as a professor he is. The trader has done his own. So as a professor, we are now giving him his own agenda and he must meet up with it because coming to qualification, he's qualified more than will be in terms of education. He's a, he's a well-grounded person in, in education, well-traveled, uh, former CBN governor, all those stuff and all those stuff. He's a professor. So I, it would be very shameful that after eight years or after four years, after four years, he didn't do anything more than Obi. In fact, he's, he needs to perform more than Obi to be applauded. If not, we will drag him and we'll continue to drag him. And he has not even started to do anything. Go and look to, even the road he constructed, go and check it. He's using a um, molded block to do road for us. If trailer just uh, revised and he just kicked the thing, the, game, the, game, the thing will just fall down. Just look at what he's showing us what as a block? project. Look at what it. Block, okay? I'm telling you, more than more than blocks to do random or roundabout. That's what he's using. Somebody like live, lived in abroad for years. Are you talking about and tiles, became, like tiles, interlocking tiles? Is that what he's using? Is that what you're talking about? No, as in if he wants to do roundabout now, roundabout, he will go and use molded block to round those places. Uh, I saw, I saw it. it, I saw it, I saw it. <laughs> no be lying, that in there. No be lying. I said no be lying. It's true. Honestly. Don't be lie. Don't you. be lie. If if trader just do revise like this and kick that thing like this, those block will fall. There was a there was even the one that he did in uh, 
I forgot the place. Pila, um, electric pole is standing on the center of that, uh, that main road. He, they couldn't remove it. I don't even know the kind of guy that this guy is. The ones here, the, the road that he pulled down in, a, in many areas, the, even a Pulobia, a Pulobia flyover that he, he destroyed all, all people's uh, property there. It's, just, it's only pillar that is still standing there out here today. No contractor presence. He's just going about speaking English. Let him continue to use camera to tell us that he's doing it. I bad you a governor. I bad you a governor. I bad you governor. We have we have set a standard for him. He's our governor. He's our he's our he's our senior respected elder brother. So we are, we have, we we put him in that position. We sat yeah, him on that position. We can pay for him. Well, you we voted for him. So yeah. uh, so and uh, and he uses he uses mouth to put himself in the position as in to 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 rank himself in the position. He said somebody did nothing. Yes, that person didn't. Obi didn't do anything. But at the end of his tenure. We will count for him what Obi did and what he never did, because so nothing. There is nothing you can point to. There's nothing you can point to that you can acknowledge that oh, this guy I cannot, got it right. I cannot point. I, I have people from another state now. If, I I Koko, if you if, if you are doubting me now, if you are doubting me now, I will send somebody's number to you. You will call that person living in another state. I will just send it. I will not talk to that person though, or I will just I do, I, will, I don't know how how I will do it. If the last time I traveled to a village, I know what these guys are saying about this man. What he do, what he's doing now to win next election? Let me tell you the strategy he's using. In my town in Oba, what he did was to go. He was working. He's working with our youth youth leader there. The youth leader in my town. All these our villages, almost all the local government. He has the number of all the youth leaders. In fact, that youth leader in my town, he was the one that appointed him. Okay. You understand? Okay, so he appointed that our youth leader. He's using those guys to penetrate to do some some local government stuff and all those uh, those things, so that he use them use them in the next election. Those guys are the one championing him. But talk to the real people of Namibia. They'll tell this one. Na lie, na English is we speak. That my brother said never campaigned for him. He was telling me last time. She I tell this solo don't get sense. You tell me say make we vote him. So me me tell you say. Solo don't win. Solo don't come. He win through the. It, when he was campaigning, he said he wanted to replicate what Obi did. That is why he was select, elected. But what he no, we know that now. He, you know, even <laughs> check the check the interview he had with uh, with uh, Valentine Osibo. The interview that he had with Valentine Osibo. He was only referring to Obi achievement when when Obi yeah. was a uh, Africa governor. Yeah. So then Valentine was just like, at the end of the day, now Obi didn't do anything. We will show yeah. him. He knows he's not coming back. So Ludo knows he's not coming back. That's why he don't want to do anything. Again. No, he might he come back because I know the strat I know the strategy he's using. I know the strategy he's using. But the only problem yeah, we have now is somebody like him. Uh, somebody like Andy Oba now. Andy Oba now done the fight him. So he's having a big a big problem with Andy Oba of APC. You know, and and even though Andy Oba is an APC, even though Andy Oba is of APC, but Andy Oba is still having friends more than him in Anambra State. So okay. and that don't buy and you want to use a federal might to fight him. And that thing don't they make him panic. No be even Valentine. Okay. Now that time you behind they make him panic for Nambra now. You want to okay. use a federal might to, to so fight him. Don't reserve, they reserve, they go to the professor. No, so, all this one when they do, you don't see him. Every time in the in the follows uh PM in the follow Tinubu um back to back, in the follow him for Nyash everywhere where Tinubu day. You don't they follow him because he need favor. But when they when when we are telling him to perform. You think uh, not to, it, governance is to speak English? All the road in his village, Obi did it. All the road in Agoro, Obi did it. Sorry, that two we, give us a chance now, guys. Uh -uh. So, so uh, one man, uh, Kulata, Kulata, beg. You don't, you don't, I don't finish for Soluda and Obi. Let me go to another place. Don't speak it in that wait, area. Before, in that you regard, move on, before, you, before you move on, because we have international listeners, eh? No, 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 he's my governor. You don't, you go, go speak for your governor in Ocean State. Don't speak for my no, governor. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on, can I, 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 you, you are a long standing member of this platform. You know, we have a very particular thing about being factual. So let people fact check you. Let well, Kulata, uh, oh, 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 oh. yeah, let, let Kulata fact check you. Let um, enigmatic, magic, enigmatic, I is fact check you. Oh, oh, uh, do you have to be from Anambra to be? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is not a federal, a federal this thing, huh? oh, yeah, is, 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 is Anambra part of the federating states of Nigeria? 
But we are not talking about federal government. We are talking about is it part of the is it is it, is it, the, 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 is it, is it the come and say anything about my state and my government when I say this is what this is what what he did for me, he did it for me. Uh, 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 come and, uh, uh, oh, 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 okay. Have you ever, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Niger man. Have you ever lived in Anambra? Uh, well, if I didn't live there, how did I know about oh, oh, No, no, no. Uh, yeah, because uh, um, Enigmatic has lived in Anambra, so he has vested interest there. But uh, let Kolata have that interjection. Enigmatic, then okay. uh, uh, can I round off that space and then I move you on to another topic? Okay. Uh, but, uh, uh, Kulata, uh, Kulata, 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 I'm the only person that has Kulata, the right to allow people to interject in Kulata, my space. Before, before you continue, Ekene, you have your time. Uh -huh. take, take, take all the time in the world. To express your opinion you are cool oh man for the for the record i'm not trying to um i'm not trying to take a kidney's time when the kidney is done let him have all the time and whoever that wants to interject will just come back to me i'll put things in proper perspective let him go ahead i'm not trying to take his time so me I, i'm a stickler for facts eh? i just me i just give me facts no propaganda so um Stella Maris, DMGS, CKC, those are schools in Anambra. Ingige handed those schools over to missions. The missions took on those schools and fixed those schools and Obi did some token donations to them. Ingige is credited for handing those schools over to uh the, the missionaries. Everybody fact check me if I'm wrong. Agulu um, Agulu Lake Hotel, Obi started it. He did not finish it. Obiano was the one that really completed it and then handed it over to Golden Top, um, Golden Tulip Management. Someone fact check me if I'm wrong. The so called 10 lane up my Waker Road, because every other road will be built, is now washed away apart from that road. That road is part of the Enugu Nature Expressway, which is a federal road. So at the end of the day, indirectly, we use federal money to build that 10 lane road. That's the only notable road he built, and it was uh, refunded by the federal government. So essentially, it's just a federal road. So to check me if I'm wrong. The so called Odumegu Ojuku Hospital, I've already told you guys, it was an existing hospital called Amaku General Hospital. Someone fact check me if I'm wrong. Um, which other one did you say again? Because I was just waiting for you. Let me just leave it there so you can finish and enigmatic and finish it. Okay. Okay. You have just uh, said uh, we should just you, you should just take your Google and check everything you said. Obi gave back schools to missionaries, funded them directly to direct from government. Well, you can you if my my, my my fact idea, my if I can pull it to one man, he will pull it out here. So don't don't say well, I have it in my phone. I have them in my phone. I yeah, my so phone. don't say don't say I don't have it. I can I can pull it to one man. The ten lane, the ten lane, the ten lane he did in Anambra State. Not only ten lane, the roundabout in Opi Waker today. He was the one that built it. Then joining with that ten ten lane, to where we have, have our road? yeah, to where we have our airport today. To down to, is it a federal road or a state road? It's a federal road now. But he, he, he has started that's it. I mean. Yes, that's, that's I mean. what it is. It's a, a federal road did by a governor. Whether he collect the money or he didn't collect the money, what matters is that, just like what a uh, uh, state governor said, that this is a federal road, I cannot do anything about it. But I'm telling you, but a governor did it, whether they refund him or not, but he did it. So you have to applaud him for that. If you don't want to applaud him because of your hatred, then keep it. Not many applaud. many governors it's will not embark on any federal project. Federal money, federal will give you back the money. So Whether that federal money or not, many governors will not embark on a federal project. That's, that's talk, less of, talk less of ten, talk, talk less of ten lane. We are talking about ten lane, not to not you, to lane. Everybody that's in Anambra today says in Gigi standard roads is what they want. Nobody let me tell you. No, let me tell you. Nobody in Anambra state. Nobody in Anambra state criticizing Gigi. Nobody said in Gigi didn't do anything in Anambra in Anambra state. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Nobody in Anambra State said Ngige didn't do anything. What happened is that Ngige, and in, you know, Ngige couldn't fight the, the godfathers that brought him into power. That was why they kidnapped him. We know this story now. We know. So that, that is it. So he wanted to yeah. use all the money to do projects for Anambra people. Then at the end of oh, the day, those godfathers fought back and removed him out of government. So Obi took over and did wonders also. 
So both of them did good. We never Obi criticized Ngige. The governor of Enugu State was better than Obi. The governor of Lagos so State. You can Obi continue to you can continue to spill that for we, do, but for we, do, but for we, for we in Anambra State, for we. Fatalan was better than Obi. All of them were governors at that time. Kulata, Kulata, he was he was he was actually he was actually the worst governor in the entire southeast. The entire southeast. He was the worst. So there's no you, you can say what you can say you can say whatever you want to say about the I can pull out I can pull out his statistics one day we are governor compare, I have compare, it in my compare and contrast yes. compare and contrast yes. tell of the governor I can, I can pull those I can pull those statistics compare and contrast you complain with Patola I have the statistics of your state Compare and contrast with any of the yeah. southeast governor of his era the time he was governor compare and contrast with Imo State governor at that time Enugu State Governor at that time, um, Enugu, uh, which other state, Ebony State Governor at that time, except for Abia State. Abia, and well, Abia well, State, well, and Abia State, you can you can basically pinpoint what Ojuz Okalu did in terms of sport. So compare, I'm not I'm not going beyond Southeast now. Within the Southeast, and then when you are talking about the Inewi Road from from that Ihiala Junction, when you are coming from Oba, right? When you are coming down from Oba, right there. When you stop in front of Madonna University, go, come it straight to that Ihiala Junction. That junction right there, going to Inewi, used to be almost three, four hour trip. For for you, what three, are you saying? Trip. What are what are you, what are you when, describing? Hold what on, are you describing? Be, hold on, when what are you the, you are describing something I couldn't understand because you are talking about the, my town or back. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, when did it came? What what for? Hold on, when did it came? Hold on now. Hold on, it's not. Hold on. You don't speak propaganda. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Hold on, when did it come? Don't be agitated. Don't be agitated, guys. Don't be agitated. 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 Don't be one more, you know what? Let him have his monologue, and when it's done, then let me have the floor, please. Oh, oh, all right. You are just oh, trying oh, to oh. bring in content that, that never exists. You are bringing or I'm or Oba and the Agolo. You say they build this uh, Madonna. Do you know where Madonna is in Anambra State? Do you know where Agolo is in Anambra? Do you know where no, Oba is in Anambra? I don't know where Madonna is. I don't know where it is. I don't you know. just want to speak because you want you want I'm to deceive the public. Because you are not listening, I'm telling you from that. From you listening to what? Do you know any place? That, do you know where you're speaking about? Hold on, hold on. Can you leave this guy? Don't want to. Hold on. Where you are coming from? Where you are? I'm telling you. Hold on. In a public space. Do you know where you're from? Don't be agitated. Don't be agitated. Now, do you know them? It's just like me. Don't be agitated. I will tell you. It's just like me. I will tell you. Hold on. I will tell you. Let me finish. Let me. Don't tell me anything. What you have just spoken now? You just told me you are lying. I don't know if you are here. I don't know any place. You are not living. It's just like me now. It's just like me now. Not knowing any place in Osho State. Then come here and I do make. You are in Nigeria. You are in Nigeria. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Just because you read some stuff now, just a second. Just a second. Just because you read, you read some stuff in there. I don't read anything. I don't read anything. You can't believe that. No, no, no. Ekene, we can't do it like this now. He won't let people talk. Let him. Let him keep quiet. Let's hold on. I say hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. I leave. I did not read anything. Calm, calm your nerves. I did not read anything. That Madonna University right there. I will tell you. Back and forth, like the back of my hand. What you even don't know about that that neighborhood? So I'm telling you for a second. I'm telling you when you are coming from Ihiala Village, right from Okija, right there, that junction where buses will stop before they move, before they continue their journey, right to Imo State, where you stop at Uliaos, also all the all those all those areas. From that junction to Nnewi, right from Nnewi to Nnewi, right there, when you before you pass this hotel, that this popular hotel, um. I forget this hotel now. That road Call was constructed. Now. You know, you that, know road on, on, that, road, that road was constructed by Ngige. It used to take us three hours, four hours to get to Unewe Township when we are going to Fidelity Bank and uh, and then uh, GT Bank in the way in, in, in Inewe there. It used to take us three hours, four hours. It was Ngige that came that opened that place up and it took us less than 30 minutes, 25 minutes to get to that place, right? From Maduna University. So what I'm telling you now is Look, when you are exaggerating an average governor, below average governor, people who are who lived in that place and they still live in that place and they still have they still have things going on in that place, we try to let you understand. This is a, a national platform. You can say anything you want to say about any leader. Call them thief, call them anything. But when it comes to putting the record straight, and you do not forget that uh, people do not people people are not from Anabra State or from Lagos State or from Oshun State or from Kano State, right? 
that that does not mean they don't know the story of that place because they do they, it doesn't necessarily mean from they are not from Kano State, they've not lived in Kano State, they do not have families in Kano State. You don't know where I schooled, right? For as an adult, and when I tell stories of places, I'm not just telling it, telling those stories in abstract, I'm telling them with fact because I know what I'm talking about. We don't do, when we don't when do. you have your monologue. Respectfully, let me, respectfully. Let, let me finish. When you let have a bonus, I'll have uh, my floor and I will, I will put everything you, into proper perspective. You are not you are not putting anything, you are just trying to spill out uh, what they are uh, talking of talking about. Uh, if, you to, if you want to if you want to if you want to if you want to educate people, call your state governor, tell us what he has this what they have this is nineteen ninety nine. My governor is a dancer. So, Everybody knows how this uh, is a dancer. So, me, me, and I'm not sure. It's a it's a national me, failure. It's not the only governor that there is not the only governor in Osho State. There is no governor since nineteen ninety nine. I'm not Don't talking about we are, we are, we are not talking though this is what about is in what you guys want to talk when they are talking about that guy. We are talking about state governors. So if we are talking about state governors. They just spoke because, about 400 SUVs. They just spoke about 400 SUVs, but you guys, you guys went a, tang a tangential point trying, uh, trying to hold it to other one, things. Can you people? Can one you just one man, can you move, can you move enigmatic and let me continue? Oh, 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 all right, I can I carry on. If anybody wants to speak fact, let them speak about their governors. What's your state look like? Don't speak for my state. I know what my state look like. Starting right. from 1999 to date. All right. Continue your monologue. Continue your Go to your, go to your, your as in, uh, let us to go to Osho State. Tell uh -huh. us what the state look like. You don't hide your, your own failure. Law. You go, you don't hide your own failure well, and come there to speak about my own state. You only talk about Lagos. Tell us about your, tell us about your, your oh, uh, state. Uh, and no, my state. governor, my governor is a failure. Uh -huh. That's a, so if you don't, don't have anything, if you don't, if you don't have anything to say about to say about your state. Then you don't have anything to say about that. I will say state. about it. It's Nigeria. Don't don't worry about. It. Don't don't give no, your, uh, You don't have don't anything. You're lying. You just don't. like you now. You just like you now bringing Agoro to Oba. No you worry. Don't, road, just you go are, ahead. You and, go Agoro. ahead now. You, 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 you know. Floor. You know how many kilometers. You know go how many ahead kilometers. And have your floor. You can go ahead. Don't be, don't be agitated. You know, go ahead. You know how many. You know how many kilometers it will take you from Oba before you get there. You have your floor. You have your floor. You know how many kilometers. Go ahead. You bump your life, You have to bump your life, folks. Go ahead with your monologue. Hey. After you have the floor, no, I will take the floor. No, I don't, I don't suffer for this. Uh, I don't suffer for this one man platform. You, uh, if you know how many kilometers it will take you from Oba before you because go there, you are not listening. You know that this guy. You know that this guy is a. He's a complete liar. He's a complete liar. Go ahead. So, but but that's not the case. That's not the case. Yeah, but for me. A standard has been set, so I want to how I want to see how Soludo will uh, would uh, perform uh, my best governor, the best governor had we ever had in an in an Ambra state, Mister Pitobi. So anybody can go and hang transform. We'll continue to praise him, and we'll continue to to you go and check uh, Dola Kunyeli. Oh, go, and check, go and check uh, go and check Dola Kunyeli. Go and check his speech. Dola Kunyeli is one of the respected. Uh, ministers we have in Nigeria. Go and check his speech about Obi. Check uh, Okonji Wala. He, he said, go and check his book about Obi. What he, is it? When those people talk good of Obi, is it any matter that I was listening listen to? Or Kulata? When people, uh, respected men and women, have spoke about his governance, what he did in Anambra State, is it Kulata that will now come and tell me what he did? Or enigmatic? It's too low for me to believe them. I believe people like Adola Kunyeli and... Uh, and uh, Okonji Wala, who has even written it in their book. You go and check Dola Kunyeli book. You see Obi performance as a governor. You check, the, you, I mean, uh, uh, Okonji Wala. Then you check uh, Dola Kunyeli. You can search his interview about Obi. You, you, see, you see what he said about Obi as a governor of Anambra State. And uh, you see, I, I will now come and believe Kulata and, uh, and Enigmatic. It's, it's too low for me to believe them. So... One man, and uh, another thing is that um, I can hold on real quick. You, you know, yeah. you understand uh, where Kulata and Edigmati stand on this matter. You know, ever since this last election, even before the election, it has uh, uh, Peter Obi has always been an issue for some people. So you need to understand their their, their side. Of it. So they were on until Obi just keep quiet and stop parading himself. They will not stop at, you know, I mean whatever they can have against him, they were caught in. So you need to also develop that thick skin to understand that people like Enigmatic and Kulata, they will continue, just like the way I, I always talk about uh, Tinubu here. So just try and just, what I'm just trying to say to you is that, just try and just develop thick skin, don't let anything rattle you, you up and 
you become that really agitated because they are trying to criticize me. That's what I have to do. Uh, yes, no, uh, 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 hold on. Uh, and, and in addition to that, you see, this is just the thing, and, and with um with with uh, with a uh, uh, Niger man riding shotgun for you as well. You, you have to understand, um, Ekene, that um. A lot of these guys are commenting, they may be commenting negative uh, things about Obi, but they are commenting f what, what they know as factual things about Obi. They are, they are not making things up. Enigmatic have lived in that area. A, a lo a, a, a Kulata has studied uh, the political theory, especially Obi in the course of the elections. Uh, we've done these records countlessly, endlessly. We've brought out so many documents and facts. Uh, let me show you one thing. Let me let me show you one thing. Let me, uh, but you need to allow it. Don't 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 try and overrun me when I show you. One man, don't show me. One touch. I want to move on. Uh, uh, I don't, I want yeah, to move. Uh, uh, yeah. So don't don't I try and uh, on, yeah, yeah. No, you can move on, but don't try and rebrand or be when the facts tell us who he is. You, you, you understand? Can, you can show the your. Fact, you can show. Facts, you can show them to. You can show them to enigmatic yeah. and decolata. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> yeah, you are also an APC supporter. Show enigmatic and decolata. They can. They can explain that to you. I don't have time to explain it. To you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 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 so okay, show you to enigmatic and the glata they will all right they will uh, spread it okay, to okay then <laughs> hey, lad, don't be agitated when so, you when you have your monologue i'll i'll go uh, ahead after you don't uh, worry uh, it's, uh, my another, turn. Uh, it's my turn it's my turn one man it's my turn one man another thing is uh another thing is uh, a political class are beginning to fear will be in this country nobody People will like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i want to let me so let me have my monologue now uh people like uh, the senate president was not happy that um that Obi was given a round of applause more than him in a in a Uwe burial uh, ceremony. He's uh, he's Gosuel uh, Ababio uh, is angry to to the people in that uh, in that uh, gathering that they so didn't he, recognize. Do, 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 does he, he does, does recognize he, uh, um, uh, Can I let me ask you this and then con continue with your with your monologue, but hopefully without in, 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 inter interruption because we need to move the conversation around a bit uh, but they did not just on a human level they did not rankle you somewhat they did not make you feel in a particular way the way obi are uh, turned up at that guy's funeral and, and took the attention from the deceased is that is that is that even is, is that is that is that right Yes, is that now. Is that, not, is that the emperor, the conqueror? Well, he's not the boss of it. He's not the conqueror. He's not the, the emperor, the conqueror was, at somebody's funeral. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was not. The, he was All not right. the one that promoted it. He was just sitting calm, and they have uh, 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 they uh, have uh, recognized. Wama. They have recognized no, him. No, 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 Niger man, you need to slow this down. We don't do this here now. Let the man speak, please. I right, can get back to you. So when uh, when the man was sitting calm. Quietly, as a gentleman he is, they recognize every other people in that organization without recognizing him. Then people say, no, this can't happen. Obi is in the house. You must recognize him. And once they mention his name, his presence took over the whole place. People were giving uh, him... And then they started throwing chairs. Uh, did, did they start throwing <laughs> chairs? So people said they no, started they throwing chairs. The, 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 the 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 you will the see one of the... You even see one of those uh, those people that are mourning the way they are sharing him. They are happy that Obi is in their midst and all those stuff. So uh, Ababio became angry and came to the stage as a senior president. He was uh, expecting the same the same standing ovation or the same recognition, but it was not given to him, and he started complaining. So it's not Obi's fault. It's the people's love. Even when Kulata hates him, even when enigmatic hates him, even when man hates hate him. Nigerians love him. I don't hate anybody. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. We are just talking politics. A gentle politics. man, a gentle man that was that is well loved. So, uh, coming to enigmatic, I saw you in a space where you spoke about uh, uh, not having a an Igbo, Igbo um, first lady in Ondo State. Enigmatic. What about that? I know like now, now, now be the topic today, but 
I don't like you for that. I mean, honestly speaking, you disappointed me that day. Honestly speaking, Ekeda is cracking you all over social media. He comes to report you every single day. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. One man. I fear you. I fear you that day. It's okay. One man. Let's let him let him let him have it as a badge of honor. But go ahead with your monologue. So, enigmatic. I I just want to round off with this. Let us okay. stop this. I fear you. I fear you that honestly speaking, advising no, no, people. You know, not no to fear have me. Never, not you to never see me one on one. If you, if you see me one on one, maybe you fear me more. But go ahead. I, no, I know. I, even with every, I, I follow. I, I used to. I, I used to hear your voice on Twitter. Everything <laughs> I've had. I've, you even said that. Uh, you even said that. Even if Tinubu fell, that you will vote him again. I've record. I've recorded that on Twitter. Uh, so what? So I've, I, I follow. I follow you a lot on Twitter. So everything you said, I don't even need to see you again. You don't fear me. I don't need to say even, if you, even if I see you for road, you they call me and you recognize me. I go to run. I know we will call Honestly. you. No worry. No worry. Uh, I know we will call you. So, so <laughs> you they fear me. And if I, I see I, anybody that uh, wants to I, that wants to go and greet you, I will tell that person, I beg you. You said I beg you, this man, this man. I beg you, I beg you, no go near him more. Uh, hey, so it's it good as you know that you. one now. Thank you, one man. Enigmatic can continue. Okay. Who has the floor? My Jimmy. They were locked when you said about my enigmatic. If you want to, my wow, okay. If I were right, it's actually Bishop's turn. But uh, like you, you, you just have a little slot, and then we go to Bishop, and, mm -hmm. and then we 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 hear the fullness of Niger man, uh, and then we will continue to move. Is it cool by Bishop? Let me just first find out. No, that's not, that's not okay, oh, 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 all right, thank you, Bishop. You're a gentleman, you, Bishop. Uh, en enigmatic. Yeah, I won't take too much time. And people who really hate him back on the floor, you know that you know what to do. It's it's about that time. Log out or probably close your ears. So, but look, one man. Um, when when we are discussing Nigeria, when people want to rationalize the idea of saying, "Oh, you are you are from Kutuwenji, you cannot speak about Kafanshan," right? I I I don't I don't really resort to those uh, consensus fallacy. That's bullshit. Uh, that's BS to me. I'm sorry to use that language. And then the people should not forget that a, a lot of us or a, a number of us, right? We've had the glory, the glory, we've had the benefit to live in areas, right, that are different from where we grew up from. When, when people see facts and they all want to hang up to the uh to the you know to those inanities of uh you know the mediocrity of those echo chamber narratives, we need to put them straight. We don't care about what people say, but I do not like the hypocrisy of people who say we want Nigeria to work, but they want to personalize political conversation, right? Uh, the rational man called Tinubu an idiot. I don't know why people should be mad about that. Tinubu is a politician, right? Number one citizen of the world, Joe Biden. They call him Sleepy Joe. They call him different types of tons of names. They call Joe, uh, Donald Trump a criminal and every other thing. They are leaders. When you put yourself out there, so you should be ready. It's like you go to the kitchen, be ready for the smoke, right? So I've provided that they are not crossing the line of personalizing the conversation, that uh, I would not call Ekene's dad or his mom or his relative or directly attack Ekene because I don't have business with Ekene. He's not the one running for office. If he wasn't the one that brought himself, right, to the public opprobrium to be scrutinized. These are politicians. Just as if I called Obi, right, a monumental vagabond, people shouldn't take it personal, right? When I call Atiku a complete uh, dodoyo, nobody should take it personal. These are personal. So sorry, a, 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 monu a monumental what? Vagabond in power. A monumental not not just a, a, a vagabond, but a monumental one. <laughs> I, I mean. So, Goodness so we, we, I I think we, 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 no, I think we, should, we can elevate our conversation like that. Like, you see, we should have fun when we come to public space like this and talk about our politicians. It's a political time in America. You see me most of the time, I go back and forth with uh, uh, Prince Daddy, right? That uh, MAGA guy. We go back and forth. That doesn't mean uh, we are not talking politics of America, right? We don't, we, are, we don't have stake in this. Until I have taken this, when you see my name up there running for president, then you can drag me by my block cost. Then that will be, I'll take it as, okay, it's a badge of honor. So let me go straight to this. And like I said once again, with due respect to everybody on the platform, I respect everybody. If you love Obi very well, I appreciate your love. If you love Article very well, I appreciate your love. 
if you love Tinubu very well, just like me, I love Tinubu very well, and I love uh, what it comes with politically, right? Is, is it perfect? No, it's infallible, just like every other human. We are all subject of imperfection, but I do not understand the thing, and I will never understand it, while I will elevate a certain politician like Tinubu beyond the periphery, the peripheral of a of a of an infallible in, individual or human being. So when you want to bring sainthood to Tinubu, I'll tell you, no, don't do that. It's just a, it's just a human and it's just a politician. And I cannot trust any politician 100%. And I cannot stick my neck out to any politician or for any politician 100%. So in view of this, I will go straight to the point. I won't take too much time, but I will say one thing. How did the conversation come? If OB is not bringing himself out there and is, if his entourage, right, contingent, if they are not continuing or continually trying to portray him as a saint, people will be quiet, right? We have no, there's no politician in Nigeria who does not, who, do, who does not have or put his hand or dip his hand into the cookie jar. But do not say one, one is a saint while you are trying to rubbish the other. We will bring all of them to the same table and we'll put everything in, pro in proper perspective. So they said OB, OB uh, spoke about 400 uh, people, uh, the government having to spend 400 uh, some funds on uh, procuring vehicle, vehicles for legislators, and they've actually tried over and over to control them. I mean, to con to uh, educate them. Right? This is a three tier of government: executive, judiciary, legislative. The legislative. They have different budget, different posts. Right? The head of the executive is Tinubu. The head of the judiciary is uh, uh, Ariwola. The head of the legislature is Akbabu. Right? So whatever goes through uh, the budget or, 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 or procurement within each of those uh, tiers of government goes through the head of that government. So they always want to tie everything back to Tinubu. Whatever happens in my state that uh, my governor is dancing around the place now that is not doing anything. By the way, I come from three different states in Nigeria. So if people don't know, they should know. So one of the states is Oshun State, a, one of the worst governor now in the entire federation. We had a governor, Aregwe Shola, that, that moved the needle. We had another one that came that did whatever he was supposed to do. But this guy is running all back 60 years backward. So that is a governor right there. So whatever he's doing, I cannot say Tinubu is, is, is the one doing it. of your governor playing uh, soccer now, playing football. <laughs> he was dribbling. <laughs> Don't yeah, talk about that, you're not from Oshu State. Like, <laughs> you're not from Oshu State. Like, <laughs> you're not from Oshu State. 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 You're not from Oshu bought 400 SUVs. He was the one, right, that on low law for war, I don't know how they say it in English, right? And then they brought his receipt for him. You were, we were in one breath, you were criticizing some people doing this. But in, in the other breath, they brought your own receipt for you. Oh, is people trying to change it? No, he did uh, not buy uh, uh, foreign uh, goods. Uh, one man, please go open the latest link because it looks like this will be as a habit of doing this buying car. Thing. Yeah, I, I, th that is not the only car he bought. One man, <laughs> so you, you, did, you, you did not, you did not, uh, you, you did not buy uh, foreign use. He didn't buy Lexus or Toyota. He bought Innocent. Did he buy the cars or not? Four hundred vehicles. By the way, they have less than two hundred traditional rulers in uh, Anambra State. So what what where is the where is the balance of the remaining vehicles? How come you bought 400 vehicles for maybe 140 or 153 traditional rulers? These are the things between the line. Everybody on this platform, I believe, has a false degree, and they can think. Even if you've been if you've been if, if you've been so, 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 right? Sorry, uh, so, sorry, uh, enigmatic. Is, are those 400 vehicles uh, that you're saying he bought for traditional rulers? Are they in addition to the countless vehicles he bought for senators? The, the, the Senate, the one he bought for senators was when he was lobbying to be a minister under Jonathan. So he was lobbying at the time to be in the cabinet of Jonathan. And do not forget the entire the, the entire time that this guy was even governor, right? He was he was considered an Abuja Abuja-based governor. He was always in Abuja. Ask anybody on the platform, 
right? Why did it play so rest in peace? Oju, uh, uh, Oju Megu, uh, uh, Oju but, uh, but, but um, enigmatic, uh, in order to be called excellency, the process that brings you into office has to be excellent. Is that not what Peter Obi told us? But that, that, those are just buzzwords yeah. and, and talking points <laughs> that he brought out. So uh, we will get to that. But like we are discussing our Nigeria, our sweet, lovely Nigeria, right? So we say, where, how did, why did you buy 400 vehicles? Look at the narrative they are, they are painting to it. Oh, the, uh, when he bought those vehicles, the economy was better. Uh, the naira, uh, the naira to dollar was different. He bought local vehicles. He bought, but why did you buy it? What could you have done with 400? Uh, with, with the funds that you use to procure those 400 vehicles. And then out of those 400 vehicles, you had maybe 153 or one less than 160 traditional uh, but, rulers. But, uh, you know, enigmatics, I, I beg your pardon, but uh, you know what startles me sometimes is that, uh, is this guy not aware that he, he was in public service for, for a good 20 years and his record is out there? When he's but running he, all of these commentaries <laughs> that are... Uh, uh, we cannot be buying vehicles. Oh, Omar, you know, the it, problem is, it, is does that... Does he not know that he, all of these things that he did, they are a matter of problem public is that record. When, when he was... It, when it's, when, it's when they were saying... Away, his record, they Google such a way. No, when, yeah. when he was... You know, his boss was there was like, go and verify, right? But it wasn't in the interest of the political elite then, especially the APC, to do any damage to him because he was doing a God's work for them he, so yes whatever, for, so, sorry enigmatic and that is still in play now that's why they're still letting him get because they still need him for 2027 so that's yeah, why but, they're still yeah but what you are seeing right now is because of the endless locations and the noisy no, noisy uh, neighbors and they're not trying to keep their mouth shut that's why they are bringing the evidence they received one after the other for him so now how does the how would you rationalize the 400 vehicles that you just com uh, complained about of other people right but they are trying to say okay it is this it is this why don't you use the same tongue to say it is this it is this for the senators let's let's raise that like i said they are supposed to have maybe 160 marks the traditional rulers what happens to the rest of the vehicles what did they do with that did they part the budget to get the vehicles or how did they get the what happened to the rest of those vehicles? So, so enigmatic. How many vehicles did he buy for? What did you call these people? The senate, for senators. Yeah, how many? I think he bought over maybe one nineteen, maybe one nineteen or, or thereabouts. I know he bought vehicles for senators. Vehicle, okay. Yes. Let me let me see my stuff. If this thing is not gonna hang up, ah. but, but but let me let me just put something real quick before we go to those to those uh, hang, hang, uh, low hanging fruits. So on the on the you know what is what is basically unacceptable, right? Like I said, every governor, even the worst governor in Nigeria, when you look at uh, Yayabelo, when you look at Otom, when you look at uh, Theodore Oji, right? When you look at uh, Ikeazu, when you look at uh, even Darius Ishaku, who was probably the worst of the worst of the worst governor. When you are looking at Adi Dansa now, after their eight term, eight years in office or four years, you will still record one thing or the other for them. Right, but you will know where they belong. You will know if they are tier A, tier B, or tier C, or even Z. Right, but not a governor who is probably in the tier Z, and then you are trying to bring that governor to tier A. In like eight years now, you are trying to tell me, tell me, be uh, Yayabelo is tier A governor, and people want to tell you, look, dude, this is this is not right. We know what happened ten years ago. May be too far for you people, but it's not too far from the memories of some people who were on ground. So this is what we are saying. So to start with uh, the the the, uh, the unacceptability of trying to make a, a below average governor a great old performer is what we are saying now. So now the Odume Odume that uh, Ojuku teaching hospital that uh, they always say the one that is in Amaku, right, the general hospital. So they want to credit it to Obi almost every time, but the credit continued with the plan to con to convert the teaching hospital, you know. Uh, and then adding a couple of buildings to it. And then the Iberian campus that they always say, in Gige actually decentralized the Anambra State University, the one in Uli, into three different campuses, right? He divided it into Iberian campus, north, the one in Alor, central, and the one in Uli, south, right? It was in Gige's administration that acquired the land in Iberian and moved the Faculty of Management Sciences to that Iberian campus. So Obi just came, and continued from where Ingigi stopped. So Obi left 
and in, and then uh, Obiad Obaino continue from where from where Obi sta uh, started to erect buildings in the campus, which is a continuum of governance and government. But they wouldn't say that they just want to make it a a a a a a, bl a blanket thing that oh Obi did it. You see, he went through different different through through different three different governors in Gige, Obi and uh, 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 Obaino, and you could see what Obi basically do. So it was Obaino that actually completed it, and it's a continuum, and the present governor is continuing where he stopped. So when you talk about the 10 lanes, the 10 upper Iwika lane right now, I don't know if, you, if you've been to the east before, man, the 10 lane upper Iwika lane when you are coming directly from Lagos or from Asaba, after the Niger Bridge, right? The road of, Kulata mentioned it, it was a federal road, right? That was creating then Enugu Onisha Expressway. So the Anambra portion of that road starts immediately from that uh, Niger Bridge. That's the uh, directly after the uh, uh, you know the bridge leading to the Amasi Junction, right after Okara right there. So uh, the federal government granted Anambra government, right, just like they did to Edo uh, some time ago, just like they did to uh, 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 Oyo State. Now like they did to Ogun, right, under the federal government's arrangement, right, that those two states should complete those portions, their, their various portions. So under this uh, permission, the, the, the federal government permitted those states to finance the reconstruction of their sections within Onisha, right, and within Oka after the FG uh, reimbursed them. So it was CCC, a construction company that got the federal government contract to reconstruct the head bridge to, to, to that head bridge to Odumodu section of it. The Odumodu section of it with a flyover to Unpo spare part market, right? One man. So that Unpo spare part market, it was Obino, it, it, Obino did the Amoba uh, to Agu Oka section of the road with three flyovers at Amoba Junction, right? The Amoba Junction. The quarter junction and the aroma junction was completed by Obaino. So you can see the transition now. So when you talk about the pedestrian bridge, Ingige started the construction of that pedestrian bridge along Oka on the Shire Expressway. We started from Unizik Temp side junction, the temporary site, right? The temporary side junction, the bridge in Oka, which was awarded the same way to RCC. So Ingige. Everybody knows Ingige roads. Ingige has a quality for its road. He has template for his road. He has, a, 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 let me say, a grandiose style for his roads. He does not use Bolekaja construction companies, which means he does not use graduate construction companies or fake construction companies. It's a stickler to, 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 to uh, perfection. So Ingige used all these uh, the RCC for most of his road constructions. But when Ingige left office, Obi completed the temporary side bridge. But Obi, right, instead of continuing the project with RCC construction company, Obi, <laughs> Obi gave uh, the, the other part of the, complete, the completing part, the completed part of that project to another construction company. That's why it was, you can see most of, the, most of his legacy projects or whatever it is. So the Oka, the Oka transition substation uh, is, a, is also a federal project, right, by TCN. So Anambra has no dime in the Oka transition sub, uh, substation project. It's a federal project completely. So the Onesia Harbor industrial layout already had industries in the area before Obi came on board as governor. So when Obi came on board, what Obi did was to attract the brew the the submit the submiller brew uh, that brew company now that had the euro beer into that industrial layout right so juhel is a company already in oka inoc is already in newi right where many companies have equally been existing before even obi came on board so people should put all these things into proper perspective and the agulu lake hotel that uh kulata was saying the other time of course obi started the Agulu and um, the Agulu Lake Hotel, but he left it far from completion. Obino came to complete the project and handed it over to Golden Tulip for management, for the management services of that hotel. So it was in Agulu, right, which which Obi came from. Obi did not even go 
come close to, to completing it at all. It was Obino that came and completed it, completed it and handed it over to the management company, which, is, which was Golden Tully to manage. So the plenty of schools uh, that, uh, that was transformed under OB, the blanket statement is absolutely false and on in disingenuous to say OB did all this. No. So the 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 the, the schools, the CKC, the DMGs, Stella Maris, all those schools, they are transformed by OB, uh, uh, as being credit to be transformed by OB. These schools were owned by the churches in the gay before he left office or before he was shaded out of office initiated the transfer of those schools to those missionary schools or to those missionary owners. So OB just basically completed the processes of those transfers to those missionary schools. So uh, it's quite obvious, to, it's quite uh, you know, incorrect to, to say OB transformed plenty schools in Anabra using uh, all these uh, UB school classroom you know, to describe transformer for donation. And when you are talking about, when you are talking about IT or the information technology sector, they always want to say, OB distributed laptop, a distributed computer, or whatever. No. What he did was uh, IMF and uh, uh, IMF and World Bank projects to almost all the states in the Federation. They provided computer laptops or stuff like that to each of the states. So OB basically handed, over, handed those computers to those uh, uh, students. Without providing buildings or logistics to even, you know, to even, for those students to use like a tech hub like we are having now, tech hub or even a building to actually accommodate those students where they can actually, uh, you know, leverage the expertise of those computers. It didn't. It just basically collected those computers from those international donors and let them over to the to the students. Can I ask a How question? Was it? Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, told, I beg for a time. That was it, right? So all these things should be put into proper perspective. We are not saying uh, Adeleke is not messing up, but in 10 years, don't bring a different story about Adeleke or, uh, or uh, Yayabelu. Uh, 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 so, so, sorry, uh, Rashna, um, okay. um, uh, enigmatic. It, 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 are these some of the reasons why you've concluded that Obi was the worst in his class uh, well, as a governor? Well, to, con to, to, to answer that, Right, they talk about roles most of the time. The total of roads completed by OB just nine hundred kilometers of roads and twenty eight bridges. And I can I can bet it with anyone on this platform. If you have maybe ninety percent of that road standing now, if you have any of those roads still in existence, we when you see most of the roads still standing now, they are the legacy projects of Ingigay because Ingigay used. They are standing. All I can the, take you there. Yeah, hold hold on, hold on, hold on. They, because Ingigay used those flagship grade A construction companies. Obi was just doing quota in some in, in, where you go. So look, so people should be rest assured that you know the 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 facade, right? I, I know that a lot of people who do not know Southeast. Who have never lived in Southeast, who do not have families in Southeast, who do not have probably in laws in Southeast, who do not have businesses in Southeast, who do not have interest in Southeast. It's easy for them to hoodwink them. It's easy for, for them to set the propaganda to them. It's easy for them, right, to set the idea to them. And we can, we can, we can play along as if, okay, let's it, let it go along like that because we need somebody from the Southeast to be president. But when you overshoot it, that's why we call you back. Like, look at what they are doing to Soludo now. If an opportunity opens up for Soludo in the next 10 years, and every other region of the country wants to coalesce behind Soludo to say, let's make this man the uh, the Southeast, uh, uh, you know, flag bearer in the national probe in the national presidential election. With what they are doing to demonize, right, to kill his career now politically, the guy that I was at the, at the time. He was the he, he was the signature of all professional folks in Nigeria. He was a CBA governor. He was a he was a consultant to World Bank to several you know several multinational uh, agencies. At thirty nine or thereabout or less than forty years, he was already a full fledged professor of economics, right? And he's been going to symposium and conferences and sharing boards in diaspora. But because of the fact that 
this guy released an op-ed, a memo, a public memo against this failure during the election. They are killing the guy now. Then in 10 years' time, when he comes, and then you, they bring all the receipts that this is what your people from the Southeast are doing against you 10 years ago. How do you want us to support you? So they kill their people before they even get there. And they want to, they want to promote the failures among them. So when you say, how do I conclude that OB is the failure, is the worst governor in Southeast? The, the, I, I deal with data. I don't deal with narratives or probably the propaganda of, uh, you know, of, uh, of anarchical ideas. No. When you go to the Southeast, one of the, the, the time that he was governor, go and look, go and check his compatriots that were governors at the same time. And I'm very, very fortunate that when he was governor, though I was pretty young, right? But I was already an adult in the university in Southeast, in Anambra State, right there. So that's why nobody can tell me the cock and bull stories. Because I know as an adult what he was doing. I knew what, what culminated into the reason why uh, the, the greatest, one of the greatest Anabrarian, right? Or uh, Ojume Goduku did not support him, wanted, did not support him for second term. I knew why he came to Fadaidi almost 15 times. And then with the prominence of a lot of Anabrarians begging a lot of people, they could give him the second term. It was in the dying period of that man that I said, give him my last wish. I'm forgiving this guy. Give him my last wish. That was the only reason that changed the tide against him in Anambra State. And the guy said he failed woefully. And that's why I'm not supporting him in the first term. So in other words now, go and check his compatriots in when he was governor in Imo State. Just check, check his compatriots when he was governor in Enugu State. The time he was governor, that was the time that Sullivan Shimen, Sullivan Shimen was governor in Anambra in Enugu State, right? Sullivan Shimen was going through the torrid period of his life. He was facing some health challenges. Regardless of that, right? He was way ahead of Peter Obi in terms of performance. Go and look at the governor in in Ebony State. I think the governor in in Ebony State that time was maybe Sam Egu. Samegu became a minister after then and a senator. Then go and look at the governor in, uh, in, in I think, Imo State, Enugu State, Ebony State, except for Abia State, right? But when you look at the metrics, the data, and the statistics of these governors, why is it that he, this Peter Obi, among all these governors, Peter Obi wanted to become a godfather. He came with his first candidate. He lost with his, I mean, uh, 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 with, uh, he lost with his SSG or Bazi Ozeloka. They lost. He lost with uh, uh, Val Ozibo. They rejected him, right? They rejected one, they rejected two. And then him, he tried everything to become a minister. It was his people that worked against him. Even in the, uh, in the PDP's primaries, they voted against him in PDP primary. In 2019, we were still alive in 2019, right? He wasn't prominent. It was article that brought him to national prominence. But 2023, everybody coalesced around him and people played along because he was doing a purpose for a political party at the end of the day. But people kept quiet, but they are overshooting it now, trying to rubbish and embarrass everybody that goes against him, including Soludo, a professor of economics, international repute. And we know the stories and we can put everything into proper perspective. And I, oh, oh, I, I, I say everybody now, check your Google, right? Check all the governors in the entire Southeast and go back to the tweets five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, six years ago. Yeah, and they, used to, the they used to slaughter him on Naira land when it was... Yes, uh, go and look at the tweets of, of yeah. Anambra people, what they are saying about this guy. What they are saying about him. How did you get to this conversation? We got to this conversation no, 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 no. about about no, no, no. about no, no. hundred million, about four hundred million or no about I mean SUV or no SUV, buying vehicle or no buying buy vehicle. If you know you did that, you will keep quiet. Not that you come out when they bring the receipts, right? And your people oh, want oh, to pay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, pause for a moment, enigmatic. Take take that question from our uh, rational mind. He's been wanting to insert it. Yeah, go ahead, Baba. No, well, uh, it's, I think it's yeah, I think he has moved past that uh, that aspect. It's when he was talking about uh, tech hub. I mean, we're talking about 20, 2006, right? Or is it 2006-8 period? Even the tech industry here, the one they call here, the Silicon Valley, when it began, 
what did, be, what, what did it really become an orb here? So, and then we're talking about... Uh, but you are not getting the subset of my conversation. The subset of the conversation is... We are alluding to a tech orb that you should have built a tech orb. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, rational mind. The, 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 the pretext to, to the conversation. A, a, a number of them will come over here, right? If you go back to maybe two weeks ago or two weeks ago, I don't want to mention the name, wrote something on the comment that in, in the entire federation, right, that the governor that received an award for tech award or IT award or whatever for creating and building tech ops is Peter Obi. What And I was just putting it on record. What he did that every other oh, governor man. did then was he, they were given, they were handed, they got laptops, right, from these donor agencies. And then all he did was that he, do, he donated those, he handed those laptops to all those schools. Oh, I know oh, what oh, he did. Hold on, I know what Mimiko did then, and then I know what uh, I Oyinola did in Oshun then. They built, they built, they, 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 they erected some buildings. They erected some buildings, they warehouse all those things, and they were, that's what they did to most of those schools. He did not put a building on the on the ground to say this is a tech up for all these computers, but people want to change the narrative. So as you can see now, I don't have issues with anybody. I don't have issues with, with Obi. Right, but we are one talking about our country. You. I want you to pull it up, please. Okay, please, please. So, one man, uh, Bishop, thank you for the opportunity, and then you can have your floor, Bishop. Oh, oh all right, that, that, yeah. So, one I man. mean, you, man. Like, oh, hold on now. Uh, so, so that's the inimitable, uh, enigmatic. Uh, do I even have to tell anybody who that was? One that, man, uh, one man, I said something to you. I, I, I want I, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can you, uh, can I please now help me out? Uh, uh that, that's the inimitable uh enigmatic on d uh, uh there's only one of him and thank god for that imagine there was a world that there were two enigmatics we will all have to move to mars yes i can i got that thing you sent but uh it's too it's too small for me to let, let me show you it's too tiny uh to to go on the screen can you see is uh, i've been trying to expand it if i expand it is lost yeah bring the uh yeah, <laughs> bringing down for uh, so one man. So is, is, it, is, 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 is it is it that human development index that you always is it? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm now it's between the uh, uh, person yeah. that they are Bashola and uh, who other governor is there? It's made of um, data, one man. Don't one man. Don't don't don't. don't, so don't I want don't, you to, I want to one read those data. You, one man for for <laughs> people like if you one man if you if you remove this data, I will not be angry. I will not be happy. One man for for people like that for for people like us, eh? For people like us who deal with data and who are very savvy in that area, this, just all this, this is what they do every time. When you tell them, when you challenge them, this, they will go and bring all those, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, all this AGI, PDF stuff, nonsense. That's what they bring. And then- No, it's not nonsense to, now. We are talking about performance now. To, to make a to submission to this, to, to, this make a, to, to make a final submission to this woman, right? So you know, we are- you we are, we are, are, we are, 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 sorry, please. You know, we are we are supporting what uh, 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 Alex O.T. is doing now, right? He's we see that he's trying, right, gradually to change the space of governance and government in, in Abia State. But they shouldn't overshoot him too. They should be careful because by the time they are start, they start overshooting him, and without bringing his receipt, how he ruined and ran Diamond Bank to the ground, they will not be happy. How he was fired from First Bank, they will not be happy, right? But this is what we are saying when we say we want a Nigeria that works. It is not a Nigeria that works your own subjective idea, but we are all Nigerians and we can tell stories, right? Somebody who lives in Kano State can tell, may probably tell the story of Osho better than I do. May probably tell the story of Oyo better than I do. May probably tell the story of Ondo or any pl any place in south is, uh, in southwest better than I do, right? Oh, 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 all right. Uh, let 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 uh, can I talk us? Uh, uh, can I, um, we we are only we, this this comes under your banner as uh, you being a, 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 a um a, a, um a long standing member of this uh, platform, but uh. Uh, th this doesn't tell anybody anything. Uh, if you give me two minutes, I can. Put, I can. I can. I can also do. Uh, is this? Is this? Um. I, I can also do this graph. So what? This does it. Where, where is this from? Oh, oh, I mean. It is the growth now that happened between him and the fashola, and uh, this is Obi here at the green. This is. Uh, no, no, I, I can see that. But but what's the source? Uh, what's the source? So, 
that you co that's why you compare it by yourself with all these uh, all these things that the one man five seconds uh, one man yeah, what, do, do you remember yeah. one time that emmanuel bought some global <laughs> data or something, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh -huh. and it's the and same it's data the then they went to put in the spreadsheet they went to put I mean, you remember that time? Is the exact same thing. Data. Data. Yeah, yeah, data. If I if I if I pull up Excel now, I'll do, I'll do, it, I'll do it in five minutes. That's great. That's great. I've been data. Also, also this, uh, oh, man, all this, uh, this, 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 this is Okay, we don't know this. This is data. This is not data. Is this data? Is this what you are calling? This yeah, but, is data. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's go with that data first. Let's just go with that. Uh, data. Okay, let, let's go with just to because it's a like, kind okay. Let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, let's pretend like it's data. What is it telling us? <laughs> uh -huh. This is a fashion now 2023 uh -huh. to 2020. Yeah. Is it, I mean, Tinubu, is it Tinubu that is here? Yeah? 2023 to 2027. His data is there. Then Fashola, twenty twenty seven to twenty fourteen. Then will be twenty. Tell you to analyze the data. So you 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 compare those data. There is a life expectancy, human <laughs> development index, health and uh, education. Those are the ones that are lined up there. Uh, 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 can I, let me just say this. You know the mistake that uh, that space always makes when when they when they put. Uh, put together these things you know it would make more sense if you had put a bit of red in ob because nobody 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 has perfection but you've made ob all green you've made hardly no green for fashion latin obo uh, and then uh, it, 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 even the optics of it is is is, uh, is ridiculous isn't it Okay, I'm no, the one that you, made you, it. no, you are not the one that made it, of course, but your space made it. Uh, but um, when, when, ne, tell them when, when you are having your meetings, tell them then that <laughs> ne, 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 next time they are trying to pull this sort of things together to oh, make it, no, 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 for believability, for believability. You can't say uh, Tinobu is all red, Fashola is all red, and Peter Obi is all green, and that's data. I mean, come on, man, come on. <laughs> Well, you, you, are, you, you if, even the person that put it together is not a thinking oh, person. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Are you afraid to read this thing? What are you no, doing? No, it's there now. It's on the screen. I'm not. I'm. I'm yeah, yeah. I mean, you've brought it off. I'm, I'm are you, who are you? But you said it's from my group. Which group? Which group? Right? The, 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 the obedience space now. now. With all okay. his fake narrative, I don't want to interject him anything, but I don't want to tell you. If, 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 if we are talking about fake, uh, um, uh, can I, let, let, let me let me let me tell you this. There, there is no way that OB, uh, OB excels in all of the metrics of measure. There is none that is, there's none that is even black, never mind red. Everything he excels in and every other, co the comparison, they didn't excel in one single thing. They, they are 35% uh, uh, and under. Uh, how, how is that? That's just, uh, that, that doesn't cohere with logical sense. It will not go ahead to you now, but if you if you if you cool down and go through it, then you can you can google the maybe the report that was given by the World Bank and all those. Uh, oh, 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 man. The, uh, the achievement that was the award that was uh, given uh, to you as well. And Bill Gates as one of the best governor in his own time. So you I'm can compare those that. things. You will bring this data out, then you can compare what, it. What, you know what, that. What, 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 let me finish, what, let me what, finish one more. Let me finish. What, At a point. An award was given to him as the best mm. governor in Nigeria. In and Nigeria, has, yes. And you, know, you, know, has, you know, we, we have debunked that. You know, we, we have debunked that. Oh, hold on, just hold on. It's not you. Don't you don't get to be right if you talk the the fastest or quickest. The, you know that now, uh, uh, a lot of the people uh, on the platform they were here. Even rational mind was here. Uh, that idea that it was best governor in, in Nigeria, we've debunked that with facts. So so don't 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 say that in uh, no, uh, no, outside. No, 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 that, that's not true. We've debunked it that in the category he was the best governor. That's what you say. No, it was the it wasn't the best governor in Nigeria. One, it was okay. the best governor. It, we mm. did this, 
uh, hold on, we did this. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, you were here. We did this. It was the and we brought all of the, the paperwork for, yeah, for, for, uh, for, uh, for, for polio, for polio, for the eradication polio. of polio. Polio. You know? uh, I mean, yeah. for the for yeah. polio, not for Baba. They are not health issues. For polio, polio eradication. What is that? Is the best governor for the polio now? Is that not what you're saying? Like in the yes. region, do you know? Do you know? Do you know the best governor of polio in Northwest that time? Do you know? So it's like you are saying you know, the best governor in polio so for South let, let's Northwest. Not be saying, you see, that's just that's just the same. As reported by the news, that he's the best governor to defeat polio in the whole of Nigeria. Wow, what I understand no, is not that in the whole of Nigeria. No, 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 in the in the South. One man, one man, one man. What I what I understand is that we want to do. We brought. Let me let me let me. Let me let me finish one man. You want to yes. do what suits you. You don't want to do it as a journalist. You want to do it in a way that it suits your no, narrative. No, no. You understand? Oh, all right. If you want to, if you want to balance, if you want to balance, let me finish now. If you want to balance yeah. conversation, what yeah. you have to enigmatic as led is a uh, is uh, what he, whatever he wants to say. I now bring up a, 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 a data to to back up my claim as to be being the best governor, even to compare to Tinubu and the Fashola during their days as a governor. You don't want to read it out. You just make it a <laughs> fix it, 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 And you just read now. it with your mouth. And they want to make it look like I go and create something and send it to you. Well, no, that's no. OK. That's just where you stand. But as a moderator, you have to be fair play. Do, do, uh, fair play. We have to do balance and facts. So, so just hold on one second, can I? It's on the screen there. Normally, I would not entertain this, but because you brought it, I am entertaining it. I, 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 even rational mind will tell you that the optics of it does not look good. Do, just the optics of it. So, so Obi excels in every metric of measure. Everybody else fails in every metric of measure over the same time span. How, how is that? Uh, and we, and, and we know, and the source uh, is not. Uh, it's not. Is so not it's, this is this is not so, anything now. Woman, uh, woman. If you take this thing as a data uh, data analyst, right? If you take this thing to a suit presentation, you'll be fired on the spot because you are not even basically saying anything. So, hey, what, woman, your people are telling you what to do. Well, you know, what I'm just, no, again, we are, that, this is why we are having conversation. <laughs> you see, this is we are, it, it's a it's a it's a it's a very harmless conversation now. At least we agree that we are talking about Nigeria, right? So when my when my when, when I mess, no say my own mess is smell, say your own, you know to smell. She will get let's let's agree that we all we, we all the we all the mess. She will the free thing to talk. So what what brought this conversation? Uh, uh, vehicles or no vehicles, but you guys are trying to shift the ground. So this is why people call you guys out most of the time. Enigmatic, en en what I expect you to do. Is to bring something like this that super this that supersedes will be achievement. That is what I expect you to do. I just, I just, I just, I just, I in, the, just in the chronological as a, order. As a believer of in, 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 a, a, in of the chronological Chimu, order. As a believer of Fashola, what at least, at least, hold on. Oh, oh, like it, 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 were you, were you able to get something? Hold on, were you able to understand oh, something oh, from oh, my oh, conversation? Oh, 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 I restricted my conversation to the South East. Hold on, hold on. And I compared and contrast. Enigmatic, everybody includes you. Uh, um, 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 uh, uh, Kenya, what is gross national income per capita? Life expectancy, human capital. That, that's the one you guys trade around all of this all over the place. Human capital development, health index, educational index, income index. What, what's 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 all that? You, okay, talk us through what's on the screen, Kenya. Don't you you check you that's the, the performance in terms of uh, yeah? human this development. Is, what, what do you want him to talk you through? When no, no, uh, well, well, we can't. It, 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 that, that's what I'm saying to him now. But he's trying to yeah. accuse me of being biased or stifling. The best thing you that can is do. Um, that is that. This is what you use to measure growth. This is what you use to Baba. Let me finish. This is what you use to measure growth in terms of governance. You understand. All this is a major growth when it comes to governance. Mm -hmm. So when you compare these things in the in terms of measurement of growth in the governance, you bring in Tinubu at the time when he was governor, then you compare he, the gross national growth, human development in this, life expectancy of Lagosians, all those stuff when he was governor, then you bring in Fashola when he was governor in terms of education. 
who did best in those areas in terms of uh, human capital development, in terms of uh, uh, health uh, and all those stuff, who did best during their time as governor, you compare it with Obi. That is how to measure development as a government. You understand? So this measurement now says that Obi scores higher than Tinubu, Fashola, well, as their time being government, being in government. You understand? So, but if you don't want to believe the data, that is left for you, then what you have to do is just to go and bring in your own data, then compare it. Or maybe there are other areas that Tinubu score high, which I know, maybe in terms of IGR, all that stuff, then you can bring it in, then you use it to compare with the own. Yeah, when no, but, but, but you, you can't compare. To, that is how to measure that is how to measure performance. Then people can choose what they want. Let's just move on. But, but yeah, yeah, this is not data though. Uh, uh, can I, what's on the screen is not data, it's just let, as simple as that. Uh, yes. I advise you you can do us a favor by 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 making all the efforts to bring OP on this platform. That is when we can hear the truth. Enigmatic and others, and everybody that have question to ask concerning his performance, we can ask him that question and they can clear the air concerning what uh, people uh, uh, that doesn't seem as a good uh, as a performing governor so you have to do go out i don't know how you can connect get the connection reach out to this man to come on this platform i don't think it's impossible in general, i should be able to do that for you now in general yes yes because this is the this is the the only platform that but obi, obi, obi only goes on obedient platforms though that's just the thing well, 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 no, well, don't sound like that let, let, let's be open-minded that he can come here because yeah. um if he wants to be him, I've I've never, mind. you know you know go come this kind of thing tell him to no come i've never but, seen him outside of an obedient space one man this guy is coming to dr damage's show i don't know very soon yeah, but the damage is, is a long-standing journalist now. He no, knows, yeah, I don't know anybody. Do. I'm just a guy what, in Kent. What, what we have to do, we have to be on the show and invite him publicly to this show. When he appears on Dr. Damage's, somebody has to be there. I don't know if it's you and you want to invite him publicly. We want to see him to come to this platform and clear the hair because... We have to tell him we have a lot of questions. Contrary to what he has been portraying, we want to ask... I made the effort, not on uh, Rudolph's uh, space, but um, uh, uh, through the people that I already know. I can make that effort, but um, I, I, I'm, I, I cannot um, I, I cannot imagine that he would, oh, because... Oh, well, uh, no, because no, his, no, his, no, his, his image is tightly man his image is tightly managed. Omar, don't waste your, Omar, don't waste your time. No, 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 his no, image no, is no, tightly no, man. No, hold, hold on. No, his no, image is hold on. His image is tightly managed, and they they, they don't want him exposed. So so they no, wouldn't. No, yeah. No, let me say this real quick. I think I support what uh, Jalego is doing. If you give him a public in, invitation on, you just let uh, just let Rudolph know that look, I'm going to ask this guy. I want to come in. Please bring me. Just in. want that question. Just pop that question to him in front of yes. him. Everybody knows. At least then, if he fails to show up, then we know maybe there's something. Yes, there. of course. Uh, anyway, if you want you know, me to do that, I can. And I don't, I, and I don't uh, like going there as well because no, no, uh, it's you just all you get there. is that, abuse, you know, to, uh, by all this, all this, all this, all this retarded people that gather there. Don't say that. Don't say that everybody can be retarded. But the Russian man, man, help us, help us do it now. But please, you are an obedient. He's coming to. He's coming. He's coming to. I don't. I don't know. I'll do what they ask you now. you haven't changed number. Is, is I've, 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 rational mind is coming to dr damages this weekend 
I, I don't I don't go I only go there to chat. I don't go there on press because yeah, I so one camera. man don't even bother herself. You know the no, right one man goes there now. Don't say this. No, 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 no. One man have to be you you know, have go man, there, give him a man. public invitation to your platform. They will tell him one enigmatic is here who hates him. That they will say ah, they are this. But then one man let us debate one man uh you guarantee I mean um I um um one man please guarantee him of a fair a fair time with us that you will not allow it to spiral. Just guarantee him like that that you won't allow people to. I, I, you know, I, I much yeah. rather make the Anybody effort with. Um, I, I, I okay. much rather make the effort with Renault Mockery, who I'm already trying to reach. Uh, but uh, because no, I no, think he's a look, bit. Yeah. Well, 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 Renault uh, Mockery is a different ball game. All right, Ob, you know how much time. And several times we have discussed OB issue here, and we we, we 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 are still doing it now. So do, contact those you can contact now, and you can use that to tell him on that platform that look, I make effort, I've reached out to this person, I've reached out to this person, I'm inviting you publicly. Can you guarantee me that you can come on our platform to come and talk with us again? I mean as well. So if he can tell you, yes, I will come, you want to hold him by his word. If he doesn't show up, then we will use that against him and his followers around the world that are chanting Obi. If Obi cannot stand by his word, if he should promise you on the uh, damages so, and he doesn't show up, then that will tell us something about him. But I believe- One man, one man, one man I, sh I think you should, have, you should hear to Baba Ajah advice. And yeah. put a very big effort, not just to go and do some semi semi. Say you have just contacted him. Put a very big effort. You know, also he's a busy somebody, so you must give him time. Put a very big effort, and I believe if you yeah. put more time, you get him here. Don't just say you got the contact. Got him here because yeah. of so like everybody will want to have him here because of um, uh, Jewel of Nashri and others like uh, uh, Chioma and others on this platform that are his follower. We want him here as well on this follower. He must come and honor these people on this platform. If it doesn't, if he if he fails to come, then these people, I will advise them to stop supporting this man because that will tell us that he doesn't no, want. No, let's not go down. Let's not go down. No, no. he must show up. Let's, he let's, must let's, show up. Let's, let's, uh, I gotta go. Uh, Baba, Baba, to that, we have seen him in many platforms. So he's just for you. All of you that is standing for him here, oh, oh, he oh, must no. show up for you guys. Okay, yeah. I've, yeah. Been, follow, I've, been, I've been following him in many platforms. I've, I've, I've watched him speak in many. So if I, if he if he never speak here, that doesn't mean I've not seen him speak in other platform. So yeah, but he, he only speaks on obedience. So what, what, uh, what I want, what, as, a, as a supporter of Obi and a member of this platform, I will also want him to appear here if one man can put that effort. Not I know one man very well. One man can just go and do propaganda and say he has just contacted him and he refused to come. So if one man you is know here, that, 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 that you don't know me at all. I've never done that. Before. 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 How you are going about it, and uh, you know, uh, I just go, go, I just go, go. Let me yes. just say this real quick, real quick, guys. Um, you yes. see, when we make comments like, "Oh, if he doesn't show face, uh, and then it means that you know, you know, these are the things that people, when people like this hear things like this, it's like we're being hostile to him. Let's not show any hostility towards him. Let's show that we are, we are, we want you to come here. We want to ask you some questions. And one man, I want you to guarantee if it if you require that you have to write him in person, just if he wants you to write him, just write him. Don't um, don't give any semblance of any hostility towards him oh we're going to grill you we're going to like we're like i mean we have some people here who wants to like i mean you 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 see you see the problem with uh, uh these people is um it's it, it's it to find the real connect somebody that that has the leverage to liver here well, well, man, yeah. so you have well, the you have the on friday yes Okay, use use Dylan now. He's close to him. Yeah, and I was thinking yeah. that. I was thinking no, that. Me, more, more, Dylan, more, more more everybody more should remind all of us. We talk to Dylan to speak to him. Then you can contact him directly. 
if they appear on Friday. Man, if you ever do, one man, if you ever uh, promise to call me and he shows up, please, please do not let it spiral out of control because I don't want people um, disrespecting him. No, I, I don't think it will, you know. I, I think people know how to conduct themselves around Some of us, don't do, some of us yeah. do not so because some of us want to take this at the thing. No, we won't let pa people like Pansat and people like that in if somebody, if a real human being was here. All right. Oh, 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 all right, all right, brilliant. Uh, uh, who were we with? We were going on to Bishop. Uh, I think Bishop, you see now, Bishop, uh, oh, he, he didn't drop. I, I was going to say Bishop dropped. Uh, Bishop, are you ready for us? Well, yeah. yeah, we can hear you. Uh, uh, come into the conversation wherever you want to. Uh, uh, but if the if the if the audio can improve a little bit, that'll be great. But if it can't, then we'll just have to we'll make do. Uh, 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 what? Uh, just uh, a little bit. Uh, I was just going to wonder. I was just wondering if uh, enigmatic actually just came to speak to you this space. I uh, will spend the past two and a half hours or thereabouts. What is the point?
Bishop, uh, 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 all right, Bishop. Let, let me take you to the revocation, uh, the threat of revocation of um, of um, licenses from non-performing discos. Uh, I mean, yes. Why are we? It's, it's, it's absolute. The world is not a blanket revocation. It's the world that are not performing. They have ten years to invest a certain amount. They were think they were supposed to have done in three years. They promised that they were going to meet that every consumer. See, today people are buying transformers. They are still contributing money to repair transformers. Many people have paid for meters. They have not got it. In over almost a year, I've paid for five meters. Over a year now, I've paid for five meters. I've not got any. So if they are not meeting up, and they are not doing their part, they said they were bringing investment. How much have they invested? Rather, more of, many of them have collected, uh, what do you call it, bailouts from government. So if they are not performing, they are not delivering on the deliverables. Yes, their license can be withdrawn and given to other serious set. And you see that there's a, there's a gap there. And the gap is that there was supposed to be a review after 10 years. What happened last year, the election year, and how they were able to get an extension or a renewal is what nobody has addressed. And the Buhari administration should come and ask them, how did they get that approval? Or was it a team of administration that we got it? Who approved that renewal of their licenses for free? Because they are very concerned with ourselves. The yeah, generation might not be enough, but distributions are not brought in. And they are not added value. All they've been doing is to milk the system, taking advantage of. So I don't think that people should applaud that, that if you are not performing, it's like you shape up. Or you ship out. So that should not be, that should not attract any impact to us sentiment. I am for you. If they are supposed to add value, they are supposed to bring X amount of investment. And in 10 years, they have not done anything. They have not even moved the middle. All they are doing is just collecting money. They don't even want the victory to succeed. They would rather go on estimated dealing. Then they have no business in managing our power resources. So, yes, the answer is it is absolutely necessary to wield the big stick if it is necessary. It is desirable. And we spend too much time on this issue of the agreement in the first instance made it impossible for anybody to do something. Because there was a caveat, and the caveat was that if you can't show or you think out with this agreement, they can go to arbitration and somebody signed that agreement on behalf of Nigeria in 2013 that enslaved us for 10 years, 30 years, and this people did not bring any cover. There was no clause. Go and read the agreement. Look for it. I have read it a few years ago. I think I read that in 2000. There was no clause that put any demand, particularly on the operators of this uh, discourse. Everything is on the government. So they just share 
sharing it among themselves with zero experience. So if they are going to ask them or they are going to revoke, so be it. And because we spent too much time on trying to fix this uh, 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 electricity conundrum. Sadly, I don't think they are really they are really we are, we are, we are doing enough. So if they want to and it's going to add some value and it's going to bring some sadness. They shouldn't even be telling us it's just to the middle. They should do the middle. Because 10 years gone, or have been telling us that the operating on the previous agreement, I don't think any reasonable person will want to sell that. So yes, my answer to that is I support that move. It's long overdue. Just that at then there was nothing we could do about it because of the clause and the very vexatious a criminal clause that was inserted into the agreement of that uh, uh, six billion or of six billion in the uh, uh, indicatable uh, what is it in the code arbitration six billion dollars not naira. So yes. Oh, 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 all right, and Charles Soludo calling his uh, uh, works uh, commissioner incompetent in uh audiovisual well if, i mean if the boss I mean, the commissioner is not able to read if the man is incompetent and if the boss and uh, based on what he's done i mean it's, 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 it's an assessment of his performance uh, if you are not being uh, uh, a little bit too personal about it if uh, it gives him uh an assignment and the man did not deliver and the man raised his performance and uh, don't just call him incompetent and stick him in. If he is incompetent, then why are you? I don't think he owes anybody a day. So if the act is actually incompetent, and uh, 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 so you know, should know. Because he's the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the boss in this case, and the buck stopped at his desk. So yes, if he's going to uh, if, he, if he measures and the man is not measuring up to his own expectation, he shouldn't just stop at calling him incompetent. And this should not really generate any regular value as we are having. It's not really administrative. So he should go ahead and do the needful. Fire him so that others can teach up. And we are expecting the president to, to fire uh, some ministers. Get his little to too late. So fire him. Uh, I mean, I don't think that should generate any uh, headline. Yes, my assessment is coming. So, I, I think I agree with that. I don't see anything for two or, or coming. Uh, the, the because the man is sitting on a hot stool. He's sitting on a hot thing or a hot chair. He has a hot thing. He's in a hurry to deliver. Because some people are pretty involved. Not based on assessing his performance, but because they want one character to look good. So the demand, the, the, the expectations are high, the stakes are really, really high. So I, I don't think that's the big thing that, and I don't think we should, we should really, you know, uh, 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 the energy on that. Yes. Thank you for that. Uh, 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 all right, uh, Senator Ningi doubles down on the missing four trillion uh, 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 naira padded budget. So corruption in high places, uh, Senator Ningi. I, I, I think uh, you, you, the the first is that exhaustively, or extensively, and exhaustively. No, I don't think there's any other thing to ask. Uh, we are just divided in opinion, uh, and unfortunately, many of the times. These opinions are not based on facts. They are just based on which side of the divide you are. That's just it. And listen to the debate and the argument. They are not based on facts at all. Because either alleges, you have said that clearly, either alleges, cost who? Now you are in the place. Look, let me start by saying cost. The budget is already an act of the National Assembly. It's already a law. This individual was there when they sat deliberated both at the committee and the, com of the, uh, uh, the committee on the appropriation and the committee of the whole house. They deliberated on the first reading, second reading and the third reading. And they passed this uh, to law. Because that's what we are not looking at. The project is an act 
already the law. If we sign it, you know, you pass it. The, 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 the national, I mean, the House of Reps passed it. You concur, you pass it, you harmonize, you presented it to the commander in chief. It was signed into law. All of a sudden, you just woke up and now remember that what was how can we how can some people be so if there was a mistake, then you will not just come on television to begin to throw a faceless accusation. You should come with hard facts because the project is already an act of the National Assembly, of which you were a very good integral part of. You were there. No. Uh, 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 the Bishop, uh, sorry for yeah. coming in. Yeah. The, the 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 most ridiculous thing one man read to us later. The man said they take they took him out of contest. Can you can you well, just can you just can well, you digest that? Let me come and tell us exactly what he meant. Not just saying that I was taken out of contest. So what do you really mean? Because we have his playback now that he said there was no nexus, there was no cohesion, there was no you know between what was passed and the real, uh, 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 whatever I said, there is cost of money. And for a person like me, I mean, what I said last time, there was a conversation around this, uh, something was that. Look, hey, we know that uh, uh, maybe now, he's done this like three, four times in the past, through some baseless accusation and allegation, only on the rest. So he likes embracing the public space. The irony is that when we have things that we can critically analyze dispassionately and bring out the kernel, the truth of it, but because of the, the, the politics, the vice politics, we decide to take a position even before analyzing or looking at the facts of the matter. Especially that you are already taking a position. No matter how faceless, no matter how ridiculous that position is, then it has been already taken a position which is not granted on or in any part of the matter. So for me, it does not that you were a part of when you passed it. Where were you? What were you looking? Were you sleeping? Or you were chewing guru that time? Or what were you thinking about? That you are not trying to and if there is a need to review it, take it back to the National Assembly that that law will pass. I think there was an omission somewhere. Or take it to the uh, to the committee. Now, there is no way that they would have taken it to the committee and they did not do anything and we not that he has exhausted every internal mechanism to, to look for to see for a redress and because he was not being given any attention, that's why he's coming out. So he did no such thing. We don't need to beg to understand to have to be able to read it between the lines of that one. He did not do anything as such. He just wanted to embrace and to embrace the public headline. And it is not the support of anybody. It's surprising how we can't get the support of the president or something and some people have a back. I don't see where that is. Because if there is a need to criticize, yeah, it will be president will criticize objectively. Objectively. Not based on some it's just like I accused that Jan Lekoko now. That Jan Lekoko yesterday, you stole him. You come and defend him, except that he did not steal the moon. Okay, sorry, maybe I should not get that name. No, you, you're actually dipping, so we didn't even get uh, a, a bit of what you said. And people now expect you to come and defend yourself that you did not steal the moon. Rather than ask me, okay, how did you steal the moon? Okay, I'll not explain. But they are expecting to let the woman to jump before one person. Still the moon, I did not steal the moon. How ridiculous. So we are saying the man that have alleged, that alleged let him come and bring the facts. Where, at what point did you see that this thing has been started? Bring this of heavy, break it down. Extract the document, you have your own original document. I was happy, that's not too much to ask. Yes. No, you were dipping a little Hello. bit. Yeah, you, 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 you are dipping quite oh. a bit. Can you hear me? Sorry. 
Yeah, I can hear you. I'm telling you 100 percent Oh, oh, all right, you, uh, your system was dipping somewhat, but le let me take it to this topic. Yeah. Um, I I can end farmer headers crisis in two two to three weeks. So this is Tinubu at some event. Uh, that would be a miracle, surely. Um, unfortunately, like many things that we have had to debate on, look, we know the solution to farmer header is to stop to stop. Uh, uh heavy that roaming of cattle we must evolve with time for it to become at a cost the previous administration the other administration did something about it trying to but they did not move they did not do they just threw money at me and the money did not solve any problem the previous administration tried to do ruga which is rural Games with that, whatever. And it was completely politicized as land grabbing. Oh, land, you want to come and take the land. Oh, the state should not do uh, them land. The state is investing heavily in agriculture. Heavily. We all saw the Alpha Boruad. We saw the Padama Project. We saw the rural uh, Tiltuli. That was the of food. In, in how many years have we invested in agriculture? Subsidized uh, farm implement, subsidized loans for farmers. Just at that railway 
doing now, you look at like opposite where staff. I don't need anybody to know where SARS was before you start going to the post office. So there are so many things that we're not supposed to politicize that we have politicized. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. But that same solution we have rejected five, six, seven years ago is the same solution we are going to provide now. The question is what changed? Just the politics of it. Some of we have seen some working farms, dairy farms around here and they are a beauty to behold honestly in some very remote places you see a farm that will boast that they have four thousand heads of cattle some of them will say they have ten thousand heads of cattle and people are working here the past the the, 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 the the cows are well fed they are well catered for they produce better meat they produce more their beef so we need to evolve with the time and sometimes you cannot win everything sometimes you just have to let go it's not 100 just uh, in, in my way or the highway we look at we look at what is the long-term benefit in this thing there was a long-term benefit in the national livestock whatever that was uh, uh, put up but we allow sentiment and emotion we said full they wanted to come and take all of our land and the narrative became so so and, and made the environment so toxic say so it's a full nation and then the flag wants to take over Nigeria and kill 50 million Yorubas. Not even during the second world war where 50 million people killed. No. And the world and we will fold our hand and so full they will come and they will take over our land and they will kill 50 million Yorubas. So we go around with that narrative. And they're still running with it. So, yes, Tinubu can do it if he had the courage to sit those people down and let them know that. If you don't want it, that's fine. But this is the roadmap to us ending this farmer elder class. Because between the farmers and the elder, there is no state. There are criminal element, elements among both of them. Some people are so fixated, they are looking at only one side. If we want to resolve this matter, we have to look at both sides. That some people are just fueling it because they are benefiting from the on both sides, on both sides of the head men, on the side, the same different side of the farmers. Some people are benefiting from it. So, is it possible? It is possible. Either short term, medium term, or long term. The important thing is that we can actually turn around that life stock space. The same way we have invested heavily in uh, 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 agri, in agro, in uh, crop, in fishery, in uh, whatever, we can also invest in animal uh, husbandry, including ranching. What you have for me again? Um. I what else were we talking about? You you spoken on um do you want to speak on uh, UK uh, banning um healthcare workers from uh, bring bringing their dependents? Oh well, yes. Um number one thing is that it was long coming. Uh UK is not particularly a good time, even for the United Kingdom. Or let me say for the Britain. Which one is I should I use now? Is it for Britain now or for the United Kingdom? Anyhow, uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah. It's not particularly a good time for them economically. I mean, two weeks ago, they entered into the recession. There's been a massive pressure on their public utilities, uh, whether it's in health, whether it's in housing. And some people have short changed. They have, they have corrupted the system. They have short changed. A good number of persons have gone to the UK in the past two years. On this, they are sponsored something. They got there on very big and fraudulent pretext. That if UK wants to scrutinize and deport that uh, people that used, you know, that fell and uh, ran foul of the law, honestly, they would, they would deport thousands. I'd say thousands, maybe up to 10,000 or more that they would deport. So if they are not saying, look, you have abused the quota for this, I think it is well within their right. And I'm sure it's not going to be like, it's going to be a permanent thing. 
Somebody will still invite another means for them to be able to come tomorrow. Because we know people, and if we know, then the British authorities know people that did take marriage just to get themselves to the UK. This one left his husband, the other one left his wife or her wife, I write the money. And they now pretend to be husband and wife only just to get to UK. And these things are getting out because Casala won't bust. And in the process, they now steal the bill. So they know that they have abused that space. At one point, it did become very germane or important that America, when you, have, when, you, when you fight for people, even in American embassy, they ask you to go and do GND now, which is becoming very rampant. It was not so before, because when people were practically using it for, uh, what do you call it now, uh, human trafficking. The fight for people that are no relation of yours for a fee. If you don't worry, I'll find out, pretend that you are my son, you are my this, you are my that. And it became, they know these things. Uh, Bishop, sorry to interject yes. you. Uh, don't you think the United Kingdom also used that system to rake in uh, millions of uh, pounds through education in the system. And you yeah, allow, uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, you want a lot of our uh, people to come and work as caregiver in London, but you don't want them to bring their family. So, and when well, you look at the other countries, the immigration in this way is that if you are coming to work, they also give you opportunity to bring your family members. That is what? what you can, uh, and, uh, as a doctor, if you're a qualified doctor and you want to work in England or a nurse, and they say you are the only one that you want to come, what about your wife and your kids? They want you to just yeah. put them inside. Uh, two things, so, number one. Two things. Mm. Number one, it was not always like that. We all agree to that fact. So what happened that they are using this new method? Because uh, 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 Bishop, there's, there's heavy background noise. Well, uh, carry, carry on. It, it's gone. It's gone now. Carry on. It's gone. Yeah, carry on. I mean, it was not the. It was not the. Uh, what do you call the big thing on the road? Uh, right. uh, something. So that. Uh, uh, what was that I was saying? Okay. Not the doctors. Now I just said that because it was abused and they did a review, and I did have enough evidence to prove that that as something that window of opportunity to bring the better have been abused. Now, it is not, yeah, it is for healthcare workers, the people that are in that care, in that category. It was for students, it was abused. Then for care workers, it was abused. If you are going to UK as a medical doctor and you get employment, you are not going with the same kind of uh, certificate of sponsorship, the one you are referring to. It's not, it's not going to be on the same. So there are professionals, it used to be high skilled something. I skilled uh, something, uh, uh, something visa, immigration visa, for immigrant visa, many years ago. So if you fall in the category of that high skilled, as a medical doctor, you are in the category of that high skilled. It's not going to be the same thing like this COS that gives us sponsorship that is, was was really uh, just recently introduced. And like I just say, my word now, I've been abused. So every project, every Every everything uh, goes in project or policy. I think the policy is the better one. Every policy that you introduce, after a while, you need to do a review. How has the policy gone? What are the drawbacks? You know, for, and when you do it, you put in some new mechanism for them. Even though it's affecting us negatively in court, but it is within their right. To say that look that policy even though it had a lot of benefit but looking at the other side the flip side the pressure on our health care the pressure because anybody that lives in the uk we attest to it and the massive pressure on the health care facility massive and even the housing there is massive and they know that people are abusing this that they are they are they are, they are, they are taking uh, sorry again, uh, Bishop. Uh, yes. I think to me, I think the UK is probably in a kind of dilemma. You want the people to come and work for you, and at the same time, and the condition, the, anything that you bring out, people will look at the loophole because this is immigration, yes. and a lot of people want to go there. You cannot uh, uh, blame some student 
that they go there with about 15 20 000 pounds as school fees and they allow there to bring their wife or children so do, you, do you of course they will and sometimes in nigeria everybody is not stupid you all know that in nigeria sometimes they don't have this money they have to pull resources together so that is why they have to find a way so to get that money so that a daughter maybe arrange you whether or not arrange you whether or okay whatever. so i agree with you so it's uh, so when you blame that they abuse the system you also have to look at that how much money come out of that country in one year alone uk realized over two billion i think they said two billion four billion pounds from international students and majority of okay. it are from nigeria so you okay. have to also look at plan it out together okay so now is that this uh, the, uh policy they have ready, yeah yeah about ready so with this policy now it reduced the capital flight from Nigeria that should be your uh, people don't going to take it to the UK anymore and that's a plus for us too now they are not saying yeah, right. everybody cannot come they are saying but now you cannot bring your defender. That's really what's running. So anybody so, that cannot bring like, like your defender. Yes. Bishop, like today now, today now yes. as I'm talking to you, most of this caregiver, because NHS is having a shortage of staff, they are now poaching all other care, caregiver companies. They are poaching their employees, bringing them yes. under a NHS uh, system. So those yes. people that are, you know, it, those companies, they have to look elsewhere. To look for people to, to come and work for them so yes. you see any policy you do that will be both pros and cons and the negative aspect is coming out uk smile to the bank with a lot of money from the from the developing country especially nigeria india and the rest and now you are banning them probably they will take this money to other european country or maybe america Good. Canada. That's, that's what i was going to end up with that yeah. so it is only uk that has brought this policy but there are several other countries that people can go to that allow them. But now, I think it is within their right. Does it affect us negatively? Yes, I believe so. But uh, it is what it is. In as much as they want other people to come and enjoy, they need to preserve themselves too. So it is within their right to introduce policy that they think is working in their best interest. It may not work for us for now, but they are not considering us first. They are considering themselves. And if the thing is having them, and they think this policy is going to reverse that harm in some way, because there's pressure on their uh, uh, social services, I think it's really their right. I don't think we should crucify them or to condemn them for it. So it is we that now wants to go, that we now weigh our options. Would I rather go to UK where I cannot take my wife or my daughter or my son? Or do I go to other places? So if I cannot go to UK, then I can as well go to another place. So that's where, that, that's where, or how I am seeing it. So I will not really condemn UK. They're taking advantage of us, of course. Uh, well, what is what we say we do? You know what I mean? They yeah, I understand. So, so uh, people have options; they can take their money and go elsewhere. Uh, 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 all right, re, 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 uh, uh, yeah, Remy, give me one second. Give, give me one second. L let me bail out, hand over to Thomas uh, as the conversation carries on. Uh, Thomas, uh, uh, Remy, and um, uh, and uh, and Ganiu, they've still not spoken. And if Mark Click is here to keep you company, uh, so when Bishop Lance, yes. uh, I, I think Remy comes in. Uh, yeah. Uh, no let, let me acknowledge the super tatas uh kulata prince uh 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 so and then prince daddy uh one nigeria uh and uh are you of course uh you know you often get the mention so 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 there it is uh so thank you to all those uh i'll keep them coming the super chat does not close when one man leaves and uh, yeah, show some love towards uh uh thomas as well as um uh, as uh prince daddy always says uh so, so thank you, everyone. See you tomorrow as the conversation carry, carries on. Uh, Thomas, over to you.
Yeah, Bishop Landis, yeah. So, basically, yes. Why is it that Nigeria doesn't have any more Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we really want to. Uh, I think uh, yeah. I just want to put a quick update <coughs> on that uh, Senator Ningi. Uh, there is this Senator Karim who happens to be in the same uh, forum, the Northern whatever whatever. The guy said that uh, they went to the Akpabio when that when they noticed that when Ningi complained about that thing, and Akpabio said said told the, uh, Senator Ningi, go and bring the document or whatever so that we, they can put it at the committee of the old house and they can discuss it. And before we know it, we quickly jump to the press. It's, it's just, to me, I think he's just uh, been playing the role of... of, of I think government. he's just trying to grasp standing. Yeah, think grand standing. Like, yeah. And then, you know, Senator Karim said, when he, when he noticed there are some, there are some, what do you call it? There are some money on the budget that you don't need to give exact how they are going to spend it. We call them first line charges, probably money for defense, or maybe even money for some kind of thing that fall under security. They cannot just disclose it like that. In the city knows that that Senator Ningi has been in the Senate like more than four or five times. He has been in the in the rep. Uh, sorry, he won't be a House House of Rep member and now a senator for nearly 20 something years. He knows the system. It's just grandstanding and it's quite unfortunate. I know that it's a budget padding, one way or the other, because uh, even if you want to accuse the government, three trillion naira is not one million naira. The whole budget that you pass that the signs 20 trillion, and you are now telling us they put, you cannot even substantiate it. And people like, I, I like what uh, Polata and uh, Enigmatic and the others have said before. If you allege, prove it. Where, yes. where are the I mean, that was what I was about to ask. Yes. Where are the documents? The, where are those things that you, any, yeah. where any documents in the newspaper? Yeah, I am not really, I'm not really fancy about that. But what I love here, just the way I was working, I was watching the commissioning of what. Um, the governor of Niger State did, and Tinubu was there. Oh my God. This is when you walk the talk. The, the governor of that state is ready to be a farmer. He even put on a, a, a work suit. With a, you can see when he makes his address, these are people, they know, and they, they have, uh, I think, maybe through the help of the federal government, they purchase tons, hundreds of tractors. So many things on ground. They show it yesterday. It is seen is believing. And I like what Inubu told them. He mentioned name. Governor of Kwara State. Governor of Benue State. Said Benue, find a way to fill it all. Go back. 
this is your neighboring con neighboring state. Let's call this bed middle bed, agricultural food basket of the nation. And he told them you will find solution to the issue of insecurity. So I like the, I, I like I like something like this. This is real thing. Remy. All those tractors and what he has provided, I think Niger State is ready to go. Chief and, Remy. And each, each time I look at this kind of people, and when you not just oppose them to some of other governors, you ask yourself, what are they thinking? If I were governor of Kwara or governor of Kogi, I, I would um, Remy, 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 yeah? Remy, Babati is trying to put a position to you. Yeah, okay. Babati. Yeah. Now, I was just going to uh, ask him that uh, it's an observation uh, that uh, it's like uh, under the Tinubu administration, you are only going to grow as far as your governor wants to grow or take you. It's not going to force development in your state. So he only is only interested in serious governor. So if, if your governor shows any interest or any progress in any endeavor in your state, that attracts the attention of, of Tinubu and he comes in to help and support. And I think that is the new model we have in Nigeria now. Which so, is good. Yeah. So, if you, so you must be up and doing as a governor. Yeah. You know, the, the era of just waiting for Abuja to come and provide the uh, stuff. You know, that is over. Yeah. So in the next four years, if Niger stays the top five states in Nigeria through the agriculture, don't blame, don't blame anybody. Why you guys will continue to go to Minonaga to buy their food chain? And immediately, Lagos State have signed an agreement with them. They are going to buy their product immediately. And then the federal government also signed an agreement with them. Their SSS, they will buy it and put it in the silos and keep it. That is what we call a government. They know what they are doing. And I like what Tinubu did. He called names. He called Abu Razak, governor of Akwara. Governor Bino, he called his name. He said, Come on, we were going to find an uh, issue to the problem of insecurity. Go back to the land and fill the basket. He told Benny State Governor like that. Even call Ododo, he called the even call Fashion, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? He said he has started paying wage awards to the governors, to this to his federal workers. He called uh, his name, the governor of uh, Songwolu. Are you paying? He said, Yes. Why don't you talk to other governors? He said, other governors, pay where they award to your state workers. Pending the time we find, uh, we'll get a, a rich agreement about minimum wage. This way, people already get used to it. So I'm right that at the end of the day, the minimum wage will set it around 55 to around 70,000 naira. Because he is paying 35,000, or your state is paying 25,000 as wage award. Some state, they are not paying nothing. So it, and you can see he's even begging them yesterday because he doesn't have control how they're they are going to spend their money. But I think the problem is that most Nigerians, they don't understand how government works and they don't really want to take that patience or find, find the truth by themselves. I've seen that a lot of Nigerians, they just jump. Uh, if anybody says something, they don't want to do their own research. They don't want to do nothing. Everybody just jump and just conclude like that. They don't give people benefit of doubt, and people just criticize just for criticizing sake, not criticizing objectively. I, we all know, as a politician, there is no way that your 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 basket will be full. There will be some leak, uh, some 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 leakages. Nobody is perfect, but if this guy continues this trajectory, if Niger State can do this, KB can do this, and maybe <clears throat> I don't know what they are doing in Oshun because. If these our northern people are doing all of this thing, our own people in the southwest, we also have a big land for farming, and we are folding our hands. Now look at our, our southwest. Now. Apart from Songwolu, so we, look at, we don't have land for farming in Lagos. What is Ogun, Oshun, Ekiti, and the rest? What are they doing? They say a big chunk of land for farming. They are not doing nothing. When you see what is on ground on Niger on Mino yesterday, you will be ashamed of yourself if you are from southwest. Hundreds of tractors. We're not talking about 200. Though. We're not talking about 300. Though. We're talking about thousands different tra tractors for farming. Different. More than four or five different types. 10,000. And they're still expecting more. What are we talking about? So, to me, I think <laughs> if a country wants to grow, you have to feed yourself first. And if at the end of the day, Niger, KB, and the rest, they are producing all this food for the rest of the country. 
And you in the south, you are buying it at expensive price. And the people in the north, they are buying it at a lower price. Don't complain that time. All these things they are talking about ranching or livestock, let them have the ranching. The beef might be cheap in, in Kano, Kaduna, and it's going to be expensive in Lagos or York. That is it, because you are not doing it. So you don't expect to buy it the same price you will get it in the, in the north. You have to pay the price for it. So if you also want cheaper things, you also have to till the land. You cannot expect them to be doing all the dirty work for you, go to the farm, farm for you, raise chicken, raise everything for you, and you say, I tie my tie, I'm a content creator, I'm a banker. I'm we a have banker. the money to we have the money to buy now. Are you sure? The money to buy that? Who is, who, who, how many of your own people is telling Unga don't catch them? Unga never wire them. Even the people from the north, they know they say Unga, they catch them. Now, for people from the south, every time Unga, they catch them. It is no, they, they expect, then they expect the manna from heaven. Manna from tell heaven. Them, let's go to the land. They say, over my dead body, me, a graduate, go back to the farm. I will never do like that. In, over, they will be saying, oh, I just look at even in the so-called America, those people that are farmers, they are highly educated people too. And it's generation upon generation of, of, of keeping this farmland. And these people have lived a decent life, a ready-made job. Uh, uh, me, me. Farmers, farmers here, they are millionaires. Of course, the same because thing here. people so... can't do without food. If people can't do without food, I, I may do without car. Many people doesn't have car. Mm -hmm. Many people doesn't have some things, but you can't do without food. So what I'm just trying to say is that if you see the model of yesterday and the way the president talk, that means Babati is 100% right on spot. If you are ready to work and you have your plan, that guy will support you, doesn't care. But if you are just still want to be playing politics, oh, I'm there, I'll be all this trash, 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 you don't have any particular plan. And the state, the people of your state, they are those out, they don't talk, they just keep eh, I think ambassador is enough. And don't blame the president of <laughs> Yeah, uh, Remy, the, the reason why I bought I bought that was because I was having a conversation with somebody earlier today. And the person said, Well, the Tinubu is commissioning all these tractors in in, in Niger State. Why can't they do the same in the Southeast? And I said, Well, as any <laughs> As an, stupid, stupid so, yeah. so I asked him, I said, uh, so has anybody shown interest in large scale farming in the Southeast? And and because you, you, you look, do you, see, do you know what that governor is doing in, in that state? That other state, you know, it's, it's not his PDP, it's not even APC. You're the you're the Okay, uh, okay, okay, but do you know what he's doing? He's, mm -hmm. he's doing what Yorubas will call on the tea or money by more way about by them. Okay, what he's doing. So, when he's kneeling down, calling him my father, everything people think he's stupid. No, he's not stupid. He knows exactly what he, there's a way you will address an elder that you will force their hand to do whatever you want them to do. Okay. So, he, he, I think he understands the Yoruba culture, I think he gets it. So he's using Even that in, 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 in the opening ceremony, those people they welcome Tinubu with Yoruba dance and songs. They dance, they are Hausa people and they dance like Yoruba people. Right. So but who is enjoying it now? Thousands of tractors go to Niger. What is our own governor in the Ogbo and the rest? What are they doing? And Yoruba Remy Yoruba should say only in in can Then so my point to my friend I was talking to talking about. Well, why is he not providing uh, all those things in uh, in the South? I said, uh, have you shown any interest in it? Have you gone to Tinubu to present your case? What other things are you collaborating with? You, you saw about seven or eight governors at that uh, event. Right, event, right? Almost all the middle belts showed up. I think was that was there. You know that was always everywhere. Was it there? Was it there? I, I, I didn't really see what somebody was there. Probably but, was there. Maybe yeah, we, we will not be we will not be shocked. Now. Will, you know, he has to come at Lani Kani. He will, he will show up there. But so if they are providing that, I believe uh, I, I Lagos also. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I used to think that the debate on the other. I, 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 
No, no, no. But the now, problem with Ogo State is the rivalry between the Jebus and the Egbas. And whenever the Jebus get there, they don't normally do a wonderful job. It's always a shoddy job. The last guy that was there was that Benga Daniel before Muslim. So you can see they, they don't normally should do a good job. Amosu I'm I'm was great. Oshoba was great. So I don't know what Bishop. The so the I don't think that applies to yeah, Osho, oh yeah, oh yeah, Oshoba was great, but Oshoba was from Ebana. It's not from yeah, that, that's my you point. Look I at mean, the territory of that state. Whenever we have an Ijebu, because they when whenever we have an Ijebu as our governor, most time we don't normally perform very well. And uh, so that is the problem, and it's always between the Egbas and the Ijebu. But we hope that this time around it goes to the, uh, the west. Uh, the side. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because we don't hold them in the same standard. We don't what? We don't hold them. They don't. They don't hold hold them to the same standard. No, I don't yes. think so. I think um, sometimes I don't understand the kind of politics they play. Uh, because they sometimes they see themselves more wealthy because you know Ijebu are also like they are very industrial. I think so that kind of thing also clamor their judgment sometimes. Yeah, but 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 uh, Bishop, my point is those that come from uh, Ogun East, they when they get there, I say I, I don't mind if they want to focus on Ogun East, but the kind of investment they make does not maximize their potential they you know the Ogun has access to the ocean line they have natural resources they have a lot of things that they can develop there but they don't pay attention to those things they don't develop what needs to be developed in that area they don't so that's the issue it's not like we say some more of like a bad or a bad job i know it's there like uh me rightfully said but when is your turn develop your region uh in the right way to benefit them long term you see what Amosu did in in in, in Abekuta now you see the, the kind yes, of roles he was building over the place wonderful, wonderful job wonderful. so why can't why can't they then do the same thing in their own area when they get there i don't understand so don't so you cannot say oh when i must get but now it's going to year one now because but in the Ogun dynamics right bishop even even though it's going to Yewa uh, Ogun Ogun West, in the eyes of the Jebus, you see Egba. <laughs> they don't so we, because you know Yewa Egba is still kind of the same technically, but they want to be on that one. It is fine. So it's still the it, 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 so, it, it, yeah. it, it, it is not in the eyes of the Jebus now. It is a fact that uh, Ogun East Ogun East Ogun East is one and sixty seven percent Egba down. Uh, no, but, no, no. But, but for for political reasons is why they want to stand by themselves. We know culturally they are that, but if they claim yeah, that, that they are that, oh my block chances more of getting that that. Uh, that okay, okay. So they want yeah, to so, so for so it's all politics. That's the reason why they uh, want to stand by themselves. So. Not all of them are egbas totally. Uh, uh, but the, no, no, but the majority they are playing politics with it. That's the point. That's the reason why to, to prevent that split was the reason why Amosu was fighting to, to put one of them to keep their back in intact. And uh, sorry so, to cut to Ati, yeah. and Tinobu also mentioned about the National Livestock Program that is going to... Oh, I love, I love that. I love that. Yeah. But, so um, I think at the end of the day, it's not going to force any, go, any, go, any, any state government. Right. If you, if you want, go for it. If you don't want it, we don't care. But if you don't want it, you rest assured. That those products, when they come to your state, is not going to be the same price where they are producing large quantities. You have to pay the, you have to pay for that. Uh, they are, they are, they are still waiting for federal government to come and develop their yes, land. Really now that, now that he, now that he mentioned their name subnational, now everybody know now the, 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 the most Nigerians or most states. That I don't know, but I think most states in the south or in some part of the middle south, they started to handle their governor very well. Hold him responsible. He's collecting triple allocation. What is he doing with the money? They have collected money to increase, uh, to give their states wage award, pending the, the determination of the minimum. What are they doing? Some states are already doing it. 
And I don't like people coming here and talking about this person. The, 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 the time, they are governor at different times. And government is a continuation. If this guy does oh, so uh, 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 I was a uh, bishop and you guys, I was listening earlier on. Um, I think rational might have his own, uh, sorry for that, he, he, he said something, he was calling the president idiot. And I, I just found this somewhat, I, I, it's free, free world though. Yeah. Is anyone can say anything, but it's, I, I, I don't I don't even know how to put it. It's, it's, uh, I, I, Charles, I, I the first it. day I came to this platform, I accused him that you're, you are fixated on Tinubu born out of hatred. This is no more criticism. This is hatred. Because when you, <clears throat> every little word or sentence that comes from your mouth, before you know it, every problem of that country Go back to this guy, to Tinubu. That means you have a personal hatred towards the guy. But when you, you can when you not call him some, of, not call him names. I, I don't know why you call somebody an idiot. How would you feel if somebody call you an idiot in front of your children because you are holding a particular position? I think uh, as a, as our they are our leaders, we can criticize them. But why do we go so personal and be calling them and the kind of what you use against your leader? Don't, don't you think somewhere or one way you are also a leader in wherever community you find yourself? Maybe as a head of an household, head of father, you are the father of an household. And if your household is not performing very well and somebody outside are, are talking to your children or talking to your wife, or maybe your wife is hearing, they are not telling her, oh, they, they don't mind. The husband of that woman is a stupid idiot man, and your wife is hearing that, or your children are hearing that from the from the. Poor. How would you feel? Because sometimes you just think, okay, you might never know what might become of you in future. Who knows? Maybe you are going to be a leader, and it's easy to criticize. It's not easy to govern. If it's so easy to criticize, you are in America. You have already acquired enough experience, even to be a, a national assembly member in Nigeria. Oh, yeah, that's why I mean, no, I don't agree no. with this idea of because somebody is a public figure, you can you are supposed to abuse them. No, speak to the issue, not the person. Yes, I don't like it. You just abuse mm. the private abuse, abuse, abuse. Any little word that also show that you don't also guide your utterances. Because if I'm talking to you and I can say the language that's coming out, but, but we, we 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 are living in diaspora. We are there is no how you say you are feel you are a, a finish. I am Australia. Uh, Babati is uh, is, uh, is, uh, is 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 America. We still know we are Nigeria, but we don't address the country where we are living. We don't address their president as idiots. We don't call them him. We respect uh, them. Uh, Remy, 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 and Thomas. Did you see this video of a white guy that had to caution Nigerians about backpacking their own country? Have you seen that video? Uh, there's one particular white the, guy. the white guy was was actually telling them that they should not be bad in their country online. He was cautioning them, basically talking about it can attack the in the politicians, but not the country. Is is so for a foreigner to be educating you about not bad in your own country tells you how bad even the guy is like, come come on now. So if you go ahead, has, country now, let me go only my boo country I, like uh, this. So Babati, uh, when uh, you uh, look at uh, yeah. sorry, Remy, yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago, I think I was in, uh, I don't remember whether it was in Iowa or Kentucky, as mentioned by So I, I met this uh, veteran, uh, an American. He said he's been to five uh, tour of duty across the world. Uh, he was a guy that I was in Nigeria, and coincidentally, he was married to a Nigerian. I will tell you where that Nigerian is from. But when we went, even before he told me, we got discussing in some discussion. And he was amazed at how passionate I was about my country. How did that is for that? It's strange. Was the people he has been speaking with, the way they talk about Nigeria, do you think that the place, I said, well, that, that's their view? I said, sometimes you get, you get irritated. Those were, that's where, those were exact. Where, when those people talk about their country, the country of their back, the way they used to talk about Nigeria. 
this marriage with Nigeria and his wife is Caucasian. And uh, people, you know, when they are discussing, especially this last step, we get so irritated when they discuss about their country like that. It's just that Somebody, I said, where? Bishop, sorry for cutting you. Do you normally use? People always ask you use American this this question. If you say ah uh, oh, oh ah yes I'm American, here they will ask me where are you originally from? Yes, it's because it's mainly it's mainly to it's you are from somewhere. Yes, but you are you are badmouthing where you are from. Of the you are promoting the country where you are just like Atipo. What do they call Atipo in English? A stranger. It's not, it's not yeah, it's we are southern anywhere you, you live. I'm in Australia. You are in the US. Remy mm, is in Finland. You are just a surgeon. They always ask me, where are you originally from? And I say Nigeria. I'm proud to be in Nigeria. And they don't understand <laughs> the, the impact. Look at the impact of our movie industry and our music industry on the on the image and person of Nigeria. I can tell you, 20 years ago in America, and compared to now, is the, the way they view in Nigeria has completely changed because of our music and our culture and the way we're perceived. And that that two, two, those two sectors has really made a lot of positive growth in the way that people see Nigerians globally. Now, if you then transmit that to other parts of your economy and you project that, it, it even favors you in the diaspora because it also opens doors for you. Because, you know, the Nigerian brain now is more sort of in, in, in the West now. If you're Nigerian and you're in, in, in any medical or engineering field, they see you, you are almost, like, Bishop, you are almost seen at the same level the way they view a Chinese person when it comes to those kind of things, in, med in medicine, for instance. Like there's this kind of expectation for you being in Nigeria. Like you're supposed to be smart. You're supposed to be focused. You're supposed to be like they just expect that of you now. And that is is it, is that it is good. Surgeon that brought out a baby from a baby wound, do surgery for that baby and replace that baby back to the womb of the mother. Right. So is that is. Surgeon? So when you do more of that in other fields, it also helps your the diasporas, but. Barack Obama, their family doctor is a Nigerian. Uh, but what you know, they, you know, Thomas, it, Thomas, the, the Nigerian diaspora are even the ones that are, that are, that are worse. They're the ones even even the ones in Nigeria like ah, <laughs> with the kulito here now. I won't go. I won't go. On. She told him, but the diaspora Nigerians are even the ones that will go online every five minutes, bashing the country. Uh, skin cock in the coin ABC, and then you go to the airport and somebody treats you badly based on what you are posting online. I said, Somebody said Nigeria is, is ABC and D. I said, Where do you think they got it from? From you, you are the one that, that is putting it online now. You are the one bashing your country on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube. So when somebody treats you badly based on what you are putting online, then you now say Nigeria is bad. It is you, you are all bad. So it, 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 it's us. I mean, you go see other parts of, uh, of, 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 but learn to separate the politician, the leaders from the country when you are criticizing the the the, the system. Don't bash the country itself. You can bash Sinobu, you can bash any governor, but not the country. It's very important. Very important. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you totally. Now, we don't know where to draw the line. Uh, we expect from people what we are not ready to give or willing to give or able to give. Now, they are very distinct. They are distinct. Even though they look alike, but they are very distinct. Because the very few what we are saying is that all of us, because I have said something here before. Our leaders, they are a product of our society. Same thing, our policemen, they are a product of our society. They are people's husbands, people's fathers, people's sons, you know, 
our teachers, our nurses, all of them, we accept it, our politicians. We cannot accept, it's not acceptable to take process from our policemen say, because they are not wealthy. That's why they are collecting bribes. We make it. We take a, a notice from our lecturers that they are harassing people and they are collecting bribes uh, because they are not wealthy. But you don't want to take make excuse for you make excuse for nothing that are stealing medication in the hospital and are hostile to patients. But you don't want to make the same excuse. You want to hold politicians to a higher standard of accountability. Look, it is the society. They are not aliens. I'm not making excuses for them. I am saying the ones that are not politicians today or that are not in position of authority is because they have they don't have the opportunity yet. So it's kind of it is the opportunity that makes the team. So don't think you are being you are you are clean, you are insane, you are being sanctimonious because you are not there yet, you could be worse. And that's why when we are demanding and we are trying to do the uh, cleansing, the one they call a formal, it should be holistic. It should be total. I have a very big dream that Nigeria is going to experience, you know, the kind of, it's going to attain, at least on the path to what I want it to be in my lifetime. I don't know how soon or how far it will be, but I'm contented when I see that we are moving in the right direction, no matter how slow the step is. So I won't join the bandwagon of magnifying everything that is evil or bad about Nigeria. I won't. I did not, I have not in years. So I won't start it today because some politicians that ordinarily stood zero chance of winning. I will not change because that politician that had a zero chance of winning did not win. And I make you look like, oh, Nigeria is finished. Nigeria is too. And people keep reminding you, oh, if one person has won. Okay, okay, okay. Bishop, 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 how can we separate the politician? We can back the politician, I don't care. But how can we separate the politician from the country? I mean, you, if sometimes people want to criticize you, it's still the country people not to criticize. Because the politician is governing the country. Yeah, you cannot separate. I, I, I'm trying to understand that question. Number one, you are not supposed to separate. To hold them to account on the basis of their performance or lack of it. Do you understand? Chiefs are human beings. There is a saying they used to say, Bubu Waluli, Eriti Leba Mubadi Larao. And I used to say, look, there is no system in the world that puts all criminals behind that. No. You just make example of the ones that are caught. People will say the ones that are foolish enough to be caught. As they used to say, the eleventh commandment is that don't be caught. You can commit all the crime if you can successfully cover your track and you are not caught. Well, you are a hero. But the day you are caught, be ready to dance to the music. Be bold enough and be at when they went the days of Adidas. I, I remember Adidas very well. Uh, and uh, Modi Usubo. You know, when there is the array of terror, before Adini, we had one we used to call Oyelushi. Uh, 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 if you have had uh, Obi song, Emma Fuju, Limo, Kini Tentu, Edo Vajali, Nike Bawi. You know, I want to remember that lyrics of that song. Uh, people that remember Oyelushi. I will have robbers. I will call the first set of Afrobas that were executed in Nigeria. Look, the truth of the matter is that when the going was good for them, they were enjoying it. When they were caught, they owned up. But you see, was never broken. He never, you know, you will see him. He was smiling to the to the to the stake. The last days of firing squad. So, if you do the time, I mean, if you do the crime, be ready to do the time. If politicians say, let us hold the politicians accountable, responsible, and the one that does well, let's pray them. At least let's uh, acknowledge what they have done, their contributions, in every facet of life. People excel. 
some people at one point, other people will excel at another point. It does not mean that one winner or one that at excel have taken over the excelling of the other. No. The easiest job in Nigeria now is to be a critic. The easiest job is to be a critic. Everybody can decide. We have to move away from that. If you actually want to be positive, and beautiful contribution to the growth of Nigeria. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, uh, thank you, Bishop. Yeah, uh, do you want me to run you through the the topic? Bishop. Say that again. Yeah, do you want me to run you through the topics of today? No, 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 I think it's Remy. I spoke of uh, yeah, Remy, yeah, Remy. Yeah, Remy. Is Remy there? Yeah, I'm there. I don't yeah, think, yeah, Remy. Yes, yeah. I think um um what is giving uh Tinubu some kudos. Uh, he has run the country for for a month. What do you think? Are they doing paddy paddy stuff? <laughs> well, what do you expect from him? He cannot just criticize the president, he's no more the president now. But well, actually, to be frank with you, Nigeria is a very complex country to rule. Everybody knows the truth. It's not easy to rule a country that has so many diverse interests where majority of the people are not nationalistic in nature. Everybody just think about what is good for me or what I can give for it for my people, not for the whole country itself. So you have to balance it in one way or the other. And considering we are, we are being a democracy, so you can't, so it, it's a tough call, but. Uh, Let's hope that the, the president that is now here today, let's hope that at the end of the day, he will also do his wonders and the country move ahead. Because to me, I see government as a continuum. No matter how you bad mouth worry, if not bad worry, you will not have that standard gauge line from Ibadan to from Lagos to Ibadan. And so many of the road construction and so many things, you will not have uh, a lot of money pumping into the military where they buy new to Kano Jet, so many hardware and so many things. He, he has done his own part. There are some parts he did not do very well, especially about uh, uh, security. And then the issue about economy, he didn't do very well. But there are some other things that he has done. And uh, he has performed wonderfully well in some aspects, and in others, he has failed. So we have a new president. Let him also embark. He must have his own legacy. Because no matter what you can say, when you talk about Bwari, he also done a lot of things, good things in that country. Though, unfortunately, for the last eight years, the economy is not good. So he has been there, and you know that hmm, it's not an usual thing. So him con con uh, uh, commending Tinubu is okay. So let's hope that uh, uh, Tinubu also do his wonders and perform very well for the whole country. That's what I have to say about that one. Oh yeah, so, thank you. Um, Enigmatic today brought us some <laughs> light on Peter Obi's achievements. It's it really, yeah, it's it's really, uh, it's very but, detailed. Uh, to, uh, General Thomas, General Thomas, yeah. I, I think yeah. one thing that the obedience need to learn is humans don't like if if you appear too perfect. Even the loss of power is is there. Don't appear too perfect. If you if you appear too perfect, you will pale people. I mean, unless you have fanatics that will support you regardless. But this uh, making uh, Obi look like he has no flaws, I think, is to his own political. It, it, to his own okay, political can you bring field. some some data to us that <laughs> Obi did more than Fashola? It, it is just not that was ridiculous. He, was, was he able to explain it though? It, it, it brought us all this. Um, uh, no, 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 no. It's one, no, no. He's wanted to bring up data, but was he was he able to analyze and critically explain? And so explain you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you that's my point. If 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 I just throw data at you or, or numbers at you, and I'm unable to explain. To you what it means so what's the point of presenting the data then so you just like uh concocted uh, you just bring something from the your cocoon somewhere and just say look at this see no explain it to me what does it mean 
if you cannot explain it, then there's no point bringing numbers up. So, but my, my whole thing with the obedience is, please, the man is not perfect. That is what you have to admit first. This idea that it has no flaws, going to somebody's burial and taking up, uh, let's just call it what he told us. The man is, an, is, an, is a whore for attention. Attention whore, number one. Yes, I said it. I said it. It's an attention whore. Whoring for attention at somebody's burial is, is disgraceful. I'm sorry. It's a shame. Even if your fans are edging you on, you're supposed to like just wave them down. Right, Remy? If I go somewhere and my fans are like, oh, no, you're supposed to just right. come, no, like, 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 guys, not now. Don't do this. You, is a ceremony for yeah, you, you wave them down, you flag them down. Don't do that. Over for the disease. Yeah, but you stood up waving hands like it's all about you. No, it's not about you. At the end of the day, it's going to meet its way. You, you are going to see what is going to happen. In, in, if it contested on that neighbor or whatever, you are going to see what is going to happen. Nigeria will reject him to Sally. He, he will be disgraced at the end of the day. Oh, 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 now. With the kind of work uh, Tinubu is doing with them in, in, the, in, in, in the central, forget out west. That is and the, apart from that one, one and the, apart from that one, his own people, the elite in the southeast, they let him have a way. They let it have a way this time around. Because some of them lost their position because of his movement. In the next four years, it's not going to happen anymore. And go and write it that even that Anambra, that's what we do we win that second time, whatever who could say. It's not going to be easy to, 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 to just, to just bring any candidate like that and they will shout in the ball. It's not going to be easy like that. They just let him have his way because they know what they are doing. And this is the man that will condemn everybody. And you went ahead and bought more than 1,000 vehicles for different kinds of people during your eight years tenure, for God's sake. You are the one that bought 400 vehicles from the Unison or from your what you call Unison, even if from Nigeria. How much did you pay for each vehicle? You have about 153 traditional rulers there, but you bought 400. Where are the rest? A lot of corruption going with. I think people are just dogmatic. I'm not so when I, I also criticize him, but he has his flaw, he is also corrupt, but I will not say he's a Mr. Saint, Lila. Once you step your foot or your feet into politics, you are no more clean anymore. Because politics is about interest. You have to manage everybody's interest because you need this man, because he's a big man in one community, or people believe in him. So he has his own interest. How do you manage everything? So nobody can tell me a politician is clean anywhere in the, in the world because it's all about interest. And those interests, you need their vote, then you have to do something to make them to to make them uh, follow you or support you. But unfortunately for our people, <laughs> some people they won't say the reality, they won't say the truth. Now look at what happened before one man stepped out. They were trying to ask Obi to come in. I was expecting people like Ekene, people like Rational Mind. People, all of them that support Obi, why can't you go and talk to him and bring him into this platform? Why one man? Does he even know Ekene? Does Obi even know who is Ekene or who is the Rational Mind? They asked national man, you to go to Dr. Damage's school and go and ask her. He said, no, no, it will be true. See that kind of man. And you'll be shouting and they get him. You go and invite him. You are his people. Go and bring him to this platform. You don't need to. In fact, if if a uh, woman wants to bring that man to this platform, it is people like Ekenet that should champion it. Because you are part of Labour Party member. And all those people in the comment section, they're always right, blah, blah, blah. Why can't you talk to him and bring him to this platform? Why should you force? And I don't like the rule of Ajano who is trying to force a uh, woman to go. No! If woman go to Dr. Damage and Dr. Damage does not allow him to ask that kind of question, what will happen? This is not something so easy because they have their interests. They know what they are doing. Everybody knows what they are doing. Obi, Obi is not going to come to this platform. Lie, lie. Uh, and and, and it, 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 it is shameful that people like Damage that on, on, he has a video that Thomas always plays towards the end of the show. Exposing people to be, but so, uh, all of a sudden he has turned in, uh, in obedience now. You know, I, I, come on. Is it Dr. Is it not? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's his Rudolph, Rudolph now. Rudolph, but, but really? You remember, the, know, I, I remember I uh, Bishop, you know Thomas, they, they played uh, towards the end of the show. I know, I know that one. Yeah. That one uh, but Rudolph now he has he, he forgotten all those videos. Really? Now he's now that, 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 That's what I said when I spoke earlier on. 
that I have an article. I, I think I gave it to Thomas one day. I went on us to read it. Some people did not allow us. Oh, it was mine. They did not allow us to read it. When you join, yeah. when you join obedience, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> you know, there was this article that was written by OK Bibi. I mean, I guess the other article. There were tweets that people that are not supporting OK with everything that they said about me just 10 years ago. So what happened between that? When Opie was Opie on on Ankiyevi is one of the worst governors because I know an embassy. I remember many months ago when I first came here and uh, 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 Kere was proving to me that I don't know an embassy. I said, so what? Where is an embassy? Do you want me to know before you believe that I know an embassy? I know Oka. I know Odicha. I know Kudewi very well. Everywhere, you know, the small villages, I know Eslovia, I know Nipo, I know Abad. Ah. So where do you want me to go in Anambra before you know that I know Anambra? No, so, I used so, to go to Utebi. Sorry, sorry to interject. So, 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 Bishop, you can see that people, people can be bought with two things. Money and also tribal. That Dr. Damages, sometimes I also follow him when Sarah reporter was there. Me, from day one, I already know that they are using this thing of their own interest also. Then, after about a few years, what do you see? Joe Warren wants to become Nigerian president from Sahara Republic. What do you see about Dr. Damages? He changed Don Ruby, the cash out. It's a way to cash out. So everybody has an interest. I'm really surprised that that I don't know. I've never been to No, I'm really surprised that that is disobedient. That, that's the truth of truth. Everybody uses it to cash out. Look at the way they cash out. A lot of them cash out through the, through the labor movement. They are buying mansion, buying a My convoy is five vehicles. And you cannot buy fuel unless I'm inside the car. So I will pay them. No more. <laughs> I know, I know. The governor was paying for uh, patrol himself for his convoy. Yes. When they get to the gas station, he will come out and bring out money and pay. Mm -hmm. bye -bye. In, in, bye -bye. Fact, in fact, at Oka government house, then, when he was governor, forget about drinking champagne, what they are now doing there. Mm -hmm. Then he, he gave out old newspapers as substitute for toilet roll. Mm -hmm. If you are going to the toilet, you will just to save money. Yeah. He, he was going to run somewhere. He said he's going for interview for job. Peter, can't you give him a job? Peter, can't you do this? The boy doesn't even have... I said, none of my children have car. I was the only person who is governor and bank chairman. Not to them. Isn't that mesmerizing? But, but I know that Peter B, I know Peter B, I know that he's a smart man. Mm. You know? Mm. But um, <laughs> the, the governor, that Obi, did he say anything about that 200 million... Um, uh, from security vote that he, he was caught, his uh, convoy was trying to smuggle out of the hey! Did he say anything about that? No? Anything? No? No, he didn't? No. But, but he talked about that uh, 72 billion he left behind for his uh, hand picked successors. Because when you hear that Peter Bill left 75 billion, if anybody does it, call me. I know where the money is. I kept it. Did he, did he talk about it? Yeah, he did, he did. Hey, he did, I know. The man that he's now fighting, you know? Remember? Yes, sir. <laughs> I know, I know. Of course, of course. Did he talk about, what is it called again? The liabilities uh, he left behind. Did he talk about that? No? No. Like, like signed contracts that were not paid for. Did he no. talk about No? Like thousands of workers that he hired during the last uh, weeks of his uh, administration without uh, provision for their, for their pay in the budget. No. Did he talk No? No? No. But but definitely he must have talked about the millions and millions he was dashing out to schools, churches, uh, town hall, yeah, traditional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At the end of the discussion, he was just giving out money without appropriation. Mm -hmm. He talked about that, huh? Yeah. Of course, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Okay, okay. One last thing. Did P two B finally explain how bodies of Biafran activists ended up floating on Anambra River when he was governor? Did he explain oh, that? Wow. No, he didn't. Why? Why? It, it must be an omission. Bishop, did you see that? Now, all of a sudden, that, he forgot about all those ones now. He, he can't do no wrong anymore. I have been, I have been, uh, 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 and he will tell you it's because it's the, and he tell you that it has nothing to, nothing to do with tribal. That, that That's not the reason why. It's like, it's not a tribal or anything. That is just, I'm like, oh, God, no, who are oh, you? No, 
pretending. See that Dr. Damage is natural because it really cash out big time. It cash out big time. And they are say and also try by something bad. And one thing I know is this. I'm not I'm not bad Martin the Southeast now they can support their man. But we do be bad because we are too liberal. Some of us think because we are poly, da, da, da. everything is tribal. You also support your man. So if a lot of Yoruba are also supporting that, don't blame them. And those ones that support will be and vote for him. I did not sing the truth. I hope now the cookie has come, has come to crumble. Everybody see the truth. Because our Yoruba all say we are liberal. Oh, some certain is too old. Uh, be, let's give it a chance. But uh, so be not a former governor of a, of, of a number state. And you are tell, telling us a new brief. And I'm thinking if we want a new group, we can bring people like Mokali, people that have not said this is a new group. We are bringing out the same set of people and you are telling me to us that they are safe. That guy is an opportunist and he used it very well in the last election. But unfortunately, he cannot take, take him to the promised land. That is quite unfortunate. So this time around, the, the one thing I like what happened in Nigeria in that last election is that the new election, nobody is going to talk about religion anymore. So that means if you have a Satan uh, president, you can also take this, uh, a Satan Christian uh, deputy, pre, uh, what do you call it, vice president. Nobody's going to make, uh, make a cry like before. Things have changed. And that is good because religion is one of the problems of that country. And you can see your, their, okay, they are detailed, promising them that they will never regret if they become president. Let's assume we use the president today. <laughs> Why we don't bust in that country? <laughs> Because I don't know how is he going to do it. Is he going to be saving money? Then we will pitch him without him doing one or two months. Oh, yeah, oh, what? <laughs> I don't, sometimes I just, huh? I don't know, some people just think uh, policy is just easy like that. You just go there. The power just give to you like that. Just, just like that. But the, the, well, I don't know. We can go back to the GDP and become a vice president. And if you do that, you lose a lot of followers also. What can you do? Float your own party. You don't want to float your own party. In this party, there's a lot of corruption in the Labour Party. People are just cashing in out and you also cash in. You cash out also. Oh my god, it's, it's quite pathetic. Yeah, you can no. see some people in the comment section. Hey, well, no. Uh, somebody, I have a friend. The guy introduced my ego to me. I only listened to my ego for 10 seconds and I stopped listening because the that 10 seconds is full of lies. Hatred right. of lies. I never no, 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 no. It's just, yeah. that, I lost that friend. I mean, because of that. You know, it's friend, been on uh, my ego has been online for like close to 15 years. It's been on, it's been there for a long time. Yeah, so cash out to everybody. Yeah, you, you just found a new market, you, you know. It's an, I mean, if it's selling and Bash your body that maybe that if you buy my bash online sells it's 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 a new money money making machine online now in that space so you just exploit that uh, and it, it's also a politician itself not too many people have said it on the platform you used to be a member of the green party in Ogun state so so he's always been anti-establishment in, in his own way so he works for him so <laughs> so so that's his own need so and he makes money off of it, so I don't blame him for for making money off it. Also, so it is what it is. Mountain, just don't don't come at me pretending like you are fair and balanced and objective. That's what I don't want to hear. That you know, you 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 tribal. Then you then project that onto others, just to hide your own uh, bigotry. You know, just don't do that. I, I understand that, but see, uh, it, just, it, it just irritates me when they are just, uh, can we say Obi doesn't portray himself as a holy person? I think obedience are the ones that are really pushing him to some, 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 maybe some holiness, holiness space that he, he doesn't even belong to. No, 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 Thomas. It's a narrative they are selling, and they now they they are lucky 
because they have the Biafra agitators. Those agitators join them. The answer, the young people, especially in the southwest of Nigeria, uh, especially in the, in, in the south or southwest of Nigeria, let's say in the south, they also think, okay, we don't want a Tiku. They, they are the same thing like the Buhari and Tinubu is also whole, and Tinubu is the one that brought Buhari, Buhari to governor. So it's like all of them. He used that opportunity way, which I don't blame him. He, he used it. And they also use religious factor. You know, Nigeria divide between Muslim and Christian. He used all those, and they have a good propaganda machine. Then, luckily for them, online is also the wave of the moment, and the social media, they use it very well. And before you do it, voila. And some people, they, some people, they cannot cajole, they give them dollars, like most of these influencers, they give them money to go and be selling the narrative online. That's what they did. It's as simple as it is. And they brought in some people, they think people like them, like that Aisha, you see that is covering there, but it's also, it's also that that's, that's the that's same point. point. <laughs> that's the same point. <laughs> So they, they, they pull, so they pull it together, but now after the election, people's eyes don't open. I beg that they go and sit down. Everybody go their own way. But some of them that are smart already cash out. That Aisha Yusuf also cash out in a big way. You cannot lie. She cannot lie. She does not cash out. Everybody cash out. So they use people. So one thing I want people to realize is that every politician has his own interest and he will use you to, to gain whatever he wants. So if people realize that one, that is why in the in the developed country it's always very difficult to use people because most of the people are well learned and they can read between the lines. Although some will still follow you, but not majority like that. So that is why here or where you live, that is why it's not so easy that you can just say people just be following you dogmatically like that. It's not easy because people are well learned and they know what they want and they can read between the lines. They can know where you are going. You cannot go to America and be talking to them in a religious line or travel line. They, they already know what you want, so they, they won't follow you. So they know what the But in Nigeria is still that kind of thing. It's still there because the literacy level is not very high, and the Chabalist uh, policies will place there, then uh, upon each religion. <laughs> it's over. But, but Remy, the yeah. obedience for Obi followers call themselves obedience. Are they not looking themselves in the mirror? 2019, this same OB and Atiku was in the same thicket. Um, they call Atiku a thief. Mm -hmm. The Dobi wants to tell me that he doesn't know that Atiku bought the delegate in PDP to attain yeah. that ticket. Yeah, he, 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 he doesn't know that OB, Atiku is a corrupt man. You know what happened? Unfortunately, for most of our young people in Nigeria, they don't have the uh, opportunity to really do research, do, know the history of the country. Everybody just, you, when you go and ask them, why do you support him? Nobody gave you a reason. And most times they say, ah, my friend is supporting him, so I also support him. And I don't want old people. Atiku is old, Tinubu is old, that's why they're supporting him, okay? They don't know nothing. And because of this, they don't even have experience like, they have never voted before. This is their first time of voting, or this is their first time. So they see him as the Messiah, and everybody just fall dogmatically, just like that. So, but unfortunately, when the results are tripling in, and they see they are losing, they started shedding tears. Uh, you know, it's a lot of, uh, and unfortunately, the psych and orientation of Nigeria is so bad, so terrible nowadays that. Uh, you, it's very difficult for you to even have a very good conversation with a young adult in Nigeria. You will see when you want to have conversation with them within one or two minutes, he or she already lose interest or she does not know what to say. So the generation shift and only those of them that are really well learned and can use the technology very well and they know what they are, those one that want that are excellent. Majority of the people just want to follow the bad wagon. I want to blow, I want to do this, or something like that. So, and the country itself, because of mismanagement for several years, so, so many trouble. So, sometimes they are also in a dilemma. They don't know what they want. They are confused. They don't know. Everybody just rely on the government. Nobody wants to think about what can I do with my hand. Only a few of them that know what to do with their hand or being creative. Yeah, those one are those one that I telling. Good, good morning. 
Oh, Ghana, you baba. Good morning, man. Oh. Good morning, Akaro. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we'll do more. We'll do more. We'll do more. We'll do more. Yeah, what? Where, where you just going now is where I'm afraid of. You see, all all the things that Elimati just said because. I need personally. I need to know Elimatic. That, that, that is sorry for Elimatic was quoting date, quoting names, street, yes. area. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm even saying. I need I need all those documents because 2027 is coming. A lot of Yoruba children they have gone astray. They don't know anything anymore. You understand? <laughs> they don't know anything they anymore are not <laughs> because of the narrative. Disobedient, obedient people are pushing to them. You you understand, and we I do I don't want you about to make any mistake again. All these things Tunubu is doing now, they see him is not doing anything. No matter what Tunubu will do, if he likes, he cuts his head for for the southeast people. No Yoba man, they will not they will never accept it. So now, now I know that animatic know a lot. I I wish him. I don't mind to fund it. We need a pamphlet to print everywhere and educate most of our Yoruba youth. That's all I want to say. Thank you so much. That, that to, was the... to, 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 to educate them in terms of uh, keeping the values or what what the way they should behave in the political space or uh, what anger are you coming yeah. at? This to, to educate them, to let them know the real facts. What's going on? Janil, but I think their eyes open even before. Thomas, Thomas, Tio Jubala. Not all of them. But you not know, your, eye, your eyes can open, but if case not taken, you can close back again. Kiluma, not all of them. Open. That's what he's saying. Something to keep their that, yes. that attention exactly. there. Exactly. To you exactly. bala is one thing, but ko kyo jine ko 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 la ko wa mbe non la non just ko le yin oh that's it exactly. Ongbo ju ongbo to mas oju mi a la a di pe a oju need glasses ko le ko le yin reda eh so to ba ni di go agba go fun to ba ni so ba ni di sha be wa si sha be fun eh that's what you that's it. But I think when the Rose Vivo um issue came on in Lagos. I think when this narrative of Lagos is no man's land, I think some of them, their eyes open. I, I can say that. That's why the the vote in Lagos changed. You know, the presidency came first before the, the governorship. So I think some of them, their eyes open. And even later, when some of them saw the insult on Yoruba, on their own ethnic group, some of them, they are their eyes are a little bit open. At least I can say that few, maybe few, not all. Is anyone hearing me? Yeah, yes, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, right. yeah, yeah I, I, I think most of them got the memo. I mean, I won't say most, but. The majority, like maybe more than half, got the memo. But there's this some, some that will tell you, well, okay, I see what you're saying, but Obi is different from every one of them. He's not one of those people. And they don't see the impending danger of if we put him in an office or the impact he's going to have on the South. Uh, we, we, we dodge bullets. We really dodge mm -hmm. bullets. Oh my God. We really dodge bullets. This guy, he could have been the most. In fact, Nigeria will be in a big crisis now. Because how would you now, all these people, how to control them? They will do whatever they want. And he, as the president, they want to protect them. So how is it going to be? There will be a bit, in fact, maybe it, it's going to be a big crisis. I know that one for sure. But what I just want to know is that the Yoruba people should learn. You, the Southern inside, you voted for your son 90%. You even threaten other people not to vote for any other party in your area. And our people, because of liberalism, oh, we're elegant. No, oh, less, it's okay. Everybody have a right to vote for whatever, which is normal. I think it's a high opener. What happened during that governance election that they threw back more? Look at the interval, the difference between Sawolu vote and that viable. It's more than half a million votes. 
Where are they during the presidential election? Some of them folded their hands because they have sold it to them that Tinubu is extremely old and will soon die. They have sold it to them that it's so corrupt. So a lot of them didn't step out of their house. They didn't vote. Because if they have come out that day like they did for some of you, you wouldn't win Lagos. But I like it that way. It shows that at least the election is free and free in Lagos. Mm. And what were counted and they won. I cannot see that election that Tinubu will win. Now, if Tinubu win in Anambra, do you think what do you think they will accept it the way we accepted it? They won't. And they will fight back. They will say it was rigged. That's what they will be they will complain about. Yeah, but they still said Remy, so Obi wins in Lagos. That one was not rigged. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If they yeah. will in Anambra, do you think they will accept it? They will not accept it now. They will say, why are you rigged for him? That's what I'm trying to say. He won in Lagos, fine, and we accepted. I, what do you call it? Article won in Oshun, it's okay. Tinubu also won in some northern state, but did Atiku or Tinubu won in any of the southeast state? Absolutely. You know, you know, you know, you know, it's, Remy, is the inability to decipher basic math. I've always told my friends from that part of the country, it's not the Igbo man that you like that will win. It's the Igbo man we like that will win. That's what they, they don't understand. It's just, it's just no, Thomas Abbey, it's, it's, it's a numbers game. It's not the, it is no, it's not the, it's not the Igbo guy that you like. It is the Igbo that we like. That is the person that's going to win. So until you can find me somebody from your area that we can all vote for, the rest is the determinants. We are the determinants. We will determine who will win. Yeah, we will determine. Yeah, the, the, yeah we will determine yes, the South 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 that is just it's a numbers South game. South. But you can't bully me to vote for who I don't want to vote from that part of the area. No, and if you don't like the kind of woman that I like, then you don't get to have somebody from the side to win. I said it. I said, give me Ngozi, give me Soludo. Give me that. What is the name of the uh, former uh, VP uh, of the CBA? Uh, I will uh, vote for them. Uh, Mogalu. Yeah. Mogalu, yes. Yeah, Bishop. The, the, the truth of the matter is this. Uh, many people will not realize the damage they have done to that brand until the best election and subsequent years come. Look, what they have simply done. The damage. It's, it's very difficult because it really gets into the psyche of other people. And not only people, it will be already the damaged product, whatever anybody wants to say. So going for that, it will just damage itself more. But he has spoiled the path for other evil people, people that are coming behind him to want to throw their hearts into the ring. He has not added any value by this nonsense that he has put up. When the chiefs are really down and talking to my children, that's when people that we know, because the reasonable ones among them know. It's just the, 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 the any, anything goes, and that's why any person that has anything should read and read Sondo's uh, Opu Open, uh, that uh, whatever, uh, uh, the that, right that, right that is right up, and read it to understand, not just because you want to throw Sondo. And it's amazing when supposedly educated people are disparaging the qualification, the academic qualification, and the prowess. And of, Bishop, what, what did he do? Because he wrote an op ed because against the Peter B. the Antonio and Savior. And he was even telling the truth now. He was, he was giving them political and lessons. The <laughs> and some people will come and call him names and disparage him and kill him. That Peter Obi was the bank chairman, my foot. If I tell them how many people in the southwest that did 
Nous avons mis en paralysé. Ça dit que le banc qui est encore. Il dit qu'il va changer de fonction pour voir même si il est durable. Amen. Anybody, if I mention that Cabot's back, if anybody has, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 So that somebody became a bank chairman, I mean, and we are fronting him as if he, he rules or he runs a bank. It's that we did not run a bank. He did not. But it is what it is. So my submission on that is that the damage that is done to that space will not be felt now. It is or not until the best. Election. So no, even when, Bishop, election even, that. Bishop, you know, if, I know Buhari has been seen as an uh, called ethnic and religious bigger, but Obi comes close because the way he stroke that religious tension in the Southwest, I have never seen that in the Southwest before. Southwest, we don't, we've never done that before, where we stroke uh, 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 religious tensions amongst ourselves. Fam families fighting because of Peter Obi, churches divided because of one man. We don't, that, that never happens in the Southwest. And the way that guy has, did that in the Southwest, to me, is unforgivable. Which one? Repeat that the, again, please. The religion, religious, uh, him, 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 oh, okay. religion. You know, in, okay. in the Southwest, we don't, that doesn't, doesn't come up. Man divide, do I, you know, uh, I, I, we have issues, but oh, can you say big deal to the person where you make it a big deal? Of course. But, but the way he kind of bring brought the church together and trying to stroke that tension, half of, you, half of your body is Muslim. So if you're like doing that over a break of family in your churches in here now, I'm, to, telling you. I'm like, why would I you? Mean, I, listened, that? I listened to Peter of this interview with uh, what's this guy's name? Hello, eh? <laughs> I listened to Peter of this interview with uh, Charles. And he was asking him about that, uh, uh, what do you call it? That, uh, uh, yes, that did video. And if you listen to his defense, it was so that when they have said something about him, he did not he wants to leave it at that. Did you have that conversation or did you not? And the, the, the man, too, of course, because you know where he found us to, accepted it like that. And some people were, we were here the day that uh, uh, something came out. And you will imagine how some people were trying to twist that, twist that uh, conversation. They first said no, it was manipulated. That somebody, when they said hello, and, he said, and I was listening, I began to wonder, are we like this? Are we really like this? And people were twisting and manipulating the same people we see here to do. Well, it's okay. Uh, I pray that uh, I pray that that time will come that we'll still be there to analyze uh, the damage that is done. You, you, you know, you know, you know, Bishop. I was. I tried to even give him a second chance after the elections. I thought he was going to. He has something that he was building that was very organic. You know, I, I was given the obedience space Labour Party movement a chance. But when I started to ask obedience more questions, and they made it clear to me that, listen, we don't give a damn about the Labour Party. We go anywhere it will be wants to go. That means they're not willing to build anything. They don't want to build any party. <laughs> Even if it goes... Is it, so, if you, if you want to have... If you, if, you, if you say you want to change Nigeria... That means you, you must be willing to, to put in the work to build a, a political structure. And you have a name that, that is very is, is widely known globally. The Labour Party anywhere in the world has that brand already. So it's for you to do the work. And, but do you know what's happening, Bishop? If they grow the Labour Party, that means they must invite everybody into that party from up, up part of, the, of the country. And they don't want to do that. So oh, for anybody else, well, that's why they can't grow. No. Whether we are whether we are ashamed or we are bold to say it, Peter will be 
destroyed the Labour Party. He made the Labour Party a Bibo Party. And then I saw us, you don't know what. He made the Labour Party I love that you said it now. They were putting leaders in both in the north. They are putting uh, in both. But, uh, <laughs> Thomas and Bishop, my point is that <laughs> if, if they were actually sincere, they would even people like me would, would give the Labour Party a, a chance just to see what they what they have to offer. They would have gotten more people to come into that party. If you if you say you want to change Nigeria for the the way you claim that you want to change Nigeria for the better, if you are really sincere. Then you will not be going in that direction, like Bishop Bishop was talking about. You will not be doing but that. that. If, if, if your view is wise, why will you be putting an evil man to be leading a party in a not? And you want them to vote for you? Are you thinking you won the election? You see, the one man, the one man I will call the Nostradamus of our day. Eh? You know who that person is? Most mm. unlikely character, and that is Leno Omokri. Right before onset, right from the onset, brother, Leno Omokri says, Jinobu is sponsoring Peter Oki to scotch you to the distance. That he's sending people to Peter Oki and he's encouraging him from underground so that Peter Oki can run and split. Uh, 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 now, yeah. Joe Bad used to say something. When you jog at the jog at the over the seventy-eight. Oh, 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 Bishop, oh, 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 if your candidate is from the south, then the chairman of the party will be from the north. Abi Thomas, yeah. that's the that's the arrangement. But this one that you that's have, your, yeah. But you now have both of them from the south, and you now want the north to vote for you. I, I don't know I, what they were I thinking. Did, I did, I did, I did, I did. So everything just worked against them. Going into that election without reconciling that fraud, it was a no brainer. And somebody said, I want the election, I'm going to prove it. And all he was looking for is how somebody carried cocaine in Chicago, or how somebody was not properly nominated. Uh, Bishop, sorry to interject. Is it not in this platform that people like Rational Mind and all of them said, We have agents all over Nigeria, we have everything? After the election, they did not have the agent, they did not pay for the agent, they did not do nothing. They Even not Obi, o, o, Obi said they gave uh, uh, almost a million, uh, a billionaire for to, for them to pay polling agents. Apparently, the money did not get, it did not get to them because those people they work for free now. Go when you when you debate now. Rational man has said will be one landslide in the north. Oh my darling, don't jarry me. Rational man, pastor. Uh, but you remember when uh, Shekuti criticized uh, Obi? When uh, oh, Lali, yeah. they started attacking the guy. <laughs> and it was just... Been <laughs> over there, man. Ah, that's why I respect that guy, man. Ah, the guy don't count out to. The guy give it back to them, man. Ah, because he criticized uh, your Obi and he started attacking the guy. Hey, you know, you know, Obi, Obi can do no wrong now. He, he, to Mr. But Patrick. those guys, they, they disappoint me, man. Those P square. I mean, I, I was their fan, man. Until that point, I thought you guys grew up outside of Igbo land. I you see this exotic where you, you don't have sense. Ah. I said, uh, uh, Mike, I said one day to the night I was on the train. I spent the whole night. I was speaking. That was long before now. I, 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 I did that comment, man. I was looking for Peter of his interview. I listened to about five or six of his interviews. Very open minded. I was just trying to be objective, to critically analyze, analyze it. And I find it to be completely, completely empty. And I have no apologies. I listened to him. You will ask a question, you will just, yes, crap some unnecessary. The only time we were climbing because of facts and quotations were when there were, there were people were running for student union or whatever. And in the coaches of, you know, those ones are even more coherent than what Peter was quoting. 
Because all you need to do is just subject them to just some light scrutiny. And if everything will just fall at the back of hand. The guy, the no guy was not saying anything. He was not articulate. He was nothing. The presentation was not logical. And yet, some people are packaging the fraud that the best is, is not created in. I need a uh, mic. I was saying earlier, you see what they did at the burial ceremony. You want to eat any to you? I'm so easy way keeping or bear wedding. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> even if somebody's that's healing you, that, 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 uh, uh, hey, but even if even if no matter a leg gone, while we won't dunk with guys, don't do that. Don't don't stand up and say thank you. I wave your clone wave. No, it's not about you. Attention hoarding. Attention hoarding, but why? I'm sorry. 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 I'm
then you then then you now say vote for me in the next four years. Who's gonna vote for you? For I say I say forget the hundred k you got in the in your state. That's that's gone. Forget Lagos. If I forget Southwest for be in the next four years, it's not gonna happen. Even if that even that's out out, maybe the middle bed, the way Tinubu is going in the middle bed with this this agri agri thing and livestock thing in the in the in the, in the middle belt. Forget that one too. Forget not east. Forget not west. So where where is the vote coming from? Uh, so I, I you know, know you know uh, you know this pastor pastor Tunde Bakai. You know the that guy the, the guy the guy, made, <laughs> the guy made one uh, preach uh, one summer one day. The guy say, oh today we have to pray for the Igbo. The guy say because. Uh, the uh, Sadana, what's his name? No, not Sadana, the, the Prime Minister, uh, Tafabalewa. He said before the man died, the man lay curse on them. <laughs> you know, I'm like this no, guy. No, 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 no. He's indirectly insulting them. No, no, you mean before they killed him? That was before they killed him. Yeah, he they said before they, they were killing him. He said the guy lay curse on them. That uh, <laughs> nobody from your tribe ever rule this country. You know. <laughs> Well, I mean, come on now. I, I know the guy was indirectly trying to, and this was like really campaign, like when they were being all insulting everybody. The guy could see, he could see through their, he, he could see like down the line that this guy is really sabotaging himself. So the guy was like, "Oh, we have to pray for this, <laughs> for these evils." <laughs> yeah. But the guy didn't want to go straight to the point because he didn't want to lose him. Most of why, 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 why do you take him? Why do you take him to ask you guys one question: Is it not the same Bakari? Uh, what oh, sorry, is it not Pastor Udipo that support uh, Ubi? Also, better is it not better do Pastor? Is it not the same guy better do? She she went to that pastor and said, Oh, you mean the, 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 the I yes. want to be a minister, okay? I'm just trying to just oppose this pastor sometimes. You supported Ubi, and another one, uh, Tinubu one, one of your people also go to you to pray for her so that she can become a minister. You also do the same thing. So you can see this is the pastor politician. God is the only one that knows who is truly watching. But by the way, right, me and Mike, Mike, do you remember that uh, I pop pastor? Want, has the guy been picked up yet? No, nah, I don't think Tinubu is going to be picking people up. I don't think saying, that's uh, Do they have any house in the in Anambra? We, we are doing control. They should have picked the guy, the guy up already. I'm sorry, he's been doing it for a while now. It's like pick them up. Tinubu is like a liberal, you know, like a Janet Kuku kind of, you know. I don't think it will pick people up. Baba Janet Kuku always preach free, free social welfare. But Remy, Remy, you must have flourishing, flourishing companies to to pay taxes to pay for this for those services now. Uh -huh. So if you do, if you're not paying, where do you think the Unibus get the money for welfare from? It's from big companies that, that, that they are funding now. You know those people that have that poverty mindset. I call it poor mentality. You know, I I don't like having conversation with them. It's just like I usually when I see other people, like, I just get up and walk away because I'm the kind of person I want to get somewhere in life. I believe in progress. You know. Like progressive thinking, you know, how can we build things? You know, when you sit down with me and start talking about uh, something that's not about uh, what, what are you building? We, we have to have a conversation about building a country. Are you talking about giving handouts to people? What, how does that, how, how is that a progressive conversation? You know, so it, it just irritates me. Like, oh, why are you here talking about welfare? You should be talking about how we can strategize building how building country, maybe invest in this, uh, invest in uh, capital. Uh, just talk about investing in people that have talent or something like that. Don't come and be talking about giving money to some people having babies. And I mean, what kind of conversation is that? Ah. I, I would have loved a situation whereby they can tax your foreign income. Like people like Abaja could make a lot of money in America. Nigeria got a hold of him, tax it, okay? Just like America. Hey, <laughs> let's see that love of country now. See, I will pay my tax. I will, I will pay my Nigerian tax for my bro. Let's see how much he loves. You, you know what I know is about Jale Goku. He doesn't show love for Nigeria. He doesn't talk about he, he bad mouth Nigeria. He want he, he I things they say about Nigeria is almost like he, he, he almost want to say he doesn't wish the country well. But the only thing he care about is how they can give welfare to all the poor people. So the same country you don't wish to progress. If the country doesn't progress, now nah, how can where where would they 
a, a, a failed country, where, where would they get the money to now be giving your poor people the handout that you're talking about? You know, it's so negative about Nigeria. Is anybody following events in Haiti? Is anybody following events in Haiti? Is anybody following events in Haiti? Hello? Following what? Events in Haiti. Haiti. Oh, the, the, the country Haiti? Yes. I know they have a lot of problems, and the the their president was as an, as I was killed. Like was it twenty twenty one? No, we're talking about now, now, today. Yeah, ah, is, that, you know, yeah. It's a gang. They say gangs have taken over the country, sir. Gangs, <laughs> uh, and that's the kind of country that some people were. That's the kind of thing some people were wishing on Nigeria. Haiti is already in fact. You know, Bishop. You know what's really funny, right? You know this country, Congo, Congo. Uh, like literally, I this extensive study on that country, and I anger. I literally met with Congolese. I've been in their community. These people, they reason just like Southeasterners. I'm sorry, that's their mentality. My like almost like five or six try major try. They all reason the same way. Imagine like Eurobars. I was everybody reasoning that the same way the Southeasterners reason. Ah. You understand? Nigeria would look like Congo, like that, my way or the highway kind of thing. That's the way all all the regional reason. Congo, their first civil war was before Nigeria civil war, and they've had, they're still fighting civil wars today. Like Congo is is supposed to is uh, as the richest country in the world in terms of mineral resources, like even way more richer than Nigeria, and they are they are the poorest country in Africa. The poorest, but yet yeah, people who say, Look at Nigeria, I think Nigeria we are still number one in Africa to in, in, in almost every category of you know things. But people will still say, Oh, you know, this and that. Look at Congo now, and that's the way all these obedient, all these people reason the Congolese mentality, everything must destroy, must burn it down. Then why this agree in that country is war, uh, different rebels, rebel faction all over the place. Just do you, do you remember that uh, what's his name? Tubus or whatever that that when I he burnt like that 20 or 40 buses in Lagos because of uh, the the Lekito Gate. You know, he, he's in jail now for how many years? Is it 15 years, Bishop? That is that started guy that burnt that went to, and burned down buses because that violent nature of okay, just burning it down. If, yeah, 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 yeah. So is that attitude like uh, Mike is saying? Uh, yeah, he, that's he, the way Congolese reason are those people. I've interacted with them, not many of them. They just want, know, they want everything burned down, and the country has been, Congo has been in flame for the past since independence. That country has is just a shit hole, man. They, they're supposed to be the richest country in the world, but they are the poorest in Africa. In fact, they want the poorest in the world to the point where Ru Rwanda is not taking their resources. Using uh, Kagame is taking their resources using it to build Rwanda, and they are, and they are crying like because you guys are foolish. You don't have brain. You don't have sense. I'm mean, interacting with Congolese. They, they, you think you're talking to Igbo people? I'm telling you, they, like I literally were in their community, and when I interact with them, like why is your? They just reason like Southeasterners. Maybe that's where Igbo people migrated from. I don't know. The same mentality. Everything must burn down. If it doesn't go my way, it must burn it down. <laughs> how, how do you justify and then the cattle and expect your back to queue up behind uh, what's the Igbo? And people will be praying, and they will be praising Igbo. And I look at the number of people, and majority of them are Easterners, South Easterners, praising Igbo. That Igbo is our savior because some people are in the country is our savior. How can we kill all behind that in the country to the southwest for crying out loud? Even if it was for me, if you actually was from the southwest, how can I? And everybody was seeing him as a messiah. And they have to wonder what happened to us. What happened to school that people have? Ah, what happened to education? And I will keep up behind uh, some go over. An illiterate. <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine. Give me I want to fight session war. I will fight it based on some, you know, proven ideology. And I'll be very tactical about it. Not just to be following one rabble rouser. That is very really shoulder pad is calling bulletproof. And yet you 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 you, you express your views and opinion, and some people will pick you up and they begin to attack you. So the bad man will do initially. Why can't you be democratic about our opinions? 
We have a long way to go. We have a long way. This will be the Nigeria presidency is a mirage. You know, there is this part that you say, this, this uh, song about highway. The faster you go, the, the, the longer the road becomes. It becomes a mirage. You think you are, you are almost there. You know, uh, I'm almost there. But you know, the, that's, that's, that's how I see Mike, why did you play this in now? Yeah? Why did you break out this in now? Is there a break on? Yes, sir. In terms of waiting, in terms of what? Uh, you know what, you know, you know what, this, uh, I won't talk about this uh, um, uh, image of Nigeria, the way they are destroying it. But Mati, you live in the U. I mean, you guys live in the U.S. there now. Yeah. Like, I, a few years ago, you remember how Nigeria was becoming the coolest thing, like, you know. Right, you know, right. Becoming the, you know, I was becoming the coolest thing to people. Everybody started to think like Nigeria is one great country, things like that, like Americans now. Right. All of a sudden, you notice like nowadays, like, people are beginning to... Like see Nigeria as one terrible place. Mike, I was even saying before you came in, a white guy on YouTube came online to caution Nigerians from even back in their own country. She is like enough is enough. A, a white person, no. Because he had, to, he had to come say on YouTube, like, come on, guys. You know, you know, I was I was interacting with one Gambian guy. His name is Alfred Damos. Even Judy was there like a few days ago where I was on his platform. And the guy was telling me that in Nigeria, there's there's going to be a coup. There's going to be a coup. I'm like, no, no, it's not going to be a coup. He's like, ah, what are you talking about? I said, this look. He said, even the former dictator said, the uh, former general, the former dictator said, it's going to be a coup in Nigeria. I said, he's about to do a coup. I'm like, ah, no, that's not true. What are you talking about? I said, who? He said, Papa Gida. I said, ah, Papa Gida said that. He said, yeah. I said, no, he didn't say that. He said, okay, Mike, I'm arguing with him. Okay, now he's about to prove it to me. He said, now, nah, listen to the office, uh, hear from the office man. He now pull a video of his own Igbo lady. <laughs> he pulled a video of his Biafra lady. You know, all this propaganda now. The man was now reading, saying, ah, the former president, the former general, Brian Wangida said, it's about to, they're about to carry out coup. It's going to be a military coup. If uh, Tinubu doesn't uh, fix the... Uh, uh, the rate, uh, the, cry, the inflation in Nigeria, there's going to be a coup very soon. Ah, I'm like, dude, this is propaganda you're playing to me, man. The guy, the guy doesn't know different. He doesn't know different. You know? <laughs> because the guy's not Nigerian. So then, they, what, what happens is they go online, they consume all this propaganda from all these hypopian and obedience, and they think they're actually learning something real about Nigeria, you know? So I was, ah, I'm like, how do I explain to this guy? Like, listen, in Nigeria, we have a group of people called hypopian and obedience. They're just doing propaganda. Things you are learning from them is not real. It's not real. And this other guy, Kazorian, like, yeah, the guy went to learn, he wants to learn about Biafran war. The guy went to watch those uh, uh, IPOP documentary about Biafran war. The guy now came, say, ah, oh, wow, this is what happened. This is a Nigerian story. I'm like, oh my God, man. <laughs> this is just ridiculous, man. Just re these people go online, it's just. I, I'm talking about like a few years ago, American will walk up to me and say, ah, Nigerian, oh, every Nigerian, Nigerian they met, they're so smart, they're cool, oh, they want to visit Nigeria, this and that. But now, you see American walk up to you and say, man, Nigeria is this, it's so bad. Oh, man, some people call it a zoo. And I'm telling you, okay, what did you hear about this bad things about Nigeria? They say, when my Nigerian friend told me, I, heard, oh, I saw it online, but some Nigerians, they're saying it. I'm like, Oh boy, I gotta go save us, man. These people, yeah, it's like they become, they become your viral. Course, your, your, your president is a drug dealer. Your president is a you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> And when they say it, and, and I ask them, where eh, where did they get the news from? It's always the same thing. It's the same thing from another Nigeria. 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 He's saying, yes. they, they, will, they, will, they will look at you like, ah, boy, Nigerians are saying it. You tell them that, no, what you are saying is not accurate. But say, no, Nigerians are saying it. They believe it because Nigerians are telling them. I'm like, oh my God. And the funny thing is, the Nigerians are even telling them that the same uh, demographic that travel the most to these places. If it was not the, as, they, you know what's funny? They're complaining online that, that, that they've been abused. By the they've been abused. They're, yeah, they're discriminating against them. 
they, they don't, uh, they are, they are racist in those countries. They don't, they see their passport. Are, I'm like, shut the hell up, man. If, if it's not an that's doing it, I can say, okay, this not as don't travel to all these places that we go to. So, I mean, it won't really hurt them if they, if they, you know, uh, destroy the image of the country. But it's the same Southern Nigerians, the same people, especially South Eastern, the same people that travel to all these places, the same people that will carry the reputation on their head, whether it's good or bad, and the same people just giving, destroying it, giving the country a bad reputation. Bad reputation. And particularly South Easterners, man. I'm sorry. I, I mean, like, the, the way these people have behaved online for the past seven years, just, oh my God, I never thought a day would come out just lose respect for that region. I'm sorry. I never thought a day would come. Ah! I mean, we just, we're enjoying being Nigerian now, where we have the Anthony Joshua, all these guys representing us. It's becoming cool to be Nigerian. And these people just came out of nowhere. Now they can't look in. They'll zoo. This, ah! Hey, they, they, oh my God, man. <laughs> Ah, Animal it's, Animal it's crazy is now. <laughs> but see, you know, you know, like from about 10, 15, 20 years ago, like Africa was not something to talk about. You understand now? Yeah, huh? You know what I'm saying? Like Africa yeah. was like everybody to Africa was one terrible place, one jungle, one it was a bad, it was it was like a shameful to say you're from Africa. Then all of a sudden Nigeria started rising, you know, we started With music, uh, videos, yeah. Yeah, we, we started doing, showing faces, putting Africa up. It's, it's like if, if, if when it comes to like who's pulling Africa up in terms of image, good reputation, in terms of you know, representing Africa, it's Nigerians now, we're the one doing it the most. And then we, you know, we started pulling it up, everybody started looking at Nigeria to so the point where black Americans used to deny even being African. Some of them were not trying to clean that they are Nigerians now. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, they, we start looking. That. They are trying to claim Africa. Yes, yes. And mo most of them, yes, want to be, right. you know, they're like, oh, Ni <laughs> they see Nigeria as this cool. We're becoming cool. We're becoming these cool people. All of a sudden. Even it's, your, it's, you know, even the Nigerians that were born here, they used to hide that part of them. They, they used know. to hide, yeah. They now, used to, you know, they, they were want so to be ashamed. like, yeah. They, they, they'll be like, oh, I'm Nigeria, by the way. Even the one that they will, for the, even yes. in, in, in Baba, all see, in many of them are born in Nigeria now. Many yes, of them are born in Nigeria uh, now. Do you remember in Hollywood in sports, even though the, all these uh, guy girls that they used to play basketball for early in America, now they want to play for Nigeria. Now they want to do everything Nigeria. They married Nigeria. They did Nigeria. That was that was the you know, Mike. We were progressing. We were going in the right yeah, direction. We're going in the right know, direction. I don't even know what happened. This guy, I probably I just came from nowhere. Ah, they just online. Every they just start to destroy everything. I don't know. I don't know. These people are just. That's why I begin to question. Like, South Eastern, are you guys born to destroy or what? Like, it's like everything about you guys is all about destruction. Just destroying things, man. Ah, even the country in the beginning were doing well. I don't be there start civil war. They destroy everything. Like, yeah, they did a coup, destroyed, first destroyed, and then there's the civil war. I mean, now the people that push their policy the most in that country is South Eastern. Now Nigeria is about to. Our image is. We try to repair image. And if you look at most of the people that are yeah, putting Nigeria on the map, they are Southwesterners. Yeah, the Davidos, uh, Joshua, uh, they, they Adesanya. Don't, they don't all like of... that. If, if, if you notice, if any uh, diaspora that is from the southeast in the in uh, uh, anything, they will not call. They will not call that person Nigerian. They say that person is Igbo. They say Igbo. They, Igbo. they will not want to do Nigeria at all. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? The moment, you the moment a, a guy because a Nigerian guy that you know, you say maybe rise is a southeasterner. They will say, oh, it's Biafra, it's Igbo, it's Igbo. But the person in southwest, they will say it's Nigerian. You know, <laughs> they they will claim Nigeria. But if it's one of their own, they say it's Igbo. You know, so I mean. The way they are just like just destroying the image. I'm like, come on, man. When things is, I mean, we our image is starting to go good, like we're rising. Even the whole Africa is starting to look up to us. All of a sudden, uh, uh, they just uh, went online. I don't know if you have been listening to us. We just said something, and I won't just as my take home today. He said, divide a strat politician from Nigeria. Don't destroy the country. You can talk down on politician nobody cares but the country itself don't destroy the country's name the fact of the matter they i mean they've been conditioned from childhood to hate nigeria no? i mean there are those uh, their fathers that uh, went through the civil war they just you know i don't know they really want revenge or whatever it is they just brainwash their children like oh you you always watch uh you watch dr damages now when uh 
that man, that Lexi man, whatever his name is, that old man, that old Igbo man. When that other man said, uh, give me a few minutes to defend Nigeria. And the guy said, you're about to take my minute to defend Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> That's how uh, the whole generation of you now. They hate Nigeria, man. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't care about politicians, but the country. Just, but, but some of let's face reality, man. People, people that hate Nigeria is this, and we, you have to address the reason why they hate Nigeria. That's the thing. We can't ignore it. We can't say you can't preach it. I don't waste my energy preaching to those uh, people. The only thing I can tell them is, oh, why you hate Nigeria? Some action you are taking, if it's also hurting you, then you are foolish. Like, I know the hate. Now. I can't change some of them. They since they are born, their father already told them to hate the country, you know, because I guess what well, they do, the fact that they they won't be Afro, you know. I I I can't. Well, that's I can't hold that against. Them. I can't, you know, yeah, go and be fighting about that. That's what they choose. But when they start doing things where it's affecting them as well, I mean, you are going online trying to. So how are you going to achieve anything? Are you the thing is. They believe when they go online to destroy image of Nigeria, they are attacking uh, the Euro yeah. uh, Mark, let me give a, 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 an example. When people were protesting about the hardship in the country, they said, we are not protesting, we are doing it, can anybody is drinking beer? I'm like, why are you fooling? Not everybody in the South is enjoying now. <laughs> yeah, they wait a little like, everybody is okay over there. No, it's like, what are you, you know, what, because somebody, is, you know, you know, every, people are suffering in the South East too, right, Thomas? It's not, it's not oh, just they're, like, they're yeah. trying to make it look. I know they're trying to make it look like the South Easterners are not suffering. Everybody, <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> <laughs> they say people are hungry in Lagos. At least South Easterners are not part of them. These people, ah, oh, more. They, they, they need a uh, hi. It, it, it is what it is, you know. People, but. Like I think, uh, Mike, you were not here. I was saying earlier. You know, Tinubu was in uh, in the state in this in the middle belt to commission some tractors. They're going to start farming in that state in in uh, Niger. Have you seen that video? So it's going to be them and uh, Benue competing to produce the most. So they want to compete with Benue to produce most food. So it was there with several governors, just you know, encouraging them to do the same thing. And somebody I was talking, he said. Ah, why is Tinubu going to the south? And why can't he come to the south to come and help us with the same thing too? I said, no, no, this is a state. <laughs> this is state government. This is not federal government. I said, I said, Tinubu's uh, own formula is this: he will only support the state that is proactive in anything. That's that, that is that is what he's doing, Mike. If you notice, he only goes. Yeah, to yeah. We are proactive. We are serious. If you are serious, we work with you. If I'm yeah. Tinubu, I want the last thing I would do is go out of my way. To be pandering or trying to please the southeast. You have that, seen that's the last thing I would do. That's the know, last thing I would advise you to do. You have seen Tinubu with uh, a bad girl, yeah, with Alex Oti. You've seen them. To, you see that like, okay, this one is serious. So anybody like that is you see him with Soludo when it comes to the economic team. So if you are a serious governor, he will work with you. But I said the days of waiting for Abuja to come and save you is over. It is your governor now. If it's the governor is a lazy governor, that's your problem. You're going to be on your, by yourself. The way that is right now. Because you have the power to do almost everything, Abi. You can have your own power. You can have your own train. You can, so you don't need federal government to do most things for you at this point. You, you know one thing, South Easterners understand. They know that whenever they complain, the first people that we answer to their complaint will be the South Westerners. You know, trying to prove that ah no, you know, you know that's why they you know whenever they complain about something, the first people that are going to agitate for them are the South Westerners. Ah, now they they want uh, another state. The fourth space they will go and start talking about the southwest uh, the southwestern space. So they don't start and be like, ah, let's give them say it's well fair. Oh, let's give them the sixth state now. Okay. You guys like doing that liberal bullshit, fighting for you know, thinking you are you are fighting for them. Even this uh releasing and the kind of thing, it's only southwestern that they are going out, hey, releasing and the can yeah. Yoruba people are always annoying. You don't see most South people going out saying releasing and the can. When have you seen uh uh South South uh, leaders or anybody say releasing and the can? It's only Southwest. Is that Thomas? Thomas didn't complain. Man. Southwest will be the first one answer to them. And I hope Tinubu don't become that Southwest liberal. Clown. But, but Mike, Mike, you, you are right. Oh, you never see South South shouting with this Nandikano. Those ones, no. those ones, don't, they don't pander to them, now. Nah. They don't pander to them at all. Those ones only, ah. you know, those ones. The only time those ones will back uh, side them is when those ones see their interest in whatever they are siding with them. But those ones, they don't pander to Southeast. 
They don't even tolerate their rubbish. You know, you see that rubbish are doing with you in that lake. Even in, in, in Lagos, they tell you no man's land. They can't even go to Portacot and say it's no man's land. The Aquarius will deal with them. And these Aquarius are almost like, uh, almost Igbo. Their language is very similar. They bear the same name. And Igbos will not go to Portacot and say this is no man's land. They won't try it. You know, they, they, those people, they don't tolerate their rubbish, man. In, that's, that's our region. They, they, ah, on my mom, I only. In Bini City, the Igbos, they, ah, on my, they come, they call, they know those ones. Ah, those people, they won't tolerate not bullshit from them. When you run on my bad, don't my bad, my do come, you come to your space and be disrespecting you, calling you names. And ah, this Igbo guy told me, you know, during that, when they were doing that Lagos is no man's land before the election, ah, uh, uh, I, I was on the uh, obvious platform. The guy, he was, yeah, uh, he was uh, uptown, uptown. That time, the guy didn't know me now. That was the first time I ran into him on obvious platform. The guy said, ah, Lagos is no man's land now. He's no man, that place is no man's land. I said, guy, you know, he, I'm, said, I'm, he said, he said that. Oh, son, now, my boy, my boy. So I told him, I said, ah, do. I'm, my father is from Lagos. I'm a Lagosian. I'm, we, we are the indigenous. We are, I'm from there. It's, you can't say it's no man's land. I wasn't nice to him that day because that day I wasn't there to cause wala. You know what the guy told me? He said, see this Yoruba guy, shut up. He said, this is Yoruba guy, shut up. Any Yoruba guy like you. He said, he said, he said, oh, because only way, if you in Lagos, you come and push me and tell me it's no man's land, I will slap you. That's what he told me. <laughs> oh my god, man. Money yo. Come on. Right that open kind of bit to me bit that did <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, it has come to this, Abi. It has come to this. Um, I, that, this I wanted to go to Lagos to join a room, every show showing 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 them pepper that day, man. <laughs> ah, you, that guy provoked me that day. I'm like, it has come to this, right? Where you don't even have any respect for Yoruba people anymore. Because they've been so liberal to you that you, you <laughs> so disrespectful. They can't go to Kanu and tell the Northern and say Kanu is no man's life. I will slap you here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I all of those they are organizing they are threats and they are going to drive the Yoruba into the sea and take over their land and send them to Chad. Wait, is it uh uh where's the recall? This is who Jabraka and you will say there should be no payback time. So now no I go to say you really you show you I para no wow Forget, forget, forget and forgive. Forget and forgive. Bishop. Uh, bishop, 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 Go and check it out. Ah, we don't fight back without um, and people uh, don't care. Uh, um, Bishop, the, the insult is the one that I hate most. The insult on your back. Oh my God. I'll just listen to some platform. I'll just shut my. It's because back. they know they, 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 they will never. The thing is, Thomas, you could, they will never be, be comfortable insulting even a job. Or Benin, or any try they know that we respond, that we push back. You understand? Because they know Yoruba people don't push back. It's not because we. I mean, to them, they just think we are cowards. And and to them, they know you won't push back, so they just push it. And that's why they say, if you give a man an inch, you will take a mile. You know. And they've been. It's like that behavior is getting worse and worse and worse. Because I grew up watching them starting off by you know they first do it kind of, you know in a small way. And then it's becoming like something they used some, to, where it's become normal. Some, some, some miscreants, some brainless markers will open their mouths in space and say, you, your back are dirty, they are lazy, they are cowards, they are betrayers. And it is becoming a mantra. And it's becoming like, you know, that's what every one of them say. 
it's it's become they will not say it in your face. They will not say it. I've, I've been in places where they're saying it. Yoruba women are smelly. Yoruba is like that. Yoruba don't know how to cook. They don't know how to do this. And you cannot stay in your own fucking land. And you say people should not react to those kind of uh, 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 narratives of uh, uh, they get to use, they cross the line, though. They cross the line. The one I, Bishop, I, I've been in spaces where Yoruba people are there, right there, right there. We're all hanging out with, and they were saying this, and those Yoruba just kept quiet. Don't like the likes of Parochi people, now. Yeah, they, they, will, they will be laughing with them. And there was one Yoruba guy, I almost, I almost beat this guy. This guy was even laughing to the, to their talking, to their <laughs> talking. Who tells you about when he goes, who's smile, who's smile? But he, ah, on death, yeah, but you are smiling. Oh, my man. Those guys, by the time I, the, the I beat one of them, I, that yeah, when they see me, they don't even. These people that know me, they don't talk shit. About, they don't talk shit around me, because they don't say, "But why?" I don't use oh, because instead I insult you back, we'll fight right there. You, they don't. They will respect <laughs> you. Because, ah, they don't. Dis, they know me. They don't disrespect me. When I'm around, they don't disrespect me at all. Because they don't say that you're my guy. It's not. Ah, it's not a cow. It's not someone you can disrespect. You know? Oh, so you're about to want money. Uh, uh, even some Yoruba people are going to be the one attacking me when I push them, when I push back. I mean, you wish I would love you. You wish you would love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, who told you guys this who we are? We are not cowards now. I, I don't... Uh, maybe it's Christianity that told you people like that. That's why I like you guys, Sheo Kuti. When uh, that stupid uh, Peace Square boy started coming at him, Sheo Kuti, are you crazy? <laughs> are, you, are you feeding me? Are you feeding me? <laughs> You see, I can't criticize uh, Obi. Who the, who the hell is Obi? Ah, uh, when you are all criticizing Sunubu, B Square, they are there talking criticizing Sunubu. Now nah, I don't criticize understand Ubu. why Kenny comes and says, "Don't don't discuss my state." <laughs> I say, "Who are you? Are we not Nigerians?" The first time I cannot use the government, I trying to tell me not to talk about it. Can't tell yeah, me. Yeah, well, they don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, if you want, you can discuss late goals for any five minutes, but nobody can dare talk about your own state. I mean, <laughs> what is what is this, man? But, but Martin, when one of started this show, now, uh, they used to call in. They will be attacking one man like, like it's not like one man was saying. <laughs> one man is just talking, covering it. They will say, "How dare you talk about uh, Southeast? How dare you talk about Mazi and the can When you guys are talking about everybody every day, they say, "Are you the same Mazi that's talking about Fuladi? You remind everybody calling us names." And they will call on the show, insulting one man. I wasn't calling in now because I was just watching the show. I hope I just got tired. Me, I'm like, what is this rubbish? And that time there were some Yorubas on the show, so they will be there. Yeah, yeah. And people like Baba Kure, I remember them, Baba Kure. They don't come here anymore. Uh, I've, they were, I've, you remember Baba Kure now? Half will be dead, half Yoruba. <laughs> and this one guy, too, oh, you, you, you get Yoruba boy like that, call Ayo. That one, well, you won't be attacking me because see, that one, his wife is evil. So they will call him, he's talking to one man. <laughs> Nikbe, one man is talking about Mansi and Nikan. Why is he talking about Satis? Why you got Satis in your mind? Why are you talking about Bia France? Ah, not that he's insulting you. He's just talking about what's in the news. They'll be insulting one man. Oh, my man. That's when I called him. I started dealing with them, man. Ah. When I started dealing with them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you people that everybody's watching every day, insulting everybody else. This is your same Mansi that's insulting, insulting a laughing for you, insulting everybody. Now you're saying, eh, because one man is Yoruba, you can't talk about Nam Nikan. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is he? I mean, what kind of behavior is that, man? It's like this thing I mean, so when uh, the South South people are talking about can why can't they come on their show and and tell them not to talk about an American? We believe Europeans are they are not worthy of talk. Oh man. Well, I don't, I don't blame no, them. No, I blame, no, no, blame Yoruba like, people. Yoruba, you, you, you are liberal people. Um, all this um, all something. So it doesn't take any it doesn't take you anywhere. Because they know that if they eat, if they talk, you just going to be quiet, doing all this, all this um, Jason, um, Jason, um, Jason stuff. They know that you will just be quiet. So <laughs> no, I, I know you for that, Mike. You don't you don't take that <laughs> you don't take at all at all. You know when you can come out and uh, insult a whole ethnic group, you know, but in the canoe. I don't hear in Namdekanu talking about Yoruba. Oh my God! I just say, what? What's wrong with this guy? Is it Yoruba that is stopping you not to get your Biafra? At least Yoruba is the one on the way of Biafra. 
Oh, the glow funny, uh, Thomas. If you just said yeah. let, let let other part of Nigeria vote, do you want them to go south? People will vote yes. Just just say you know what? Just take a while. Just tired. Uh, 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 yeah. Look, I've, I've, I've reached ten-year-old boys without you. Average just random tell you, they will tell you, oh, you're bad. They are cowards. Oh, they are traitors. They betray our uh, during the civil war. Oh, I will not want uh, poison. Uh, this. Oh, you're bad at dirty. They are lazy. They are, you know, that is the reality of hate that has been planted in them. And that's the truth. So, who is selling? Who is, who is feeding those children with that, those lies of hate? And we shouldn't address it, we shouldn't talk about it. Look at all this nonsense that happened during that election. Look at kids crying and say, Oh, I don't want to do for oh, those no, no, three, three years ago, yeah, three things. years old, four years old. What do they know about Tinobu? Four years old baby. Yeah. Look at what pastors ah, no, no, no. were saying. All those pastors, the majority of them from same sex, look at what they were saying. And you say we should not push, we should not respond. Ah. Uh, Bishop, when I saw that little girl crying, I was just, I said, what does this girl know about politics? Yeah. What does she know about Tinubu? What does she know about Peter Obi? What they are sold into her? One idiot uh, carrying the connect. Oh, give us uh, Peter Obi, oh, he's Peter Obi. And he was crying, somebody that should be shot. So 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 you want to destroy so you want to destroy something? Yes, you want to rule it. So because I don't because him being a man, they not it's a lot of work. But Bishop, do you know what? I don't know more to learn anymore. They dare not speak that in public. Or my deep belly warning with the amongst them. They shut them down real quick. If you don't tell that line of what they think you should uh, say, uh, they will yeah, shut them that, down. That, that, that slavery mentality. Because they are the, that, that means some people are being held captive. Look, there is this saying, I, I don't know who to it. There is no likelihood of being able to suppress human antagonistic tendencies. We all have it in us. It's just an attempt to be, you know, simple. You know, be classy. But it's either your way on the highway, and because you've been having it your way for so long, you think that I would not have the right answer? I'm telling you, man. And you listen to some arguments so stupid and barbaric, so offensively annoying. And they will be talking I used to think that it's good to be liberal, at least to be open minded, not to stereotype and rest. But hey, it is what you give that people will give back to you. You got to a point that said, no, we can't continue this way. Otherwise, one day some people will just rise up and they will exterminate us. <laughs> Every tribe is that. Is that the right to fight for their survivor and the survivor of their leader king? Haba, you're not a and that is the narrative. Oh, you're about to trace the leader king. Abola and Ojuku, they agree that oh, I will not point him. Oh, he gets the twenty pounds. I will not get twenty pounds. I will not point him. He pointed the food again. Propaganda of this. Of the of Ojuku during the war to make all the food that was given to be consecrated and given to the soldiers and stab the children because he wants to make those children poster boys to take pictures that oh it's a genocide and 50 years after some people are not breaking the history of genocide to start the war as you say other people should not defend themselves you wanted the Afra yes you are leading you are you are marching towards Lagos Come and take over Lagos. And people call it fear. So we should fold our hands and let some people, some riffraff, to come and overtake, overrun, southwest. Hey, 
Hey, the Biafra forces get you already before we fought back for crying out loud. They got you already overrun, over, 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 how do they call it? The Midwest. And some people are trying to rewrite this thing today. People, people that were not born there. And you say we should keep by because we want to be Libra. But it's not Libra, eh? Uh, yeah, 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 I think we are born to be Libra. We will be Libra, we will be Libra from onset. So we should continue to be Libra, and people will just step on our face, as uh, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, 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 Goku is one of the liberalism. <laughs> we have to be Libra. We have to be. You remember the time of uh, election? Yes. Why can't the Fairy support without B? We have to be fair. We have to be Libra. We have to be as a, there is no liberalism in anything politics. Politics is a matter of choice and not matter of number. Have you ever seen other other tribe um, try to push for other part, other tribes uh, candidates? Why won't uh or 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 does the book? Why can't they do that? So why is the, the other Yoruba social cultural group and dozens another party, another uh, region? And uh, they say, don't worry, Yoruba is a Libra. Uh, Master Joe is the main great man. He's a Libra, Libra man. He's a Nigerian man. Just all this nonsense of Libra, Libra, Libra. It doesn't take us anywhere. It's giving us more insult. It, uh, Bishop, what, in what I eat is the insult. You can't insult me and bully me. No. I have the brains of my, my brain. Thomas, 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 Thomas will say, look at the way they are insulting their generation. <laughs> no. No. But, but maybe because I, I was grew up, you can't make any insult. You can't insult anybody in my house. But, but see, that is where we were, we were grow, grew up with. Insults in the house. I don't quite able to go. Who teach you? Able to go. What that? You can't even do it. What's the toy me that that again? Don't 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 say anything. I've since you know me on this platform. Is is there any word of insult has come out of my mouth? Accidentally. To insult people, I can't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not so. I'm not like that. So when people insult, I found it. I. I. I can. I. I. I like. It's just I find it uncomfortable all the time. So the the insult is what I even detest. You can be insulting people, insult their tribe, insult everything because they don't want to vote for your candidate or they don't want to lean in your own. No, everybody has their mind. Everybody can choose who they want to vote for, who they want to follow. You choose to support Peter B. Do I care? The people supporting Tinubu, do I care? No. What I want is better Nigeria. It's what we are doing here. If you don't want, Mamati, if you don't want better Nigeria, we won't be here for eight hours. We won't. I won't be here. It's not about the money, it's just the passion. And the love for the country. So that that is me. I I know. I know. The insults, nah, nah. I can't take that. I can take everything. Uh, I can't take insult. That, 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 that's 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 my life. That's how I was was same and I was brought up. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, you, it's, you well. hello. Uh, we we should we should be thanking God. You, you know, all these people we are talking about, you see this uh, insult is, is even better. Formerly, they just fire you straight. They fire you. That's the way they fire Akitola. And it, uh, the same thing they did to Bolaidi. I just, sometimes I, I thank God for Tunubu. They, uh, before they start insulting him, abusing him, doing this, they wanted to fire him. That essence, they wanted to fire that man. But thank God for his life. 
No, because they see they can't they can't kill him. That's why they they go so mad. I don't I don't know. I I think when my people why my people why we don't use our brain to think. These people they just don't they they just don't want to hear anything Yoruba. They hate it. I don't know why. Any any uh, leader, uh, they say you guys are sharing from north to Yoruba, you are sharing the presidency. So no 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 you see you see they, they, they are liars, they never say the truth. The the South Eastern are the ally of the Awusas since the day of to um Abula War. They are lying with the northern hand. That's why, because when, when I will all went to meet uh, uh, Nadia Zikwe, let's do this thing together. And I think Nadia Zikwe said, yes, okay, but, but immediately I will all turn his back. He went straight to the, to the northern uh, 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 yes. uh, I don't know me more. But my people are so liberal, like now, Baba Jan Leko, oh my yab, then we should go side by Lori Lemoni. Those are the those are the people to come and put what true pay any money, any suru, and my mother, my deep, and I want people, you understand? Those are our own and balance back, I'm a man, you know what my do? Because they are educated. They are educated, they can, they can, you understand what I mean? Yeah, sometimes yes, when you hear, sometimes when you hear what he says, oh my God, I put your head along with me. And you see some youth as well. And that, you, you see, that's why my son will go, ah, shall I tell you, I'll be like, it's gone with history, pay you back by you, book, or in it. It's called similar mm. history. Mm. Mm. Can, can, I, can, I history. can I comment? Yes, sir, yes. yes. yes sir. Me, I always say this. Don't bother yourself because no matter what they do, right? Lies, insults, propaganda, you know who's who is a bomb, and you know who the bomb always explodes on the person that makes the bomb. It has never ever been successful, it has never ever been successful, it has always shot them in the foot. So why are no, you no, 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 I, no, I disagree with that because okay. he has been successful all, all the while. They like killed Abiola, Abiola and Awolo, the same thing. Yeah, they've been successful all the while. It's only because Tunubu is a very strong man. I'm telling you this. No, he no, said, no, no, I'm talking about... They would have killed him long time. So, so is they another liberal Yoruba, like... No, 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 they would have fired him long time. <laughs> they would have fired him. They will become governor of Lagos very soon. Let me have peace now. Let me have peace. I just came here. We don't want to hear your liberal rubbish. Governor Shine is due of Lagos. People like Sully, the reason why Optan came to me is they will slap me. <laughs> so he's a gentleman. He's a, he's, he's a completely gentleman because he's used that. to dealing with solid. Now, when you insult, he will say anything. So, the guy don't think uh, he can walk up to anybody and insult any Yoruba person. And insult. Wait now, do you know how many times I've called people with uptown? I, I don't see. You stress yourself if you're arguing. So, Sully, yeah, let me ask you. So, the day of time, say we slap me. I, I said, I just, I just look, look at him. Have you? To talk to Ganyu. <laughs> help me, help me. Somebody help me. Eh? Let me talk. Yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> you know, Mike would just see me and immediately he just wants to just pounce on me. Eh? Let me have this. <laughs> <laughs> eh, so, Ganyu, you were talking about Abiola and Co. But those, th those were the northerners now. Is no, 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 no. He's he's he, he, he's uh um I uh, told Zeribe that went to court. You should you should know this. You see, when Nadikano is doing his uh he's doing his stupid broadcasting dead, he was saying it's only bad uh I just saw you respected the Yoruba land because he knew that that by you are just saying has a thread with the Igbos. Well, you got the, from, the, from the origin, the, the root of the death that killed MKO Adiola was between Atok Zeribe and Daniel Kamu. 
Exactly. Yeah. Genesis of everything well, I don't well, well, be at that account. Yes. If anybody remember uh, yeah, why do you use NFT and for about yeah for about that as you say? Well, from from my perspective, in Yoruba tribe, we have a perfect balance. We have our yin and we have our yang. We have our liberal Yorubas and we have our staunch Yorubas like Mike. You know, how many? How many? Are, how many are there? <laughs> I'm myself. I let me finish. I'm myself. Can you let me? And you. Sorry. <laughs> and you. But I don't think you are. You just want to be. But the thing is that when we have the liberals moving towards the left too much, there's always balance on the right to pull us back. And when we have the people on the right moving too much, there's always balance on the left to pull us back. That is what makes us unique. Most of them in the north don't have that. So when they go totally, they go full on. Most of them in the east don't have that. Down is even worse. When they have propaganda, they go full on till it fully destroys them. So you don't need to be fully worried that, oh, something will happen to the Yoruba. We always have balance. And then again, okay, they may have successfully done some things, but look at it majority of the times. Whatever they do usually hits them back in their face. If you, if you try to interfere... You are going to interfere with it hitting them back in their face. And it's just going to affect you. You have to let them do what they want to do. Let it blow up in their face. And then you move on. That, that's always the best thing to do. Most of what they do is not successful. If you look at their history, when the British came, we were a fully developed tribe. In the Southeast, they were still naked. You know? So they are, they are just coming into development and... You know, just leave them alone. Let them do their own thing. It, it never plays out well. It never really plays out Money well. Sister. Money. You, you know, if you are stressing yourself, don't stress yourself about the Southeast. It always blows up in their face. Look at this presidency team. They cannot be president in the next 16 to maybe 24 years. Guaranteed. Because they have created animosity between two tribes, two major tribes that they will need vote from. And instead of them to romance these tribes, they are still going full on. They are still applying pressure. How do you want to become president then? Who will vote for you? So they've guaranteed themselves failure for the next 24, 16 to 24 years. Because that is the generation that they've slide. You know? So you don't need to stress yourself. You don't let them insult you. Let them shout. Let them scream. That's what losers do. <laughs> you know? You don't need to go and say anything the more than fighting with them. Let them do what they want to do. Let them get it out of their system. When they are ready to... Do you know play, it's after 60 years you are, you are talking about now? Do you know it's what after they, 60 years? What have they gained years? from... For the past 60 years, what have they gained from what they are doing? Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't mind because they, they, are, they are like that. But we will mind, you understand? They don't want don't development mind. for themselves. I don't mind. But we we will... We, no, no, we, we Yoruba want development for ourselves. But they don't want development for themselves. That's they their do. home problem. They, they do. They just tell you they don't. Deep down, they do. If you give them, they'll collect it. Don't listen to what they say. Listen to what they I, look at. What they do. They want. I it. know they want. They want the presidency, just for them to do their um, ulterior motive. What they yes. have in their hidden agenda. You but, understand? But they will never get it because they don't know how to organize themselves. They don't, yeah, it's, to, it's, they, don't, they don't know how to romance a tribe that is not there. How can you be fighting with... We have 300 tribes in the country, and you are fighting with yes. the majority of them. <laughs> let me I'm being conscious. Let me tell you, you know? Sony, so, let, me, Sony, let me tell you this thing, yeah? You see this 2023 election, we have to give thanks to the Fulani and the Awusasu. If not of them, Tunubu will not smell this thing. I tell you this. That's a part of it. Because... Yes, but, the, the Libra already finished the Yoruba land. No, because those, those no. liberals. Okay, let, let me tell you something about the liberal. The same yes. South East that had the liberal in their hands are the same South East that threw it out of their hands. This same South East, now that they know that they've lost this liberal, instead of them to apologize, change their ways. In fact, they are even insulting those liberals more. They are applying pressure. <laughs> so they are losing you know, votes. If we you, you need this, to find if we run this election, I can guarantee they will never win Lagos again. Never. That that was just a one-time fluke. It will not happen again. So 
they, they, they play themselves and you just have to let them play themselves. A smart person will keep quiet and let you cross yourself. If you are screaming and shouting, they may realize that they are playing themselves and then you lose the advantage. It's all about strategy. You have to let them play themselves. If Pansat yeah, is... Yeah. I cannot take it out. I cannot be offended because Pansat doesn't do research. He doesn't know anything. He's literally an illiterate. If I argue with him, he's going to educate himself and become better. If I keep silent, he remains an illiterate. Who is really winning? Me. Yeah, but but you 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 should understand. You see all this thing, yeah. We need to like the way my children they love Nigeria. Huh, I've never seen that. My my daughter of eleven years old, she used her home money to buy Nigeria flag. Do you understand? My daughter of eleven years old, she used her own money to buy Nigeria flag to put in her room. You understand? So now, when your children love Nigeria so much. And people like all these, uh, this liberal, like all these uh, rational minds, they, which they are not Yoruba, but they keep on pretending to be Yoruba people. And when people listen to them, you come. That's what they are saying on this platform today. Like any, all these Southeastern uh, Africa people, they believe Nigeria is a war zone. Tunubu is a cocaine dealer. It's a job pusher. It's this, you know? Is the narrative they put on on the internet, and people rational, like us, we need to we need to rational, be letting people to know. Rational mind is I agree with you there. I agree with you. I will not argue with you there. But rational mind is a contrary contrarian. Anything you say, you go against it. If you say something bad about Tinubu, I can bet you rational mind will say something positive about Tinubu. It just no, 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 no. If, if that will happen, I'll give, I will give you hundred dollars. He has done it multiple times. No, he has done it multiple times. No, no. At, at, on, man, times like no. at least two times. No. I know. <laughs> on this panel. So, no, no, no. Man, no. If you say it's not Yoruba, well, that's on you. But that guy is a Yoruba guy. He's not a Yoruba guy. He's a Yoruba guy. He's not a Yoruba guy. Have you ever seen? Sorry. Sorry, Sorry, let me ask you one question. Yeah, you know, you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what they call it. Gani, 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 you know what they call it. Only Yoruba for the hair. Yoruba for the hair. Let me, let me bust his bubble. Sorry, you know. See, you know there are some atheists. They will say they are atheists too. But let's play and start diving down. They will start shouting Jesus. <laughs> Sully, Sully, do you know, do you know, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know I've been on this platform longer than Rational Mind? And I know the very first day Rational Mind came on this platform. And when he came on this platform, he said he wasn't Yoruba. He said he was from the Southeast. He was Igbo or something else. He said it. I'm talking about over almost three years ago. So I know when he first came on this platform, he told us he this he said it was half Igbo half. I don't know if it was half Benin yes, or I know that he said he said it. So since then he's been deceiving all the rest of you guys. I came later that he's a Yoruba man. Well, I know that. I know that. I think we all know that. <laughs> me and one man know the guy is not Yoruba. Man. The only two people that know this platform that rational man is not Yoruba is me and one man. The rest of you, yeah, that's <laughs> that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, my does not know you're buying. Wait, now, rational mind is half Yoruba, half Igbo. If his father is Yoruba, he's then... not, he's not, he's not. How is he's he not? not? How is he not? Let me tell you something, surely this thing that we people don't understand. You can never see a Yoruba that has the interest of Yoruba in his heart talking the way rational mind is talking. Uh -huh. Never. Uh, Ajale Koko talks like That's that. A... No, 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 no. You sometimes you see Ajale Koko is just is just talking politics uh, because of um, uh, 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 as, much as, as much as I don't I don't rack it, Ajale Koko. You, you you really insulted him. <laughs> okay, but can you to you compare say... Ajale Koko to rational man? You really insulted Ajale Koko. Yes, you, no, no, you can't. You... Can you? You stay in Lagos, right? Yes. Okay, and there are plenty Yoruba people that talk like rational mind too. I see them online. No, no, they don't, they don't go as far as no, they go far. No, 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 especially the women. If they go far, hello, especially hello, hello. women. Yeah, solely wait, wait. If they go far to be go and check them properly, they are not Yoruba. Yeah, if they Yoruba. go far to that level of rational mind, 
go and check them properly. Most, Slowly, most rational mind is literally if you if you talk about about you know, the canoe, he wants to kill you, he wants to fight you. If it, anything, most, anything most, negative about Southeast or be or and even okay. if have, even when we talk about the okay. Afghan war against the yeah, legal narrative, we will still fight you. So he's completely Mike, emotionally Mike, 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 Mike. So Mike. you know, don't need to tell me what he's Rational my hated uh, Professor Wally, uh, Wally Shunika. Exactly. He called, he called Professor Shunika a good tech. You hate Tulungu. You hate Tulungu. You, you, you hate all the Yoruba me? leaders. Yeah, or anybody that Yoruba is calling their leader, you hate death you with hate passion. Are you are not. Are you are only, telling even, even, uh, Soli, even, uh, what's his name? Uh, nah, you, all those Yoruba be dead. They won't insult you in Ghana. Ah. It won't go that far now. They may say we disagree, but they won't insult you. But that's not my came to insult you in Kami. Are you kidding me? Are you still not convinced? That is a red flag right there. Are you still not convinced? Yes, that that's a major red flag. That, ah, one, that one is a big red flag. I just think, <laughs> I want my just laugh at you guys. I still don't believe that. What am I just want to? He just one man knows the guy. He's only me. I want to know because we know when he first came on this platform. So we just laugh yeah, at the rest yeah. of you. We we one man is allowing you guys to Let guess. Me. Woman is what you can guess, but me, I know I won't let you guess. I will tell you. <laughs> let, sorry, let me tell you this. Yeah, when I first came on uh, this platform, I started following this platform since um, maybe early 2023 during the uh, campaign. No, 2022. You understand? I never come on, but every time Rational Mike talks, I want to go mad. Every time, every time over a year, I'll be stomaching this thing. One day, I was at work. If you notice the first day I came on this platform, I was at work shouting like I'm, I'm mad. Just because of what Rashanama is saying. The same he said today, but I just kept quiet. I was on the platform. Most time I was on the platform because I'm at work, I cannot talk. So I just I just keep quiet. Then, be... then, you, then you argue back you... and you defeat him with your arguments and facts and proof. We have, we have done yeah, that. But... When we do that multiple times here, he just keeps quiet. Yeah, but you, you know, you know, some Yoruba people, some liberal Yoruba people, when they listen to people like Rational Mind, they believe in saying Yoruba say, hey, you see, he has not a big lie. Rational Mind is not that's why I don't really go uh, yeah, fighting with the KN or uh, all these people that show themselves that okay, I'm from the southeast. Okay, you can do whatever you want, but don't pretend. Ganyu. It's, that's a criminal attitude. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ganyu, the thing is that most liberal Yoruba people, if you give them proof and facts, they change their mindset because most Yoruba people don't argue with facts. We, we don't. We don't argue with facts. We don't argue with proof. We don't argue with statistics. So if you are bothered about yeah. the Yoruba liberal people, they are, not, they are not really a big problem. The problem is... Mostly the Southeast, when you give them facts and proof, <laughs> they don't want to listen. You don't need to worry about the Yoruba Libras. Yes, it, it was a big problem for Lagos states. That one, that one really surprised me, you know. But now the the eyes have opened, you know. So, so are you sure? Are you sure? Put you want to look here? So sure. What? Are, are their eyes only their eyes are open in Lagos? But uh, is that eye still open or has it closed back up again? I won't say all of them. I'll just say uh, majority of them. Okay. Uh, majority of them. Because, Babati, what I notice is that most of these liberal Yorubas, they are women. And women are very emotional and sentimental. And the propaganda that is always pushed is based on emotions and sentiments, not facts. So it's always easy for them to get the women. Oh, know? the church the church going on that they were using the Christianity thing to push as well. That was also an What impact. do you mean most of the liberal Yoruba are women? I don't understand. Most no, them, for the elections in Lagos, it was specific about the Lagos push for Pitobi. It had some kind of uh, gender and also uh, Christianity. You know, yes. the, I don't, was, I don't necessarily with that. I think it's even more men, you know. Really? No, no, it's even more Yoruba men that I've always. I'm sorry from my own experience. It's more I went for Haiti. I went the anti. I, I, I look at this show now. You don't see Dupsi coming at me now, attacking me. Or yeah, no, we no, have no, it's no, the no, Ajali no, Kokos and the. Yeah, well, and those kind of people. Most Yoruba women will back you. No, whenever, no, no, whenever, no, no, I've been, no, I've been no. in space. Mike, hold on, hold Mike, on. It was discussing Lagos, just Lagos, not the old. Just Lagos. Even, 
And on this panel were mostly men. If you go to Instagram and you look at all the liberal comments, it's mostly Yoruba women, most of them. It's mostly, you may see one or two guys there, but if you, if you talk to them, they will change their mindset. But those women, <laughs> and you know women don't have accountability. <laughs> So they will not agree with you, but some of them, will, but no, most of them will not. They are, they are just very emotional and sentimental. From you know. no, no, probably uh, maybe a woman that's married to you know women usually so yeah they go with the way they I'm are. I'm telling you, Yoruba, Yoruba that's women right. married to Yoruba man with Yoruba family. That's how they. Are. One thing I know, sure, I know that most time when I stand up against those people, the people that usually back me up, a Yoruba women, they will say, ah, they like, was well, the Yoruba girl, you won't jump on me fighting me. I'm like, wow, what are you doing? Ah, I've seen many times, the funny thing, even on this platform, many times, one, one of those statistics that will insult me, and I will insult him back, I will go back and forth, the next thing, the Yoruba man will start uh, telling me, on the, I will start attacking me. I'm like, didn't you see that this guy was the one that first insulted me? Mike. Uh, you remember that uh, Joe criminals in some start insulting me? Mike. Ah. The guy's coming like three times before I started firing him back. At the end right. of it, Ola, Ajali Koko, they didn't even say, okay, Joe, you started, do. And they, or at least, if you want to caution, caution both of us. But they only caution me. I'm right. like, oh, look at this. Most of those Yoruba men you are talking about, they are feminine men. They so you say Ajali Koko is feminine? Is that what you're saying? No, no. Yeah, no. yeah, oh, no. Sorry, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> you didn't let me finish now. You didn't let me finish. You said you it too. Uh, you already said it now. When you finish again? <laughs> if if a man is being is making his decision based on emotions and propaganda, that's a very feminine man. You know, that's a very feminine man. So if you are saying, oh, most of them are Yoruba men, look at how they are behaving. Are they are, are they behaving emotional? Most likely, yes. They are replying you with insults. Most likely, yes. That's a feminine man. <laughs> So we have another issue of another problem with feminine men in our society. We don't have a lot, though, but we have a growing number, you know, which is another problem. Me, I'm not a feminine man. Sometimes emotions get me, but if you give me facts, ah, I'll change my mindset immediately. Sharp, sharp. <laughs> we have a lot of feminine Yoruba men, especially in that Lagos. So no, 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 that, no, no, uh, because they oh. use, you see, they use those buzzwords. It will tell you is a cosmopolitan city, so therefore, tribal rules does not apply. Well, in my own, part, they say okay, in the southeast, uh, nobody can become governor if you come from there. But in Lagos, because it's a, it's, it's a former capital of Lagos, of Nigeria, it's a cosmopolitan city. Everybody's there, so therefore, anybody can just show up and become governor. No, so they, 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 they move the goalposts when it comes to Lagos, like and people just say, well, it's kind of true. I'm like no, it's not. Baba, see, those people, those people have never been to the Southeast. They've never experienced anything in the Southeast. They think they, they think everywhere in Nigeria is like Lagos. That's the problem. If you want to test it out, tell them to go to the Southeast and you'll see that their mindset, <laughs> their mindset will change when they come back. You know, it's just like a lot of Nigerians who love white people. It's until you jack back and you enter white people's country and you see how they behave that your mindset will change a bit. You know, so so, so do, do do you make a clear decision between the Southeast and that, that that was either born in Lagos or lived in Lagos that uh, compared to those that that live their lives in Southeast? No, me I cannot tolerate. I, I'll just say most of the time, majority of the time, I cannot tolerate Southeasterners that grew up in Southeast. I cannot tolerate them. The insult. The mindset is different, Abi. Yes, very different. The insult. Uh, Propaganda. When they are wrong, they will never admit. They are, they are, they are, they are like pansat times times ten. I don't like. I don't like it. Very annoying. But the ones that grew up in Lagos, I, I, you know, they seem normal to me. If you, if you argue with them, if you give yeah, the ones that grew up in Lagos, like have some of them. I would say the they depends on the one depends. The ones that grew up in southern part of Lagos, I would say the one that grew up in, you know, Lagos has the uh, different parts. You have that Ojo area. Where it's predominantly non Yorubas that live there, you understand? Mm -hmm. If you have those ones that grew up there, they, they just know they're not far from someone from the southeast. But then you have the ones that grew up in places like uh, Mushin, where predominantly Yoruba environment, those ones they are they don't have that south, deep southeast standard mindset, uh, mentality. They don't, they you know, they reason outside the box. So, but those in Lagos, 
they were they were as heavily influenced by those in the southeast during the elections. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. The, was, the influence was just massive because I I even heard I, I can't confirm I heard that people even moved from southeast into to Lagos to vote. They moved just to, to just to, just to push the, the numbers up in the south in, in in Lagos. I can't prove it, but I just heard the rumors. So they influenced those that ordinarily would not even bother voting. Or we just say, okay, this is a Yoruba state. I don't even let me bother at all. What, what they always push is that, <clears throat> because even, even here, while I was in Poland, there was a guy that used to cut my hair. What they usually push is that, oh, the Yoruba people, because they have this form of hatred from their parents sent to them. So they think every tribe hates them as equal as they hate other tribes. You know? so That's, that, that's come, true. That's what I noticed. You know, <laughs> They always come and they expect me to be hating them. I'm like, where is all this thing? Why would I hate you? I don't even know you. I don't know anything about. They always expect you to have some type of hatred or to. They are projecting. You. They believe yeah. that others feel the same way they feel. Exactly. So they, they think exactly. others feel the, the way they feel towards others. They feel yeah. they, they feel others feel towards them the same way they feel towards others. And no one is thinking about them. The exactly. people they accuse the most is the north. They think no the Northerners just okay. think about them. The Northerners have an agenda against them. They are do they are planning things. I'm like, dude, these people don't even think about you guys at all. <laughs> the, 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 the people that really don't like them, the not see the Northerners have played south. No, the people that don't like them are more the south south people. Trust me, those. No. Who <laughs> I want, I want forefathers. I mean, that one. Ah, <laughs> those who don't like evil, those, the only people I know that really don't like evil people are those riverine people, those each other, those area. They don't. They don't know we. Uh, Kind of align with them politically, but in their interaction, they ah, you go, you think they are all one, <laughs> but I see getting their meat. Ah, yeah, I you can't live in that far. I, 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 I want to show on uh, those programs just like one hour. People were crying, literally crying, cursing to Nigeria because the guy just said that it would take they said uh, what is what, what should they be pushing on the platform and he said you no know, it's very big on security so he said nigeria security and they said no 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 they should be pushing the freedom of nam and he said that nigeria security is more important than the life of nam oh boy <laughs> people, people are literally crying cursing him how dare you not being insensitive i said ah, ah. but what did you say that was controversial no security and they were taking phone on him. He's like, hey, you know, and he was actually begging them because they were for hours so just lashing him, different phone calls just coming in, and he was just there, just listening to the bashing. I said, Oh boy, can you buy for you? Next thing just because he has his opinion on you. They, 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 <laughs> like, they like, why don't you want to know why are you from? Because according, I think because in that space, he didn't tell them where because it's on, on our show, he told us it's from the Delta area, but to them. He didn't tell them he, 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 nobody knows where he's from in that space. So he, he tried to hide that he's from the South House. And he said, Where are you from? Tell us. Where are you? We want to know. And he dares not say it. He dares not. Because the day he says it, they will ban him on those platforms. And he knows it. <laughs> he's not going to do it. Babati, the thing that, that that's why me, I cannot be like tribalist, like full on. You know, because that's where tribalism passes common sense. That Namdi Kanu has been a thorn to the southeast. That guy really dealt with them. That uh, sit at home really dealt with them and dealt with their economy. It's the guy was a curse to them now. He's the one that caused to be even this election. Say. You he, die, he, the guy never came out at all. Like the guy never existed. He didn't create all these apobian. He, he, he probably would have done very well, better than yeah. he did in that election. Yeah, so mm -hmm. he, he brought he brought a uh, civil unrest to their society. He brought unknown gunmen and bandits, you know, and kidnappers, which were oppressing their own community. He, 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 he now started attacking his own people. He now started calling for the for them to buy the children to to buy Igbo female children and remove their heads for sacrifice for Biafra. These people did, don't know all these things. That's the worst part. These people don't know the atrocities this guy did in their community. And the worst part is that if you tell them and show them with proof, they will still support this guy. That's that's when I knew that tribalism is not a good thing. If, if you can be so tribalism, if, if you can take it so far that you are ready to sacrifice your own daughter just for the... Then you don't have common sense again. Then second of all, the South-South people, they are one of the reasons why they lost that Biafra war. When they were doing their Biafra, 
the southeastern has started treating every other tribe like second class as you, as you know now how they usually do the moment they they, they get power over you they'll start treating you like shit. Uh, you know they, they do that a lot i'll just they are the one that chase the uh, ambazonians to cameroon the ambazonia yes. used to be part of nigeria now they chase from what, I, to cameroon. from what <laughs> i see here they are always very quick to treat every single other tribe as second class they if, if, you know the nepotism is always so crazy once it's their turn so when they were having the war the south south people they could not take it anymore Nigeria army could not enter into Biafra from from the from uh, outside. The South South people are the ones that opened the border to allow Nigerian army to enter and finally end the war and finish the Southeast. So I always say this thing: they always end up playing themselves in the end. They don't look at the the final goal. They always just thinking about now, 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 now. Let us just put everybody in power. Let us just take everything. Let us. Just... But what happens after? People and nobody is ever going to sit down and just look at you and take this crap. They, but they don't think past that. They always end up playing themselves. No matter what they do, they always end up playing themselves. I don't. That's why I me, mean, I can't be arguing. But, but 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 solely solely don't you at some point just look at them now just in the political space and just it, it's sad because you you see it i see it that it's not going to work the way they are playing hey, but for some i won't marry me they don't see what we're looking at like what, i'm like what, what are you guys doing it's yeah, not you, you can't abuse me they say that i should vote for you it does not work hey, so what why do you keep doing it they and abused people, everybody and people didn't vote for them and they are fighting for not voting for them. I'm like, how will you? Know? <laughs> Baba T, how, how that doesn't really affect you. It doesn't affect your people. No, so because why, because sorry, I, I at the beginning I, I, I really wanted them to at least get a shot at it. That's your liberal side. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it has nothing to do with liberal side. Yeah. To, to be honest, even me, bro, I feel like it was their turn in a sense. They sold, uh, so, They literally sold their back right to Atiku. Tell me because because, be, 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 because because APC does not own or own the Southeast any ticket. It's the PDP yes. that owns them a ticket. But but you know what annoys me? But they, no 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 no. But but no no no. They will but, not but, take their anger to Atiku. Instead, That's my point. No 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 no. They will take the anger. They went after Tinubu. They are going to do it. <laughs> even even before that, you see that uh, that anger that, that they, they, they took to, to the labor should have been in the PDP. Yeah. That is where you should have fought for that ticket. Like it's our turn. Even the fact that he left, he he left PDP. P yeah, but he left PDP to go to the labor. That means your enemy is PDP. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But they, they, for some strange reason, for some strange reason, they brought the hate towards us. I don't know. They why. didn't even attack him. Uh, uh, Atiku throughout the entire campaign. The hatred was just towards Look, look, look at what, 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 Babati. What that, that's why I say you should always let them do what they want to do because they expose. But I want them to succeed, not me. But they don't what, want. What, oh, Babati? Babati. They don't like you. This thing that they brought the anger towards the Yoruba people is not brand new. They've always had that anger and hatred. That election just allowed them to expose it because we did not do anything to them, but you are now insulting us. So you let people expose themselves because if they didn't do it, we would not know. Now that they did it, we know. To me, I see it as a positive. The people that betrayed you, for some strange reason, you don't want to insult them. You don't want to curse them. You don't want to do anything bad to them. The people that do not do anything to you, you are not insulting. That means you've always had that hatred deep down. You've always had it. It's not brand new. You've always had it. And thank you for letting us know now. Because now I know how to align myself. Plain and simple. Yeah, you, you know, you, you know um, Mike, if you look at the PDP, people forget that PDP primaries. To my notice, even in the APC primaries, those, those, those that are the No, no. Those that they feel to step down for each other were the, were the people that were South South Easterners. So everybody else from the other part of the country, if you are the big big fish in your own tribe, they step, people will step down. Maybe for the VP, we know why that one did not step down. But everybody else will say, ah, okay, your girl, it's your turn, no. But people from South East, for some, for some reason, in both parties, did not. They didn't even work together. I'm like, what, what are you guys doing? It is, if it is your turn, you're supposed to be planning this thing two years ahead, before time, you know, making friends, forming coalitions. If, if you want Obi to be your 
flag bear in the PDP. You start making the move. You know, for me, I, you know, you know how you Tinubu took years to build this thing now. You form alliance, you form friendship, but you you abuse everybody, you had the by the the kind of issue, you had the I pub issue, you didn't resolve that problem from nowhere. It's my turn. That's not the way it works now. You must work, you must build this thing for years. But Babati, you have to understand that the way the South Easterners play politics is different. The way Yoruba people play politics went to our favor in this election, it went to our favor because of our culture. In their culture, when they when, when they are doing you, you I think I mean say people are solely planning me now. This is all planning. But, you, but, but see, you, have to, you have to understand the culture in their tribe. They say everybody is a king. We know that's impossible. They, you, you can never everybody cannot be king, everybody cannot be a pilot. There are only one or two pilots, maximum. There's no there's no hundred kings, so that's that's just a that's just a failure. That kind of culture, that mindset in that culture is, is a is a mindset that will put you aback. Then second of all, they go with the mindset of, okay, we can bully, they, they bully themselves to agree to things. And it works for them. It works for them. But other tribes, you can't bully us into agreeing to you. In fact, we fight you back. That is what they did not understand. And that's what they refuse to understand. Your cultural things only work in your area. They don't work outside your area. Our cultural things aligns very well with the northerners culture they like respect we are respectful they are respectful so we have a lot of similar things culturally they have they don't really have anything sim any cultural similarity with almost every tribe in nigeria there's i don't know any tribe that is similar to the south Easterners. so it's very hard for them to spread and gain influence. That is what they don't understand. And, and as I'm saying this thing, they will refuse to understand too. In fact, they will even insult me. But one thing they can never do is they can never call me a liar. That's, that's one thing. They can never tell me that I lie. They can only insult me. They can only make up things. They can only push propaganda, but they can never call me a liar. And if they, they refuse... Well, if, if they refuse to listen, it is even possible that another Yoruba person might become president after Tinubu if they are not careful. If they are not careful, that can happen. Holy, because can you, Yoruba, can you Yoruba see Yoruba now that, that some Yoruba people have started pushing propaganda as well? They trained some Yoruba people to start pushing propaganda. The people, you see, they the show Yoruba one people, farm. The Yoruba people pushing Wait, propaganda let me tell you. are only doing it yeah. to make money. There's no other agenda. Yeah, they, financial yeah, agenda. They, they show one farm. That's a yeah. I will full and you what you kind of joke on me. Where are they came in the night to what I love could see their own leg. You understand all this nonsense. And I wrote in the class where I said, You people, you started this your nonsense with it. You started. Full and it's a lot of joke on you. Full and it's a lot of joke. Just one minute. Shoma, you said Yoruba tribe is similar to Igbo tribe. I want you to defend your comments. Please write down the similarities that we have, except for speaking English. And you say I'm wrong. Please tell me what I'm wrong about. You can join in into this chat and you are, I'll give you all the freedom to talk. You can even insult me. I don't care. I just want you to prove me wrong. That's all. And if you can't, please don't mention my name again. Chioma, I'm waiting. Eh, uh, so Lee, uh, if Chioma is there, please, so na 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 uh, Kay's girlfriend, though, she, she don't get us back for platform, my bed, bro. Hello, guys. Can you have a bow? I did, I did, I'm going to everybody. Oh, I just I came in because when you guys are talking about um this guy called rational rational mind. Ah that's just why, yeah, that's the reason why oh, I my, oh, my, oh, my, okay, oh, go ahead though. I don't know. Yeah, the guy the guy has been getting me angry for some time, you know I me, mean? and I've been studying him. Actually, no, I, no, no, I, don't don't hold on. Don't no, insult just, my panelists though. I'm not insulting anybody. I've already <laughs> anybody now. Yeah, yeah, go on. I was just joking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the guy, like, like, like my brother said, he's not a Yoruba man, and he actually is not the age that's claiming. I've got his pictures. I've deep, I've go deep on him. You know what I mean? I have, I, I, you know what I mean? So uh -uh. the guy goes, yes. Oh my, 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 oh my,
as young as me. The guy is in his is, ah. is, 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 is in, is in his late fifty. Okay, so he's not grandpa. They call him. Ah. <laughs> Please don't lie. I can't stand ah, it. Do you, are you hearing you, what I'm you hearing? Are you buy me? Don't you pay? Do you? you buy me? Because, you, me? No, no, you, know, you know what? Because all, I think we have all seen rational mind. Who has not seen rational mind here? It's not. It's not great for you to call him. No. Legs, I only saw his legs, not his face. When he was driving. No, rational, rational mind. He actually is running in his fifties. Of course, I've saw rational mind yeah. before. I in know how it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. grandpa. Those, those who are calling grandpa, you come here and say, I'm not your age, mate. You, 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 you know what I mean? It's maybe, so annoying. Maybe, Mr. Kenny, maybe the children, the children made uh, baby early, man. You understand? Some people Which children? Children. Which children? I've seen I've seen my mate already, grandpa, man. So the, the women. Yeah, yeah it's, you know? listen, my brother, it's only children that are calling grandpa, not in calling, coming to this platform and I'm behaving as if it's the old man. Grandpa say grandpa, it is a. You know what I mean? It's so annoying that he open his mouth and sort it to the at, at, at his at his will. It's, you know, it's not your man. I know his no, name. No. Kenny, Kenny. One thing I like Kenny. about you guys is that I Kenny. would like, I would like, I yeah, would I'm like, here. Like, I would like you guys to say it when he when he's here. Then because I learned something from uh, Big T and uh, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Allah that uh, we shouldn't talk behind behind our yes. uh, other populists. Which okay, I wrote my piece on I wrote my piece on his own platform. So that but, uh, it should be more res respectful also, you understand, so he can defend himself. Because I learned it from you guys here. So that's why uh, I keep my camera. But, 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 but Rational Mai will run away in this platform. He never come on this time. You understand? Rational Mai will never stay here yeah. because yeah. one man is protecting Rational Mai. One yeah, man no. is protecting him. Oh, when he comes to this type of platform, he will, not, he will not stay. <laughs> Is working now. But, but Kenny, my only a car. Oh, Kenny, your mom and yes, yes. I, what I only want to say, eh, I wrote it already that uh, I'm a, eh, I'm the re Omoiko, the re Yoruba man here. All of you are all fake. You can ask. <laughs> okay. <you. laughs> eh, I'm the I'm the real one now. Honestly, I've been waiting for the day I'm going to face that guy one on one. Seriously, but, Kenny. The, the I finish him already, Kenny. I finish him, Kenny. The Tinubu hates before he went for presidency, right? While he was, you know, doing all these things with Lagos, a lot of Yoruba people didn't like him. It, it's not just your rational, man. even even my mother, even my mother didn't like him because there were some things that he was doing in Lagos State that most of us didn't approve, you know. But like eventually, what? eventually it, it paid off. It paid off in our favor. However, there are some things that they didn't like. So him not liking Tinubu as a Yoruba man is not. I won't. I won't really. I won't because I won't really see. There are a lot of Yoruba people that don't like Tinubu. Look, sure. look, my brother. Let me tell you something here. There's no perfect man in this world. Nobody's perfect. Even you, that's perfect man. Even myself. Nobody's perfect. If Tinubu or anybody else, it's only the perfect yeah. man. No? So it is very. You know I mean, if they're trying to do something, I mean, I mean, do something. So they, they, they have right to many people. Oh, they have right to get Why, why, why? Kilelele, what happened? What happened? You say, ah, why, why, why? Gani, have you got an answer? You understand? So, 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 so like, like our Lawaida says, as Omoluabi, you know, you cannot come up to a, 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 a platform like this and start, start insulting an elder man, you know? Someone that's old enough to be your father, you call him, you know, what I mean, it's so annoying. I can't stand people like that. I'm sorry to say, I can't stand it. He's just a contrarian, he just likes to be contrary to what everybody is saying. Sometimes you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> he just likes to argue. I don't think yeah, rational mind. I don't serious. That's his brand. That's his brand. That's his brand. That's I don't think rational mind serious. You it's know, brown. Brown. he enjoys. I, he enjoys. Well, if you, if you come at him, if you come at him. Let people know that it's not your brother, man. I come at him. You know what? I'm, I'm not that age. I remember. I remember. Uh, one piece asked him in front of everybody. Yeah, that. Uh, he's told him that you say it's a good. You don't say you run away now. And then he did not see anything. Then, then, then. Uh, I know where he came from now. Rational mind is a Yoruba man. It's just heavy. It's not. 
it's wait now. It's just definitely in Oh my Jegule ni rational mind though. Oh my Jegule no. It's just Tony, stop saying this. Rational mind is not a Yoruba man at all. At all. What what this is? What what this? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Let me tell you something. I have two evil friends. They were both born in Shagam. Yes, I'm telling you now. I tell you, one of them. If you go to Peckham in London, you see him there. He played with you know about 24 hours. But the second one, his senior brother, he ran away from the Yoruba side and went to the to the Eastern side. People, you understand? Okay, during this election, Mr. Ganyu, I'm Ganyu, see, Ganyu, let me explain. They are, they, they, see, most Yoruba people, most people that have Yoruba and Igbo parents. Especially if the father is Yoruba, you know how Yoruba people can, can be now. We can be very liberal. So the, the Igbo mother will be whispering all these things to their ears. It's just like Badi Boy. See how Badi Boy is. Badi Boy is exactly like rational mind. So when oh, you are no, 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 no. Oh God. That, no, um, so okay, you are missing. You say Badi Boy is not Yoruba. You are missing this thing. Badi Boy is saying. Wait. Badi Boy's father is a Yoruba man. Wait. Wait. Let me explain to you. Wait, that boy is a Yoruba man, like you said, we which I can know. never believe is a Yoruba man. Because during the that boy, has, that boy himself, he went for IPOB, he went to carry the flag of IPOB, and you are telling yes. me that one is a Yoruba man. He's a Yoruba man with an Igbo mindset. Oh, have you ever, do you see a Yoruba man that will follow them to carry IPOB flag? All these people, they've been pushing propaganda to them since they were very little. That's but that about that mom, eh? That about mom. When you see that about mom like this, you will think she's a Yoruba woman. That about yes. mom, his mother, God, God. That is, time, but when you see that about, you know it's a coro. Immediately you see that about like this. They, they yeah. maybe they brought the pregnancy to to Baba that drink or uh, go go every time. But, uh, but Ganyu, he was raised by the mother, you know, majority. Yeah. Of his life. So he was raised by the mother, so, and he never. So it's, 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 very, it's very obvious it's you have this Ethiopian mindset. Yeah? It's very obvious you have this Ethiopian mindset. You know, it's just, it's just how it is. You know, you know. I tell you, let me tell you something, Sony. I was, I was born and bred in Sudan, Abuja. You understand? Yeah, I'm on I'm a good can, you, can you sorry one minute yeah Chioma, Chioma, you keep on saying we have similarities i've told you to come on this platform to defend your opinion and i've told you to and i've told you no, just, just one minute one minute and i've told you and i've told you and i've told you to write it down culturally speaking based on all history just write give me five i don't even want five give me three examples where we are similar just three most Mr. Igbo people don't know their history. And I've, I've, I've noticed that. You guys don't know your history. You don't read your history. You don't research about your history. Another tribe even knows more about your history than you. But you guys are always arguing so confidently. Read small history. Yeah, I'm not even telling you to read my own history. I'm begging you. Read your own history. Your own. Your own. Please. Just do small research. Jeez, it's not a bad thing to not have similarities. It's not a bad thing. You have British people, they have no similarities with Russian people, no. but they are both white. You know, you don't have to the, the argument is points made because okay, you don't see British people marrying Russian, doesn't mean they have they are similar culturally. You know, try, try to use your polo, you know, try to try to think a little bit, don't get too emotional. So when, so when we are when talking about this South, South uh, East people and the Yoruba, me, I was born in Sulere. I know them, and we were together for, from time I want to, any, to, to, even till now. I know their behavior towards us is not, is not really nice at all. It's not nice. And me, I've, I've, I've taken my own <laughs> habit from them. You know, to be fair, it's not... All of them that behave this way, you know that. So it's just the yeah, the, the, the... sure, sure. It's not all of them, but when it comes to when it, anytime it comes to that kind of uh, politics, they, they will go. All of them will go the same side. All of them will go the same side. Some of them, we have somebody like Joe Igwekwe 
that is always and we have, we have a maker here we have, we have a maker on this platform he's a, exactly. he's a very wonderful so, guy exactly so yeah. when, when, when we're speaking about these people we need to be neutral a mechana the ibos don't call him ibo guy you they call him only yoruba what would you say <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord, we have taken him you, <laughs> you know you know oh, let me tell you something you know if somebody like if somebody like david umaye come out to contest for anything i will vote for him and i will campaign for him because oh. i love the way that man is i love the way he's doing his things and somebody said on this platform today that these artist people they go and change their own people that people love yes you I understand noticed that too. i noticed that so i don't know why yeah that, that's why they're going against you now you don't notice that is what they do to Soludo now you know what i mean yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. i like Soludo. and they destroyed that guy like they're they destroying big baby and they don't realize it they no, are, yeah, we, we will vote for Soludo if they don't like him we will vote for him <laughs> Yoruba will vote for him. <laughs> no, I'll say that's the truth. I will vote this... for Soludo if I'm opportune to be in Nigeria, if it's contesting. I will vote for him. Yeah, but I'm you know, you, you, if it, okay. wait, if people like Soludo come out now to contest for anything, and this IPOB people follow him, we will change our minds. You, you know, when, when they follow somebody, they follow with abuse and with with their yeah. heads. Yeah. Don't you see what they can't waste it, but they can't never say any good thing about that guy. You know? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Chioma, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Chioma, when you go to you, when, when you go oh, wait, to you, uh, when Chioma, you go to you, uh, uh, Mr. Soli, Chioma, leave Chioma alone, please. Leave her alone. No, she's Mr. telling me that I'm creating leave, division. Leave the comment section now. Are you in love with her? Uh, Chioma? But I'm not creating division. I'm are, just stating facts. You, 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 you have a new lover now. Don't you like this? Do you go to museum? Don't you like this? Don't you like this? I'm not. It's just her point now. She's trying to emotionally... She's trying to to use the sentiment yeah. to make me seem like a bad person. I will, yes, Chama, I'll marry an Ibo woman. If you bring a fine Ibo woman to me tomorrow, I'll marry her. I am not proclaim Chama. See, because you're my Libra. So, bro, I did it totally. Oh, oh, I bring it to you. Book, book, God, it's there. I like it. It's there. Totally, totally, in kind of it. Oh my, oh my, you need to contest when it's in the you, but you want. I can contest for Ikiti and Lagos State now. Oh, I know my own song. I need, I need your oh my, please, people, people, I love you. So, go, so is a little because of Punani now. You talk to you talk to you, people, people. Ah, yes. <laughs> before call, before call, let them let them be fighting themselves. That one should not, you know, this uh, destroy my relationship life. <laughs> okay, 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 and if okay, I need okay, votes okay. for Lagos State, at of least, course, at least, I, at least, I need the people to vote now. Okay, at least at least I know that uh, you, you like Choma. Uh, I know Choma. He likes you. Don't worry about what what he says. On no, the I don't family. know Choma. Why they Chioma. when they when when they talk about Choma now, people think. Is like the, the guy is going to be like the video's wife. No, Chioma <laughs> like that. So you people should just get it to your brain. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I No, no, no. Choma, Choma, said that she doesn't. Oh no, they, Jerry, Jerry. I want to be need like this. I want to know. Yara, all of them meet. Gani, 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 Suru. Time up, we are going to be mani, mani. And the be elder, see a little boss Len. I won't need it, won't boss it down with Len. Yes, Oh, sorry, oh, boss Len, so I'm going to respect you. Yeah, who goes, who goes, support you only? 
according to you now, say, 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 if an elder, you start with the truth now, you bring them to, to get to fight a bit. That's the way in uh, Tobadi Banunu. That's the way you behave. But we must not support one. Say, yeah, yeah, sorry to say, Ganu. Say, yeah, 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 so joy. So the only lead one. No, 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 no. Yes, I am a bit of a law. Go on, say, Jai Uba. Can you say the rule? Look, I want, I want you back here because once I put the ball, I want to follow you. Okay, 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 Ganu, Ganu. But even eh, but eh, my going back on long time ago when he was still looking. One year, I only went in white. My own she be in the canoe, come and lead you back into the way it was in here. My own, ah, sorry, in my in my own culture, because it that bad then was in my way was in normal. Only my own culture, because the bush is strong too. There will always be an elder that will talk you down to say, No, no, stop it. I won't need it. So you so you can't we can't have the can on your balance because there will be some car base that say, Amawa, let me talk to you. Hello, Shia. Dan Shori. What's going on? But I won't need any or dot one bang. They don't have that. That's the issue. Babati, I, I have a proposal. If you are really ready. 2027, everybody should choose an Igbo man as their candidate of their party. Uh, so, so, uh, so give me Soludo and I will, I will vote. Against Tunubu? Are you uh, against Tunubu? What kind of uh, proposal is that? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. No, give me, give me Soludo or Ngozi. Uh, I will talk, but not Peter. No, sorry. <laughs> No, he said if I have to pick, like he's forcing my hand, that's what he's saying. If I have to, not because I want to, but if I have to, if you have to, uh, yeah, uh, 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 it's not Peter uh, B. Anybody give me a uh, clue, uh, Mogalu, Mogalu, uh, uh, Mogalu, uh, uh, Mogalu. Uh, David Umaye. Uh, 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 those ones, uh, uh, I will vote for those ones, but that Peter B. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Meet Mr. Bishop Thomas. Hey, Joe. General Thomas, just meet uh, Mr. Bishop because anything he's doing, we are hearing it here. You understand, please? Thank you. So anything to you of that is basically it's just obedient that they are even pushing you know anyway. So we should yeah, but I think he's making money off it, you know. Yeah, they are contributing money now, they like contributing money. Maybe, maybe it's a good business uh, model on the internet, just be a proper propagandalist. The same thing with like the pastors, because <laughs> all now pastors. They are making see, money. I'll, I'll money. be very honest. The majority of the pastors they are raining hell on the Nigerian people. I'm sure these people make. I'm, I, I can bet they make billions of dollars a year of Nigerians. Billions. <laughs> or, tri or trillion. <laughs> I <laughs> went a trillion. Mr. Soli, I mean, I'm not going to that area. I wash my hand. You're your, your, your home. I didn't say all. I said I said, I said most. <clears throat> most of them. I'm not going there. <laughs> most of them. They are building. They are building mega. No, look at the absurd absurdity now. Let's be very honest with ourselves. They are building mega churches. They are not building companies. They are not building and giving them. No this, this 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 does not wait. But it doesn't matter. You don't. Okay. For ex for example, we import toothpick. Are you telling me one church cannot just out of the goodness they, of their heart? Of their wait, business, wait now, know. please, please. And government is not even supposed to set up business. Are you just can you just tell me that these people preach about goodness? These people preach about you know, they have the right now. Right. Can, you let can, you let you just, can you just let me just finish? They preach about giving, but when have they ever given back to the society? You know, they give about tithing. But when have they ever tithed all the offerings back to the society? What is tight for? Tight was they, they, they do, they do. They do. What, what let me oh, oh, hold on now. Try, let me tell him how they do. This is this, this is from their own members. So they okay. will say, Do you know how valuable 
the that the Dio's preaching is. That is how it gives us. It gives us the word by preaching the word of God. Is <laughs> given. I mean, I don't know. That, 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 that's how they defend their pastor now. That is how he's giving the he's blessing the world with, with the, and in return they will now bless him with the gift. That's their defense. Okay, I'm serious. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. Let me tell you. And, one and even if they were supposed to give birth to this society, even even if they, wait, just please let, let, let me let me let it all out. Okay. Even if they are supposed to give birth to the society, it should be non for profit for non profits. You know, these people are building yes. schools so that they can make more money. And have mm -hmm. and wait, wait mm -hmm. now, please. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what I see. Wait, you can you can defend it when I finish. Please, please now you can defend it when I finish. And okay, then when no. you are when you take people into this school, you start forcing down your doctrine on university students. You are punishing them, you are flogging them, you are telling them how to dress, how to you are not you are not giving them the freedom to be creative. They will never be able to think outside their box. You are putting them in bondage. So this thing has become an oppressive, unchecked regime. Yes, there are churches all over the world, but the one in Nigeria is taking the peace. It's really taking the peace. It has, it has surpassed. It is the, one of the most successful cults in that country because they don't behave like Christian. Majority of them, they behave like occultists. I'm done. Okay, are you done? Okay. okay. You can you can build toothpick factory. Let them be employment. Let it let it let it let it be for non profit. Let it even benefit the economy so that we don't import simple toothpick or or pencil or pencil. Let me tell you something you don't know. Let me tell you. Do you know that many of them they have hospitals that they give at and they build schools and give it to churches. Give me examples. Give me examples. Like Give one I know in the because I follow I I normally look look at it on the internet. And How I many do you know? I, I don't I don't want to say say their names. Look, I'm promoting. No, no, them. I'm not. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. no tell us one school. Tell us one school, please. Like Portacot now, Salvation Ministry. He did it. He gave it out. He gave okay. it. He did it. Ah, it that, that man is doing it. You are right. That man is really doing no, no, no. it. No, no, no. Oh, Mr. Child, what I want to ask you is, what I want to ask you is that, about wait, I just want to ask you two questions. How many churches, how many big churches do you think are in Nigeria? Can you just give me an estimated number? I don't know that one. No. It, it's probably know. in but, hundreds of thousands, right? In, there are churches in every street now. Like, like, okay, so now, now, let's, let's, let's it is do it. statistics. Let's do statistics. Of, uh, how many, how uh, many non-profits uh, are there from churches? How many non-profits are there from churches? They can have, you, see, can you name, can you brag of 20? Can you brag of 20? Oh, Can yes, you brag of uh, yes, Mr. Sully. There's something that's going to happen very soon, within two to three years. I said something the other day, they called me Antichrist. I just kept quiet. Those are don't go there. <laughs> Yes, now the command is now. I don't go there. Ah, I leave there before they start praying on my name. It's triumph, triumph. Oh, no one, no, I don't want to say anything negative. So, so, so that's it. One thing there's that I know that they're very soon in Nigeria. If you don't have university certificate, eh, they will close down your church. It's coming up, but many of them don't know what is going on. Because this one that uh, tomorrow somebody can come out, uh, I'm a seer, uh, I'm this, I'm that. It won't be happening anymore because of uh, they just. Now hungry because of these things, Mr. Sully. Now hungry. When you have money, you won't be thinking too much now. At least you'll do the calling for real. But many of them are dead just for the title and offering. They'll, they'll be there. If you don't give, you will die. Uh -huh. It looks somehow now. You understand? That, that That's creating fear because I remember those days. Me too. I was like that. You understand? It's when I came to the Western world, understood that mm, anything, prayer time zero is zero. Blessing times zero is you, you have to do something with your hand for you to prosper, and that's true. That's true. Anything you don't do, now lie you, nothing will happen. Nothing. This year I learned it now. So when they talk to the I just I just say calm down, calm down. I have friends that are pastors now. There are no pastors in Nigeria now. Big time pastors, so big time. So Mr. Ford, many of them they have hospitals, they build it and they gave it out. They have schools. Sometimes they build homes for motherless people. All those are widows. I'm aware of it, and they give it out now. Eh? Don't, and again, there's one, there's one I like also that works with the government. That others call, give it. This is, uh, 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 look, I'm promoting them. Hmm? 
uh, this uh, Dominion City guy, David uh, Oboli. I like, I like the guy too. I listen to his program. Man. I listen to him too. Man. One thing is that uh, I just listen to sound teachings. You understand? They do help. They do help. Okay. Because you what, you that, what you need today, what you need today, and if the religious group in Nigeria starts saying the truth to their members, I believe, I believe this and. Uh, this uh, corruption will, will reduce. Many of them, many governors that did not do the road. There's a governor in, in the east. He died in the same road that they did not repair. Now. I was shocked when I had it. He died in the same road. You understand? So now he'll be there. Anyway, he's not crying. So one thing is that uh, I just believe that, uh, as, as I normally used to say, to bring Nigeria <clears throat> out is through awareness. If they start educating them and giving them awareness, they will good. But uh, we all we know the secret of politicians. They don't want these guys to progress. They don't want Nigerian people to progress because they they want to be giving them every for four years. We want for four k, then ten k. Ali, what you go go and vote for me, which is very bad. You understand? So that's it. So so we is we that's proud that we're going to develop Nigeria. Thank you. Not them back up because of the environment. So Mr. Suli, over to you. Yeah, I yeah I yeah I I understand you, but you know. Uh, some people will still argue with you. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, you want to go better talk to you about your line? No, 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 I'm a follower. I'm not a, I'm not a leader. Uh, but I'm you, a are follower. Born, you are born in the ministry now. Yes, of course. No, 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 no. God has, uh, God has not called me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to call myself. <laughs> Those ones that you see, they are the ones that call themselves. God doesn't call them. That's true. They start struggling. Any people see uh, no, 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 no. Just, yes. kind of you, you know, some people they fail life. So they are their last go-to is that God called me because they know that that is the most a uh, wolf money. In Nigeria, you know, you know, I have a friend as a person in Nigeria. Big time, oh. big, big time. time. <laughs> ah, oh. hmm. let, let, I know the me. guy. The guy that I saw him on BBC yesterday. He, he just left from America. He said God called him to go and do pastor in this year. He left America. To... <laughs> you have a... It's not only left America to go and do pastor in this year. You see, yeah, all these people are funny. They are the party here, need a little more. Gani, you go, 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 call you see now. Eh, are you, are you accepting? No, no, call it. No, 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 God can never call me. God, <laughs> me, I'm better than the people that God called. I'm better than really? the people God called. Yes. You see, your handwork, yeah. If you, if you can be boss of your handwork. Eh, I tell you what, uh, that's uh, your Ghani. mind is hundred percent clear. I'm not a pastor. I'm a Muslim. Uh, eh, God, God. Eh, come on, I'm not like the other side now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I know, it's not. It's not possible. Can be man. Can be man of um, of London. Where do you live? Let me tell you about Muslim. Let me tell you about Muslim. UK, I be. So I just pay. So I just. So I just pay me no loan. So I just mean I just join me Nigeria. But by Muslim to build our law court, yeah. You know how we're in the mama fi court was. They are so mad. I mean, we tell you, we more court. Ah, Nigerian court court is shewa. Our Yoruba most especially. Ah, court court is shewa. All right. See, so, look at what this. Look at. Okay, you guys. I'm going to insult you. You guys are very stupid people. <laughs> no, yes, yes, because let let me let me go at these people. Jude Empire. He has been oh, spread. Oh, but sorry, sorry, no, sorry. No, no, no. You know, comment session, they are they are some guys, special diets. No, you do you, no, no, sorry, don't, don't, lies. if you, uh, the, the sorry, repeating the lies over and over and over again. Sorry, if, sorry. if you are if you are replying comment center, that means you are very childish. You know them now. <laughs> you just, you just I, don't, I, don't, I just feel like punching yeah. in his face. It's because no, no. They are just That's making themselves happy. They are just making themselves happy. Just you, that, them. you that people are calling Libra, so you can see. You are listening to them. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about you them. Know. <laughs> you don't, don't, don't <laughs> care about them. They are just picking up lies and they are 
No, you don't. You don't. You don't have to go the rabbit roll all, all with them. I just ma, ignore ma, them. Ma, ma, <laughs> 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 all right. Remember, you called Baba Delicoco a feminine. Eh? And that's not what I said. To that's not what I said. That's, 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 that's not what I said. Do. Do. Do, 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 do. I can't remember. You, know, you said you, you, you said you said that men that. Uh, Ah, but no, he, he explained it. He explained it to. I, have to, I, have to. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't even talking about that, Janli Koko. I know you said that you have a, a feminine mindset. Eh? You know, to, and, this, and this this judge just took it and started lying, and he has been repeating it for the past fifteen minutes. You don't. You don't know. It is from. It's from Cameroon now. Do they have brain in Cameroon? My brother. Do you do you know, me? Do you know my brother. My Cameroon brother. That one is IPOB, Jari. It's not from Cameroon. It's IPOB. <laughs> it's, it's my Cameroon brother. My Cameroon. Yeah, yeah, like, you black city, you know. All of my but 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 he dying gun. Africa is all of my but but he dying gun. I don't understand you. We are the best. We are the best. Look, I got God. If 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 everything was on equal fields, like the whole world was first world country, we would have left all these people behind. That's what I believe, Sha. That left this people behind. Explain. Explain. Because but, we, have all, they... we have all the resources that they crave. We have all the intellects that they crave. We have okay. Well, I'm just asking you tomorrow. We have yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. We are bye. shopping down in the next 10 minutes too. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for showing up. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless. Yeah. Okay. Me too. I'm going to buy you. That <laughs> Yeah. I'm shutting it. I'm shutting it down. Let me know that, but me not love that, bro. Yeah. Right, yeah. Guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You I even know. I don't even know we can push it to this time around. Yeah. These guys are very amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Comment section. Yeah. Uh, your comment doesn't hurt us. Yeah. If you, you are really sure of yourself, open and come come on the studio. Yeah, then we can know that you are you are man enough. You have the balls. You have the testicular fortitude. Your comment doesn't hurt us. Yeah, keep writing what you are writing. We are enjoying it. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, God bless you. I'll see you at the other side. I said peace. Yeah, uh, we can't live without playing something. Yeah, uh, let me find. Some recovery because we've been through. <laughs> oh, where's Governor Pete Obi? Has run away. You should go and bring him for me. I, I need to talk to him about a few of those. Go and bring him. I don't want to join issues with Governor Obi. He's an excellent governor and a patriotic Nigerian. But a few of those things he he was reading are not quite accurate. Thank you. Don't run, sir. Thank you very much for retrieving Pastor Obi for me, um, Governor Obi. So, thank you very much. So, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about the night. My convoy is five vehicles. And you cannot buy fuel unless I'm inside the car. So, I will pay them. No more. <laughs> I know, I know. The governor was paying for uh, petrol himself for his convoy yes. when they get to the gas station he will come out and bring out money and pay mm -hmm. bye -bye. in bye -bye. fact in fact i talk at government house then when he was governor forget about drinking champagne what they are now doing there mm -hmm. then he he gave out old newspapers as substitute for toilet roll mm -hmm. if you are going to the toilet you just to save money yeah he, he was going to run somewhere. He said he's going for interview for job. Peter, can't you give him a job? Peter, can't you do this? The boy doesn't even have. I said none of my children have car. I was the only person who is governor and bank chairman. Not to them. Isn't that mesmerizing? But but I know that Peter B. I know Peter B. I know that he's a smart man. Mm. You know. Mm. But um, <laughs> did the governor that Obi did he say anything about that two hundred million um? Uh, from security vote that he, he was caught, his uh, convoy was trying to smuggle out of the hey! Did he say anything about that? No? No? No, he didn't? No. But, but he talked about that uh, 72 billion he left behind for his uh, hand picked successor. Because when you hear that Peter B left 75 billion, if anybody doubts it, call me. I know where the money is. I kept it. 
about did he did he talk about ah, something? Yeah, he did, he did. Ah, yeah, he did, I know. The man that he's now fighting, you know? You remember? Yes, no. <laughs> I know, I know. Of course, of course. Did he talk about what is it called again? The liabilities uh, he left behind. Did he talk about that? No? No. It, like like signed contracts that were not paid for. Did no. he talk about no? Like thousands of workers that he hired during the last uh, weeks of his uh, administration wow. without uh, provision for their for their pay in the budget. No. Did he talk no? Yeah. No. No. But but definitely he must have talked about the millions and millions he was dashing out to schools, churches, town hall, yeah. traditional. Hi, yeah. yeah. At the end of the administration, he was just giving out money without appropriation. Mm -hmm. He talked about that, huh? Yeah. Of course, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Okay, okay. One last thing. Did P two B finally explain how bodies of Biafran activists ended up floating on Anambra River when he was governor? Did he explain no. that? No, he didn't. Why? Why? It must be an omission.